Eliminations of Masters Berlin. We've now seen every team in action and the lower bracket is heating up. I am your host, Yingsu, and I'm joined today by Gio and Sean Gares. Guys, welcome back. Big day ahead of us. Big day. And was that a pun heating up and we get to see heat today? <laughs> I, I, are you, you've been doing the puns all week. You've made a lot. Yeah. yeah. Especially about I'll, heat. I'll take that one. I'll take <laughs> that one. Uh, but also, you know, after yesterday, Gio, uh, Vision Strikers, they are celebrating their through to champions too. But EMEA, it's looking a little bit dicey. Yeah, they're a bit shakier, aren't they? And especially as you've got you know, two of the NA teams have made it through. You say Vision Strikers made it into champions, which, by the way, no bias, but I'm pretty sure that was my favorite game of the whole event so far. That Vision yes. Strikers game, it was wild. Uh, EMEA have got a lot to live up to. Yeah, and something that a lot of people aren't talking about with that Vision Strikers win is they essentially knocked an EMEA team out of this tournament. I mean, it, it's going to come down to Ascent and SMB playing against each other in that lower bracket, and one of them has to go. Yeah, you love saying that, don't you, Sean? The, I love it. You're, you're very, very happy about that decision. But yeah, you know, the, the crazy thing is, uh, Geo, that, you know, 
two EMEA teams coming to this tournament, they could potentially only play one international team and they're out, they're done. Uh, it, that is pretty crazy. Yeah. And I'm, you know, EMEA have always been a very revered um, region. Whether or not you're a fan of the region, Sean, uh, yep. <laughs> they're still very respected. And I think a lot of the teams, or all four of the teams that came through from EMEA into this competition, we had a lot of faith in. And I don't think it would have ever been easy to pick one and say, oh, they're going to be the one that goes out. Yeah, and that's not, it wasn't like the, the loss yesterday for Ascend was something that is alarming of their team play or anything like that. I've said this time and time again, Valorant is a preparation based game and Vision Strikers has so much time to prepare. They have so many different things they can throw at Ascend. And we saw that yesterday, right? They caught Ascend off guard on both maps and that'll continue as we go deeper into the tournament, actually. Yeah, and speaking of deeper into the tournament, like I said, big day today. A lot of teams, uh, elimination is on the line. Uh, G2 versus F4Q first. That one is slightly safer for G2, but of course, F4Q, it's a must win for them. And then we've got Japan versus uh, Brazil in two matches, pretty much back to back. And speaking of Japan, uh, there's a lot riding on the line here, Gio. If we take a look at the championship points, uh, champions points even, Winning here today or losing even is going to be a big, big difference maker for both of these teams. Yeah, it could be make or break. And it's really funny saying that as well because we're yet to see a win come out from one of the Japanese teams. Uh, Crazy Raccoon, who've been around a little while, they played in Reykjavik as well as having a pretty brutal game against Gambit the other day. And yet they could qualify for the, the biggest event of the year. Yeah, so essentially uh, keeping you guys up to date, if Zeta, they lose the game today, they have to go to LCQ. They do not have another the way into champions. If both teams lose today, that means Crazy Raccoon automatically locked into champions no matter what happens. And if Crazy Raccoon lose today, but Zeta win, that means Zeta have another chance to overtake them. So Sean, a lot of variations as to what's can ha what can happen. Yeah, and they both are going against such contrasting styles, right? Zeta Division going up against Heat. I mean, that is ridiculous, right? It's going to feel like one of those really intense rain games where there's just a jet running around destroying everyone. One. And then Havan Liberty on the other side in Brazil, they're so structured. The triple initiator is just so fun to watch. And the way they layer that utility on you is so overwhelming. Yeah, and speaking of Brazil, let's take a look at their champions points as well because they have an equally big day today. A lot of things riding here. Uh, essentially, Sharks are going to be pretty nervous today on what's going to happen because if uh, they were they're going to be knocked out into the LCQ if either teams win, Havan or Vivo Keat, basically means they're going to get enough points to overtake Sharks. Uh, but if Havan uh, do uh, yeah, and if both of them lose this, that means Vikings and Sharks they're going to be locked in automatically no matter what happens. It's going to be a tough day because Geo Brazil, they won their own regions to do well. But I can't help but feel, but if you're Vikings and Sharks right now, deep down, you're probably like, oh, I hope they I, win. I know, you're going to yeah. be like <laughs> vouching against your own region. I mean, I would hate to be the team who is all the way at home. How many thousands of miles away Brazil is from here in Germany, just knowing that your fate is out of your hands. Yeah, that's that's a really, really rough spot to be in, especially when the the performances we've seen out of the Brazilian region. I'm actually really impressed. Like like I said, they have two very different styles, and I like what they, I see out of both of these teams. I think we could potentially see them win both of their games today. Yeah, and if they do win both of their games, that's when things get interesting. Obviously, you'll be sad for Sharks. They're going to be knocked down a little bit. Uh, but the rest of the tournament is going to be cool to see which one of the Brazilian teams are going to be fighting again for Vikings, like you said. They just have to watch and, and maybe pray. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pray a little bit. Uh, now, we took a look at the uh, top five players yesterday in terms of ACS. Obviously, we had a full day of games again yesterday. So things, I believe, look a little bit different now. Yes. Uh, so we had Heat mm -hmm. right up there yesterday. But Sean, Tense, after changing his mouse grip, is uh, kind of getting a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, he's looking really good. You know, we, we talked a lot at the, the opening segment yesterday about Heat being on top. You know, only player with 300 ACS. Ten saw that, and I swear he was just like, I'm popping off today. I'm changing my mouse grip. I'm doing everything different. And Tens is now the only player in this tournament with over 200 damage around. He was on fire yesterday. I, I was looking at the same thing. His DPR is absolutely insane. And this game uh, against F4Q was wild. And the fact that we got to see Breeze as well, not only is it exciting because it was the first time we got to see it in the competition, but also just seeing what F4Q brought against uh, Sentinels. But I feel like this was really the map where we saw Tens just yeah. shine his brightest. I mean, literally, like handprints and wet cement, 
We're gonna be seeing this game for a long time. Um, like this is this is a classic. But that yeah. tens put up yesterday. I have never seen a player just take over a game yet on LAN like like tens just did. My favorite part is Dapper last night. I don't know if that was included in the interview, but he said that at one point tens was really really close to thirty kills, and he said to Dapper like, "Bro, just hide. Like, <laughs> let me get the kill. I just want to get to thirty. But the thing is though, uh, you know, Sean, we see these players who aren't just great players, but they have the drive. They want to be the best. They want to be the star. Yeah, absolutely. As someone like Tens, I love that, you know, he's soft-spoken. The way he came from CS, he got kicked out of a couple teams. You know, he had a tough run in CS. But here in Valorant, he wants to be that star player. And he puts in the time to be the star player. He's not the guy that's comfortable with, you know, just being on top of the scoreboard. He's the person creating all these quirky little jumps and finding stuff when everyone else in the scene isn't. Despite being the most talented player. And do you think, Gio, I know uh, statistically he's up there up there right now, but do you feel like he's been the best player so far in this tournament? I think the thing with Tens is you know that every game he's going to be playing in, he's going to be p putting up those kinds of stats and he's going to be playing that well. There are other players in there. You know, for example, I'm a really big fan of Ye on Team Envy, but I think sometimes you see some uh, games where maybe he's not showing up as much as other other games, whereas uh, you just don't have that problem with Sentinels. Yeah, the consistency. Yes. The consistency, yeah. Is he, uh, but we are going to take a quick break now. Uh, but we'll be, t we'll be taking a more in depth look at F4Q versus G2 when we return.
think everyone was really motivated to to win against Sentinels. That everyone just wants to beat the guy that wins everything. The energy was really, really good. Like everyone was just shouting, everyone was having fun. Everyone was really happy, honestly. Even though we lost in the end, it didn't really matter. Everyone was really excited. Now we play against them, it's not really anything special. So they're definitely beatable. Like online, you're just at home, chilling. This, you don't really look at your teammates. Like here, it's like, it feels like there's a lot more on, on the stake. I really think FRQ is really good. They play really smart Valorant, like they're really smart players. Even though they're streamers, I don't think anyone should uh, underestimate them. Well, we are starting the day with a rematch between F4Q and G2 Esports. As Avova said, these are smart players. You cannot underestimate them. But Sean, especially when you got revenge in your belly, it's going to yeah. be kind of scary. Yeah, one thing I always hated as a player was the rematch situation, particularly something like this, where you're the favorite coming in, the underdog stole a map from you in that opening matchup, so they get to see as much as possible of what you have to offer, and then they can come back with a new plan, you know, a couple of days later and rematch match you this is quite scary for g2 i feel like it, it's also you know with with the other groups who are who are playing in the elimination bracket as opposed to the the double round robin you do just play them once and you're like okay yeah i proved that i'm better than that team but yeah. now they've got to uphold that that's scary yeah and you know speaking of those g2 esports aside they're in a slightly better spot here geo the pressure is not as much on these guys yeah and i think also when you just listen to what avova was saying even though it was mostly about sentinels what he said it was just that kind of realization that yeah these teams teams we're not scared of them you know it's not sentinels aren't special f4q are a good team etc etc it's just that okay we're gonna we're gonna come and play yeah and what, what's really impressed me about g2 so far is that man on your the far right of the screen kellogg's he tore it up in the first matchup between these two teams he had 60 frags in a best of three he was just on top of things in the tournament, he has 230 ACS overall. And part of that is to do with, you know, how how rough that last map was against Sentinels yesterday. I'm looking to see if he can have that same form today as he had in the first matchup. And of course, you know, this is the player that, uh, in terms of this G2 roster, superstar roster, we always joke about the fact they poached people, you know, they kind of tore rosters apart just to make this team. But Kellogg's, you know, before this tournament, Geo, I felt like didn't have too much focus on this guy and people were more forgiving because of how young he is. Yeah, I think that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> it's like Mixwell and his adoptive family, right? That's, yeah. that's G2. He's just picked everybody up from, from other places. And I think as a direct result, it has meant that at different times, there has been focus on different players. Sometimes it's, oh, Nuki, he's really showing up. Recently, I feel like it was towards the end of stage three is when people started really paying attention to Kellogg's. He was putting up really good numbers. He was playing really well. And here at this tournament so far, you know, Sean just quoted some of the statistics that he's been achieving. You just can't ignore him. Yeah, and I think you mentioned Mixwell right there, Yinsu. He used to be the Jet main on this team a long time ago. Mm -hmm. He stepped back and he's in a more supportive role now. So far in this tournament, G2 has played five maps. Mixwell's played four different agents. So he's more in, in a passive role and he's okay with it. You can see him vibing really well with Kellogg's actually in and out of the server. So that's a really cool aspect when I look at G2. Well, that's what people theorize that, right? That the success came down to having experienced players yes. like Mixwell that could play more kind of intricate agents and just put a young, fresh, aggressive person on the duelist. Yeah, but it has bitten G2 in the past. And when I watch them play Kellogg's, even though he's so explosive, in some games he looks phenomenal, other games he'll fall flat. It's a very high risk, high reward situation that he puts himself in, and sometimes it's just too much. Yeah, I feel like I, I've noticed the same thing. He's definitely one of those players who, when he shows up well, he really shows up well. Sometimes he just has a bit of a quieter game, and you're you're looking at other players like Nuki, and, and sometimes even someone like Coldamenta to be making those big plays. Well, uh, all week G2, they have been sending out the message that this is their town. Let's get to know a little more about the hometown heroes. My name is Paul Lamenta and I play for G2. Me, I mean, I'm the IGL, I'm the IGL, so I bring some ideas. Uh, I say what to say <laughs> during the rounds and at the start of the round. 
and that's it, they follow. <laughs> yeah, so in the team, it's uh, Mixwell, Kellogg, Snooki and Aloha. Mixwell is the captain, he's been for the longest time in, in D2. He brings a lot of experience, he's probably the most experienced one. Snooki, we call him the robot, he's a, he's a machine. <laughs> He's really nice as well. In game, he just transforms. Vova is probably the best or one of the best controllers in the world. Smoker. Uh, I think he's really good at clutching as well. In Kellogg's brings the energy. He's the youngest player in the team, and he brings like all the energy that the, the rest of us need. Our journey to Master Three was challenging because. G2 rebuild the, the entire roster, apart from Mitchell. So in order to make it here, we had to build our our whole game style and everything from from zero. So it was, I mean, yeah, it was a challenge, but we made it. They have to be so quick on this. <laughs> I'm not scared to play against anyone and I don't really care who we play against. I just focus on the game and that's it. I'm representing EMEA and uh, I think a lot of people expect uh, May to win the, the whole thing and we just need to prove them wrong. Uh, I don't think they are that good and this is going to be the tournament where, <laughs> where everyone is going to see that. And it even further new to check in time, it doesn't look like it. I'm going to give Colder Mentor the benefit of the doubt that he filmed that before the tournament started. <laughs> so he hadn't seen NA yet. Uh, but Sean, what do you make of that comment? Oh, I, I think it's a little bit hurtful. I don't, I don't <laughs> like to see it. But I mean, I respect the confidence coming out of the in-game leader. And something that that's, we didn't mention about Colder Mentor previously is he has come from Ascend, right? So he has this experience across multiple top teams in EU. He's very familiar with how his opponents in this tournament play. If he can get out of this group, that is a massive, massive benefit going into the playoff stage. I mean, this was one of the scariest groups that people spoke about coming into the competition. A lot of that is because Sentinels are also in the group, but if you can make yourself look like you're on par with them, you know, the only NA team to have not actually made it uh, further into the bracket, <laughs> um, if you can make yourself look like you're on par with them, then yeah, I don't blame them for not being that worried. Well, if G2, they th if they want to get out of their group, they have to uh, really put in a shift today, and their opponent will be F4. Q. They came pretty close to taking down G2 uh, last time around. But Gio, what do you feel like they need to do this time to make sure that they do get the win? I think the biggest problem with F4Q at the moment is that so much of the responsibility of their successes lands on Bunny's shoulders. And you you listen to the way that basically all of us on the desk and the casters have spoken about this team. Bunny is incredible. Uh, but I think that there's it's not necessarily an evenly distributed responsibility within the team. And that's one of the problems that um, that I feel like they're going to have to uh, fix here. Because if that's something that G G2 punish, then it's probably relatively easy to take down the rest of the team. Yeah, you mentioned Bunny is is the key player on this team. I actually think Esperanza uh, is also up there with him. But some a place where I think they're a little bit deficient in is my man 5K, who's been lucky in you know the Reina and Sky throughout this event, living up to his name. 5K, he had five kills as Reyna. And Sean, I don't think that has, Sean, I just don't Sean think that it's enough. I just oh, don't no. think it's enough. If you lock in that Reyna, you have to put up numbers. <laughs> but the man on your screen, Esperanza, is the player playing a lot of Sova, Sage, Viper, and statistically, he's the best on the team so far. So despite the fact that all the utility goes to set up Bunny in these early rounds, and he's having tremendous success in the first blood category, Esperanza is the player that I love to watch when I look at F4Q. I still think that Esperanza had some of the best Hunter's Furies that we've seen so far in the uh, in the tournament. It was something that I actually said the other day was if you want a Sova who's going to get kills with the Hunter's Fury, Esperanza's, he's your guy. Honestly, sure, I'm a bit upset at, at the, that 5k dig. And if, yeah. I, if Mitch was here right now, he will be like, yeah, Sean, you should change your name to 3k. Oh, oh. Uh, that, that's all the kills that you've been getting. I can't do that. I'm doing it on behalf You're of You're too Mitch. nice. Yeah, uh, not to Sean. Sure. Not but, no, in all honesty, <laughs> it, so in both of his Reina games so far, he was 7-14 and 14 and 5-15. and 15. And I mean, you just can't lock in Reina and have those type of numbers because your utility isn't providing value to your team. If you lock in Reina, you almost have to have statistically good games. 
And that's where F4Q has struggled so far. In which case, do you feel like they either just throw the Rainer pick out the window, they don't do it anymore, or would they give it to someone else? It might just be because they're not comfortable on those maps, because his sky play on the other maps has been quite good. I think he's a, a much better sky when I watch him play. And maybe they just have, you know, pieces set in set in motion already and they're just too dug in to change that well you guys have pointed out esperanza already he didn't feel like the team actually showed everything they had the first time round against g2 and now they are aiming to make the korean fans proud in this rematch <laughs> That confidence so much. Uh, but also the comparison he made there, Gio, that G2, their dueling abilities aren't as good as Sentinels. And after seeing what they could do against Sentinels yesterday, uh, you know, I don't think he's too far off. They did certainly apply a lot of pressure. I mean... I mentioned that Bunny, they have, you know, they put a lot of responsibility on him and maybe that's uh, quite a bit to rely on, but you cannot deny that the man is a beast. <laughs> like, he's absolutely Absolute beast. incredible. Absolute beast. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think I think that it's fair to say that they're will be scared of for G2 in this matchup is Bunny now knows the positions they like to play at the start of the round and we've seen how explosive he can be with double satchel entries into someone gravity welling for him. And if you know where someone is going to start the round, that type of, I don't even know, buffoonery is insane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we spoke about what F4Q need to do, right? Because again, yeah. if they go 0-3 today, they are out of this group. They cannot come back for it, uh, into it. But G2, it wasn't a perfect game for them either, Gia. What do they need to do? Oh, I mean, no, not at all. Um, and I think that the, the thing with um, G2 is on, it was Bind, I believe, that was the map that F4Q won yes. when they played their previous series. And I think G2, in some instances, weren't necessarily good enough or quick enough at punishing the aggression that was coming out from uh, F4Q. And I think that's something they need to be a little bit more vigilant about and on the ball with, uh, because if they don't do that, then they're just going to get flattened yeah, again. I actually think in that opening matchup on Bind, G2, I believe, started off like 2-0, and it looked like they were going to close out the bonus round. They had like a man advantage, and there's people deep in attacker spawn. And I think they lost respect for F4Q at that point in the matchup, and they played too loose. And then they found themselves behind in such a way where it made them uncomfortable, and they lost control of the match. But Haven was very scary. I think G... I think G2 could have lost this series if it mm. weren't for Mixwell winning a one-on-three or Nucky getting that ace clutch on c site. I mean, there's a couple plays where G2's players just bailed them out massively. Yeah, I mean, it's it's transpired that it's a lot closer than it looks on paper, and that's what's yeah. so exciting about this match. And so what? And what's so exciting about today, we are going to go to a little break now, but do not go anywhere, you guys. Like we said, the rematch, it's on, and it's going to be right here after this. Thank you. 
It's a rematch with elimination on the line. Things are going to heat up very, very soon on this stage behind us. But of course, on days like this, we expect players to step up to the plate. We spoke about Bunny and Kellogg's already. But let's take a look at the head-to-head because, Sean, the entries, the duels, and the way they're going to open up games for their teams is going to be crucial. Absolutely, especially when you look at F4Q. Look at the first blood percentage on Bunny. Like, this is a stream team. This guy has been set up phenomenally well for these double satchel entries. And a lot of the times, top teams like G2 and Sentinels aren't ready for it. So this loose style that puts a lot of pressure on Bunny to succeed has been working out. But can it work out still, right? Because Kellogg's has been playing that standard style, the jet entry, where he's dashing in aggressively with Sova arrows and sky guiding lights coming in. And he's also crushing it with that style. So which one of these two succeeds in this series? Yeah, my worry with Bunny is that while his entries are really good, there have been a couple of moments and it did happen in the game with G2, especially on Ascent, where he goes in all aggressive. He's double satcheling into Tree. He's got the judge out, immediately shut down, and suddenly the rest of the team have nothing to follow up on. Well, these yeah. two teams, they've met each other before. They should be prepared at G2, at least, for someone like Bunny. Now, it's time to welcome the competitors onto the stage. Let's send it over for the start of Day 5 of Masters Berlin. Masterpiece lasts forever, while the artist will find death awaiting every turn. A moment that will outlive me to become eternal or to be forgotten. Ars longa, vita brevis. Day of Masters. We're going to have our first elimination matches. 5K is gone and it's G2. I think she thinks she can put Utter destruction. But a sad day for Japan. Double 13 to 1 maps. 저희 경기를 일본에 있던 경기를 저희 보셨더라면 절대 그렇게 방심할 팀은 아니다라고 생각합니다. <웃음> Estou bem ansioso para jogar contra as regiões também, tanto contra o Japão quanto o Emea. E que a gente vai voltar muito mais forte e vai conquistar bastante coisa para vocês brasileiros. I hope you enjoy these games. We're gonna give our 100%. We've been practicing hard. We wanna win. 지기 전까지는 너무 기뻤어요. 근데 더 열심히 준비해서 이기면 훨씬 더 기쁠 것 같아요. Então, conte com a gente. A gente vai continuar dando o nosso melhor. 本当に試合でも僕試合を勝ちたいというかまあグループももちろん抜けたいという気持ちが強いのでえすごく楽しみですねご先生ainda
really big day of games today, but I want to know more than anything if they are Dragon Ball Z fans or, uh, <laughs> or are they been bonding over their love of anime? Because we've seen the uh, the NA players, you know, they love a good anime profile picture. But Gio, that was very wholesome. I mean, look, come on, these are gamers. Of course, <laughs> of course that's what they're doing. The weebs, the weebs. Yeah. yeah, you're a weeb, Sean. Uh, I've watched a couple of animes in my time, but I wouldn't classify myself as a weeb. <laughs> well, uh, you guys might not be able to hear this, but there's a lot of energy on this stage today, Gio. They're both gearing up and getting fired up to go. I mean, they both know how important this game is. The stakes are not quite as high for G2, but for F4Q, you know, if they lose this, then, I mean, that's kind of it. Yeah, it's going to be a very, very interesting match as well. We've seen them play before already, Sean. Uh, we saw three maps, Ascend, Bind and Haven, the last time they played. Would you like to see them again this time around? This is a tricky veto here for G2 because if I'm F4Q, I want the same maps all over again. If I'm on G2, I'm thinking, oh, I won the series on those maps and the one I lost, I can make some changes. Or do I just want to go new maps all together? Because I think I'm the favorites and I could beat them on all the maps. So G2 has their work cut out for them for like the decision making here in the veto process. I mean, if I'm G2, I'm thinking, hmm, F4Q have been banning Icebox all the time so far, but we saw them play on Breeze yesterday yep. against Sentinels and it didn't go too well. And that could be an easy exploitative map for G2 to take them to, especially if they leave it open in the ban phase like they have so far. Yeah, especially, you know, Bind is probably gonna come up the most likely one out of all of them mm -hmm. I, i'm with you guys i think from g2's camp it'd be interesting to see if they want to steer away a little bit from the first time around and maybe pick up something like breeze uh, sean we just haven't seen enough of breeze in this tournament no yeah, we haven't i loved watching breeze yesterday in the sentinels game versus f4q i don't i think that was more sentinels looking outstanding i mean when do we see tens put up numbers like that so yeah. i i don't think f4q has anything to head their hang their heads on i think they're a good breeze team yeah, well, uh, let's start with the bands here. Last time, just to remind you guys, G2, they banned out Split, and then F F4Q banned Icebox. Uh, maybe we're going to see something similar again today, but it, it would also be interesting, like you guys said, if either of the teams decided to go something a little bit more uh, out there. Of course, this could be uh, one of the last times we really see F4Q compete on the stage. They want to go out uh, with a bang or stay in this competition. Of course, F4Q starts off with banning Icebox, Geo. Oh, we're on the first step of having a complete repeat of what we had the other day. I think one of the other benefits to uh, potentially having all of the same maps too, um, it, especially if you're G2, is is not having to show more than you already have done so far. So, I mean, they're going to be banning Split as well, so we're, yeah. we're already on that route. I don't blame G2 at all for banning Split. Out of what I saw in that Sentinels game yesterday, the F4Q looked so scary on some of those fast heaven takes, and F4Q locking in Bind for map one. One. That's where they stole their win in the last mm -hmm. series. No shocker there, Yinsu. Like you said, we expected Bind. Yeah, Bind is going to be interesting. G2 potentially, Geo, uh, starting off on the back foot because they're not as comfortable here. Mm, I mean, yeah, G2, they've decided they're going to start on attack. Their attack was okay. I mean, really, it was the first half of the game that we saw that was uh, incredibly influential. So I think this is probably more about uh, denying the attack to F4Q, which is where they really shone on Bind the other day. And Ascent is where we're going to be going to second, Sean. It looks like we're getting the same maps all over <laughs> yeah. again. Too. It looks like G2 is confident. They just want the rematch best of three. Ascent as map two. I thought I, ooh, F4Q looked really rough on this map. This is one of the maps where I saw 5K lock in the Reyna. And yeah, it looks like, you know, they're going to opt to start on defense. Does 5K go with the Reyna pick again, though? I just find that such a strange pick because if you look at what happened the other day, F4Q took a grand total of uh, one defensive round. <laughs> It's better than better than zero. That's <laughs> yeah. Tell that to crazy recruit. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, and if we are gonna go to map three, this is the exact same set of maps we had last time with by, uh, with Haven even being the decider again, Geo. Yeah, so we're basically going to be seeing the same. Well, that's that's assuming we go to all three maps, but we yeah. will basically be seeing the exact same series. Do you think we're going to go to all three maps, Sean? I hope for G2's sake that we don't, because if we do, I think F4Q can win Haven, and I think they will win Haven, actually, in the rematch here. So I, 
I think G2 almost needs to get the G2O going. G2O. Oh, God, Sean. Yeah. How much did Carlos pay you to say that? <laughs> Not <laughs> enough, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, of course, three maps we got there. Uh, we're going to bind first. Last time we did see Ascend first here on bind. Right off the bat, I want to ask you, Sean, are you a fan of an all Viperless bind? I am not a fan of a Viperless bind. I love watching Viper on bind, but both of these teams do have very unique play styles to deal with it, right? Viper is such an oppressive agent. She can block out massive sight lines on the map, as well as, you know, lock down areas almost in a Sentinel-esque fa like fashion, right? She feels like a Sentinel when she's playing defense. Yeah, I, well, you know, because both of the teams are, are almost definitely going to be bringing in Astra. So you have that to sort of slot into that role. Um, I'm also a fan of seeing Viper on Bind, but I'd be very surprised to see either of these teams suddenly decide they're going to go for that. Uh, well, would this be the time to suddenly bring out, though, Gio? You know, we've seen G2 with Viper. We've seen what Mixwell can do on it. I think that, I mean, yeah, G2, really, the onus is going to be on them to make changes if either of these two teams are on this map, because this is the map where uh, F4Q look the most comfortable. I don't think they have any reason to change anything, um, especially as we saw. This was the map for me on the first series where... <laughs> Oh wow. God, what is going on? <laughs> this is I love it. I love it. For me, where we actually saw that really big step of improvement in 5K's um 5K Sky, and I am a very big fan of Zumba on the Astro, so I don't see any reason for F4Q to change. G2 absolutely could. Uh, I just don't know if I believe that they will. That said, they are one of those teams that are quite happy to chop and change throughout their compositions and not necessarily be too committed to one. Yeah, one thing that I will not change in G2's comp is Nucky on the Raze. Yeah. I think Raze is one of those agents on this map of Bind where it's almost a must pick, right? The Boombot to take either Hookah Control or Shower Control Control. He has so much presence across the map. The satchels on top of the short A boxes to create some space. G2 puts tons of faith in Nucky in this raise role on the map. Yeah, of course, you know, on the opposite side, Bunny, it, there's, I mean, if he doesn't pick raise today, yeah. I feel like something is gonna go catastrophically wrong. We are into the Prime Gaming Agent a Select, and now uh, we're maybe looking out for a change or two, but yes. with a game like this and the fact that F4Q did actually win the first time, uh, Geo, you know, G2, maybe they won their own revenge too and closes out 2-0. Well, of course they want their own revenge. Yeah. I think if they do go for these agents that we're seeing on the screen right now with Kellogg's on the sky, which is what Mixwell was previously playing and Mixwell going on the Viper. I would say that removing the Sage, which is what Kellogg's was playing before, is probably the best agent to go for in terms of who you're Ooh! going to remove. So there we go. We are getting the Viper. Mixwell's going to be going on to yes! that. So we're having a bit of a cheeky yes, adaptation. Yes, yes. I love this so much, Sean. You know, not gonna lie, I was Hell trolling. On a, the sky. Yeah, I was what trolling the... a little bit when I before I was thinking about maybe mix or bringing about the viper, but they're doing it. They're doing it. Yeah, yeah. It's very interesting to see both Mixwell and Kellogg's having the roll swap on bind here. That could really throw F4Q, you know, into something they might have prepared for something totally different, right? How do you prepare for something when the entire comp looks and operates in a very, very different fashion. I'm super, super excited yeah. for this matchup. We have 5K on stage on the server. We've got Sean 3K on the desk, and it's time to toss it over <laughs> to 1K's Tom Biz. Welcome back. At ito na ang revenge match na hinaantay ng lahat para sa Group D. Ilu and Taylor nga pala as your casters for today. Nagkita na naman tayo. Kamusta ang pagtrato uh, sa'yo dito sa Filipino stream natin, Ilu? Parang ngayon ako na. Parang daming bully dito <laughs> parang, sa Filipino parang stream. Parang gusto eh. mo nalang bumalik ng Twitch ng uh, English stream natin. Parang ganun. Medyo, medyo lang naman, medyo lang naman. Pero buti na lang yung the games have been very good. You know? So, but, and it's nice that we get to cast together again. So there's a silver lining on that dark cloud. Uh, that's true, that's true. Bali-balita ko rin kahapon, parang hinahanap mo ata ako. Uh, uh, na na mention mo ata. Uh, huwag na natin pag-usapin. Uh, oh, sige, okay lang. Okay lang. Hindi <laughs> ako sanay na nagtatagalog ka, pero sige, back to the game. Oy. Because these two, nakatutuwa ka sila dito. No, 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 Nuki kills or... Mixwell. What? Nuki killed his teammate. He, he paint his own team, but the utility is still doing damage there. He even gets the kill onto... Um, he gets the kill onto Efina right there for another exchange to... Players left standing due to the F4Q side still 2v4. They take on the site already and uh, they are not yet planting. But this is the time for them to plant the spike as the rotations 
from F4Q is coming in as well. Meron pa silang Aldro na pwedeng gamitin dito and as far as I can see, there can be stars that can be set. Mula rin kay Zunba. And it's just a matter oh, yeah. of time before they hop in. Dalawang pop ng smoke going in. Magkakasalubungan si Kellogg. And of course, F4Q was able to secure that kill. Now with a 3v2 situation, Nilo. 3v2. Make that a 2v2. Esperanza. Esperanza. Magkita tayo sa ilalim ng puno ng Nihog. Mamaya pagdating ng kasing gabi. <laughs> That's what I hear when I hear his what? name. Easy kill. Yung mga, tipo, yung mga old school na what? pangalan, Esperanza. Oh, Ma. magkita tayo. Ihulog mo ang iyong buhok. Parang Rapunzel lang. Ang inyong, inyong panyuman lang. <laughs> Ilo. Mga, no. ano, mga, ano pa ba yung mga old school na pangalan? Uh, Luz Viminda. <laughs> yung mga ganon. <laughs> Luz Viminda. Saan tayo magtatagpo? Pwede rin naman. Mga Pwede ganun, naman. ganun Pwede lang din. Okay. Pero parang hindi eh. Feeling ko hindi eh. Buy round na to for G2. They have the Spectres. Parang automatic ilo. Kapag ikaw na kasama ko, napapa-English ako. Ay, dude, syempre nagpa-practice kasi tayo. Diba? Dude, para chong. Ako naman yung magpa-practice ng Pilipino na kasama ka, diba? Ah, sige, sige, sige. So, this is a snake bite. And mix well. Looking at it, trying to pinch enemies onto the side, but there's none. Ito na yung Saki Saki. Ay, tama ba? Yung nasa loob na G2. Parang... Okay, easy kills for G2. 1v4, Shorty. Yun lang naman ang dala niya ngayon. Yung nagyara Shorty. And he's just gonna wait. He's just gonna wait for exit here. Nag-exercise lang siya actually. Squats. Okay, sir. Next squats lang. And the one. Hindi pa siya na butan yung 100 squats yah per day. Yun kasi yung goal ni Zumba dito. And nakita niya naman parang magtutropa na sila during the stage na nagintro tayo, di ba? Parang nagehello hello lang sila. May fusion pa nga sila, actually. Fusion. Ha! na hinoklak pa lang sumug na tayo. <laughs> Sabaw! Tandaan mo, first, tandaan mo, Ilo, first game pa lang to ng araw. First game pa lang to. First Pero game. sana yung mga nanonood, okay pa kayo dyan. Kasi kami parang hindi na. <laughs> Day number five pa lang. Kalahati pa lang to. Pa lang. Halfway. Pa lang. We are halfway here. Sheesh. Okay? So, sabi nga ni Random Dad, joke according to your age. So, I feel like um, Ilo, Oh, I know. He is pertaining to you. Edi, wow. Sabi mo pa tanda ako. Di naman ako ganon katanda. Hindi naman. Sakto lang. Feeling ko lang. Twenties pa naman ako. Ah, okay. Twenty nine point five, no? Ha? Ha? Ano? Hindi po ako radio station na twenty twenty eight. Oh, I see, I see. Wala point five. Kasi halfway na yung taon. Twenty eight, twenty nine point five. Love radio. Tech pause is here. Uh, I think for the side of. Okay, F4Q. Si Darren Espanto nakita mo na. Naglalaro ulit ah. Ha? Huh? Si Darren An Espanto. Oh, ano? Ayun okay. oh. <laughs> <laughs> tech pause sila kasi kailangan nila i-text yung ASAP eh. Si Darren Espanto. <laughs> may ASAP pa ba? Hindi ko alam kung may ASAP pa. But this is a tech pause for the game. Um, mukhang may naayos silang issues dito. And, uh... By the way... Alam mo, alam mo yung... Oh, oh. By the way... May, um... May nagsabi. Na ano sabi? Yung... Makahaka-haka yan, eh? Hindi. Sa comment section daw, ang ibig sabihin ng, uh... Esperanza ay hope. Totoo ba? Hmm. Esperanza? Parang sa Chabocano lang daw, Chabocano. Sabi ni Constantine Player. Totoo oh. ba yan? Oo oh, nga, no? Spanish. Spanish. Ibig sabihin, hope. Oo, oh, ah. oh, oh. Ngayon ko lang nalaman yun, ha? Marami ako natututunan dito pag uh, nagkakas ako sa Tagalog broadcast, actually. Uh, minsan, okay. Minsan, hindi. Minsan, yung mga tinuturo ng viewers dito, eh, yung tipong malapit ka ng matanggalan ng trabaho. Parang ganun. Hmm. Mga, what what is he doing? Ano yung sina shake niya? Hand warmer soon. Uh, <laughs> talaga? Hand warmer soon. 
Hindi ba hand warmers yung hawak nila? <laughs> Bakit yun yung pagsashake? But di ba, kasi yung hand warmers, guys, shake talaga yun every time para iinit siya ulit. Ganun ba yun? Oo. Oh, oh. Hindi ka pa ba nakapag-try? Hindi. Wala kasi, hindi kasi available to sa Fil- Philippines. Oh, ma- eh. Mainit dito eh. Bakit mainit na kasi dito. So, available to sa mga malalabot. Kapag nag-abroad ako, bumibili akong gloves. Pero syempre, di ka pwede mag-gloves dito. Mahirap yun. Hmm. Sabi nga dito, naglabas, lumabas na daw yung dalawang binalagbag ng, <laughs> ng Sentinels. But, uh, eto na, rematch game to eh. Para sa kanila eh. Naglaban na sila last time. And uh, the score, if I'm not mistaken, it was 2-1. Yeah. F4Q was able to take on one map against G2. So, knowing that fact, this is not a game na dapat hayaan lang din ng G2. No? Hindi sila pwede magpakapan, magka, oh, yeah. maging kampante, kumbaga. This is Luffy going inside the side. Oh, wow. Hides mula ba? He gets the kill. This is a triple kill on Efina as well. 3v2 situation right now. Or make that a 2v2. As Nuki was able to shut down Efina already. Pasok na naman sila sa B-side. Pero the plant isn't there yet. They're waiting. Pace. Kaso lang naka-judge lang tong si Esperanza. Ay, si Zumba pala. Zumba. Nagsi-Zumba classes kaya to. Na-try mo na ba mag-zumba? Nakita mo na siya naka-legging sa may kulay. It's time. <laughs> na-try mo na ba mag-zumba? Hindi pa eh. Pero sabi nila, grabe daw yung pang hyperactive talaga. Sino Alam mo yung... Sino ba pa rin ka dun eh? Nadamay Excuse me, but... Well, sa harap na mismo, he was able to take on the kill. Magtitipipi ata siya dito, Ilu. Wala nang shock dart, di niya madinay yung plant. O, kaya pa. No shock dart, no recon. Wala, walang utilities lahat. Pero ang meron siya dito is actually a rifle. So, kung ma-pinpoint niya, kung mabasa niya, mag-game sense niya, kumbaga si Wix, Mixwell kung sa nagtatago. I feel like this is very much winnable. Especially 47 HP na lang din si Mixwell. Well, half eight low HP and it's Told you. not gonna be enough like you said. Just another round here for FQ, pero mahal yung round. They they lose four rifles, dude. Oh, konting exercise lang. And the zumba siya ngayon. And the one. And <laughs> papakita pa siya ng arrow, eh. Papakita pa siya ng bow and arrow. But F4Q was able to take that round. Like you said, it was very much expensive. Apat na casualties ang nakuha actually on the side of F4Q. Ang ganda ng ginawa ni Efina dito. He was able to tag down three players actually. Kaso nga lang, hindi enough kung yung ibang players din is mananockout. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're clearly celebrating because a win is a win. But uh, honestly, it's not much to celebrate about. Kasi tignan mo naman yung bibili nila ngayon dalawang judge. Uh, Bulldog. Ayan. Broken by. Kailangan nila sabayan eh. Kailangan nila yeah. sabayan yung phantom I na mean, meron si Esperanza. It's so. actually worth eco eh pag ganun. Sa tingin ko. Worth really? it siya mag-eco. Oo, kasi pag na matalo full, kayo. Na ano ka lang? Naka-sheriff ka lang talaga? I, kahit eh. Kahit full eco nga kasi. Kung ganun, kung silang nabuhay sa inyo, you can have that one rifle. Just try to do some work. Try to get some kills. And save up for the operator next round. Some teams do it. Oh, And, anong eco-eco? Kahit anong gawin mo si Bunny araw-araw? Judge lang naman din yung bibili niya. It's a bad <laughs> Parang anong sense, no? For Bunny, but for the other players, can be. Uh, na- nabasag na agad ng G2 yung setup nila on uh, B side, eh. Yung crossfire ng turret at saka ni Bunny. But this is the Hunter's Fury mula kay Esperanza trying to tag enemies. Nakakita siya lang isa, pero it's not enough to get the kill. Si Luki nag-aantay na lang din. This is also Zumba holding on to this charge. Kailangan mawakan nila yung choke point. Dito oh naman din with a double kill right there. And Kellogg is able to secure a 2-2-2 trade. Two kills with a judge, and that's actually pretty good progress here for FQ, but they still need to win the round. Another kill from Kellogg's. 30 seconds left. Triple kill na siya ngayon. Still a rifle and a judge. Pretty dangerous in the hands of the FQ members. Painshell oh, is actually gonna Slide force him out of position a. and out into the open. Avova, he's not gonna get spotted by the turret. Oh, this could be huge. Hindi siya nakikita ng turret. Ayan, si Nira niya. Alam... Oh, si Nira yung lockdown. Big play yun kay Avova. If he gets the skill, it's even better. But... It's not gonna happen as Athena. Makukuha niya. Four seconds left. Kailangan niyang i-stick tong plant na to. That's gonna be the satchel charge swing out play. Pero the 
wall will save his life, but only for a second longer. Triple kill na naman si Efina. Kanina pa to ah. Kanina pa to. Sumusobra ka na, Efina. 2021 na talaga. But, uh, I would say with G2. Nice spray, by the way. But, uh, hindi pala spray yun. Yung pala yung finisher ng glitch pop, if I'm not mistaken. It all started, yung domino effect na yan, when this choke point, yung hold doon sa lamps, with the judge, was able to punish two players. Even though with a 2-2-2 trade, you still lost a lot of money on that. You still lost rifles on that against a judge and bulldogs. I guess it's a good thing, lalo na dito sa bind, yung mga bind na ganun, pwede mo pang i-go for. Pero pag sabihin natin Icebox or Breeze or, you know, Haven, when you lose four players on the anti-eco round, that's kind of when it's worth considering a save on, on the bonus round. But, you know, considering the fact that they are playing on bind and the close-range shotguns, just like the judges, they're more effective and they're more, you know, likely to get a kill. That's why they go for those. And actually, gumana eh, yung double judge setup nila. Gumana. Maaga. Maagang time out para sa G2. Pangalawa na to. Also, uh, yung mga judge plays. Like you said, yung mga bahay na pwede nilang i-hold. Mm -mm. May plano sana yung uh, F4Q eh, dun sa huka. Nag-set up sila ng turret. Sinet up din yung, um, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, yung alarm bot. On the other side, and then on the other side naman, is si Bunny na nag-aantay. Maganda yeah. sana yung set up, but they also have the raise on the side of G2. So, once na susubukan nilang i-clear out yung uh, corners ng Kuka, nabasag na with the paint shells. So, it doesn't make sense anymore. Kung baga si Bonnie na lang din yung naiwan and then nasayang pa yung turret, nasayang din yung alarm bot. Ang daming utilities yung nawala actually dun sa side ng F4Q eh, But they still manage. You know what's... um, You, you know what's... Uh, an interesting factoid or hot take para sa akin. If nanalo ang FQ dito at natalo nila ang G2, confirm Korea number two region. Just saying. Because Vision Strikers just beat Ascent, man. Oh, and that's it, true. Secure the Citizen Champions. Exactly. And F4, if F4Q can, um, can play really well against G2, can maybe even take a victory. Oh, nice shot right there. Nuki. Again, one of the best races around. But can he go up against the alleged best race in the world? It was a Zibani. Nice kill. Oh, he gets a kill with the satchel? The satchel charge? Okay. Okay. I see you, buddy. I see you. The best race in the world. But G2, they planted a spike. This is a critical angle. It's good for Mixwell. He was able to take on the kill and secure the round for G2. And they've been talking about it. They've been talking about tactical posts so they can talk about the things that they can talk about. If you can see it, you'll kill it. I'm surprised though. Na si 5K hindi niya na punish yung isang player ng G2 with the Odin. Kasi nag-connect na yung shots eh. Oh. How did the kill happen? Paano nangyari yung satchel kill? That's what I couldn't see. Dahil Ayun sa left side oh. Sa kaliwa. Sa kaliwa niya bila to. Tapos nag-swing sa... Hindi natin nakita eh. Wala rin sa replay eh. <laughs> Natakpan ang Viper Spit actually. Hmm. Five man push, Elu. Five man push. Let's go straight towards the site. Odin is what they have in their hands, and they're gonna be trying to go for that pick off. But it's actually gonna be an aggressive push here by F4Q. They get all the way towards the back, but towards long, which they have to go to. And they're actually gonna have three players committing all the way to that B long angle. Nuki's gonna check it. Wala siyang makikita for now. Meron siyang showstopper kung makakailangan niya. But I imagine there's gonna be a little bit of a flash play here before they check the angle. That's one. Showstopper to the face. Nice shot right there onto Athena. But Esperanza gets one back. Nuki follows it up with another. And Avova will chime in with another yet again. 2v4. Marana Coverney 5k ang Marshall dito. But can he find the headshot? Doesn't look like it. It's gonna be another round here. G2. Makukuha nila ang 4-2. Malinis eh. Limang, limang tao nag-push on Bilong. And then on the other hand, pag tinignan mo din yung ultimate economy na meron sila, ang laki ng space na meron on B-site eh. Nakapasok ko sila doon, they are ready and set para sa post-plant situation. Meron silang Hunter's Fury, meron ding nakaset na of course yung Cosmic Divide and everything else. But also, Nuki, mas madali siyang makakapag-aggressive play on uh, B-Long. Nagahanap talaga siya ng mapapatay actually. Once na nakita niya na may tao na on B-Long, he acknowledges na merong dalawa at least. 
pinop niya na yung showstopper niya and nakaiwas yung iba pero he was able to take on one kill just punishing players after players mababawasan mababawasan mahirapan talaga mag retake yung G2 and completely shutting them down on that round time out na naman and this is I think para sa side ng F4Q kung hindi ako nagkakamali best raise in the world kaso 2-5 siya ngayon um, Nuki is the one with 8 so mukhang onting raise diff ngayon mukhang onting raise diff Be best uh, pinost ko yun eh pinost ko yun sa page ko eh yep Best bunny and a uh, best best raise in the world. Nope, uh, he's not even the best raise in Korea. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know people, you know players. Na alam yun, talaga. Yeah. Trash talk lang, tamang ano lang na. I'm the best raise in the world. I can say mm. I'm the best sage in the world, diba? Pero mema ko lang yun. I'm the best jet in. Sabi nga nila, nakalaban nila yung Sentinels, di ba? F4Q dun sa interview nila before mag-start actually itong match na to. Kalaban na nila yung Sentinels and uh, sa tingin nila, yung uh, pagdating sa aim duel na G2 saka Sentinels saka sa kanila, parang any other Korean team lang daw tong G2. Yeah, you know, yeah, I agree. Do you agree though? G2? Would you say that G2? Honestly, yeah, honestly, yeah, G2 is very 50-50. Kasi may, medyo gets ko yung point nila Kasi minsan naman yung G2 parang Wala okay rin lang. sa server Ganun. Sobrang hit and miss nila eh Either sobrang galing ng G2 or sobrang hindi Isa lang yun eh they're, they're rarely ever consistent You saw it yesterday I mean previously in their other games G2 is never a consistent team mm, A very I mean, interesting look, thing Look, uh, G2 They can go from a team that can beat Sentinels on a map From a team that can't even win a single map or Against other against any region Yeah, yeah. You, you have a point My point is that now with Kellogg's pushing in, kasama yung guiding light, pero ding recon to secure lang kung may tao pa ba on site. Pero mukhang may sumasabog ng bukot somewhere. May tao pa sa tooth, nakakuha din ng isa si Kellogg's. And looking for another one, yan ang gusto niyang sabihin. 4v3 situation, this is the operator na mahirapan gamitin ni Bunny. Kasi actually, this is a cosmic divide up already. And the players of G2 is really playing close. Spe especially, specifically, sino yung nasa tabi mismo? Yung Sky, si Kelox nag-aantay lang to na may lumabas eh. Mukhang magbabak na dito ang F4Q, but that's okay. I mean, look at all the utility and the... You know, if they save three players, they can still buy in the next round. So it's gonna be alright for them. It's not gonna be great, but it's better to save right now. And I actually like the call to save, especially when you have an operator na wala masyadong nakuha. Um, they needed to get a pick in the early... Yeah, what? Early first 10 seconds of the retake. Mm -hmm. But uh, they didn't get one. They, all they got was a tag onto Avova, who's now AHP. But still, they needed a kill if they wanted to happen. Uh, if they wanted the retake to happen, especially with an operator. So, safe call. And it's a good call. They're going for the safe play. Uh, they knew at that point, with a cosmic divide, na nakataas na rin, na parang... Lamen eh, mahirap eh. Kailangan na lang natin kunin tong mga baril natin. Tago na lang muna natin to and just play for another round with a timeout. Sunod-sunod the timeout for both sides of the team. May sinasabi dito yung comment sections. Ano? Ayun. Malak malakas naman yung G2 eh, pero malakas din daw man trash talk. <laughs> Ayun, bro. But my facts naman. Minsan kasi, alam mo yun, kailangan nyo din ng drama. Magkakaibigan naman yung mga yan. At saka boring din kasi kung walang nag- uh, ano, Oh, no, walang, walang nag-aaway. Nag Nagaaway. Uh -huh. Di naman siya kasi yung trash talk na bastusan eh, oh, di ba? Yung trash talk ng uh, banter. Tra trash talk with respect. <laughs> Alam mo may nakita akong post banter. sa, sa Valorant Philippines or something. Basta sa Facebook group na medyo sumikat na normalized trash talk in in uh, in Valorant. You know mga sobrang kitid ng utak, di ba? Like that is different from banter na trash talk. Kasi may trash talk na nakakatuwa eh. and it's like it makes the game more fun to watch and more fun to play. But if trash talk na talagang personal and whatever, that's absolutely just there's no excuse for it. Yep. Nagbabasa ba daw tayo ng YouTube comments casters? Yes. Hindi eh. This. Ako binabasa ko actually. Yung doon ang galing yung ano eh. Ah, sige, ikaw na sa YouTube, ako dito sa uh, Facebook, sa sa Twitch or whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Pang-pa-hype lang din, kumbaga. But, May nagtatanong but, sa comment, when is Bren playing? Um, well, next year? Next year. Malay nyo sa December. Later this Malay year. Malay nyo? This, in this October. Sure, at least October. Oh, uh, yeah, October, yeah, December. that's true. LCQ. Probably. Mm. Hopefully. 
going back to the game. Hawak pa rin nila G2 yung ano eh, yung Odin eh. Sila pa rin may kapit neto na actually nakuha ata nila to sa F4Q. Sina ba yan? Sana yung gravity well ng Hunter Fury. Magko-connect and good pa? Pero nakaimus pa siya, naka-sidestep siya doon. Grabe ang daw. Nabuhay pa siya doon sa pain siya. Lahat na binuhos sa kanya pero buhay pa rin siya. But look at this, Bunny. Can you make a play with the operator? Best rage in the world. Let's see what you got. He's just gonna smoke off the angle. Magro-rotate sila. Double teleport coming in. And pupunta sila towards A. Deploying drone. Oh, Zumba is stuck in that position na ngayon. With 11 HP. Ma-heal siya ni 5k dito eh. Kaso nga lang, nagro-rotate na rin si 5k. Papunta ng A side. And this is also a punish from Nuki. Naka nakakuha ng double kill. Tatlong players na lang natitira para sa side ng F4Q. At yung isa dyan, a very low on HP, which is si Zumba nga. This is the operator yet again for Bunny. And nahuli na naman siya ni Nuki. Masyado ng deep yung pag-take ng site ng G2 dito. And they are not aware anymore. They don't have information at all. One With this gun, remaining. sa tingin mo, mag-aabang at mag-aabang na lang din yan. Pero the angle na kinukuha ni Nuki dito, slowly but surely, na ready to take the kills. May nagtatanong sa comments, asan yung isang caster? Sino? 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 Ha? I like to ask questions. Sino? Turo mo. Sino dyan? Asan siya? Oo kami. Marami. There's like five of us, dude. Oh, lima, lima kami casters. Lima kami casters, eh. So, sino sa amin? Sino sa amin? Si Ray Ray ba na napakamalas? Always three games? Si Dax and ba? And 7am? Si Dax Or... ba? Or... Yung isa. Yung maingay. <laughs> yung maingay? Yung maingay. <laughs> yung maingay, <laughs> maingay ba? <laughs> Yun ba yung inahanap niya, yung maingay? <laughs> Literal na shoutcaster? Shoutout pala kayo. Kaya mo bang gumawa ng villain pa rin? Hindi ko kaya yung gawin. Masakit sa lala. Masakit sa lala muna yung ginagawa ni Vinny. Bawas naman kahit our more lang. Kill of the same to secure the kill. Going for the second, he takes it. Eco run pala to para sa F4Q. Mahirap. Okay, pero ito. Eco on team 3. 3v5 na ngayon na kaibig. <laughs> That's my best villain impression. Spike planted. Ah, uh, kung bibig kung ako papasabihin mo ng villain impression, I can go on for one years para lang okay. sabihin kung ano yung mga sinasabi niya literal pagdating. Okay. May script na kami na hindi scripted. Alam mo 'yun? Ah, oh, talaga. <laughs> yung para alam ko na kaya kong tapusin yung mga sentence niya. Oh, oh my, kita mo yung cast niya. Eh. Mga sabay-sabay, no? Paper only, paper only, pero hindi only. naman dapat magkasabay. <laughs> You was able to secure two kills. Oh, yep. Two kills. Big deal. But still, it's a 1v3. I mean, they'll, they'll be happy to just get whatever kills they can. 5k. He's going to get spotted out. Now they know exactly where he is. The spike will go down. He's going to get pinched from the back. And he should not be alive. He's going to try to get this rifle. Makukuha and he actually siya. will. Makukuha niya. <laughs> <laughs> Kinayaan na lang din siya ng uh, Sige na nga, tayo na yun, kulit mo Ayaw mo magpakita Kanina pa naman alam yung position niya dun eh Kahit hindi siya magpatan so, uh, Ayaw nilang ipik Ayaw nilang sayangan yung mga baril niya Kasi alam nila si 5k to Ayan, Ganyan ba naman Ayan, kumuha ng kill si 5k Sisilipin mo pa Alam mo namang nag-iisa na lang siya Tapos wala siyang baril Kaso meron siyang nakuha baril Yun nga lang Nakapag-save hmm. pa rin siya Shoutout nga para dyan sa mga Twitch mod naming malulupit. Yung mga minion ni Asian dyan. Mga sboff. Mga sboff. Salamat sa pagmumod ng Twitch chat namin. Kayo ay... Salamat. Pati yung uh, mga mod natin sa, ano, sa YouTube. Ah, uh, sa YouTube. Tsaka sa... Sila ang tunay Facebook. na the mods. Yung mga tungkulan na, na ginagampanan nyo ay hindi madali. Masakit yung pages. <laughs> Sinalo ni Aboba. <laughs> He gets back down with the pain shells. Na, alam mo, once na naglabas na ng pain shells or kaya once na naglabas na ng showstopper ang isang raid, no matik eh, ina-alt F4 ko na lang. Hindi ko na nilalaro. May tanong si Day na, Ilus, happy ka na ba nandyan na yung hinahanap mo? <laughs> Oy! Tigil-tigilan niyo ako. Sino ba hinahanap mo? Wala! Oh, no! This is a 
bad news para kay 5k he goes down because of that Odin and ang ganda ng pinch actually ni Cold Mento doon nagrecon siya and then na, once na nakita niya alam niyang wall bangable sabi nga ni Asura every wall is bangable so yun ang ginawa niya just taking kills after kills even without seeing them yung una sa paint shells yung pakalawa ng wall bang dito with the Odin yup oh he gets pinged up and taken down 3v4 na ngayon, malaki yung advantage ng G2, 180 shot for Mixed Whale, pero mahanap din siya ni Afina, 2v3, and not a lot of time, and so they're gonna have to get a quill quick, Coldamenta still alive, 10 HP, he's gonna play safe, he knows he needs to play safe here, they can't peek him, but Esperanza gets the kill up and forces yet again another save. <laughs> sige, sige, lumabas kayo, and defuse nyo yung spike, showstopper yung dina, nakaba. Dina. Dina, Dina, uwi na kami. Patakbo na lang sila dito. Ilo, at that point, wala ka na rin kasing magagawa eh. Tsaka si Nuki, alam niya naman na ang daming rounds din na... Uh, alam mo yun. Dalawa na lang yung natitirang rounds. It feels like this is the right time just to get that point. Around is around pa rin. And uh, G2, with this map, like, bind, nahihirapan talaga yung F4Q. To take any rounds at all from them. Ito na inis na ako kay PPJ. Clip ng clip ng hindi dapat ika clip eh. <laughs> <laughs> Alam daw ni PPJ yun. Ano ba yun? Pinapag tripan talaga ako ng PPJ eh. Kaya ayoko na dito sa Pilipino broadcast. Wala. Nambubuli ka. Nambubuli. Nambubuli ako dito eh. Well, tayo lang. Wait lang. Tignan natin kung mabubuli sila sa hookah. Nice shot coming up right there from Mifina. He gets the first kill. Uy! <laughs> Body! Ferrari peeks onto Mixwell. Let's go with the Speed judge. Lag. Speed Drive lag. Speed lag. Kachao, kumbaga. Pero Esperanza, he is definitely aware na may tao na on backside. Kaso nga lang dalawa yun eh. This is also the take again mula sa G2. And kahit saan, parang hindi mo malalaman kung saan mo makikita yung G2. Isang picket mo lang, nasa likod mo na sila. Tapos all the way, rotation papunta A side mula CT. May love team din pala sa mga shoutcaster. <laughs> Wala! Sino nagsabi? Walang ganun. Walang ganun. Si Average Junas. Si Average, sabi si Average. Si Average Jomar. Hindi <laughs> nyo makilala si Average Jomar? Kilala nyo ba si Average Jomar? Ops. Kelox. Nice kill on the 5k. Yung video na naman. And the double teleport. Mahahabol nyo to. Mahahabol ni Bunny. He gets one. Looking for another hides at the right spot. But a low HP siya. Hindi na niya ipapush yung envelope dito. It's actually gonna be a little bit of a rotation here. The information is given that he is in hookah. 12 seconds left. He has like, wala nang choice. Si Cold Menta. And that is gonna make it even harder. What? Has to He's force just gonna fight. beat this one. Wala, wala siyang choice. Eh, na vulnerable siya from two angles. Eh. Tsaka may ano pa. May Stano Swarm pa. Ah. Uy! Bunny! Hindi, hindi, Last hindi nila nakuha. Um, ano na, tapos na yung timer ah, tapos actually. Na yun. okay, okay, okay. Tapos na yung timer. Huh? Wait, A3? Oo oh, nga eh. Hindi, 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 tama, tama, tama. tama. Oh, nagantay lang si Bunny Naubos actually. Naubos yung oras ng G2. I really think na Ilo on the other hand. Meron siya oh. enough time para i-plant yung spike eh. Inside tube, na hindi na wawal bang. Doon sa gitna. I, I don't think so. Kasi medyo malalim si Efina eh. And then, yung isa nasa teleporter right pa. Hindi, i-rush niya lang yun eh. Wala na siyang choice na eh. Pag si Ina to, makbo lang ng konti. Uh, he has like no time. Even if he stuck the plant inside too, if Ina could have just rushed him and sprayed. Um, at least he have the money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he actually survives and get two kills. So, pwede yeah. uh, I still feel like it's a winnable round. I don't know what a comment section thinks. So, tingin niyo ba guys, kaya pa ba yun o hindi na? Pero moving forward, this is the last round para sa first half natin, Ilu. And uh -oh. if G2 can just punish them easily, kagaya ng ginagawa nila ngayon, especially kapag si Bunny na nawawala na sa mapa, it seems like talagang nahihirapan sila. Nadampot na nga yung, uh, yung kanyang judge dito. No? And this can hurt a lot para sa side ng F4Q. Isang mga sa Viper's Fist. Lang. Lalo na sa loob ng Viper's Pit, masakit yung judge. But the Hunter's Fury will uh, tag one up. 5k goes down to 45 HP. Meron pa silang mga utility na 
na maibaba to dito towards that A side. But this retake is so difficult for F4. You know information. That's gonna be the divide coming out, and they're going to be getting some angle onto the site. But they're running out of time. They need to go now. Much I don't they delay ngayon ang F4Q. They decide to go, but it's too little, too late. Mixo, three kills with the judge. Tulad nga ng sinabi mo, 9-3. The judge reigns supreme sa ng Viper Spit. <laughs> it just works out. Hold mo lang yung close, eh. Lalo na kung alam mo naman kung saan papasok yung F4Q completely, di ba? So, just hold CT. Abangan mo lang sila kahit mabawasan ka ng kaunti with a peak. Uh, ganun pa din, eh. Isang click ka lang ng judge. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. G2... Very much um, on the higher higher ground pagdating sa scoreline natin. Medyo malayo yung kailangan habulin ng F4Q dito. And uh, si Darren Espanto eh, ina-adjust adjust na lang yung kanya mouse. Baka no, may problema. Nakapala yung kanta ni Darren Espanto. Hindi ko alam, men. Sinasabi ko, memo lang ako. Na... Kung nuwari, kilala ko siya, pero... May isang kanta siya na sikat eh. Teka lang, hanapin ko. Hindi ko alam. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> mo alam. Ulo, kung nuwari ka pa, di mo alam. Ano? Ano? Pinapakig... <laughs> ano? <laughs> Nakalimutan mo ata ng kakastayo. <laughs> <laughs> ano? <laughs> Pala, sabi ko maganda ka. Oh tiro. my God. Napakaganda Una, mo. Si Bill, matatanggal na. Um, susunod si Ilu. Ako, feeling ko ako yung long-standing employee. Very good or best employee ng PPGL. Kaya, for big shoutouts to PPGL right now. Yep, for now, ako yung best employee. Uh, sumunod si, si Ray Ray, actually, yung best employee. Simula, hanggang 7 a.m. Gising siya dito, actually. Yep. No? So, nahuli ka ng comment section kasi sinasabi na nila... <laughs> Yo <laughs> 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 sinabi mo. Wag niyo nga akong i-call out. Ano ba 'yan? Wag niyo akong i-call out. Tama na. Yeah. Sino kayo diyan? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, malapit ka na Bumingo, Ilu. Uh, no? So, anyway, G2 versus F4Q. From the first match na nakita natin kasi rematch na to, Ilu eh. May difference ba on how they play o parang same lang? Kasi I really think If I'm not mistaken, kapag check natin, alam ko, ang pumili ng mapa na to, si F4Q eh. Bind? Yep. Bind? Let's see. Let's see. I mean, Bind sa tingin ko, it's gonna go, yeah, I think Bind F4Q, is... F4Q, bing, pick. What? F4Q, yeah. pick Bind. Oo nga. Tama ka. <laughs> Lagi naman akong tama. <laughs> sure. Yes. Pero tignan mo, nakita mo, sino ba yun? Si, si Kellox? Uh -oh. Left-handed siya, no? So, <laughs> bakit? Bakit ka tumatawa? Totoo naman yung sinasabi ko, ha? Hindi, <laughs> may nagka-comment kasi. May bago ka ng pangaran. Pangaran? Pangaran? <laughs> Uroar. <laughs> Wala. Gets? Nakita mo yung hawa... Hindi, hindi ko na-gets. Pero hindi sige, okay lang. Oh. Si, si Kellox, yung right hand niya nandoon sa WAST. Tapos yung left niya yung nasa mouse. Very interested to, to actually see kung paano, nang, paano niya nilalaro yun or paano niya... Uh, you know, some players, like, I think it was Scream who uses a different kind of keyboard. Iba yata yung keys na ginagamit ano niya. Uh, parang Z yata yung ginagamit niya pang movement or something like that. Naka-Devora keyboard yata siya or something. Basta may isang player. Weird si Scream keys? Yata yun. Basta mga weird keyboard yung gamit. Tapos iba, -iba yung, yung mga pang movement nila katulad ng... Basta. <laughs> kasi mga yun galing hindi mo naman tinuloy <laughs> hindi kasi may mga ibang player kasi nagamit galing sila sa LAN tournament eh, sa LAN tournament wala naman oh. kasi masyadong space ah, so yung hindi ginagawa malalaki nila, yung lamesa hindi ka gaya nito mm -mm. hindi ka gaya dyan na hindi ka pwede makipag fist bump mag shoulder bump every round wala ano lang talagang pangwalayuan lang kumbaga yep pero Mahirap ba? Ay, siguro depende na lang din sa mga players. No? Kasi ako, kunwari, pag naglalaro ako ng Valorant, ang default lang naman din yung keys na meron ako. Um, yung iba, pinapalitan yung mouse buttons doon na pupunta uh, yung, yung skills. Yung mouse button ko kasi ginagamit keys. ko pang mouse, pang communication eh. Ah, oh, totoo. So, yun din ganagawa yung, ko. Kasi yun ang pinakamabilis eh. Hindi na ako mag-reach mm. sa V. Nasa right. So, my my voice is sa mouse button 4, for party, for team naman, nasa mouse button 3. Yung ganon. Same, same, Or same. Or 5 pala. 20. Anyway. Anyway, going back to the game, as we had in... First match pa rin to, para sa araw na to, no? So, 
um, haba-haba pa o marami pang bigas na kakainin ang effort you dito. Anim na rounds pa yung kailangan nila mabawi. And the first step towards that is actually securing this pistol round for a higher chance. Sana all may chance. <laughs> <laughs> Ilo, no. Bakit ganda tayo pag magkasama laging sabaw? No. Ang gandito ba naman? <laughs> Mr. Shoot Your Shot. Illustrado. It's not my fault. Blame chat. Alright, they're starting If it. you're not a good shot today. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry. Yeah. There are other ways you can be useful. <laughs> Kaya gamitin mo na lang ang ibang bagay sa pagiging useful, okay? Okay. Okay. Yes po. Blinded. <laughs> Ilu! Ano? 9-3 na! Mag-cast ka muna! Okay, Papapagalita okay, okay. Papapagalita ka na ni PPGL. Meron ka na. Bibingo ka na! <laughs> okay, Unang okay, game pa lang to. <laughs> okay, okay. Shh. Shh. Nag-focus ako. Wait lang. Nag-focus ako. Wait. Okay, ayan na mga kaibigan. 9-3 na ngayon ang score left. line. G2, 9. F4Q is 3. And they're gonna make that dash off to that A side here. Nuki, close range. He's gonna pull out that paint shell. Si Bunny ang mawawantap dito ni Mixwell. Nasa na ang best race in the world. Taken out of the picture. But the, oh, the lineup from Nuki has another paint shell. And that's gonna be another cleanup. G2 na ngayon. They're taking it. Ma they have uh, double digits against F4Q. Some map choice pa nila. Meron silang Viper eh. Ito kaya rin pa na ko ng isang Viper on a map na kagaya ng Vine. Dahil nga dito sa wall up, especially kapag pistol round, napakasakit niyan. Isipin mo, naka wall up ka. Pag once na malaman nila information na nasa short A ka na, batuhan ka ng paint shells, it's gonna hurt a lot. Like, kayang-kaya ka agad mapatay. Even with a pistol shot, ilang ilang shots ba kailangan mo? One, two, tatlo, mga ganun lang. And you can uh, you can actually get the kill immediately. So, napaka-laking bagay ng meron ng Viper on a map like Vine 2 as well. Na usually, hindi naman natin nakikita dati. Masyado. Dati, masyado. Yeah. Five pistols here for F4Q. Alam nila, kailangan nila mag-save. Look at this push. So aggressive here. Three people. Coming out of the shower, and they're gonna be finding this pick up onto Zumba. No more Zumba for you as Kelo gets another kill. Finding Esperanza and 5k man. Yeah, ang kamatayan niya. Oh, Hindi Davina. gumagana yung 9 3 curse. For the thing. So, F4Q the kill from Cold Dementa. Isa na lang na titira, and that is Bunny. Na tweeting and tinitig na lang yung knife niya sa spawn. Nagahanap ng pwede yung mapatay. Medyo malayo, pero na dink actually. May pain shells siya ang pwedeng gamitin. Magko-connect ba? Parang pang delay lang, kumbaga sa push ng G2. But it's not gonna be enough, an easy punish, an easy round para sa G2 knowing na buy round din naman nila to. Yeah. This, honestly, this game is pretty much done here unless we see a miracle comeback. Tulad na nakita natin na from, from Gambit. I just don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, Gambit is a team that can make these comebacks happen. Pero para sa akin yung F4Q, hindi pa sila nasa level na makakapag-comeback ng ganon. Kasi if sobrang next level na yung Gambit eh. Ah, uh, yung ano pala, yung 100 Thieves pala. Mali, hindi pala Gambit. But yeah, uh, the point still applies. I, F4Q is still not on the level of 100 Thieves. They don't have the experience like Kiko does. They don't have the, you know, uh, mm -hmm. shot calling like Steel does. And honestly, the aim, it's not as good as we hope to see. So this map, it's pretty much, I think it's going to be over. There are teams that I expect that they can only come back, even so far. I just don't think F4Q has that right now. Oh, honestly speaking, I feel the same way, same sentiments when it comes to this up And uh, F4Q so, as a team. They also said that they also said that they also said in their interview this is just a team that is sama and they didn't expect na makakapasok sila sa Nationals Berlin. And once na nandito na sila, susubukan nila yung best nila. And this is them trying to show the world that they can get a map or two against these teams na talagang long-standing na pagdating sa mga competitive scene or tournaments like this o malalaki or major tournaments na meron sa buong mundo. But looking at it, First map pa lang natin. It seems like mahihirapan sila lalo na yung next map natin. G2 rin yung pumili nun eh. Map possibility rin for G2. Oh no, Mixwell finds oh. a pick with the Spectre. They find three total. Esperanza, alam na ang position niya. 
has to come up massive in a 1v2, but even with a Vandal in his hands, Mixwell wins with the Spectre? Hmm. The other players, I mean, it's it was easy to think. <laughs> on point to on point, si Mixwell dun sa tutok niya eh. Isang mabili, isang burst down lang, and all the enemies na nakatapat niya was actually really close to him. Yep. So it's not too but that bad. Last shot, but that last shot um, towards See? like pocket. Hindi, pero yung sa pocket, ang layo nun eh. Yun, okay. Uh, the thing is, meron din siyang kasabay. It was a double peak or double push. Hindi, around the, the corner pa yun eh. Oh, nga, still, around the corner oh, siya, what? pero alam mo yung pressure? Yeah. Na magsiswing ka pa kabila o kaya ililipat i i sa swipe mo ulit yung mouse mo. Tama. Oh, sucky sucky gravity well. Mamba out muna para kay Jun ba. This is also the flame oh, no. laser. Mukha ang they're getting pressure from the every day seekers. Oh, bulag siya pero nakuha niya pa rin. And still it's advantage for G2 as they get complete control over the A side here including even showers. And this forces F4Q all the way back. Dito naman ang layo nila. They can't even get close. Afina can't land a shot and now it's a 2v4. This is pretty much done and dusted here, Terror. I think ito na yung katapusan ng F4Q. It's just a matter of time before Bunny and 5K will be shut down. At isa na nga lang ang natitira. 5K na lang. Can he get that 5 kills? Or rather 4? Kasi apat na lang sila dito. He gets 1. You know, 5K is very much on point pagdating sa mga shots na meron siya. Meron siyang utilities na pwede pang gamitin dito. Yung Trailblazer and yung also yung kanyang Guiding Light. So this is very much, in a way, winnable if he uses it the right way. Nakapal blind siya ng isa. He takes another kill. A 1v2 situation. Mula sa 1v4. 1v2 na lang. And meron pa siyang time dito para makapal plant ng spike. At the same time, may trailblazer pang pwede gamitin. Pero meron nang nag-boost o meron nang nag-satchel in play, which is a new key. Hindi na enough para sa powers ni 5k na kumuha pa ng isa o maklats yung round na to. F4Q was shut down again. 1-0 G2 para sa first series natin, Ilu. Yeah, and honestly, you know, it started out really well for G2. I thought it could have been a game that they maybe, you know, take a lot of rounds. Pero hindi yun ang nakita natin. Mas malakas talaga yung G2 ngayon. And they're starting off hot. You know, they started playing like themselves. They started playing a little bit more, um, I'd say, conservative. Hindi sila, you know, nagwawala. Only at the end, nung medyo out of control na yung momentum ng G2, that's when they started doing those, yung mga peaks nila towards showers, nag-teleport play sila, and then they started pinching on the showers. That's only towards the end of the game. But what I really liked was the fact that yung G2, they were able to keep their emotions in control. They were able to play like themselves. And they didn't look like the G2 na... I'm not, I'm, you know, there's no way to sugarcoat it that throws games that they shouldn't. Because it means that it's going from G2, you know? Yeah, from time to time, alam naman natin na dadala ng emotion kung baga yung mga players natin. Uh, although, on the other hand, I would say that with the side of G2, all their shots really connected. Eh. Wala akong chance or walang specific time na nakita ko na may mga kanya kanyang whiff. Now, dapat sure kill na, pero hindi naman ng yare. And also, no. this kinds or types of play na. Talagang they are securing the control on lamps. They secure control in a specific. Now, once na nagset sila ng, ito yung mindset nila na magko-control tayo ng muka, yun at yun ang gagawin nila. And that's what they do. You know, once again, once they set their mind to it, they do it. And, oh my God, there's a couple of disgusting peaks here. Just G2, Mixwell with the judge. Just so many times that he was able to get killed with inferior weaponry. Kahit judge man yan, judge or specter or pistol, he still finds the kills. And when your players like Mixwell are hitting their shots, it makes things so much easier for the rest of the team. Katulad ni Nuke, katulad, you know, uh, like Codamento was able to pop off as well. On the other side, F4Q, they were all really struggling, all grasping at straws, trying to get kills, trying to get map position, but they were all denied by G2 every single round. Tsaka sa unang rounds din na nakita natin, uh, especially on the defenders pagdating sa G2, 
na-punish agad nila dahil, of course, with the wall of the viper. ba diba? Medyo masakit talaga kapag pumasok ka ka- ka- kaagad doon. And napakalaki na nung gap. So, yun yung momentum shift eh, talaga. Yung first pistol round ng second half natin, knowing na malaki na ang difference ng G2 pagdating sa F4Q. May game number two pa tayo na makikita and hindi pa tapos ang bakbakan. No? So, series one pa lang yan para sa araw na ito. Huwag kayong alis because uh, Valorant Masters Berlin ay muling magbabalik. Sabahin na to. I care that my family wins. First one ka sa meeting, that's a win. Morning, everyone. Dad. Panalo rin kung sabi ni Doc, all oh, clear. That's right. You can have the cookie. And congratulations, tanahan mo ang spoilers. I make sure all their needs are taken care of, kaya walang napag-iiwanan. This year's class valedictorian is Victor. Banano. Winning starts at home with Globe at Home Only Fiber Up Plan. Power your home with health essentials. And entertainment for the family. Manalo talaga. Guys, pictures! Bye! Berlin, where the G2 have taken map one over F4Q on Bind. I'm Yingsu, and I'm joined once again by Gio and Sean Gares. Now, we talked about the agent compositions and who could make a change in uh, the beginning of the show. Mixwell moving on to the Viper. Sean, do you feel like there was a bit of a Viper diff there? Absolutely. I think Mixwell's utility and just the changes, Kellogg's even on the sky, top fragging for his team, right? Previously, Mixwell saw, like struggled a little bit on the sky in the matchup. 
this time around the sky, the sky diff was huge because 5k, again, only five kills in that game with a sky. I hate to do it to him, but I mean, the difference between those two players was just insane. I have to say, I really love the way that Mixwell used a lot of his utility as well. He had some really creative Vipers pits that he liked to yes. use. You know, we saw him use it on the defense over in showers to deny that area to uh, to the attack of F4Q. But also uh, on the first half, uh, you know, when they were setting up a post plant, he uses it basically in U-Haul to deny the access into the defender spawn. And it basically meant retakes were completely impossible for F4Q. And they really struggled with maintaining the control of the A side as a result. Yeah, and you mentioned the the alt in showers it's not just that though it's the viper wall that could cut all of b the entrances from hookah and long or the poison orb on short a that operates as a one way when you're a viper and you have your alt like that on defense side of bind you have full map control yeah you mentioned kellogg's there uh, sean but geo we've seen him do this in emea he has played mm -hmm. sky on bind before uh, i remember this it was his sky on bind that actually beat fnatic when they came back from iceland on the on this map and also of course uh, i think he dropped an astronaut amount of kills when they played against FPX as well. But it's great to see someone like Kellogg's being able to have this versatility on land. I just love how aggressive he was playing on, on the sky, but I totally agree with you. It is that versatility. It is the fact that they can recognize that X, Y, and Z wasn't working. We move over to A, B, and C. And in this case, the A, B, and C was putting Kellogg's on the sky and having that work. And the way they played around it was just so good. I mean, him pushing up onto, onto the attack of spawn, just getting like high progressive in their faces. I think that's when the, the, the uh, casters said they were just being disrespectful at that point, and I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like at some point in that game, G2 just knew they were taking it, right? The yeah. sky alt mm -hmm. coming through the teleporter with the, the guiding yes. lights and the shower pinch. That was so sick to, to almost close out the game. <laughs> you know, Zumba really struggled, and maybe it's because he's in that like single controller role on this kind of looser, streamy type team, right? And I think you know, the lack of the second controller really hurt them there. Sean, do you feel like maybe G2 five-headed big-brained this? Because, yeah. you know, we do know the kind of things that Viper can do against the comp that doesn't sure. run Viper, and they probably knew that for F4Q weren't going to whip it out, so why don't we whip it out? Yeah, and this is what we were referring to in the pregame segment, right? When, you, when you're on the losing end of a map and then you have that rematch, you're often the one to, to make the changes, right? But when you win, you're not really willing to make the sacrifices to do the comp change and give it totally different look because then you could feel like you know you'll feel really stupid if you lose mm. that rematch i just think that it was so clear how i mean yeah we talk about the controller thing about how much control they could maintain as a direct result of having her you know for me one of the things that was really notable is whenever g2 were uh, pushing up onto the a site because f4q didn't really like to hold showers defensively all they needed was that viper's wall cut the site in half it put you had basically had to force there to be a defender who was oftentimes 5k on the sky to go up and play in heaven try and flash from there meanwhile there's all this kerfuffle happening in u-haul because they want to be taking that control and it just meant that the resources were not necessarily as evenly or effectively allocated on uh, f4q side as they could have been yeah this is a bit of an updated head-to-head -head here and sean Kellogg stepping up when it matters. That's what you want to see. Yeah, absolutely. And there was a couple rounds actually on the the early first half where, you know, the trades went in F4Q's favor, particularly one in U-Haul where a judge came in, got two frags, and he guiding lighted into U-Haul and got the double trade. There were some massive plays by Kellogg's. I think his utility usage on the sky was really, really solid. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I totally agree. I, I thought it was fantastic. And it, it's just, it's really nice to see because, you know, we we spoke at the start about how Bind, this was the map that worked really well for F4Q. They clearly feel very comfortable on it. And that table has very much turned. Yeah. And now I'm wondering, you know, you were saying at the start, if they do go to a map three, oh, I think F4Q could take it. But after that map, would you even still think that's going to happen? I mean, I definitely don't think it's it it's likely. I think G2 takes this series 2-0. But what we just saw, you know, that rematch thing, this is why I say preparation is so key in Valorant. Yeah. And what G2 did by changing up their comp is they took all of the preparation away for F4Q. Now, do, does G2 change their comp on a map they blew them out in in the last series? In the previous series, they won 13-5 on Ascent. So the team that's going to make the changes coming into Ascent that's going to be F4Q. Mm -hmm. I mean, we already spoke about it in the pre-show on Ascent. Uh, when it comes to that Rainer pick, I know, Sean, you're just not a fan of it. And what would you like to see um, 5K pick up here? I'm not sure exactly how he could kind of maneuver into the comp. I, I think a second controller would be good. I think, a, you know, 
Fna, he's typically on the Sentinel, so I don't know. I don't know what they're looking for in their comp. It's not like I dislike the Reina pick. I just think he didn't have the right utility usage, and he wasn't taking the aggressions like he should be. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's an interesting one because Bunny's obviously going to play on Raze, but I wouldn't hate Bunny moving over to Jet and then maybe having 5k again go on the Sky. I guess it's still a bit of a risk because he hasn't shown up tons on the Sky uh, today. But I am also in the camp of not being so huge on him on the Reina. Um, and Ascent has definitely been one of those maps which historically hasn't hasn't been his best on Reina. So, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Sean, you know, you spoke about uh, the changes that they could make to turn this around to cut the opponent's opera uh, operation preparation off. Would you want to see that from F4Q? Maybe throw G2 off a little bit? I would, I would. And yeah, th so you can see their pick rates on these agents are pretty much 100% across the board. So that's... That is likely what we're going to see, but what we could see as a change would be a, an additional initiator or an additional controller in 5k's role, right? Those are the only things that really make sense for him to change into. Alternatively, he could go with like a jet and get a little bit aggressive and, and peaky in the angles and has the dash as his, you know, get out of jail free card. But it doesn't look like they're the type of team that likes to switch their comps up. Mm. No, it doesn't. But we're into the uh, Prime Gaming Agents select now. And so far, Geo is expected from both sides. Yeah, I mean, Avova was hovering over the Omen, which had he gone with that, it would have been the only change that, that would have been made. Uh, well, OK. There we go, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say it would have been listen. the only change that was going to be made. But no, 5K has decided to go onto the sky. This is something I'm happy to see. And as much as we, we kind of give some jabs on the fact that he did only get five kills playing the sky on that last map i i personally think that his his maneuvering towards playing this initiator role more so than the reina is overall a good one absolutely and w these initiator roles are so different right five frags on sky is a lot different than five frags on reina because you have the guiding lights to help your teammates you have the trailblazer to open things up and the seekers are coming online time and time again when you play this sky right and you have the heal so i mean she has just such an overpowered kit right now that it's silly to not pick her yeah i mean the thing with the rainer is is rainer is a very selfish agent and if you are not capitalizing on that for yourself and your own stat she's probably the only agent you can look at and say i can immediately from the scoreboard identify as to whether or not you played this well because she has to serve herself the only map that i've seen f4q or, or 5k play the rainer on really well in that regard in recent history has actually been split uh, pretty much every other map i don't think that he's kind of met those standards that you would want from you know if you're looking at welcome back ladies and gentlemen dito natai so adding filipino coverage of masters berlin and i am illustrado your caster here today joining me alongside me today is the ever amazing Tayrar. Oh. game number one went to G2 in a very convincing matter, 13 and 3. Medyo expected natin yun, Terror. Bakit ka nang hiti? Bakit hindi? Dapat broadcast ready kapag lalaban ka talaga. Right. Isipin mo, okay. yung mga players nga lagi pag naharap na yung camera sa kanila ng umingiti. So dapat yung mga casters din. Pero gaya na sabi mo, it was actually expected for the side of G2 na sila yung manalo. Yung unexpected dito is actually with F4Q na makahabol or make this even three maps kung sakali yeah. man. No? So yun yung mga bagay na unexpected pagdating dito sa matchup na to. But at the same time, F4Q... Like you said a while ago, G2 rather, G2, like you said a while ago, ito yung team na bless you. Bless you, Ilu. I muted. <laughs> but anyway, G2 is a team na may pagka-inconsistent din. So you never know if there are games na hindi, hindi nila makukuha. Look, G2 being inconsistent, that's a given. But how far can they fall before F4C can actually start to take wins against them? That's actually the question. Um, if G2 are playing, you know, top G2, yung pinaka top ng peak nila, that's exactly how they, they get those 13-3 victories. Pero when they're playing shady, when they're not playing as good, that's how. That's when F4Q can start to, you know, figure out whether they can actually beat F4Q here. But the hold looking good for now as Athena. Makukuha niya yung isa, pero isa lang yung makukuha niya. 3v4 pa rin, and this A side take was clean as can be. Oof, the plant of the spike. Ando na nga, pasok na. Sa site, nakuha na rin nila completely. Pero ang uh, factor dito is, this is a 4v3 situation. Dalawang players dito, which is namely Avova, tsaka si, uh, si yung Sova nila. 
Yeah. Mababa na yung HP. 40 HP na lang sila dito. So this is very much a situation na kaya-kaya pang mabawi ng F4Q. Kailangan nila makuha yung momentum at bawiin yung momentum against G2. Nagsimula nga yan with 5k getting that first kill, getting the second in Tumba, oh. and nakakuha na rin siya ng pangalawa. Sinupi na lang ang natitira for the false plant and Bunny was able to secure that kill. But the spike, aabot ba ang oras kaya ng katanungan? Mukhang hindi. Oh. Hindi pa umabot. Ilang seconds na lang yun. Siguro mga 0.5. Ganon. Or point eight. Di natin nakita exactly, pero yeah, like you said, man, the retake took a little bit too long, and unfortunately, just for F four Q, that slight moment of hesitation that they had before going into the side really, really bit them in the back here. Makita natin Zumba took them a little bit too long to get those kills, and Luke holding down the fort is able to make it very much possible for that retake to not happen. So, you know, G2 starting again with another pistol round. Hindi nila makuha yung angle eh. Kasi at the same time, may sage wall din. You never know kung may nakaboost. Tapos kailangan pa nilang i-clear out. Pati market, pati B-main. Dahil wala silang info at all. May backside pang kasama and onsite. So, ang daming cover or ang daming mong i-clear na angle bago mo ma-retake talaga. But it was too late like you said. Paul Domenta was able to secure a kill. Well, Kellogg's ultimate push para sa kanya. Isang right kick lang sa mukha. Mula kay Epina. And Abopo was able to take the kill. 4B2 na naman ang sitwasyon natin. Make that a 4-0 to zero dahil upos na naman ang lahat ng players ng F4-2. Isang mabilis ang burst down na. Yeah, just a quick setup right there. It's really good for the team. Able to keep it clean and boost their economy. Talagang makukuha nila ang kailangan nilang bonus round even having Kellogg's just on that sheriff it's gonna be more than enough for them actually if they do lose even when they do lose this one and we expect them to kind of mm -hmm. lose this one um avoba will have enough to actually drop uh an operator to Kellogg's kung kailangan nila on the attacking side Actually, same, ano eh, same map picks or same map pool yung meron tayo from the first time that they met each other. Iniwasan na ganti Kellox yung mga nano swarm na yan. Aware siya kung ano yung gagawin ng players ng F4 or rather ng G2. Uh -oh. But on the other side, Esperanza with the 2K, naiwasan lang din niya yung uh, guiding light na yun ang mabilisan. And F4Q is just swarming into the side trying to get a hold of it at huwag nang ipaplant dahil doon sila na dinilay. Yeah, but they're gonna try to get kills, which is even more, I, I think, viable, even more worth it than getting the spike plant down. They get three kills here, so really, really worth it here for G2. Nah, instead of going for the plant, they go for the kills, and they find three, making the rebuys really expensive for F4Q. And now they start to consider. Tignan natin ang economy dito ng F4Q. Meron ba silang sapat na pera para bumili ng five rifles onto everybody? I don't know. Miss ni Esperanza, yung swing niya doon, yung guiding light, iniwasan niya and pumalik lang siya sa positioning niya kung saan mahahanap niya yung players ulit ng G2. But yet again, like you said, Ilu, magastos. Masakit sa bulsa. So balik judge na naman si Bunny, which is usual naman talaga actually, kahit normal buy rounds na meron sila, kahit sobrang dami nilang pera sa lapi. Ganun pa rin naman yung binibili ni Bonnie dito. And uh, the last yeah, entertainment, actually, ito yung mapa kung saan yung F4Q yung nanalo, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Yeah. Well, tignan natin ngayon, four, yeah, exactly as I said, they don't have, I think, enough to buy full rifles and everybody. But we know Bunny, he's very comfortable on the judge. As to whether it's very viable or if it can be utilized in this meta, especially up against G2. Now, that's going to be the question that we got to answer here. And the answer for that, for me right now, it's looking like a not really. You're, li you're really limiting yourself when it comes to using that just the judge. And G2 is a team that's happy and know how to punish the close-range judge. Aside from that, then, man, is that kapag nasaktuhan nila na si Bunny wala doon sa site na pinupuntahan nila, how will you retake with the judge? Like, very you far can. off, di ba? So, hindi mo makukuha yung long-range na aim duels na gusto mo kumit. Kaya dapat mabilis ang galaw to para kay Bunny. Kellogg's on the other hand, iba-iba yung dash-in na ginagawa niya dito para yung updraft. Kanina, doon sa lane, ngayon sa taas naman, nung switch natin. Nuki was able to take on a kill and the last player, Zumba, easy. was taken out as well. A very easy and clean round para sa side ng G2 yet again. Yeah, that's another easy tap, 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 and G2 getting a 3-1 here. Mukhang mabilis ang ating... Uh, fast games, fast games. May racket sila eh. Mukhang fast games tayo dito. Oo, may pupuntahan yata ang G2. May date G2 pa daw ata to after. 
Mm, nag-text si Bunny. Oh, nag-text si Bunny. Tropa okay. kay si Bunny. Talaga. Best okay. race in the world. Mm. Eh, ba't di ka binubuhat ng pa-immortal? Eh, syempre, bakit ko kailangan ng taga-buhat? Kaya ko naman sarili ko. Ah, yan ang sarap. <laughs> That's the answer I was looking for. Alright, alright. Uh, Respect. Uh, uh, I don't need that, but going back to the game. Ilu. Wala eh. Pag, pag magkakalaro tayo, lagi tayo talo, kaya wag na lang. <laughs> yun na lang yung sagot ko sa tanong mo eh. Wala eh, yun talaga eh. Okay. Right. Oh, oh my god. Caught off guard si Bunny na naman. Judge pa ang hawak na doon or naka-sheriff lang siya? I think he was just on a sheriff. Oh uh, yeah. This is an eco for F4Q. And uh, nag-shine sila last time during the time naging attacker sila. Kasi kaya kaya mag-push it. Eh. Pero medyo delikado tong gawain ni Zumba ngayon. Ah. Nag-aabang lang sa Gedli with the wall coming up. Nahuli siya ni Cold Menta as well. This is the door closing off already. And sino subukan ng basagin ni 5k? It seems impossible right now for F4Q to retake this. I don't think that they have a chance in hell here to retake the site, but you know, the impossible, sometimes possible, lalo na sa Flash coming in through, but that's not really gonna help him out for now. It's gonna be still a very difficult site. That's a good flash instead, and they melt it down. Kota Menta alongside Mixwell, they find the last three kills of the round here. Mahanap na naman nila ang advantage against F4Q. G2 hindi talaga nila hinahayaan ng F4Q na makaipo, na makakakuha ng round. And they really want to put the nail in the coffin early as can be. Look at that spray transfer. Oh, okay. It wasn't too far off din naman eh. Double peak, isang swing lang din. Maliit na adjustment lang para sa spray transfer yung kailangan niyang gawin. Alam mo yung nakakatawa doon is actually Zumba. Um, apapatay niya na sana si Cold Demente. Kaso biglang nag-wall yung Sage. So tumaas yung angle. Hindi yeah. niya napatay. On the other hand, si Cold Demente yung nakapansin. Siya pa yung nakakuha ng kill. So makakapitas pa sana sila ng isa pero it won't happen anymore. Yet another round for F4Q para sa kanilang buy round. Tumpeto na naman sila. And with the economy of uh, their ultimate right now, it seems like uh, this is... Uh, uh, itong ultimate economy nila, kaya nila makapag-retake eh, na mabilisan din. O kaya yeah, kahit slow actually. Yeah, they can do anything they want. It's a very versatile lineup here. But on the other side, yung hindi ko kasi nakikita na ginagawa ng F4Q. If you have a double initiator like this, talagang kailangan mo maghanap ng early advantage, ng early map control, information. But they're not getting it. That's a good start, though, as um, Kellogg does go down there towards mid. Instead, they're going to bury themselves here towards back. They might not expect Zumba here up close. They're going to try to molly him out, but it's going to be Zumba with two. Trying to fight for another one. G2. Pasok na naman sila sa side. Si Esperanza, this, this team right now, F4Q, is kind of locked in, in a side, in a corner. But with that, with that corners, they were able to take some pickoffs. Yung pinaka, isa sa pinaka-importante doon is yung kills ni Zumba actually. He was able to outplay yung enemies na sa B-Main. Kasi nag-recon eh. Binaril niya na yung recon. Alam na yung position niya. But with the pop of the smoke, knowing na siya yung Astra, he can reposition himself. Look at this. This is a shock star trying actually. They're trying to pinpoint kung nasan siya. Pero hindi ina-expect ng players ng G2 na nandun na pala siya sa harapan lang nila. It is, in fact, going to be another round here for G2. They're so confident here. Uh, you know, 4 to 2, but look, F4Q, 4 yung kanilang ulti. 4 ang magagamit nila in this round if they need to retake the site. Now they can play a little bit more passive. It's, it's just this whole idea of knowing when to use your utility. That's really going to be key here for G2. So that Hunter Siri, sa tingin ko, medyo premature, actually. That's one less ulti that for F4Q have for the whole retake idea and look at this they actually lose control in the mid already nice pick right there from Nuki it can be like you said but on the other hand if Fina was able to take a pick off himself then as well as Esperanza secures the kill on Nuki and that specific angle ganun pa rin ang uh, ultimates ng F4Q na pwedeng magamit dito umakit yung aso makes him wasn't able to see anyone on trees on garden but Esperanza slowly 
crawling in. Hindi na napansin. Maglalabas pa sana ng ibon if Fina was able to kill Cold Menta as well. Isa na lang ang natitira and that is a Vova. Dito na napapanas yung mga maliliit na mistakes na ginagawa ng G2 Inu. Yeah, just not happening for them and that's definitely a punish. Uh, starting to look a little bit better here, but take a look at this replay. Fina, yet again. And Chelsea Fina talaga for his team has been so crucial. I think the best player on the F4Q side. Timeout from G2. Really? Would you think so? For F4Q side? Is it Fina? Yeah, I think so. Because we saw it earlier, when in the defensive mm -hmm. hold, even in the previous games, si Ifina is the triple kill, the hold sa side. And I think Ifina has really been the crucial player here. Everybody else seeming like they're not really doing the work. I mean, for as much as the hype around Bunny is, parang wala masyadong, ano eh, nangyayari para kay Bunny ngayon. Eh, I mean, it's been Ifina, it's been Esperanza, who has been getting a lump, number of good rounds here. But everybody else has been a little bit quiet on the server. On a note though, on another note, doon sa previous matches na nakita natin with Ifina, he is actually, as a sentinel role, of course, you are the killjoy. So, ikaw yung isa sa mga una makakaalam ng information kung nasan yung kalaban. It seems like meron siya mga nasaset na traps, pero hindi niya nakakapitalize on taking a punish pagdating doon sa traps na yun. So, I see, there is certain adjustments to that. Na he is the one holding only the site. He can hold it. Or usually, they do retakes, diba? But, mm -hmm. on the other hand, for F4Q, I think if Efina can adjust that, yung masyadong malaking space yung nabibigay for other teams yeah. to just go in and have no information at all for, for F4Q, he can be the best player. But right now, yeah. I don't agree. There. Right now, okay. I would say. Para sa yo, who do you think is the key players to be looking at for F4Q side? Honestly, from the previous games, I would say it's 5K, but he's not performing right now. Yeah. yeah. This guy is crazy when it comes to the flashes and especially holding the sky. Last time kasi na naglaro siya, sobrang on point din ang 225k eh. Pero ngayon parang hindi siya makabuelo. And last game parang he, even though he was playing on like a not dualist role, he was still getting a number of good kills. So yeah, I'm inclined to agree with you to some extent here. Pero through the smoke, mahalap ni Kellogg si Zumba and that just... That's an important kill to find. That's the controller gone. Now, Kellos. Oh, yet again! Finding another kill on the bunny, and they're gonna be getting even more as the Hunter's Fury comes to life. But Lance is gonna hold the on sight. But as he mixed well, Mahahanap is in 5k, and Nuki gets the trade as well. 5 2. Nuki stepping up for G2. Oh, this is getting much closer than we are expecting. Um. Kanina, I expect natin na parang tutuloy-tuloy na ata yung momentum ng G2, no? But F4Q, mas mabilis na lang nababasa yung galaw ng G2. This is the map that they also lost to F4Q as well. So, I really think that um, F4Q has a good, really good read against G2 on, on this specific map that we have right here. On, on ano eh, no? Unlimited judge pagdating kay Bunny, kahit saan, kahit kailan. Yeah, I... The judge, uh, you know, for me, I really think it has to be changed. Sa totoo lang, I, I just can't see it happening. Kasi na, for me, napaka one-dimensional lang kasi ng judge. Eh. Unti lang talaga nang na magagawa mo dito. And sure, it might work against some teams in Korea. And it's sure, it's gonna get you a pick here towards a long. But really, what else can you do on top of this judge? Like, how are you gonna play? What if, like you said earlier, what if they go to a different site? How are you gonna retake with that? Like, just like now, G2 and Mixwell, they're finding the trades. They get the spike drop down towards mid, though, pero makukuha nila ulit. They're gonna retake it here. Long range engagement for Kellogg. He's gonna get out of that spot. And finally, Bunny switches to a Phantom. 27 HP for Mixwell. This is still the right, the right angle. Just the right angle to kill 5k. And Buddy is the only man remaining. This time around, there is a phantom na hawak para sa kanya. This is the guiding light also from Mixwell. Detecting na alam na nila yung position dito ni Bunny. May facial siyang pwedeng gamitin. But on the other hand, tumawid na actually si Mixwell dito. And inikuta na siya. Nilurk ka na siya. Isang mabilis ang basa lang from Mixwell. Ikot na ako dahil nandyan ka naman on-site. Yeah, good rotation like you said. G2, 6-3. So this is looking good right now for FFQ. Medyo okay pa. Pero alam natin na uh, pag yung G2 nababasa na nila...
yung galaw ng F4Q. Mahirap na para sa side ng F4Q. Lalo na pag uminit itong si Mixwell. Lalo na pag tumatama na ulit si Koda Menta. And Koda Menta has been quiet for the past couple games. Right here, even up to now. But still, while G2 is starting to heat up, F4Q are already in a little bit of trouble. 6-3 to three, and they're on eco. Mukhang magiging 7-3. to three. It can be. Out. But at the same time... G2 is uh, looking really strong on the first map and the second map that we have right here. Seekers out na nga para sa side ng G2. Sasabayan ba nila to? Alam na nila yung wall na ginagawa ng G2 actually on A main already. So they know this positioning that they wanna take. Pero ang dami masyadong angle. Parang titin ko sa baba. Kukuha ka sa pray down sa baba. Tapos kukunin mo pa yung nasa taas. So may certain adjustment na kailangan gawin sila dito. And mabilis ang positioning or repositioning from the side of G2 as well as they decide to not go A, rotate tayo dito sa B side. Si Kellogg's ready na nga to take some action on B main as well. Nagahanap sila ng pending effect of dito pero walang lumalabas on the side of F4Q. The Cosmic Divide is out. Isang mabilis ang dash in lang. May lumilipad na ibon. And si Koda Benta medyo na delay lang ng pagyaba. But he was able to take on one kill, Nuki on the other one, and this one is a push. Wala kay Bunny, no, wala siyang napala. Walang nagawa si Bunny doon. Another good round here, G2, 73. Ego round nga lang naman. Kaya huwag kayo masyado mag-aalala kung fan kayo ng F4Q. Still chance to bring it to 7-5. And if F4Q on this gun round can get the last two rounds, there's still a little bit of a chance that we might go to game number three. Pero, having said that, G2 really know how to stick together and mitigate what Bunny is trying to do. They know how to stick together and really get all the kills that they need and play those trade frags. Sobrang linis na pinapakita natin ng G2. It's a little bit sloppy sometimes, sure, but at the end of the day, the rounds are what matters. That's true. Ang ano lang din, no? ang dry nung paglabas ni Bonnie doon. As in, out in the open. Parang inalay niya na yung kanyang sarili. Na, sige na, patayin niya na ako, tapusin niya na tong round na to. I guess he was hoping for a trade, but it Yeah, just... but it didn't happen. Yeah, maybe hoping to catch someone off guard, maybe pushing towards lane. I mean, towards. Or square, maybe but... he was meant to go to switch, but didn't make it. Daming maybe. Daming no, what I think he was trying to get into stairs and then just hide inside. Can be quite possible. Yeah. This is a wall on mid already. So, Nox, isang angle na lang kailangan niya tignan dito. And that is a kill para kay Efina. Isang sentinel na ang nawala para sa side ng F4Q. Info, not gonna be, or utilities, hindi na magagamit at all para kay Efina. And Esperanza, wala na rin siya for F4Q. Na pick off na rin siya dito. Again, buy round na to ng F4Q, Ilu. If they still don't manage to step up at this position, in this position, Mahirapan talaga sila, lalo na sa susunod na round, which is yun na yung huling round for the first half. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They need this round. Pero Zumba, he's starting it off strong, hiding, playing within the smokes. A Nova snuffs him out. 5k finding a double. 5k all alone, but from behind, yet again, G2, masesecure na nila ang 8-4. 9-3 na ngayon ang habol ng G2. round in the half. This is the last round for the first half, and they don't have anything but a choice. Walang choice kundi mag force buy for F4Q, and uh, this isn't looking really great on their hands right now. They do have lockdowns and uh, a lockdown rather, at sa kaya cosmic divide. Na pwedeng gamitin for retake. So very much, very well doable for them. If they can get thrifty rounds, they can of course get some rounds like this as well. But it looks is using that operator already and he wants to go aggressively peak on B main. Magkasalubong lang yung dalawang aso but won't get any information at all aside from that. Mm, yeah, you're absolutely right. Just not happening for them as... It's gonna be another round here I think for G2. Um, unless Bunny is able to get those headshots with the Marshall unless 5k really steps up. The positioning actually medyo... Sobrang passive ngayon. Tinan mo naman yung formation ng F4. Sobrang layo nila. Sobrang passive. And that's actually preventing them from getting any work um, to make use of their their lineup. Again, tulad na sinabi ko sa start, when you run a double initiator lineup, one of your main win conditions is to get advanced map control. Kukun nila dapat nila yung A main, kukun nila yung B main. But instead, look at how far back they're playing. They're playing far back against a team na may dalawang, double, dalawang initiator din. 
na meron din siyang jet na pang entry you will not you will not be able to hold the site if you play this far back and so they're gonna play retake again that might be a little bit of a better idea here but considering now low on weapon ni sila wala sila masyadong pang retake in fact bunny is even using a marshal i don't favor their odds on retake either. Oh, the odds may not be in their favor, but if they get this specific, you know, lucky shot, lucky kill, anything can happen at this point. Eh? Knowing that Shemper and G2, they know that they are, uh, they have lots of rounds to get, but uh, they are being structured right now. Ang Linus maglaro ng G2. They just want to finish this. Speedrun to speedrun para sa kanila. On the other hand, 1v1 situation, like I said, Ilu, anything can happen. That. Oh. Well, now, oh, nice pick right there. And that's gonna be Kellogg's yet again. 93. Matutuloy ba yung curse? Na 93 curse? Good I, again, I don't think so. I don't think this is one of the games. I think this is, ladies and gentlemen, this is for elimination. F4Q, they need to step up. They need to step up now. They're gonna be going home. Um, if they are not able to get the next couple of games here. Oh, that's true. This is elimination, Rounds. if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, this is for elimination, and so F4Q, they really need to take the last two games here. And uh, as well as G2, they want to be able to take this home and confidently be able to, you know, say to themselves that Malayo kami, we had a deep run, we got to the playoffs, but I just don't think it's going to be the day today. Oh man, F4Q, I really think that they should take this time, especially the second half, not then, to actually think of a strategy, a more structured one into taking side. Because uh, like the panel said a while ago, na kapag si Bunny, siya yung ating duel assist. So, kapag siya yung pumasok, pag napatay siya, hindi o oh, nawawalan ng space yung ibang players. no Kasi hindi na makapasok eh. Hindi na makasunod or hindi, wala silang susunda na play dahil si Bunny na pinch na or actually napatay na. So, it is important for F4Q just not to rely on just Bunny at all or completely when it comes to taking uh, taking sides. Did you do something with your hair? It looks different. Me? Like, yeah. No, nah, I just like, no, nah, I like just curly. took a shower. <laughs> it looks it looks all curly now. Oh. The the rare in ladies and gentlemen, one of the rare times that Taylor yeah. actually Thank takes you. a shower. Thank para you. sa inyo lang. Oh, para oh, sa yes. inyo. Every time lang na may cast for Masters Burn. <laughs> Yeah, Whatever. but if there's no cast for five days, that's just, uh, that's just it yeah, is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Buti na lang may cast araw-araw mga mga tropa natin dyan, from Twitch hanggang Facebook hanggang YouTube. Okay, lang, malamig naman eh. sinabi mo. No? So, uh, pagdating naman dito sa match natin, nababalikan natin, Ilu. <laughs> may mo, ini ba yung topic? Ini ba yung topic? Halftime break to actually, guys. No? Kung nagtataka kayo parang, ba't nawala? Ang tagal naman ng tech pause. It is the halftime break. So, switch tayo ng sides. And this time around, F4Q on attackers. Ilu, what do you think about that? Uh, I just don't think they have it. Really? I don't think it's going to happen. It's, they have the double initiator lineup, and it might work for a while. They might get a couple of kills here and there, uh, maybe a couple of rounds. But, you know, when it comes to executing the lineup that they have, F4Q is showing us that they don't know the win conditions. They don't know how to execute it. Uh, like, but it's a completely different story on the other on the other end. If you look at how G2 play in all of their maps, they know how to win with their map conditions, win conditions with their agent selections. So, makikita nyo dito. Makikita nyo dito, I'd say even on the first round. Aggression from G2 to take B main or A main, maybe a triple peak towards mid. That's what you want to do if you have the double initiator set up. Pero naman, sa kabilang side, hindi na nakikita yun from ano, eh, F4Q. They're playing far passive even though, and they're playing retake even though they don't really have any of the proper weaponry for retake or even the utility for retake. So uh, I think the, the strategy, it's not really going and meshing together for the side of F4Q. Would you say na malaki yung skill disparity when it comes to F4Q and G2? Mm, not necessarily. I think in Execution? terms of aim... The, in terms of aim, hindi masyadong malayo. But in terms of, I'd say, playing as a full five-man, in terms of knowing what how they can win, I'd say malayo. Kasi G2, they, they really have a handle on their agents. They have a handle on their particular individual roles. And that's really what's giving them the advantage in this game. Maybe next time they should switch it up, kumbaga, no? Kasi si Bunny, never natin dito sa, sa Masters Berlin, rather, na nakita magiba o pumili ng ibang agent. Yeah, Aside from it's that. so one-dimensional. Like I told you, like he plays raise and he plays judge. Yeah, you know, he plays raise, he plays judge. This is what Bunny is gonna do. He's just gonna push on site, papatayin, susubukan yung patayin lahat. O kaya naman kapag defense, kapag defender siya, hawakan yung choke point, hawakan yung certain angle. You know, yun. Kaya parang unex, 
or rather expected na rin ng ibang teams na makakalaban Look, nila. Like, if you want to be the number one race in the world, you have to be dynamic. <laughs> you, you have, have to, to use a rifle. You have to use for, you have yeah. to use a rifle. You can be good on the judge. Oh sure, it's it's nice na parang okay magaling siya mag rifle pero okay din siya mag judge. Hindi mo lang pwedeng sabihin hanggang judge ka lang, di ba? I mean, you can't just play judge. You have to be good on the marshal, you have to be good on the operator, you have to know how to use your satchel charge. And how many times has he even landed a good show showstopper? Very rarely actually. Oh, so that's true. honestly, just the performance from Bunny super underwhelming. Oh, that's true. Yung yung hype kumbaga pagdating kay Bunny, you no. Know, I really think that it's overhyped. Uh, I mean, he's hyping himself up. <laughs> Obviously, from the interviews that we saw from him as well, that, you know, G2 is just like any other Korean team that we have met or we have tried playing with. Kaya naman, I'm the best race in the world. Uh, I really think, and I suppose, na masaya lang sila, na nandito sila sa Masters Berlin. Alam mo yun? Parang yeah. malaking bagay na yun para sa isang team na wala talaga actually um a specific org na holding them and just a group of people wanting to play and they reach to this position na nakarating sila na Masters Berlin. Yeah, I mean you can't take that away from them. At the end of the day, napakagandang opportunity pa naman to, uh, you know, to get even yeah. to get slapped by bigger teams like G2 here. Like it's Sentinels. still a good learning experience. Yeah, I mean you'll learn a lot from getting stomped by these guys. You'll take a look at the vods and see everything that you did wrong. And that's an opportunity that not a lot of teams get. 100%. And we are now on to the second half. Dito na magkakaalaman kung magtutuloy-tuloy ba or uh, masastop ng M4Q. Yung momentum na meron ng G2 right now. Dahil mukhang gusto nilang pumasok ng A side dito through short A. Pero may gravity well na nakaset dyan. And this is the door closing off. Sila na nag-close ng door para lang umatras yung players at haapangan rather ni Avova yung ibang team members dito ng F4Q. Nakabang na rin si Kelox and 3v2 situation. Ang natitira na lang ngayon dito ay si Esperanza at si Efina para mapasok yung B side at para maplant yung side. Pero hindi oh. na sila magagawa yan dahil just on point is the classic shots mula kay Nuki. Really, really good shots now. Landing. And that's just gonna put the nail in the coffin. Honestly, I think this is pretty much done after that round. Uh... It's worth considering talking about the next series at this point, really. <laughs> What's the next series? It's gonna be VK and Zeta. Yeah. Brazil. Is it Brazil? Tama ba? Yeah. Versus Zeta Division. The top one seed for Japan. Which is really such a good team. Kinulat nila tayo na last time naglaban. Naglaro sila. Oh my. And that's a big, that's a good thing. Surprises online, they happen all the time. What I want to be surprised in is um, no, for for specific teams dito sa sa ating Masters Berlin is ikaw sa tingin mo ano yung team dito na underdog kumbaga uh, for me I I think everyone's sleeping on Vision Strikers Vision. lalo na yung mga NA talent yeah, yung, yung, yung talent. mga panel no Oh, parang hindi nila alam eh. Pero Vision Strikers pa rin yan. Ayun tuloy, na-slap yung ascend. <laughs> diba? I mean, you, know, of, you and uh, I knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to think of yung panel, parang uh, they were looking at ascend as one of uh, the teams the that to win. To no. win, actually. The whole Masters yeah. Berlin. And like, I, I told them, I, I, the moment that this was happening, the ta- the, the, you know, the panel, they're, sh- they're shitting themselves after how good Vision Strikers were. Like, uh, like a lot of the panel were like, I think what? one of the panel said, this is what the panel said, check this out. He was like, if they're having a hard time, if Vision Strikers had a hard time against Forsaken, imagine what CNET is going to do to them. Oh, but Vision man. Strikers just shut down CNET, except for maybe on Icebox. Oh, that's true. So, yeah, one of the underdogs, Vision Strikers. And I think everybody, every, you and I know it, lahat ng mga tao na galing sa Korea, alam nila, you have to respect Vision Strikers. Also, at the same time, Vision Strikers, I don't think na napansin nila. <laughs> I mean, it is well known pagdating sa region natin, Southeast Asia, and probably majority of Asia. Pero sa NA, parang sa EU, sa NA, parang hyper-focused na this is the best team or best region in, in uh, Masters Berlin right now. And I think they are really sleeping on certain regions like Korea. Yeah, you know, the Korean know, best are be sa LOL. <laughs> yeah. Ano ba kaya sa Valorant? But it's potential. Because the Koreans, they get good at whatever they play. This is the intro! Oh. Mula 
kay Bunny. Ayan na naman yung kanyang judge play. He was able to secure one. Ano ba rin yung favor kong galawan ni Bunny, no? So, they were just gonna hold off. Antayin nila yung rotation ng ibang members ng G2 para makaposition sila na maayos and they can use those utilities for a quick or for a retake, rather. Dahil marami rin silang angle na kailangan i-cover pa dito. Well... That's shock guards coming in right now. Now no one really getting on the receiving end of it. Papasok na lit na sila dito towards that B side F or Q. This is their I'd say last chance, last buy. But G two they're gonna make a four man flank, and this is you know the purpose of this four man flank Get actually the is for exits. It's literally just <laughs> yeah. for exits. They and know that. that they're not gonna win, but they want to take as many kills as they can. Hello, hello, next one. one they want to take as many kills as they can they might even get all the kills if quite possible wala nang scope scope pero hindi they get all yun. they get all nasama sa hook ay si Efina dahil dun sa spike wala na lang silang pera parang nanalo lang din yung GP yeah there's no money and this was a really smart call guys I mean whoever's watching at home sobrang talino ng call na to from, F from G2 they know they're not they're not gonna win what they do is they all group up together they go for that exit frags and look at the money it's not in a good place ubos ang pera nilang lahat kulang kulang ang mga utility kulang ang utility na Fina kulang siya ng nano swarm um, Zunba is gonna be sitting on that judge I'm surprised I'm not sur I'm surprised they're not switching it over and letting Bunny actually get the judge and have but and have someone else play that rifle and you know Esperanza is lang yung shock tart niya kulang kulang talaga mga utility dito ng effort kulang nga uh, ang tanong mga capitalize ba nila yung utilities left para sa kanila no yung utilities na meron sila if they can capitalize it's still quite possible i would say ilu anything can happen still at this point alam natin yung mga ganyang scoreline na hindi pa naman match point uh kayang kaya pa babaliktad no with certain uh, plays and uh, kumbaga kapag nahanap mo yung pieces sa puzzle na mag fit in talaga but uh, if G2 like you said they do smart plays creative plays from time to time and if they keep repeating that or replicating those types of uh, situation plays that they can do parang malabo na nga talaga for F4Q yeah I just don't think so um, but you know like I said hope might be enough for them because tinama naman yung pera ng G2 ngayon actually sila, sila rin kulang 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 ng utility but let's see if they can make the right holds actually Kellogg's they're gonna double up here towards the back side hoping to set up a crossfire now they have to flush them out and flash coming in from Mixwell missed time and that's actually gonna net them one kill so Kellogg's is all the way here with the marshal switching over the guns pulls out the phantom pero wala na siyang time wala nang oras 12 seconds left to get the spike down and it's gonna be enough for f to actually secure it here 2v4 Coldament on Nuki but may rest pang nilabas pero agad agad din na shot down they are still here and not aware that Zumba is on b main already Coldament he's stuck in a position na parang Saan na ako titingin? Saan na ako pupunta? Hindi na ako makakapag-retake. Nakuha o nahuli sila doon sa malaking flank na yun. Kasi they didn't have that information on how many people there were on the site as well. Yeah, honestly, just that was a big win actually for F4. Pinanakuha nila yun. Um, they used up the res. That's a lot of utility. The money's gone. Eco, full eco right now for, uh, for G2. And actually, F4Q are going to be in a pretty relatively decent state here but they need to keep the next round clean kailangan nila makuha yung three they need to have three members alive at least maybe four potentially and if obviously the flawless is even better but let's see if they can make the right read here for the defense show stopper saktong sakto galing kay bunny slide lang smooth lang ferrari peaks lang bunny was able to secure the kill and of course the judge place comes in walang makakapasok dahil isang hakbang nyo lang kahit yung stairs Eh, mapapatay kayo o masasabugan kayo ng judge sa muka. Samahan mo pa ng patience kung pwede. This is now three players for G2 who's still alive. The heal coming in from Nuki uh, to heal himself up. But at the same time, Nuki, he was able to take one kill. And this is the judge just praying and praying. Kung may matatamaan, may matatamaan. F4Q, if Fina was able to take on a kill. 4v2 situation. Hindi na naman aware. Ito na naman si Zumba on the same plank. Parang deja vu. Oh, parang pa ulit ulit ang nakikita natin dito. But 
That's exactly what F4Q want. Paulit ulit ng panahalo nila, and they get the kill, the entry. Finally, it took so long. But Bunny is able to do his job. He gets on the site, he uses the showstopper, he gets the judge in close range. Sure, it's on an eco round, and it's again a, a questionable eco round to use the showstopper on, but a win is a win. 11 is 6, and F4Q. Okay, na, pwede na. They'll, they'll, they'll take it. Uh, at this point, they'll take everything that they can get. <laughs> Gaya ng sabi ko rin kanina, no? on the attacker's side, doon mas nag shine yung F4Q. Because the bun, kay Bunny, makakatalon talon lang siya. Yung mga satchel in play niya, hindi yung talon pataas eh. Yung mga satchel in play niya dati, or dun sa first match against G2, it was sliding satchel play. Kung saan, ang bilis niya makapasok ng site na mabibigla o ma-overwhelm yung ibang players. But looking at G2, they're also a team na you kaya nilang tapatan. They are prepared. The last time that they met on the same map, kaya prepared sila to take on any battle. Hindi sila na overwhelm. But this time around, mistakes can oh, happen, na especially ba? kapag comfortable ka na. Na full pa yung deploy ng wall there, but again, Bunny looking for that entry na secure. Ang ilan ng side. But a Volvo. He lines up a double. That's all the way. It's, I think it's sprayed through the smoke. Na nakahanap siya ng dalawa. And mix well looking to challenge from long range here. The members of F4Q na trap sila sa ilalim ng A. And Bunny is gonna use the shotgun yet again to find the kill on the cold and the retake now. Bunny is all alone. He's taken down a Volvo. He's gotten three. Can he find the last kill? Esperanza ang la niya. And he might even have to save here. Hindi siya makapasok eh. May Cosmic Divide. Apat na players left. na nagsistack despite the spike not being down on A. If he actually run and go towards B, si mula kanina, baka nandun na siya nakapagplanta siya. Pero mukhang i-hold niya lang to with the Guiding Light coming out. Walang nakuha actually. So, this is just gonna be a complete save. Left. Nothing will happen. We are not gonna see any action here. Aside na lang kapag may magdesisyon na mag-push on A main. 12-6? Yeah. Well, Nahuli! Uh, match point, yeah. The thing is, Ilu, naglapag sila ng lockdown. So lahat ng players, lalo na ito kay Avova, despite having the smoke from the Astra, nakuha siya ng mga pinaka-importante kills dito, lalo na dun sa mga nage-entry. Naglapag silang lockdown, so lahat ng players ng G2, syempre aatras, mag-aantay sa heaven or whichever um, uh, position na hindi aabuti ng lockdown. The thing is, when Bunny entries, kaya siya nakajudge, is para ma-burst down niya, agad yung makakasalubong niya. Kaso wala siyang, wala siyang nakita on-site, kahit isa. Wala talaga. Not at all as... It's the... Last chance. Again, we've said this again, and that... That kill from Nuki makes it even harder. Tata with Bunny, what on earth was he just doing crossing like that? Avol was happy to punish him. Esperanza gets the trade, but 3v4 but in major questionable yung nakita natin. Pick off dito as Kellogg's will get us one step closer to G2 going through. G2-0 is looking like the name of the game. Desperate Hail Mary play right now for F4Q. Astro Divide comes towards A. Nice flash out and they actually managed to get on site. Can they secure the plant? Doesn't look likely. It will be. Yeah, it will be planted, but it is still a 2v4. 2v4 situation. It's now 5k in Zumba. They still have the stars that they can set. There's a cosmic divide as well. A post plant situation with Kellogg's having the blade storm oh, up. Oh no. It's a delicate position. It's a matindihang burst down. Now, if there's no smoke, it's gonna be a kill instantly for Zumba. You can see the 5k here. Two, two, two split lang para sa kanila nakita na nung wala tong alon this is one kill but he's not gonna find another as G2 secures this round secures this series as well and F4Q are they eliminated? yes defenders win this is the lower oh, bracket revenge match and we bid adieu goodbye to the Korean team F4Q well played from them and it was a good run in the end still not enough G2 go in advance I guess the best race in the world is not enough. Kumbaga. The self proclaimed, I would yeah. say. GG, WP na lang ang masasabi nila dito. And G2, they still have a chance here well, in Masters Berlin. With how they played on that match, Inu, it's just clean. Literally. And also, on the other hand, as much as it is clean, ganun din minsan ka-slumpy yung plays ng F4Q. It seems like pumunta sila sa isang mapa na 
not sure or unsure sila sa mga gagawin nila. Yeah, you're completely correct there. It, it's just I'm missing a very, very big chunk of the, you know, the clean play style. You know, the, the way the Vision Strikers are so clean together as a team, that's not what we saw from F4Q. It's we. It's like nung nakikita natin, Taylor, mm -hmm. some region, parang ganito yan. Pinakamagaling sa Pilipinas, friend, and then everyone else. Same thing for Korea. There's Vision Strikers, and then there's and then everyone else. else. Same thing for NA to some extent, because then there's Sentinel, the chaka malayo yung gap nila sa 100 Thieves, and to, you know, everybody else as well. But Europe, it's a little bit closer, actually. Mm -hmm. This team heavily relies on sa aim duels na nakukuha nila. But when it comes to like players like pushing on side, preparing for post plants, or even doing retakes, it's obviously they're struggling. Obviously. Na nexa struggle sila dito from time to time. F4Q though. They still made it here in Masterx Berlin. They still got some points. And uh, as they go back to their region, pag bumalik sila sa kanilang region, pag bumalik sila sa Korea, they still have those points. They can still manage to fight their way through champions. Lalo na kapag dating ng last chance qualifier. That's that's gonna be it here for game number series number one of the day. Magigitan natin F4Q go home. G2. They continue their run deeper and deeper. They have now gotten a chance. Go to the playoffs is Nuki, Coldamenta, Mixwell, everybody else from that team. They're gonna cross the stage, maybe to shake hands with the rest of the team. And they will be continuing their run here in Berlin. One of the teams in Europe that are potentially pegged us is the Pinaka Magagaling. Now doing the victory pose. Para sa, sa Twitter ko to na kita eh, each and every time. So, ayan. They're proposing na sila. Kellogg's. Um, uh, like I said, nakikita natin siya yung left-handed. No? <laughs> siya yung uh, kakaibang mawak. Yung keyboard and yung mouse. And uh, such a very good jet player as well. Oh, yeah. Definitely has talent, kumbaga. It is fun. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we have said all that we needed to say. It's been a lot of fun being back here with Terar and Ilstrado. And we're going to be back. Later on, game number two, kasama ko naman si Vils sa game number two. And we're gonna say bye-bye to Taylor. Um, salamat sa pagcast today. <laughs> but of course, we have to say bye-bye to you. So we'll be back in just a second. Series number two will be coming up and it's gonna be a good one. See you then. Sabay na to. I care that my family wins. First one ka sa meeting, that's a win. Morning, everyone. Panalo rin kung sabi ni Doc. All clear. Uh, that's right. And congratulations, Donahan Wang Spoilers! I make sure all their needs are taken care of, kaya walang napag-iiwanan. This year's class valedictorian is Victor Banano! Winning starts at home with Globe at Home Only Fiber Up Plan. Power your home with health essentials. And entertainment for the family. Manalo talaga! Guys, pictures! <laughs> Bye! Celebration coming out of G2. Most definitely happy with that result. Remaining. I don't even know if they realized it. Oh, it's only if he does manage to get away with the kill. I didn't pick the wrong angle. I think they thought he was in the corner. I care that my family wins. First one ka sa meeting, that's a win. Morning, everyone. Panalo rin kung sabi ni Doc. All clear. And congratulations, Donahan Wang Spoilers. I make sure all their needs are taken care of, kaya walang napag-iiwanan. 
This year's class valedictorian is Victor Banano. Winning starts at home with Globe at Home Only Fiber Up Plan. Power your home with health essentials. And entertainment for the family. Manalo talaga. Guys, pictures! <laughs> Bye! G2 Esports securing themselves a spot in the top eight, which also means that Sentinels, they have made it to the knockout rounds as well. Sean, I'm sure you're very happy about that one. Yeah, indeed. I mean, it's hard to be happy, though, because watching a fun team like F4Q get get knocked out of their group so early on is a little bit heartbreaking, right? It is super fun to watch Bunny double satchel into places, Esperanza light up the scoreboard, too. But yeah, it just wasn't in the cards for this event. I feel like the thing with F4Q that you can take away as a big positive is it looks like a team. Give them a couple more months to develop themselves, come back to the next event. They're just going to look infinitely better, but we're still going to have all that juicy goodness that we've seen this week. Yeah, I, this is not the last we're going to see of them, no. you know, especially <laughs> since that people uh, didn't have the highest expectations for them. And we got to consider that, Sean, they had Sentinels and G2 in their group in this uh, round robin as well. So a good showing from nevertheless. Yeah, they had some heavy hitters in their group. But what was most alarming for me, if I'm being honest about F4Q's gameplay is it does seem very individualistic, right? Like you see Bunny double satchel into places. And if he doesn't get that opening frag, he has created so much distance between him and his teammates that there's no shot a trade is happening. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that one. I think, you know, they also, 
they had they had quite a, a war of attrition when it came to them trying to take space. I mean, even when we look back at round 17, which was the round where they were playing into a pistol that G2 were bringing, they still invested the showstopper, they still invested all this utility because they knew they had to give themselves the benefit in their economy, hold G2 back. And when you know you have to be putting that much into a round where you're going up against pistols, I feel like that tells quite a story. Well, let's talk about G2 because, you know, they had a little bit of a shaky start in the beginning of this tournament, dropping a map and then with Sentinels, I think people uh, saw what they could do a little bit more. But here, Sean, they're finding their stride now. This was clean. Yeah, this was very clean. And this was on the back of a, a really good performance out of Nucky. We saw him on Sage on that last map. I love what I'm seeing on the slow lineups over B. He just has such good utility usage regardless of whether he's playing a duelist or someone like Sage. And you know, that bodes really well for G2. Yeah, I mean, G2 still also did the same thing, which I felt they did on Ascent really well in their last series with F4Q, which was their trades are always so good. And I think it does come into what you were saying, where F4Q are never quite set up as well to be able to do that. But G2 do it so well. The other thing as well that I really liked is just how effective they were at taking control, particularly in areas like tree and garden. I think some of it came down to the way that F4Q were setting up their defenses. They would always have, uh, for example, their sky up towards you know pizza and fruit market because they were trying to hold on to mid and g2 would just ignore that they'd see yeah. the opportunity they would go and push into these areas and they would have complete uh, free reign to push into a yeah and g2 was having none of the gimmicks that some of us trying to pull either he was trying to lurk inside those nebulas and like find little fringes and every time he did it he got punished so that's like kind of going into those individual plays you see out of the players. They just didn't work in this series. Well, one of the players that have impressed all of us here is uh, Kellogg's, and he is now with Dash for the post uh, Verizon post-match interview. Thank you very much, Yinsu. G2 pushing through to the knockout stage with a dominant victory against F4Q, and I am joined by none other than Kellogg's. Hello. Kellogg's, I have to imagine, while there's still seating to play for in terms of the knockout stage, it's got to be a little bit of pressure off your shoulders knowing that you've already booked the ticket. Exactly. I mean, we are really proud that of the team that we won. We are qualified. And now our main goal is to win the Masters and to beat Sentinels tomorrow and to have the first seating. Well, I'm going to ask you about that matchup in just a moment, but I do kind of want to talk about how you got there. You guys find yourself in a very interesting group. It's yep. the only group that had to play yeah, only double three. round robin. Exactly. So did the team kind of discuss how you would approach the tournament differently than if you were playing in a bracket stage, mm -hmm. knowing you'd see each team multiple times? Mm, to be honest, no. Okay. Like, we know that we're going to play more match than the other teams. And we're really uh, happy because we want to enjoy the tournament. And it's really nice to play in like this event. And we just want to play and we win everyone and be the best. Well, let's talk then about this matchup here, the rematch against F4Q. Last time around, it was 2-1. Yeah, yeah. And in close. fact, the map you dropped was bind. Yeah. But this time, a 13-3 bind. There were two agent changes, and I have to imagine that was a bit of it. You were on one yeah. of them. But what all really went on between the last time you met them and this time that you were so much better this time around? I think the last time, we didn't adapt. Like, we know that they were playing slow. We was just pushing to them, and they stomped us, so... Now this time we watched the vault, we knew what they were doing, and we just read them, and we read them like a book, and we won. There it is, still locked it up on Ascent exactly. as well. For you personally, first ever LAN event, and yep. I think you've already captured the hearts and minds of a lot of people with some <laughs> of your stylish play, but how has it all lived up to your expectation stepping onto a LAN event for the very first time? To be honest, the first time that I came here, like I had a little bit, I was a little bit nervous, but thanks that I have teammates like Mixwell, who has a lot of experience and he helped me a lot. And I really think that we can win this event easy and thanks God that we have Mixwell in the team. All right, well, if you're gonna win this event, you're gonna have to go through Sentinels to do it. You've already done what no other team has done on exactly. a land. You took one map, but next time around, I know you want to take exactly. two and get the win. So what's gotta change? What's gonna be different next time as you step on stage against them to make sure you lock it up? I don't know, but I'm sure that tomorrow we will win. I'm really sure about All right. this. All right, he's promised us a show for tomorrow, but we still have more show heading your way in just a moment. Kellogg's, thank you so much for thank the you interview. Very much. We'll catch you again thank later. You. We're heading to a break. When we come back, more Valor in action hitting your screens.
sa bahay na to. I care that my family wins. First one ka sa meeting, that's a win. Morning, everyone. Panalo rin kung sabi ni Doc. All clear. That's right. You can have the cookie. And congratulations, naunahan mo ang spoilers. I make sure all their needs are taken care of, kaya walang napag-iiwanan. This year's class valedictorian is Victor Manalo. Winning starts at home with Globe at Home Only Fiber Up Plan. Power your home with health essentials. And entertainment for the family. Manalo talaga. Guys, pictures! <laughs> Bye!
F4Q were the first team to be knocked out from Masters Berlin. And we're back with another elimination match. I am Yingsu, and this time I've got Kakuka and Bala with me on the desk. Bala, there are no second chances here. We just saw one team being sent home. It's getting kind of brutal. Yeah, it is kind of sad. I mean, they get to still, you know, go on through uh, the rest of the games as well in Group D because it's a little special. But mm. for the rest of them, yeah, this is elimination. You talk about brutality. This is definitely where it starts to get a little scary for teams. Yeah, it's it's kind of like an ugly day, especially now that we got into the second match and it's second and third are going to be literally Brazil versus Japan. Yeah. So it makes me kind of sad that we're going to have to say goodbye. Probably to an entire region today. Oh, d don't. No, oh, 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 about oh, it. Anything oh, could happen. Oh, I didn't think about it like that. Uh, but let's talk about the first matchup we're going to be seeing here, of course, that is Vivo Keed versus Zeta Division. Now, this group, it was always going to be a little bit interesting. I think Envy were the ones that were expected to get out of here, but the lower bracket is super spicy. Yeah, I think Envy for sure was expected, but the other thing too is guaranteed one of the other regions were going to make it through. It wasn't going to be NA and EU all the way through. Um, and I think it's going to be, it's still obviously all three are, are up in the air. Crew being the one up there is a little surprising, but down here, Japan versus Brazil is also going to be something that I'm keeping my eye on. Who can get a little bit deeper? Because I think both of them last, last time around in Masters 2, a little disappointing. Yeah, I think it was uh, that that uh, win from crew uh, from uh, Zeta Division. I feel like it was a little bit sloppy. So let's see if we get a, a better phrase of uh, Zeta Division today. Yeah, also, uh, you know, we spoke about this in the pre-show, but champions also on the line. Whichever team loses today out of these two, they're not going to be going to champions. They're out of contention. But interestingly, you know, if Zeta, they're able to win and they, they got to wait a little bit later to see what happens to Crazy Raccoon. But at the same time, Sharks, who aren't in this competition, if Vivo takes the win today, Sharks, they have to play LCQ, of course, unless a Brazilian team do win the entire tournament. So the pressure is yes. on, <laughs> on teams that aren't even here, which yeah. is kind of crazy. Uh, but let's talk about Zeta a little bit more here. We've seen them play already. Kukuka, uh, talk yeah. me through what happened last time. Um, uh, it was, uh, I'm going to say sloppy is the word that I used before. I felt like uh, Makiwa was not on his best game. I really feel like last did a lot for his team, but it wasn't enough because we saw a Rita that did not appear on Jet. He was not stepping up. Um, uh, I remember I think it was uh, um, Ascend, where they only get one single round on attack. That is something that cannot happen today under any circumstances. We need this team on 100%. But there was some, you know, some hope for them because of Takage, I think, is the mm -hmm. guy who really uh, stood out to a lot of people as they arrive here at uh, the arena. There was some hope, right? They took the first map for Japan ever at a Masters yeah. event. So, you know, that should give them, uh, I think it should relieve some pressure when we talk about it. Well, I, I, true, but at the same time, you know, it's a very different opponent today, uh, Bala, right? So they got to be, they can't come in with the same set of tactics and game plan as last time. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, Vivo Keed is completely different, I think, to what they faced in crew already. Although now that you really, really think about it, maybe there's some similarities, but Heat mm. is on another level when it comes to the fragging potential. So, yes, they have to be a little bit more prepared. Yeah, and speaking of fragging potential, we got to talk about Laz. Yes. People were looking to him before the even the tournament even started, and he's really stepped up. He delivers every single and every single occasion. So he's not only the IGL from for his team. I love when he has this kind of supportive position, but he also allows himself to play as a duelist a little kind of with uh, the new Sky. Uh, I feel like he is one of the pillars for this team. We saw him. It still wasn't enough, but I feel like he did amazing. I was super impressed with his aim the entire time, yeah. but there's also these little things that I think that this team has, the setups that they can really bring out, out of randomness, right? It's just like, oh, hold on. I don't know that they could do that before. They just like get these little trap plays in certain spots that catch people off guard. Um, the problem is that those are so hard to catch people in, so hard to actually let people fall into. Is Vivo Kid going to be, you know, that abrasive to just come into some of those trap plays? Maybe. I think that might be a team that will do that, to be honest. But also, Bali, you know, we got to talk about the the roster that uh, when they subbed in Bass as well, you know, they don't just have the same five players. And that was also an impact. Yeah, definitely. It was uh, it was interesting to say the least, right? You never know exactly what's going to come out when you have those different uh, players coming in mm -hmm. on different maps all the time. So yes, that could have some variability in the series as well. I feel like Bars did amazing on Split. It's a composition that we're not used to see. You know, the Primstone. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we barely see him, but also follow up with the with the Viper. But the result was good for them. They actually managed to get that map out of Crew. So let's see what they can bring us today. 
Well, you spoke about Takaje a little bit before, and he says that the team is focusing on keeping the mental clear heading into these all-important matches. チーム the humbleness there as well, you know, the words used such as like privilege, I feel privileged to be here. They see themselves as the underdog. Do you feel like they're the underdogs going into this matchup, Kukuku? Into this matchup? I think it depends a little bit on the maps, but yes, I'd say so. Yeah, <laughs> I think that you could say that. I mean, look what he was saying, right? He said, I hope that we can come to this event and get enough points for LCQ, right? That's not necessarily... He was already thinking. Oh. Yeah, yes. so it's a little, yeah, definitely underdog in, underdog vibe getting off from him mm. in the first place. But also when you look at the, the fragging power of the other team, yes, you have to, I think, put that statement on them. Yeah, and speaking of that other team, of course, it's Brazil's Vivo Keed. Uh, they came up against Envy and they put up a good fight, Bala. Yeah, they came out swinging. I was really surprised. I couldn't quite tell if it was Envy having a you know a slow start or if it was Vivo Keed, but when they came started to come back on bind after a really good start from Envy, I was like, okay, these guys they have what it takes, I think. They just need something to take them to the next level, and I think that has to come from one of the other players, not just Heat. Yeah, exactly. And you mentioned Bind. I need to talk about Icebox. I don't know if we're going to see that map today, but it was insanely close. You said, I feel like Heat was out of this level. They put up such a good fight. And I mean, this is the team that you talk about when you talk about Brazil, because the, the other two teams that won Masters 2, they're not here today. And this Bebo Kid is the one taking the big spot. So let's see what they can bring today. Let's see if they stay on the competition. Exactly. You know, we just said that uh, uh, Takajay was talking about LCQ, but these guys, they're aiming for champions. Kukuka. Oh, and of course, I need to aim. And we're actually taking a look, a look at Heat. We were talking about his AC is being crazy, but Tense, I think he took that spot from him yeah. yesterday. Um, he's got to, you know, he's got to make it with a, with the top two, but he's definitely a difference maker on his team. Yeah, and in order to get to champions, he's going to have to. The crazy part, though, is their path here to Berlin was through the competition that they have for champions, for those VCT points at the end of the uh, tournament. So, they went through Vikings, they went through Shark, they went through so many of the really, really solid teams and they just completely destroyed them because of Heat. Like you're talking about, his aim is insane. The ACS that he had starting out against Envy was in the top five. So, uh, I mean, going forward, this is going to be very difficult to maintain, I think, from Heat. It's really hard to go against someone that only exclusively plays the jet, and he proves that why he, he can pick it in every single map, in every single location. He's not afraid of it. Yeah, well, Vivo Keed, they might have suffered a defeat uh, by Envy, but Vixen wants to brush off the loss and showcase Brazil is here in the global stage. Uh, a Envy Anz, ela, ela brinca muito com a rotação do mapa. A gente acabou picando em alguns rounds meio bobos fazendo com que eles conseguissem uma, uma sequência de rounds. Então isso prejudicou muita gente. Na, na defesa eles uh, são um pouco mais espertos também, eles começam a dominar uma região que a gente costuma... que a gente acaba de dominar, então a gente é, tá muito curioso para saber como é que... A gente tem um pouco de experiência em relação ao, ao time europeu, uh, a gente tem um pouco mais de curiosidade para saber como é que a Coreia joga, Eles são muito inteligentes em fazer jogadas, microplays e etc. E pelo menos aqui no... Roupa. Mas a gente vai fazer de tudo e melhor para poder representar o Brasil nessa, nesse internacional. E conte com a gente, a gente vai conseguir representar o Brasil da maneira que ele merece ser representado. 
the Brazilian pride. You know, we speak about it being an elimination. And Kukuka, I know you mentioned that potentially an entire region being eliminated yes. today. But you can see that it means so much to these players, not just to play for their mm. team, but also their region. Yeah, to represent their region. It actually makes me kind of scared because even if they take the win on this one, they're going to go up against Crew, And they said exactly the same, that they wanted to represent the region and do the best for them. So it's kind of making me kind of sad. Okay, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> we saw in the uh, Crazy Raccoons exit interview from uh, Masters 2 how important it was to them. I'm sure it's the same thing on the other side from mm -hmm. Zeta Division, but you talk about crew. I'm, I, they, they were the ones who took out Sharks last time around when it oh, went down to it. So I'm wondering if it's going to be the same repeat scenario for Brazil down the line. Uh, you talk about scared? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I mean, if that happens again, they're, they're just going to have to be dubbed as like the Brazilian killer somehow because yeah. they always seem to be making uh, these uh, draws. Uh, but just really quickly, you know, we speak about what it means for the Brazilian region, but for Japan, they've been... I, I don't want to use the word underrated because obviously from uh, Iceland, I think people were a little bit underwhelmed with how mm. they performed. Uh, but this time around, I think it's not the same narrative anymore. I think also that the game has changed a lot. We expect some upgrades from some of the regions. So, of course, we expect something from them. We just need to know, we need these tournaments to actually measure. I think the entire tournament, though, has upgraded, right? Yeah, yeah. The entire meta has been pushed forward. And also Japan's popularity has pushed forward in terms of viewership and the players themselves, their brands growing. So all of this is uh, in the back of their minds when they're playing these games. How do we push this forward? We just saw Bunny, right? This Oof. guy is really starting to grow and people are starting to get some notoriety behind his name because of his plays. So that's also on the mind of a lot of players too. Yeah, and speaking of those players, we spoke about Laz and Heat individually already, but let's look at the head-to-head. -head. Uh, although they're slightly different players with the agents and the roles they play, but obviously both of these guys expected to really, really step up for their team, uh, Bala. Yeah, and I think one thing to note is um, this KDA, right? Laz is slightly higher, even though Heat has been on the top of the eight or the um, ACS stats yeah. the entire time. But that's because Laz plays a lot more of a supportive role, and that shows it. The other things to look at here is um, the total ACS. I think for Heat, that's a single number that you're like, wow, that's crazy from one of those games. But Laz also, he's playing a supportive role, he's up there too. I think that they're proving that they're both top players. Um, even though the last KDA is a little bit higher, um, he has the role of, you know, getting the entry frag, the push. Uh, uh, last is just going to be waiting for you and playing for the team, but they're excellent at it. At it. One more thing to note there, 25% first blood percentage <laughs> oh, for, yeah. for, for Heat. It's and that's crazy. not like, you know, you're not like, oh my goodness, this is insane from looking at the other stats of players, but he did that while losing, right? Yeah. So it's, it's even more mind-blowing that that is so high for him still. I know you mentioned that you'd also like to see the other players step up around Heat. Is that, you feel like that's the most important thing today, that maybe he doesn't have what it takes to necessarily completely solo carry this? Yeah, I, I think he might, you know, he <laughs> might, but um, he definitely needs to be traded in those instances where he gets like the three the three kills or something like that with his op and then falls back. And Muriz needs to also be un unlocked, right? So, I think individually they can take through this game because of the way that this matchup is. However, it, it, it has to be um, Heat and somebody else, right? Muriz mm -hmm. has to be stepping up in those moments. He can start the momentum, mm -hmm. yes. but I don't think he can necessarily end it. I think that's exactly it. I feel like there's a lot of weight on, on his shoulders because he knows that his team and everybody else expects you know, to, to, for him to be the first one to, to just open every single round and be like, okay, guys. And if he is doing, is doing well, the rest of the team is going to follow. I feel like Joe had a really good day the other day. I feel like they need to keep it up. And in terms of Zeta, you know, we saw Bass on one of the maps. Uh, people are big fans of him. Just yeah. really quickly, Kakuka, would you like to see him play more please. maps? Yes, please, <laughs> please. I love Prince and please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Uh, well, this is it, guys. The second elim elimination match for today. Let's send it over and meet the players.
the more serious walkouts I feel like I have seen. But Bala, it breaks my heart to say that this is the last time we're going to see one of these teams on the Masters Berlin stage. And that's why it's so serious. That's why there's no games on yeah. this walkout right here. They're fully focused, and yes. I, I think nobody is happy to be in this position whatsoever. I mean, they need to be focused. It's, uh, it's good to see them happy, to see that they still believe that they're a team. They have to be a team, especially today. Can I just say, I love how Heat went to sit down on his PC when the rest of the teams are having a team talk, and they're like, no, 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 don't sit down yet, don't sit down. He's ready to go in the server, guys. That's a good sign, yeah. that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, he's focused. Uh, but we've got to talk about the maps as well, because we've seen both of these teams play already, and Kakuka, the last time they played against different opponents, mm -hmm. we didn't get to see Haven one Icebox. Yes, um, uh, we did to get to see Icebox from um, from uh, Vivo Key. That was an insanely close map. I feel like if um, Zeta has to ban something today, it has to be the Icebox because it was they, it was just too good. But it leaves another options open that are too good for Vivo as well. I feel like in that sense, Vivo is like winning the veto before it starts. Oh, before it even starts. Well, we're gonna go into now and see uh, what picks and bans that they're gonna choose. We'll probably uh, start. I believe we're starting on the side of Vivo. They have the first ban. They banned uh, Haven against Envy. It would still make sense for them to probably take uh, this one off the table here as well. Bala, uh, yeah, we're, we're expecting that, I'd say. I, I'm a little... I, I want a little to hear a little bit more, Kukuka, about yeah. why you think they win the veto right off default. Oh, I yeah. do, because uh, I feel like there's... Uh at least three maps where Jet is insanely good, and I feel they're with the Jet battle. So I just starting off with that. Um, okay, the first one, yeah, is going to be Haven. It's a map where they do not feel comfortable. They almost always lose in their region, and it's just a weak map for them. So no surprises there. Oh, and it is Icebox banned. You were right. I, I agreed with that, of course, because yeah. they also banned it against Crew. So it would make sense, right? You're not going to go into the map that they almost, you know, took going forward against Ooh, NP. This was my doubt because I actually wasn't entirely sure. Um, uh, if Zeta was going to go uh, for the ban on Icebox or on Breeze. And this is literally the best map to watch uh, Vivo Kid play on. I feel like he is 100%. Um, they're just too comfortable in attack. They, they got almost 80% of the rounds in attack. That is crazy. Wow. And they're actually starting attacking. Yeah, that is, uh, that's a bad sign, I think, for sure. But both teams are comfortable. They played it four times uh, each in their run here. So I don't mm. think that this is going to necessarily, you know, Zeta's not going to be completely unprepared or something. It's not like that it's a map that they aren't ready for. And it will be split. So we will see bars, mm -hmm. right? We'll see yeah, bars. Yeah, we'll yeah. see the brimstone. They did get the win against Crew. Their defense was just, it was impossible to go through. That is one of the things that I really like. I felt like Makiba was not the best um, on that day. The versus he was on point. So, um, and for Vivo, it's a, it's a close map for them. So I expect some surprises, comp-wise. I mean, it's going to be exciting to see Bars, uh, regardless. It would have been a big shame for for them to play a big elimination match and not uh, not not show us the brimstone. It's still an odd pick, but we'll get onto that a little bit later uh, because we still have the third map to come up as well. They both played Bind already. Uh, yes, they both lost, lost here it. as well. So I wonder. Ah, here we go. Ascent okay. is the last pick yeah. here. I think like this is a good pick. Um, this is probably the most uh, uh, played by Zeta, but they did lose against um, the against Crew. They only got, it was the map, they only got one round on the attack that, you know, kind of scares me. And for Bebo, I mean, they got mixed results. They do implement the Astra here. I really love it. Um, um, but he, they've been keeping the same comp for maybe too long. Maybe some surprises as well. Although maybe it's not the moment. Yeah, I think the, the playbook has been put out there on how to take down Zeta Division on this map. Yeah. I mean, they would have been comfortable with Bind too, but this is just like statistically the better way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, starting off on Breeze though, I think now I start to see what you were trying to get at Kukuga at the beginning yes. of the segment, right? Where it's like the jet battle is going to be mm -hmm. here. And exactly. Heat versus Zeta, everybody on paper is looking at and, and from what they saw in that first game from these mm -hmm. teams, I think they're they're definitely leaning towards Heat, but we still got to keep eyes on Zeta, whether he can actually come into this, or sorry, Raida, yeah, to see if exactly. he can come into this. That, is, that was my Raida. question. Yeah, I love Zeta, Raida, Raida, Raida. Um, That was my question because the other day he was not entirely in for his team, so he needs to step up on t and take the battle against Heat. Like, that is such a compromised position for anyone. I gotta say that I know uh, 
um, Bala, you said that they were both comfortable on this map. Of course, they both played it. It's not like one of them has never touched it whatsoever. But looking at the opponents they both beat on the side of Vivo in the Brazilian region, they beat Game Landers here. They beat Furia and they beat Sharks. In yes. fact, they haven't lost at all. And obviously, no disrespect to the Japanese region, but on the whole, it does feel like the Brazilian teams are a little bit stronger. So do you feel like with that track record underneath their belt, uh, Vivo has a better chance here? Oh, absolutely. I yeah. mean, I think this is going to be a quick 2-0. Uh, wow. So wait, a quick 2-0. Okay. Uh, yeah, a quick 2 -0. How quick are we talking? Well, you know, that's a, that's a bit of a harder thing to predict, but <laughs> I, think, I think it'll Razor be pretty Rick fast. Quick? Oh. oh, no. <laughs> you said no, quick? No, definitely not that fast. I mean, that that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh okay, oh, so Breeze, you're feeling, you're feeling heat yes. on this one. 100%. Yeah. Uh, you, you, context matters, right? I bring yes. up the, the fact that both of them have played this map a significant amount of times, but you look at the teams that they played in Brazil. That is, that, those are the teams yeah. that I was bringing up before, right? This is, they went yeah. through the gauntlet of the best teams in Brazil before getting to the stage and going through Breeze on three of them is, and if, is, is really insane. Yeah, and if we talk about Zeta, we know that they lost their last uh, encounter in playoffs against Crazy Raccoon, so it makes me kind of scared. They both are really strong on the attack, so I'm kind of surprised that they decided to go for defense. I feel like timings is, are super important, especially with how big the map is. Kind of concerns me, you know, because I'm not really feeling the killjoy pick coming from Vivo, but I mean, if it works. I think Breeze is a map that a lot of people are still figuring out, yes. right? And yeah. give but Fracture is already here, so baby, you better be fast. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a really big fan of that, Kukuka. Yes. I'm looking forward uh, to seeing that in pro play. But back on uh, Breeze here, you mentioned that you're not a fan of the Killjoy, but also if Vivo run the team comp that they ran four times in Brazil, there's no flashes there outside yes. of the Reina as well. What do you make of that? I mean that they want to uh, complement um, uh, Heat's operator with something because if you're playing with the operator, you cannot entry frag on every single round, obviously, because you need to anchor some angles and yada yada. It's, it's just different types of playstyle. Um, if they feel comfortable enough just using the Viper and, and relying only on the Reina Flash, I mean, it gives you the ability to blind your opponent, but also the ability to entry frag. So I think it's not the best, but you know, you're supposed to. Playable. Yeah, playable, yeah. <laughs> playable. I think one of the things that Reyna can do is actually give you the ability to work mid a little bit more, right? You're a little bit more free when you try to pick down the double doors or up into the uh, the nest area of middle. And that is a big point of contention. If you're first time watching Breeze, that's somewhere where you want to be paying attention to how these teams use middle, if they use it at all, because that gives you avenues to split the sites in very interesting ways. I know, uh, Vala, you're confident that this is going to be a bit of a quicker 2-0, but Kakuka, do you feel the same way? Uh, are we going to see map three today? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so because I feel like Zeta are going to do great on split. <laughs> I'm a Brimstone fan, She's okay? She's a Bars fan. Yeah, She's I'm a Bars fan. fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, Sky Brimstone, just bring it on. It's just, just because, I mean, now we get to see more Sky, but there was a moment where it wasn't so popular. And Brimstone, I feel like he's only playable on one top two maps. You know, so. uh, yeah, and he's uh, not going to be played off Fracture anyway. Yeah, and also for, before we move on to a split a little bit, they do have something a little bit more funky there. Uh, but do you want to see something funky here, Bala? You know, we've seen G2, they changed, they tweaked a little bit, knowing that they needed something uh, stronger to come out of their opponent. Is this somewhere that you feel like both Vivo and Zeta need to do too? Uh, it depends if they've practiced it, right? You never know what they've actually gone through. I don't necessarily think that there's room for funkiness on Breeze because you need kind of uh, a, a couple of things, right? You need to play Viper, so there's no leeway there. You can play a double controller, but then you might take away from some of the initiation because you need a Sentinel, in my mind, yes. to play Breeze because the flank routes are so good. Look how big this map is. It feels big, but when you hit the flanks and when you start to run down mid and stuff like that, if you don't have a Sentinel, that can catch you off by guard or off surprise. Yeah, that's why the kill you kind of scares me because I feel like for keeping the ground safe, Cypher is, you know, more viable. Um, uh, and the initiators, I feel like you need them. You know, I feel like you need the so uh, you kind of need this guy, you can make it work, you know, obviously it depends on the team and the playstyle, but I still feel like I completely agree with Bala, you need the Viper, you need the Sentinel to keep to, to save some ground, even if you're not there, you need to have presence, and uh, I mean, there are some musts, but you can change things. Well, uh, we have a split decision here when it comes to uh, the predictions a little bit, Bala uh, saying that quick 2-0 for Vivo and Kakuka wanting to see map 3, but I'm interested, I wonder what our casters think about this, Pan Andy and Hypok, uh, what are you going for? Well, I I think the map veto has got me leaning towards 
Bala's side of things here. I, I don't know if you're in agreement. The nod does seem to make it feel like a yes, but I'm a bit worried for the other side now because from every indicate we've seen, especially with Breeze being that first map, tone's going to be set. A lot of those indicators that made what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back here in the Berlin Masters Berry Casters. Again, no Mitchell um couple shirt coming in, couple jacket coming in. Well, natin natin to, here. Natin to, oh, tayo, diba, today? oh yeah. I mean uh sobrang matching namin today, and uh, to be honest, um medyo malas kasi yung ibang casters kasi puro sila best of three. I mean nila best of three puro sila game three, medyo matagal. Pero kung kami ni Ilu, uh, pag Pag kami dalawa yung nagkakas dalawa, lagi na lang 13-2, 13-1, alam mo yun, parang th this might be uh, the same thing all over again. Because look, look, this I mean, is actually VK versus Zeta Division. Well, this, I mean, for Zeta Division, they're one of the best there in Japan, in their country. Yeah. Pero ito, this is the top one here in Brazil. And I can't wait on who's gonna win this. This might, you know, Vil, before the match actually started. This might actually be the map, the game that breaks the curse na puro mabilis na lang game natin. <laughs> yeah. And binabati ko siya ngayon. And of course, you know, maybe, maybe we'll actually see a three-game series for once in our lives, Vil. Kasi mm -hmm. sa lahat ng cast nga natin, puro 13-1, 13-2. And these two teams, you mentioned it, the best of Japan versus the best of Brazil. I think yeah. it's very possible that we see a three-game series. Sino, sino mas, ito Vil, tanong ko, sino mas kulang outfit ng coach? Yung sa Japan or yung sa Brazil? Sa Brazil ako, oh, alam mo naman, <laughs> sa Brazil ako, oh, men. Medyo kuno lang ata sa outfit, eh, pero uh, itong si, si tawag doon, si Coach San ng, ano eh, ng Japan, maladapper yung dati yung ano eh, no? Po, pogi, pogi yung suot ni oh, oh. Dapper. Ni, oh. ni Dapper tuloy, ni, <laughs> <laughs> ni Coach San. Mukhang bata to, oh. I think he's like super young, dude. Actually, yeah. uh, that's Solid, the advantage bro. of having like it. It uh, right now we, the, the, we are in this place here in Valorant. Na, mm -hmm. madaming matatandang galing sa CS. <laughs> Tapo tulad nila Hiko, tulad nila Steel, you know. But, tulad nila ano? Tulad nila retract. Tulad nila <laughs> <laughs> dumpstep. Ayan. Tulad nila dumpstep. Tulad Shout nila Jesse Fish. Shoutout siya palang ay dumpstep. Jan. Nagwawatch party nila... nga pala sila. Oh. Ayan. Mga players tulad nila ano ni Batang Pro. Ayan. Oo, tama. Hindi na bata <laughs> ang Batang Pro. Pero yung ano, we are coming to the point na we are starting to see the young guys na sila talaga ang, you know, this, this, the it? new stars. The yeah. new parang, uh, the new simples will emerge from the next generation na hindi galing sa CS. Hindi yeah, galing yeah, sa ibang yeah. shooter. Valorant mm -hmm. lang ang linalaro nila. And we might see it here today. Kasi, I mean, Brazil, sure, they play a lot of CS. But there's a lot of young people on the roster. Japan, it's not so much the same way. Japan yeah. and Korea is a region na straight to Valorant ang pinanggalingan mm -hmm. nila. Yeah, that's true. Kasi, kung, nab kung nababansin, except, actually, except ito, ah. I mean, except Zeta Division. Kasi magkakasama na ito. Grabe, no, grabe naman talaga. Yeah. Pinapakitaan tayo. Oh, wow. pero, Magic. pero kung pero men kung nakiki kung, kung tinig naman yung monitor siya nagpapalit lang yun ng skin sa collection <laughs> <laughs> sobrang baba lang talaga ng sense niya kaya ganun yung oh, argument <laughs> sipin mo eh no? nagpapalit lang siya ng skin sa ano, skin ng barrel eh no? ganun na yung movement niya pero ito actually except this Zeta Division kasi sila yung team na magkakasama na nung CS pa tas lumipat sila sa Valorant sila pa rin magkakasama yup and let's take a little bit of a look at their stats right now. Hindi na pag-usapan ng pano, kaya siguro I'll be able to talk about it. Their recent performance, actually. Zeta Division. Talo sila sa KRU. Sa crew. Yeah. And KRU is not even the best Latin American team. 2-1 yeah. ang score nila. So this doesn't really bode well here for Zeta mm -hmm. Division, especially um, now that they're going up in, the, in, this next, uh, in this next game. And, mm -hmm. you know, things might actually go 2-0 like you predicted. Yeah, actually, sure. ganito, I mean, uh, it's gonna be Brazil versus Japan. Because mm -hmm. it's gonna be Zero Division versus Vivocade. Tapos dun sa Group C, it's gonna be Havan Liberty versus Crazy Raccoon. So, alam mo, parang Brazil versus Japan talaga yung naglalaban dito. Pareho silang nasa lower bracket. Pero yun nga lang, um, itong Zero Division, I casted this. Crew Esports. Yung first game nila, the score is actually 13. Umabot sila ng 13-1, hindi yeah. naman 13-1, pero 12-1, tapos siguro naging 13-8 ata yung score nila. Para alam mo parang ito yung nangyari dun sa crew. 
Tapos, sila pa yung one of the best in their region. Pero ngayon, they're, they're gonna be up against the best in Brazil naman. Yeah. Pero, ang nakatalo nga dito sa Vivocade is actually Envy. Merong winning streak ang Vivocade against Shark, Furia. Pero yun nga lang, it's just Envy ang nakatalo dito sa Vivocade. So, yun nga lang, makikita natin dito, if ipagpapatuloy ba nila or ibabawi nila yung pagkatalo nila sa Envy vs. Division. Pero, yun nga, to be honest, ano eh, for me, it's gonna be 2-0 sa for Vivo Kid. Fun, fun thing is, you know, we look at the tops in the region, the number one representatives in the region, and these guys are it. This is the best in Japan. This is the best in, you know, Brazil. We saw KRU, who's the best in Latin America, and we're seeing a little bit of a big picture here. Now, what we're looking to see in the near future is, you know, obviously Brazil is in a whole different region because they're nila. Yeah. And we haven't really seen Brazil versus Latin America. That's one of the matchups that uh, I'm excited to see sobrang, a little bit later in the tournament. Sobrang hype nun. Feeling ko pa naglaban sila. Sobrang Pero yung pinaka gusto ko talaga makita. Ano? Bill, ano? Is Team Secret versus Vision Strikers. Oh yeah. yeah Yan dude. ang gusto ko makita. Yeah dude. Busy tayo. Sisigo-sigo na rin dito man. Isipin oh, mo dalawang casters. Kung unyari tayong dalawa yung casters dito. Tapos yung mga ibang casters nandito rin sa channel natin. Si Misig nakikisigo rin sa atin. Oo oh, kahit hindi nila ano. Kahit hindi nila broadcast. Oh! Biglaan nyo nalang maririnig sila. Terror. Oh. Sila Asuray. Oh, uh, i-on ni direct yung mga mic nila para marinig niyo yung mga pagsisigaw-sigaw nila, di ba? Si, si Darwell marinig niya nila sa kanya. Uhu. Oh, nag-uuuuhu, <laughs> nag-aara-aara si Darwell eh, no? Habang <laughs> nagla-like, <laughs> habang nagla-like sa Twitter. Pero <laughs> Pero pero yun nga, I mean, uh, this match to be honest, it's just um we mahirap din sabihin na one-sided eh. I mean, like the panel said, the panel was split on it, and we yeah. know enough about this team to say that these guys are actually pretty close in terms of skill level. This is actually a pretty decent chance for both of these teams here. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, we saw this is the lower bracket. Unfortunately, one of these teams will have to go home. Uh, the yeah, the panel so talked sad. about it. There's a chance na umuwi ang isang region dito, and it's most likely going to be, I think, Japan. Na baka umuwi oh. lahat ng Japanese players. Oh, kasi yun nga. I mean, tutulog nga na sila bigas yun. This is gonna be a tough one for Brazil and Japan. Kasi isa sa kanila or dalawa sa kanila is uuwe. Pero ito pa yung nakakalungkot. This is gonna be Paper Rex versus Super Massive Blaze. Yeah. Ang panalo don, sure, mga kalaban ng ascend. Ang manatalo don is uuwe. Pero hindi man hindi mo na uuwe. Magbabakasyon mo na sa Germany ng matagal. Kasi for sure, naman sabay sabay naman siguro yung flight nila. <laughs> And yeah, look, so, look, honestly, it's going to be like mm-hmm. a little bit of a silver lining na sabi natin, okay, na-eliminate kayo ng maaga. Pwede naman kayong umikot ng Germany. Di ba? Pwede oh, naman diba? kayong mag-tour. Di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Sabi nga, sa, ito nga sabi sa akin ni Coach Gibo, malapit lang daw ang Amsterdam kung nasan sila. So, la- <laughs> Actually, so alam nyo naman. Yun, eh. Oh, so what happens in Amsterdam, Gibo, Stays in Amsterdam. Alam naman natin yan. Napag-usapan na natin yan, men. Pero yun nga lang, going in for the agent select. We are now seeing Heat, Joe, Murez, Vixen, and NCK from VK. Nagawa nito. Hand warmer. Nagpapaypay. Hmm, papaypay. Pero for Zeta. Hand warmer. Oh, yeah. It's a Kedge. Krell, Rada, Makiba, and Laz Daily. Laz <laughs> Daily. That's one map. That's one map. See you See tomorrow. Taka <laughs> kita ka na ba nun, Vil, ng mga hand warmer dati? Oh, I mean, yeah. Ako yeah, yeah. hindi. First time ko lang mak- I didn't know na may actual hand warmers pala na parang packets na ganun na pwede mo pala gamitin. Oh, sa mga... Kaya shake mo lang. Oh, pag nasa... Sa mga major tournaments, hindi din talaga yung gamit nila. Lalo na pag kunyari medyo malamig-labig, yung kunyari Iceland. Ano ba ko sila sa Iceland? Meron siguro sila nun oh, sa Iceland. Malamig oh, din eh. Iceland sure. yun Lamig eh. Din eh. Sabi nga pala ni John Paul Mendoza, ang team name ni Vil at Illustrado, um, Vildo. <laughs> ayaw nila ng, ano, ayaw, na, ayaw nila ng Vilustrado. Gusto nila ng Vildo. Pwede naman, pwede naman. Pwede naman. <laughs> Oh. Bakit kayo ganito? Kanina pang oh. ang kalat ng chat natin kanina pa nung nagkakas oh. pa lang kami ni Tero. Sobrang oh. kalat na nila. <laughs> Balita mo nga doon, kinikilig ka nga doon. Ay nako, invento naman pang chat na to eh. Oh, matik lang yun. Pero ano, ito. I mean, uh, 
solid yung match kahapon ng ano eh, no? Nang... Tawag dito? 200 thieves. Oo. Yun talaga. Balik na si Higo. I mean, kasi, dude, galing tayong CS, Bill. Diba? Oo. Oh, and oh. it like reminds me of those old school clutches ni Higo nung nasa liquid pa siya. Oh, Kinago oh. 1v4, 1v5 pa siya. And it's like, oh, oh my god, he's back. Higo is tapos, back. Tapos ang sarap sabihin yung pangalan niyang Higo. Alam mo yun, parang... Oh. Uh, in to be honest, reactions, he's back. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's been uh, every caster's dream, lalo na sa Southeast Asia, to cast these players. Yung mga NA players, yung mga EU teams. I mean, if ever na kinakast natin ng Sentinels, if ever kinakast natin ng Envy, sayang nga eh, kasi walang Team Liquid, wala sila, walang TSM. Sobrang sayang nga eh. Alam mo eh, parang, sa akin, a dream come true. Na saying these players... Names, tapos yung mga teams nila. It's actually solid. So, yeah. Yeah. This feels nice to finally catch yeah, them dude. back again. But, here we go into Breeze. Dito na tayo, game number one. VK versus Zeta. And one of these teams, uuwi. Dala na nila yeah. ang baggage nila. They're gonna go home to the airport. And one of them Dino is muna. gonna... Dino muna. Magtitour muna sa, sa Berlin. Oh. Uh, parang uh, European tour, pero yun nga lang. That is the first vlog coming in from Joe! Taking down Raida from Japan, and the Brazilian people are happy right now. And they are one pick. That's definitely a good start for them, lalo na sa attacking side. They're gonna be pressing the advantage here, and look at that, Jiao. Because Tech Edge will take a kill on Spongebob. It's just Mirrors and NTK. Just denying the possible win of Zeta Esports. It's just Joe. My being that is just a turret. Binilan ni Joe ng vandal yun turret. And he will take down <laughs> the cage. That's really, really sad na. Alam mo yun. Yung turret, yung one, kawanan naman niya. <laughs> Makaiba. Na Makaiba. Uh, Makaiba. Raida. Raida was playing super good in the previous day, dude. It was like the Raida show. Laz as well. So we're looking at them na to pop off here. Iniintay natin mamaya. One of the maps na talagang nagsha-shine ang Jet Main dito sa Breeze. There's so yeah. many things you can do as a Jet Main here mm -hmm. and I'm looking to see what Raida does. Si Heat din. Actually sobrang galing nitong si Heat. Hmm. Actually yun nga. I mean, uh, pag-usapan natin yung mga Jet Main, Jet Main yan. Alam natin eh, na talagang pag Jet ka, gusto gusto mo talaga yung maraming verticality, yung yeah. maraming maraming spot na pwede ka makapag off angle number one breeze number two syempre ice box number yeah. three ano na yan number three is fracture haven. for sure haven tsaka fracture yeah. <laughs> pero Wait. fracture kasi napakadaming corners eh no doon magbe-benefit si breach you know yeah and the thing with fracture for me is para siyang ano um, para siyang long range map na claustrophobic at the same time it's big oh. and small at the same time so medyo mahirap ma place kung how to actually play the map but one thing I know for sure I think that yung mga diba, linaro natin to Ville diba nakailang games tayo siguro oh. two or three games or something oh. feeling ko sa Fracture malakas ang raise malakas ang Phoenix mm -hmm. oh tama 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 um, lalong lalo ng race kasi mm. al alam naman natin na maraming tight corners dito sa ano maraming tight corners dito sa dito sa fracture so magbe-benefit yung pain shells niya lalong lalo na yung ano niya tsaka yung, yung spawn pa lang niya. sa spawn mm -hmm. pa lang yung sa spawn pa lang sulit na sulit yung boom bot mo eh pag mag if you're the defending side and then you use your boom bot towards the any spawn you get so much information mm. Kahit Sky Flash nga lang, mag-flash ka lang galing papunta sa spawn ng attacking side. Si Sky, si Sky may benefit din. Yeah. Sobra. Hmm. Sky's good everywhere now though. Like, I can't hmm. think of a map that Sky's not good. Ano, parang ano na siya eh, parang it's a must talaga na may Sky kay no? Sky and ano, yung nga, double yeah. ini. I think the Sky only map na hindi talaga. masyadong okay si Sky is probably Split. I mean, yeah, that's true. Kasi pwede naman, ano eh, parang mas magbe-benefit pa si Breach sa Split. Yeah, Breach or... Kesa si Sky. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And, and that's why we're seeing some Breach every now and then. Nakikita, na nakikita natin yung Vision Strikers kapon gamit na yung Breach. Pero sa Haven. Kung napapansin mo, nung VCT Stage 3, nung right after nung pinalitan yung... Hindi naman pinalitan, parang nirework yung skillset ni, ano, ni Breach. Matagal natin siya hindi nakita. Oh. Halos hindi pinik si Breach nun. Si Breach, si Breach. Outfit pa lang nila eh, no? Ano pa lang? Layo Tawag eh, no? Iba, iba, ibang iba Layo. yung culture, no? 
Yung iba y- yung mga yung, yung mga go? Japan kasi ang hirap uh, mahilig talaga sila magbihes, 'di ba? Punta ka sa Japan lagi ng daming mga suit, ang, ang gagawin ng mga outfit Same as Korea, lagi actually. Oh, actually. Diba? Pag ito yung dalawa, ano? hindi pa man. So, ako rin, hindi pa ako nakapag-Korea. Sa- sana magkaroon ng VCT Korea, tapos pupuntahin natin. Meron na kayang VCT Korea. Ano, ano, I mean, VCT <laughs> na, ano, na land sa, Tur- sa Korea, ah, tapos mapuntahin okay, yeah. tayo dun. Tagalog Tama. casters tayo dun. Pa. Pwede planted. pwede. Tapos tour lang tayo sa Korea. Pagkatapos oh, ng game, oh, okay. tayo, makianyong tayo sa mga oh, Korean girls. <laughs> pu- 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 puro tayo sa, ano, sa Gangnam District pa. Gangnam, ah. <laughs> uh, ano daw dun eh, ma- yun daw yung parang, ano nila eh, par- tawag dun, parang BGC nila eh. Yup. BGC ba? So, BGC ba talaga or Malate? BGC and Malate. BGC Combined. Okay. Na mas mahal. <laughs> oh, mas yun mahal na mahal talaga. sa Korea. Oh. Lalo na sa Gangnam District, yun daw talaga yung pinakamahal. Pero mas mahal kita. <laughs> oh my god. Heat oh. here with a kill, close range flash. Makaiba falling back, but Crow's gonna get the kill and exit frags lang ang hanap ng beta. I mean... I have no idea what ano nangyari doon man. No, 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 they all wanted to deny the kills. They didn't want to give VK the extra 300 per kill. Ah, oh, okay, okay, alright. So, so napakamatay nila sa spike. That is a 4v4 situation, man. I mean, that is a 4v4. Ito, wala man talaga nag-re-take talagang, sige, antay na lang tayo, mag-exit frag sila tayo dito. Yeah. Pag, uh, pero, tawag doon, uh, doon sa ed- exit frags nila, kailangan nilang mamatay. Kasi pag di sila namatay, wala silang pera. Tama. Tama. Kaya kung nagtataka kayo bakit sila tumakbo papuntang site na Ewan, mm. uh, it's because, first of all, they wanted to deny the 300 credits mm. to BK. Second of all, kailangan nilang mamatay para makuha oh. yung pera. Mara, y- yun yung mga small details na kailangan din natin talagang i-educate yung mga bagong players. Kasi, Mm-mm. hala, ba't siya nagpakamatay? Ganyan, ganyan. Bayan, uh, four course. kills na matay, pumunta sa spike, wala namang tao. I'm oh. sure, and especially a new FPS players, yung mga galing ibang, you know, mga yeah. MOBA, hindi na lang maintindihan. Why would you do that? That's why. Yung mga small details na gano'n. Tipong, hala, ba- bakit ano? Bakit nyo kami pinapasave? Eh, may pera kami. Tipong gano'n. Dapat talaga, Ayun. Better talaga if, kunyari, um, balance talaga yung player. I- right. Balance talaga yung credits. You, you know what I don't like? There are, there are some people that I play with all the way up to siguro, da- pati hanggang sa diamond may nakikita akong gato. Well, not diamond, siguro plat. Mm-mm. Ayaw nila mag-drop sa teammates nila kasi sabi nila, no, I'm saving for the next round. Labo, di ba? I mean, yeah, yung mga, yung, I'm mga... saving 3,000 para may pangbili ako next round. Like, why? It's drop for your team. Dude, 3,000 is so much already. I mean, okay na kayong 1815 na natito oh. sa'yo. Goods na yun eh. I, I get that a lot. And I'm sure that people still get that a lot. Because I guess they don't understand that you have to fall by it. I don't know. Yeah. 30 seconds left. Well, yung iba naman talaga nagkalala for fun lang talaga. I mean, not, not for the competitive level yeah. talaga and something like that. Pero yun eh, wala, hindi naman natin sila masisisi. Yeah, but if you do it in platinum, come on. <laughs> yeah, yung plat ka na pero ganun pa rin yung mindset mo. That's gonna be really messed up. Pero yun nga lang, going back to this game right now. Just fix it. Fact, there's Spike already. Shot and one connect on one pinning on. There's a lot of smokes that are coming in. Which are going to eat it up because of all the... They're just actually blocking all the paths. They're just blocking all the visuals of these players. Not really going to read the way to kill again. But the flick coming in from Raina. Second down the one player. Because yeah, it's all up to mirror. is one of the four situation right now. So the team, this, this is now up. Pero yun nga lang, the spray and prey coming in from last. Just denying that win again. First round, naren from Zeta. Na pa wujud sila. Yeah, Finally. it's a decent, decent, decent naman yung buy nila. Pero they still lose two. They could have actually lost four there. Tignan mo naman yung HP ni Rey. Tachan ni Nakaiba. Actually, kaya tayo. I mean, Zeta winning. Matik na yun eh. I mean, this is not actually surprising. Kasi ano naman sila? They have the firepower. They have the economy. Especially it's on actually, Breeze. Yeah, especially um, uh, dito nga Breeze, like what you've said. Kasi mahirap naman talaga na Spectre lang ang gamit mo na lang na malayuan. Zeta knows that already. They have the Phantoms, they have the Vandals. Might as well pick them off sa malayuan. Look at this play here um, by Zeta. They're stacking four towards A. Yun ang counterplay nila ngayon sa play ng VK. And they've clearly done their homework. Flashing coming in. It actually blinds up the push right now. Slows him down. Stops the Owl drone. And now he has to fall back. Ginamit niya ang tailwind niya. Kaya wala nang dash ang jet dito. So, so far the read is looking good for Zeta. The rotate now gonna be coming in. Yeah. Knowing na uh, VK yung pumili nitong, nitong breeze na to. Ha, talagang, actually mahirap yun eh. Um, nasa 
tawag dito. Nasa pag-aaral ng coach yan kung paano talaga babasahin talaga yung mga players, I mean, yung, yung mga kalaban nilang team. Yep. Like, what, what you've said na Zeta did their homework. Na nalaman agad ng coach nila kung ano ba talaga yung uh, play style ng VK dito sa Breeze. Oh, Jao. Raida looking the wrong way. Zeta's gonna get that kill. Raida finds it onto Jao and 3v5 na ngayon mga kaibigan. Nice top from Heat to bring it back. 3v4. Still possible, still winnable here for VK. Lalo na nakuha nila ang call. But adjustment from Ra from Heat right there. Gets one before he goes down. Nadala pa niya sa 2v2 eh. Spectre lang ngayon ang hawak ni Crow. We'll be able to switch out to a Vandal. 2v2. Winnable actually. I mean, si, si Vex na naman meron pa naman siya Snake Pod just to like uh, deny the, the possible entities of these players. Pero yun nga lang, ang problema dito, all they need to do is uh, is actually a smoke. Pero yun nga lang, Mirrors will take down one already. It's gonna be a, fan, a fa phantom lang ang gamit niya. But at least VK got that angle and yeah. that kill in that round. Ang hirap talaga labanan ng post plant. Sova tsaka... No? So what's like a viper yung naka post plant dun pa sa cave ang hirap patayin yan. The the only way you get past it is kung may smokes ka, kung may utility ka pang clear or maybe like a sage wall but there's just no way that you can handle that. That flank actually mean not flank though. Pero yun nga lang that pick from him talagang yeah. waited for the right moment for him to pick. Right? I mean He's actually in the right place in the right time, taking down that turn in the mid. But yung alam Rita, can he do this though? Pero hindi siya tama ng liru na yun. Pero oh my oh, no, god, that's actually a really unfortunate thing. And Muris already taking down Rita, the main duelist of the game right now. I mean Zeta. Well, I mean this win, matik nate. Yeah, I mean, eco round on Breeze, Medjo expected siya, but still good good kills from Heat. Um, it's gonna get him that Blade Storm. So even if they're get gonna get forced onto an eco, sabi natin in the next two rounds, kasi madami pang pera ang VK, they're still gonna have enough to buy. Oh, the damage on Makaiba, low HP, dashing through, and Heat with a triple kill, makukuha niya ang round. Apat na ulti ang available dito para sa VK. Four ultis is now are right now up for the side of VK and uh, Ilu. Four one. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Wag mong bati eh. Tain mo lang. Chill, chill ka actually, lang. Actually, actually, napansin, napansin lang namin yung ano namin yung thing namin. Pagkatapos ng game, yun ba? No. No. Nung game nung kahapon. Testing natin. Uh -oh. Quick game. Kung uh -oh. talagang pag illustrate the quick game. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> tapos yung tapos na kay Riri lahat ng curse mo. Ano ba kung simula ling? Sa kanya na punta eh. Oo, lahat! Pero yung alam, pero okay lang, maganda naman yung last game niya. Oo. Oh, oh. Gambit. Kaso lang, ito kapag ng umaga. <laughs> pero maganda yung laban. Oo. Oh, oh. Sipin mo eh, no? Di wala ka pang tulog. Nagbabreak pa si ibang tao, nagko-commit pa po sa work. Tapos ikunit pa. Overtime pa. Pero okay lang. Okay. <laughs> Oh, mahal namin ginagawa namin. Oh, wow. VK, really aggressive pick here. Kaya nga, with a second, but pa rin yung galang just nakita na sa. At si binablock din kasi nung ano eh, nung Hunter's Fury. Yup, di nyo nakita. Pero nice pick pa rin galang kay Heat dito. Isa na yan yung mga titignan nyo dito sa team na to. Heat really is one of the hard hitters dito sa VK. Lagi siyang tatama with those blades. It's, for me, it's Heat versus Raida. That's gotta be the show here today. Ito nga lang going back. Seekers now activated. 4 v 4 switch away. The clock is taking on 30. Sky is just down below. Taking down Mirrors agad. Merong Viper Spit dito si Vixen. Pero yun nga lang. He needs to use it right now. I mean, I have no idea kung pati pa nila na ginagamit yun. That is actually a game changer kung pati ginamit yun, man. Walang time! Oo. Meron. Oh, Oo, meron. 0.7. Bakit hindi na ginamit yung Viper Spit? Actually, hindi lang yun. Ba't hindi siya nag-postplant sa ito? Oh, Ito yeah. lang ko. Mm. Ba't hindi sila nag-postplant? Pinush niya, so, no? Oo, oh, nag-push siya instead of falling back. Uh, and I don't understand why. Because they still have the Sova. And like I said, the Sova combination with the Viper for postplant. They're so deadly. And look how much. They had their ultis, dude. Yeah. Hindi nila nagamit. Look. Crow. I mean, they had it last round. But they should have used it in the last round. 
Medyo may slay. Lang, I mean, marami silang ultimate kanina. Pero yun nga lang, hindi nila na, hindi rin nila masyado na nagamit ng super okay. Well, at least the plot naman nila na daw. So, maram, alam naman natin na marami silang pera. So, all they have to do, uy, nagawa mo dyan. So, all they have to do is just try to maximize everything that they got. And, uh, as you can see, for Team VK, they're just actually having fun right now. I mean, not being that sobrang stressed or anything. Kasi sa mindset nila, parang wala naman dapat talaga ika-stress. For now. I mean, For now. just because they're winning. Diba? Pero pag matalo yun mamaya, magagalit na yun. Hmm. Vamanos! <laughs> ano bang let's go sa... Let's go in... Portuguese yung gamit nila eh. So, di ko alam. Portuguese ba? Vamos Portuguese la! Portuguese yung language ng Brazil. Vamos la! Vamos la. Oh, vamos pa rin. Pareho lang. Ah, talaga. Yeah, um, well, they, they derive from the same source naman. Oh, okay. Same, same. same brand. Sabi ni Rere, aba, binubuli niyo naman ako. Hindi naman, Rere. Ano lang, um, facts lang. Here, facts. stay safe. Mm. Operator on radar. Looking for a passive pick here. This angle is very spammable. Ah. It's very dangerous angle to hold here with the operator. The... Our drone will spot him out, flash forces him off the angle, and the uh, snipe, the viper smoke actually makes. It. Oh, look at that mm, spray down through the box right there. Boss, na bukas ang mid dito ng Zeta. Hindi nila alam. Tatlo na palang nakapaso kaling sa double door. But can they hold it? Doesn't look like it. Shao. Oh my god, one empty. What is Zeta doing? What is the response here? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, si Maki ba? I mean, he's not doing anything. Andun lang siya, well, nakikita, uh, well, ang ginagawa nito is information. Pero yung alay, he's not hitting the shots. Ang dami nila sa site, walang nakatingin, walang nak- What? Iniwan nila doon, iniwan nila doon yung Viper, man. He's not hitting the shots, dude. Last one, Ang tagal niya doon, walang bumakap sa kanya, ha? I just wanna say, ang tagal niya doon, walang bumakap sa kanya. Tsaka, paano sila nakapasok sa mid-garage na walang nakapat sila sa site, walang nakapasok sa mid-garage. Oh, na ganun ganun lang. Well, kahit na specter ka doon. Kahit na specter ka doon. I mean, he's not actually hitting any shots at all. Makiba, yeah. 1 6. Makiba. Yeah, that's not. Uh, Mak Makiba, Makiba, Makiba. Makiba, I guess. Makaiba. I don't know, that might be just like an anglicized way of saying it. Yeah. But it's, Jap it's a Japanese name, so. So, so Makiba, Makiba. Makiba, Makaiba this. Yes, yes, I, yeah. I don't I don't actually know. Maybe the Japanese speaking players in our chat yeah. will tell us. It's not about the ara ara. Oh God, Bill! <laughs> please, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this is a family-friendly street. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Pero ano oras nila naman eh? Late night. Oh nga. Kung kung gising pa yung mga bata. Tulog na ang mga bata. Matulog na kayo mga bata. Aman. Nang oras na. Oh, clean. Why? Why just walk? What the hell, NTK? Revealing area. We can both found them. Oh, you will be. Boy! Ooh. Easy kill that coming in from NTK. 6 2 and a VK okay. doing it already. Merong Baka... isang Merong what? isang team na ganito yung logo eh. Yung 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 ulo na yan. Iniisip oh, ko si no? Inoy. Eh. Wait, wait, oh nga tama ka. Wait. Uh Spartans, something like that. Uh it's it's pretty common. Nakita ko na yan eh. Not sure. But uh, you know you, you're probably on to something. Tama ka sa. Oo. Alam. Makiba daw, Makiba. Makiba. Oh. Ata, Makiba. Sabi ni Vroom Vroom, Kaiba. Makiba. Makiba. Sabi ni no, ni Vroom Vroom. Sa si. Oh, oh, oh. It's a Twitch um Twitch guys, please don't forget to follow PPGL and us as well. Congratulations oh, to you for... Sa, follow oh, yeah, yeah, Twitch. Yeah, congratulations kasi affiliate kina bro. Yeah, Five affiliate plenty. na ako. Illustrado casts on Twitch. Pa-follow naman. Oh, magkakaroon ka na ng check mark like us. <laughs> Mala pa, partner yun dong. Oh, nga, malapit na. Square. Oh, yeah. pa yun. Oh, wait lang. Nice shot. Galing kay Laz. But finally. Kimia Corpse. 
and he knows it already kung nasan kayo. Vixen, eto meron ka ng Viper Speed dito. Best, baka naman hindi mo naman talaga kagamitin yan! Hindi niya kagamitin. Tamang distance. Pero niya kailangan. Information is right there. Take it down these players. Oo nga! Viper Speed, Viper Speed! Binabuhat na naman ako ng... Binabuhat na naman ako ng mga kakampi ko! 7-2! You know, we might actually be seeing, uh, yeah, we might, <laughs> we might be seeing another quick game. Heat talaga nagbubuhat dito, 14 and 4. Yeah, dude. Sarap pong kasama ilo. Tayo dalawa. <laughs> Tayo na yung duo, eh. Oh, well. Next time, next time na, ganito yan. Next time na maglalaro ang secret, ang team secret. Dito sa international. Dapat tayong dalawa mag-cast. Para, para mabilis ang... Oh, para fast game. Oh. Para panalo agad ang Team Secret. Oh, yes, matik man. Scanning ahead. Shoutout nga pala sa mga Team Secret um, fellas dyan. Tanggalin na yung logo sa harapan. <laughs> masters. <laughs> masters. We got masters. it already, masters. dude! Masters! masters. Si Ace, a Masters! <laughs> We got it already, dude! Hindi mo na kailangan oh. ipandalantakan sa mga mukha namin na Masters. Secret. Masters talaga! <laughs> Sponsored pa tayo ng ano? Hindi, 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 hindi. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Vex, iba, ibang pang pang yan, Ilo. <laughs> ibang pang pang yan, sponsor na nun. Vex it again. Oh! Sakyadja! Sakyadja! Oh! Oh! Sakyadja! Humbaru! With a killer! <laughs> oh! Mamaya, Anzeta. Anime ito eh, hindi pa patalo yan eh. Mamaya makikita nyo na lang yung Hindi nyo pa nakikita ng aking isang daang porsyentong lakas! O tipo nga nung gentle gen! <laughs> yun ang nasa isip nila takid siya ngayon. Wow! Missing the shot. Pero nga lang, meron tao sa gilid! Oh, wait up! Yes! Um, boom! Panis! Mamaya marinig mo dito, Bill. Jepoy Dizon! <laughs> <laughs> Jepo <laughs> 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 Kinain. Ano yan? Ano, what, it, it's ano yung there, Mario? dude. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> ano yung Mario? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Tilted yata yung mga Zeta players ngayon. Oo, oh, man. Tsaka, hala, si Vil, si Vil, tsaka si Ilo yung nag-cast. Bilisan na natin, guys. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Si Ray Ray, tsaka si Dax ba yung last game? Today. Ata, most likely. Mamaya, hanggang mamaya pa yan. Hanggang mamaya pa yan, promise. Yeah. Ay, gusto ko pa lang i-shoutout yung mga tao behind the behind the oh, uh, behind the scenes. Si Mr. Dale. Ayun. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Shoutout sa Mr. Dale. Shoutout. Napakahusay. Mm -mm. Kung naririnig mo, kung naririnig mo to, pitikin mo. <laughs> pitikin mo. Yung baso. <laughs> Mamaya pag magkita kayo, pitikin mo pala. <laughs> A side. A side. B side pala nakuha na dito ng VK. And it's like Zeta is just giving sights. For Malina, Mali, uh, you know what? They started the game with some really good things, especially on that A read. But oh they're just not hitting the shots, dude. I mean, this is the map that is picked by VK. Next map is actually Split, which is, which is na pinik naman ng Zeta. Yeah. Ngayon. So, may kita natin if ever ano pong mangyayari dito. Kasi, itong mga ano, yung mga mapa, um, di ba kasi di ko alam kung kailan nila, kung kailan sila nag-veto dito eh. But yeah, probably within the day lang din eh. No? It, well, no, it was earlier, earlier. Nung lumalabas yung mga hologram. Ano na? Hindi. Hmm? Hindi. Hindi lang yun. Oh. Siyempre, oh, ano? Siyempre, siyempre before to mag-start. Before mag-start, nakapag-detail na sila. Hindi. Yun yun, yung map picks mismo. Kaya nagiging red yung mga hologram. Pwede, 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 Kung ban siya. Pwede, pwede namang pro i-program yun eh. Live nga daw eh. Pwede, okay. <laughs> but still, 
Split is more feeling ko mas mas Japanese yung style ng Split. Oh, t- Not just because it's in Japan. Ah yeah. <laughs> but ramen buff. Ramen buff. Yon, may ramen buff kaya sila mga map yung natin. But you know, because it's a more compact, tighter playstyle map na mas makakapag-coordinate ang Japanese teams, it really does seem like it fits for yeah. them more. Because you know why? Split lang yung napanalo nilang mapa ever sa tournament na to, sa Zeta. Mm. I, I mean, sa ano, sa sino kalaban nila? Sa, sa crew ata yung kalaban nila, sa crew. Split Tara lang yung napanalo yung... nila. Ah, oo, sa one map na yun. Oo, oh, tama. Mm, yun lang. Na sinabi ng panel na huling laro daw ng Zeta sa Split eh 2020 pa. Literal na last year. Hello? Hello? Literal na last year pa. Tapos biglang tinuro ng Zeta yung crew. Tsaka, alam mo ba, ano isa pa? Yung mga Japanese people, parang tayo lang yan eh. Malilit din tayo yung mga pe. <laughs> What? Where? What? It's weird, cause it's a smaller map, dude. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's not hmm. yet. Okay, okay, okay. Toxins going up. Medyo kinabahan ako doon sa kanyang Kung baga ang tawag sa atin, uh, oh, syempre Asian tayo, the Asian-sized Spike people. Spike down A. Fun size left. Oh, uh, fun size. Fun size. Depends. Uh, uh, hindi naman, fa- naman tayo fun size, so... <laughs> si Darwin, <size>. siguro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Makiba. Alam nyo ba? Bill, alam mo ba? Meron tayong end stream na ano channel points. Oh, oh, oh pinoint out ni ng isang viewer sa Twitch. Oh, may end stream, one million channel points. Seriously, why would you even do that, bro? <laughs> Yo, people, so why would you even do that? Eh, but what if merong isa, what if kunyari Valorant Champions, di ba? Oh, eh, tapos eh, tapos, tapos, tapos sa buong taon. Men, men tapos sa Twitch, ano, sa, sa Twitch yung tawag doon, yung talaga super mainstream ng lahat, di ba? Yung main channel ng lahat, men, nandun talaga. Tapos bilang end stream, tapos magwa, magwa pala yung sponsor natin. Wala na, bye-bye. Because there's this one guy <laughs> na nag-ipon eh. Nag-ipon ng 1 million channel oh, points. There's this one guy, mga kaibigan. I'm really, really sorry. So, ayan. Tinitignan ko ngayon yung channel points natin eh. Unlock a sub, choose an emote, activate emote, react to a YouTube video. Ano kaya to? React to a YouTube video. Ano yan? Saan yan? Sa PPGL Twitch? Yeah. Oy, may Steam sign profile. Mm-hmm. Pero ang tanong, sino ang magsasign ng Steam profile? Ang PPGL ba? Or tayo? Oh, feeling ko tayo. Feeling ko tayo, tayo din naman. Oo, oh, tayo, tayo. <coughs> hmm. Ang, ang, ang i-react natin, Riot number one. Valorant number one. Yung ilalagyan natin sa, ano, dun sa profile nila. <coughs> dun sa isang uh, I am publisher. wrong. I was medyo bobo pala ako. Dude, I, I, yung sabi ko. na eh, sabi <laughs> na eh. <laughs> natingin, natingin ako sa stream ni Dubstep. Oh my God. Oh, Dude. nice. Nice, nice. nice. <laughs> So kaya pala bro. kaya pala medyo familiar. Uh, sorry guys, medyo sabog na si Ilio eh. Ano it's, one, it's almost 1 AM. Dude. Almost yeah, 1 AM. So yung emotes pala natin is modify a single emote, send a message. Okay, yung mga standard lang pala. Okay. Mm, we would even end the stream, bro. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny though if we put that in and then somebody was just like, "Oh, uh, I guess it's champions. Let's just end the stream yeah. right now." Yeah, so we not the sponsors there because there's just one guy who wants to end the stream early, like literally, nung kakasimula yeah. pa lang. Pero ayun, uh, big shout out din sa mga friends natin sa YouTube. Big shout yep. out sa inyo guys. Mahal namin kayo. Um hindi namin kayo nakakalimutan. Kung sa Dami pa lang nanonood sa YouTube, no? Yeah, ang dami. Yeah, ang dami. Nagulat ako, eh. akala ko our biggest viewership would be on Facebook or uh, Twitch. Oh, well, Facebook talaga. Mm-mm. But I'm surprised. YouTube actually madami. Yeah. Shout out sa inyo guys. So, hindi naman na kinakalimutan. Pero, yun nga. So, if ever kami magkasama ni Ilo, expect a really fast game. And it's happening it, and it's happening happening right now. 9-3 so, curse kaya? 9-3. Um, let, let's see. Kasi, wala eh. This is the map of, of VK talaga eh. This is what they picked. So, apparently, we are actually um, expecting so much from them. Uh-huh. Okay. Zero division. May nag-check ako ng may mga oh. announcements pala this week. Ayaw ko na ng RGB. Oh. 
Ay mo na ng RGB sa ano, sa keyboard mm-hmm. o sa lahat? Sa ano, sa actually ata RGB ka nakapatay. Except yung, except yung nano-leaf ko sa likod. Parang, I mean, it's cool at first. <laughs> parang siguro for a few years. But oh. eventually, masasawa ka dun eh. Yeah. Uh, ang RGB ko na lang, yung nano-leaf na, na yun na lang. Mm. So, it's, um, parang... Tandaan na tayo, dude. Hindi na tayo oh. bata. Hindi na tayo pwede sa puro ayaw RGB. Na, ayaw ko na rin ng clicky. Eh. Nakalinear switches na lang ngayon. Ikaw, gusto mo oh. ng clicky. Eh. Yun, ang, yun ang unang Tactile siguro nakakasawa. Oh, tactile ako eh. Gusto ko tactile. Oh, oh. Yung ramdam pa rin na parang typewriter, pero hindi siya maingay. Solid. Mm-hmm. Sobra. I think, well, yung unang masasawa ka, yung clicky switches. Kasi yun yung oh, talagang... Oh. Nagsawa na talaga ako. Ayaw ko na. Klak, 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 klak. Nakakasawa eh. Oh, At first, ay- satisfying oh. siya. Mm-hmm. Yung tipong bago-bago pa lang yung term na mechanical keyboard, si mga mm-hmm. ganun. Palakasan talaga yan. Blue switches talaga all the way. Pero yun nga lang, pag tumatanda na tayo, ako, nakalinear na lang ako. So, yep. mas gusto ko yung sunod Suwabi pa rin. Ng... Ano na ako, hindi na ako tak. Sock na yung gusto kong tunog. Clock, clock. Socky na. Clock. Clock. Iba, iba yun eh! 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 Y- y- yung gusto rin ni Ilo, ano yun, ayaw, ano, ayaw, ayaw ka na magsabi ng... <laughs> oh, y- dahan, oh. dahan, nakalive oh. pa rin tayo. Oh. Baka ano pa masabi ko, baka may MTRCB na tayo, eh, no? Baka ito na talaga yung huli nating magcast together. Ah, gusto pa talaga mabilis kayong mga Mabilisan matches niya. pala, ah. Oh, sige. <laughs> Hindi na namin kaya pagkakast the whole, ano, the whole event. Bye-bye. Oh. Jesus, kakalat na. Kailangan na mag-hit! Yes. Hit! Wala siya nagawa eh. Wait. Parang Mayroon. may... Parang may delays. <laughs> ah, okay na. Kala ko may delay yung Facebook. Wala pala. Stop! Pero yun nga lang. NTK. Second down. Last one ready. Minus one sentinel already. Actually, they need... They need last talaga eh. Para mapanalo tayo. They need that much information na meron sila. Pero yun nga lang. Mirrors. Taking one down, taking down two! Wow. That's not... Also, that's a little bit of a... Maganda yung angle selection. Left. He knows that one of the one best plays to make... Oh my god, he's down, just hitting mid. a shot. One HP. And that's enough to get the trade here. That's another win here for VK. This game is probably already done. Let's just write it off right now. Um, but I do have a very, very important question to you. Sobrang importante. Tatanong kita. Bill. Kinanong din ni Black and Blue to? Mang Inasal Chicken Oil or KFC with Gravy? That's a tough one, dude. Right? KFC Gravy with Chicken or Inasal with Chicken Oil? Ano ako? Um, ang hirap, ang hirap. Ang hirap. Ako chicken oil ako. Chicken, chicken oil. oil Lalo ka. na pag garlic rice. Oh, oh man, yeah. Oh ano? I mean, kailan kaya tayo magkakaroon ng ano, no? Ng, hindi naman siguro cook-off. Pero kailan tayo magkakaroon ng show na nag-uluto tayo ng dalawa? Oh, that would be so... Pa- that would be so that would, oh my god, I was gonna say something so conyo. That would be so nice oh. one day. Uh, Mag- matagal, mag- sobrang tayo. tagal na. Dude, tagal na mag- ano tayo, yun, barbecue man. nga. Yung parang ah, ano, wala tayo yeah. magsama-sama. Tapos oh, oh. grill tayo. Ah, dude, yeah. Maganda yung pagkakaroon ng outing. Tapos ano, tapos... Hindi ka tayo na sarili natin grill, tapos yep. hindi tayo ng mga hot dogs, burgers, or kahit ano, pero yun nga lang going back here. Heat on ready! Oh! Take it down too! It's, that is a- Oh my oh, god! god. Let's go! Oh! Oh, He's getting on fire right now! My the nice! Huh. You should have seen your faces! Heat? <laughs> Excuse me, what on earth were those shots with the Vandal? Ay, uh, Vandal, sh- sh- to the Marshal! Marshal, Marshal, Marshal! What?! That is a no scope heat! Come on, man! Long in range no scope. Humane precision coming in from heat! Get him off. Just, just, let's just appreciate. Oh my god. Oh, what oh was that? God! god. Oh. Oh. Nice heat! Oh my god, right. heat, man! That, uh, I am. Wala akong masabi dyan. Yeah, Grabe yeah. yung last shot na yun, no? Tulad na sinabi namin, ang Marshall, pag ang Marshall yan, kahit hindi siya nakascope, accurate pa rin yan. Nasa gumagamit talaga eh, no? Kung, oh, kung magaling ka mag-Marshall, napaka-laki na benefit na yan for your team. Eh. Oo, oh, accurate pa rin yan, man. Kahit hindi nakascope yan. 
hindi yan tulad ng operator na hindi siya akin at pag hindi siya nakascope. Mm. That's one of the best plays na nakita ko dito sa ano. Sa... Yeah. Well, sa eco round siya, pero still, it's a nice ace. Yeah. Ano yan, um, mapupunta yan sa top 10 plays ng Masters Cruise. Give me those stats. Yep. If ever magkakaroon. Imposible hindi magkakaroon man. Eat. Ooh, the right clicks, and yet again, heat, heat, heat. it's all about heat. Sha, yung ma, yung yung yun. Oh my god, heat, what the hell? He just wants to make this a quick game, Phil. Yeah, I mean, tayo magkasama eh. Tatapusin na ni heat, oh. <laughs> yeah, dude, I mean, uh, that's a good one, heat. Tuloy mo lang yan, don't stop. Come on! Pangit, pa pangit daw ng casting natin kasi nakakagutom daw. Oh, kasi na pinag-usapan natin pa pag kain eh. Sorry! Sarap ng, sarap ng mga ina. Gusto ko mag-chicken ina. Yung masarap na chicken ina. Sal, di lang mga inasal, may mas masarap pa dun. Oo. Oh. Diba? Yung, yung gusto kong ano. Mas masarap talaga uh, pag homemade. Yung tipong ikaw talaga yan. gagawa nung dressing niya and everything. Yung Alam mo ba yung original uh, creators na, yung pinakamasarap na chicken sa Bacolod? Yung Bacolod chicken inasal? house? Hindi, chicken house. No, no. Meron no, no. dito sa Pilipi sa Manila. Talaga, nagbakolod na ako pero hindi ko alam 'yan. Yun yung sikat doon sa Bacolod, yung chicken house. Oo. Oh. Tapos meron dito. Super dati nag order ako ng pork belly eh. Tapos inubos namin. Mm. I will never do that again. <laughs> liempo, no? I will never do that again. All liempo. Yeah, dude. So, yeah. Masarap, uh, al alam mo actually, ang masarap kay iyon habang nanonood ng Masters. Pansit mm. kanto. <laughs> Start with the P, pansit ka. Oo, oh, okay. pansit ka. Tama. <laughs> oh, may, may, sinab may, may sinabi yung may, may sinabi yeah. yung tropa natin si Dale. <laughs> pansit ka. Inang gusto, in gusto niya ang kainin eh. Yung oh, start with the letter P then. Oh, 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 start with the letter P then. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Pansit ka na ba? Uh, sabi na na, pusit. Pusit? <laughs> pusit? Oo. Oh. Ikaw, ano ba yung favorite, favorite way of eating pusit mo? Um, gusto ko ng grilled. Grilled? Oo. Uh, there's on, honestly, there's no re this match is done. It's like a 4v2. Oh yeah, dude. And look at that. Let's just... <laughs> oh my god, let's go! Defenders win. Gusto mo ba ng ano? Uh, dinugo ang pusit? That's all. No, no, no. Hindi mo alam yung dinugo ang pusit. Alam mo ang masarap? Pusit, tapos sinangag, tsaka itlog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pero hindi ko kasi pwedeng sabihin on stream ko ano yung tawag dun eh. An Actually, hindi ko alam yung tawag dun. Chat! Chat, ano, ano bang tawag dun? Paki-inform. Ayun. <laughs> 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 Yun ba talaga ang tawag dun? Oh, oh, pusit, God, sinangag, tsaka oh, itlog, no. diba? Oh. Oh. Oh, nga, tama ka nun. Let's pero we'll let our, our our viewers try to guess what was it sinangag and it look is yeah tama. Sarap nun, man. Tapos meron pang tomatoes. Gabi na mga kaibigan. 12.30 na. 13.3! VK! Man! No. Mukhang swerte shots. talaga tayo. I hit, dude! Oh! This is Masters, pare! But heat! Init! Oh, oh, I mean, look, it's, it's really the heat show, dude. Like, it's all the kills. Look there, this is the one. This is the one. He reloads. Two shots lang ang kailangan niya. He gets another one off. He finds two. Oh, one bullet in the chamber. That That is one of the nicest martial plays I've yeah. ever seen in my life. Same. Man. Um, it's actually super nice that uh, pagkami ni kakas, laging one-sided yung match. And, sabi ni Ray Ray, uh, may mawawala ng trabaho bukas. Sabi ko, ikaw yata yun kasi ikaw puro, eh, puro three maps kay. Oh yeah, yeah. Tingin natin. Pero yun nga mga ibigan, that is actually a really, really great match coming in from uh, VK. And it's just uh, the Brazilians just dominating, owning, eating. Japan Live. Sana ako makain na kayo. Uh, sabi ng, uh, sabi ng Zero Division, yamit eh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, really, really good game from, you know, if, it, okay, it wasn't really a good game. But it was a really good stomp that what we saw. We'll, we'll, we'll see, maybe they can change it. Zeta, they won on Split last time. This is probably their best map. 
We'll see if it actually goes to that. We'll take a short break. Pagbalik namin, game number two na. Auxil Estrado, it's Seville, and we are the Vildo combination. <laughs> we'll, take a, we'll take a short break. Don't go anywhere. Sabay na to. I care that my family wins. First one ka sa meeting, that's a win. Morning, everyone. Dad. Panalo rin kung sabi ni Doc. All oh, clear. clear. Ah. That's right. You can have the cookie. And congratulations, tanahan mo ang spoilers. I make sure all their needs are taken care of, kaya walang napag-iiwanan. This year's class valedictorian is Victor Manalo. Winning starts at home with Globe at Home Only Fiber Up Plan. Power your home with health essentials. And entertainment for the family. Manalo talaga. Guys, pictures! Bye! Masters Berlin, where Vivo Keat have turned up the heat against Zeta Division. I had to, guys. <laughs> I had to. I it's had just to. In your DNA. Uh, I'll, make enough, I'll make another. I'll make a more it. creative one next time. Uh, but yeah, I've got Kakuka and Bala back with me now. Bala, we can see why that was the map choice of Vivo and why they've been so dominant in Brazil. Yeah, I mean that was uh, ridiculous. That mm. is a superstar in the making. Pansy set it up on the casting desk before after the game ended, and uh, yeah, they kind of. 
cleaned up house throughout that entire match. It felt like they had the pace going for them. Every single plan that they tried on that attack side worked. And for good reason. I mean, when you have a person like Heat fragging out like that, it's really hard to stop any plan that you throw at your opponent. Yeah, and remember that I told you guys before the match started that I feel like it, the veto favors them because if one of these maps goes through like Breeze and you have Heat on your team, I'm sorry, Yinsu, is 362 enough for you? I know you want more from Heat. Yeah, I mean, it, it, we could get hotter. This is not his final form, I'm sure of it. Um, I would love to see what he would do against someone like Tens, though. You know, that kind of battle duel. That'd I mean, be maybe. Really, really I, I don't see why. I mean, we, already I saw, see we already saw Ye versus yeah, Heat. That yeah, was already exactly. a, a really good match already. But then you pair it up with everybody else in Sentinels. I don't know if that's going to be as good as you think. Yeah, but that's the thing, though, right? Because the, the map went so fast. Yes. And Heat had such a good individual play. Do you feel like this brings Play is still, is yeah. Something else, please. I mean, I, I think we just need to look at this and just understand that we're not, we're just, you're, we're just mortal and he's not. Yeah, uh, but yeah, do you feel like the the individual play is what carried them through here? Because Bala, Breeze uh, for them, it looks good, but could they get away with this against a different team? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that the way that they broke that map down was pretty much what I said at the beginning, right? They were the only team really controlling mid. They just ended up just walking through it yeah. on the timing that they were hitting A at the same time. So every single Ma Makaba was in the back of side, just like trying to play the pyramids, trying to hold the people off. We're pushing through the wall. And then here came Joe. Here came he right through yeah. the double doors. It's so hard to deal with if you're not doing anything against it. Mm. And that's kind of what happened, right? So Zeta Division might not necessarily have been the team that they need to be challenged with uh, for their game plan to fall apart. They commit to one objective and they go for it. Maybe that's the reason why they do not really need a Cypher. Uh, we're feeling that lack, but really it's about the mid control. Even in the early in the round, they're not scared. They're committed to what they do. They do know where to find the frags and play around their own comp. Um, and they, I mean, I'm, I expected a you know an easy map for them, but this was I think too much. Yeah, I mean, how concerned are you though going into the next one, Kakuka? Because that was Vivo's pick, Zeta, mm. a little bit outclassed. Uh, we don't really know what it came down to. Maybe it was preparation. Maybe they weren't expecting this. Mm. Uh, but they still have another map. I mean, they, they should have expected this one. But yeah, now comes Split. I feel like Makiwa the other day and, and today was not on his best performance. But Bars is coming out. He's probably going to play the Brimstone. I don't expect any changes coming from Zeta. But um, I feel like this is a map that they need to step up. I'm scared because we saw Maurice on on Reina. Now we're going to see him on Race. And if, you know, if we see Heat and him holding hands across the map, that is going to be a problem. We didn't necessarily see Vivo Keyed here yet, so we don't know what is going to come out. Uh, but what we do know is the form that we just saw. So yes, I, I, I'm still not changing anything. I still, yes, I respect the plays that Bars did in order to get their win um, against Crew on this map. But I don't necessarily think that's going to be enough. Playing against Brim, it's something that everybody's experienced, right? Sure, there might be some differences, but it's something that every single player has gone through. And the adjustments you have to make are not that much different than any other controller. Yeah, to put people a little bit into perspective, this is, um, as we said, they just peak, but Vivo has good results in it, okay? They, they won the both in contests that they had since July. Um, uh, they were not easy maps for them, but they still managed to pull them through. So, um, we know that they're strong. We know that there is something that they're not going to pick, but they don't feel uncomfortable playing on this map. That's why I also said that they, the veto always favored him. Definitely. Well, I got to just uh, let everybody know at home that Bass is definitely coming in for this. He is on stage in the place of Makiba. Uh, so we will most okay. likely see that Brimstone. But of course, we got to say the Viper 2 Bala on the side of Zeta because uh, Vivo, they ran a Viper in the past before on this map, but they don't really run the Viper here. Yeah, I mean, in general and all, their maps it's like sometimes it comes out but it's never like a key focus point yeah. for them uh obviously last time it was significant but that's because they just did the basic thing when i watched zeta on this map it was in conjunction with the brim i really liked brim viper but it's really hard to execute with i, I mean obviously there is execute potential there but to actually make it valuable is going to be something that we'll have to see if they can do and uh they did well against crew i'm just still worried about heat 
And I know that's a really, really basic storyline, really basic point, but that's literally what we just saw. And I think he can overcome all that execute power and stomping power that the um, Brimstone Viper has. We're very relaxed about their defense. Is As I think Bala said, uh, our, their attack that we're concerned about, especially because I feel like Brimstone's abilities do not complement the rest of the composition. Uh, I love the double controller, but I would never go for a Brimstone on, on this map. Still, uh, let's see how they do. I think that's what I, oh, look at that face. <laughs> you can't dislike that. But I think that's what's beautiful about the fact that they have something that they believe in and most teams will not go near the Brimstone uh, on, on, on a few of the maps, let's be honest. But they sub him in specifically so yeah. he can play the Brimstone here. So it's kind of a secret weapon. Is it secret? <laughs> well, it's a, it's it's a uh, well it's known. A weapon. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. Yeah, it's a weapon. It's a weapon. I don't um, know if anybody's like, oh, let's let's make a specialist brimstone. You know, like yeah. oh, what is, he, what is he specializing in? Throwing stim packs. Brimstone. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Uh, but let's uh, remind ourselves the stakes here because uh, for Zeta, they are kind of on the brink of being eliminated here. They have to win. If they don't, they're going to be out of Masters Berlin, and also they are guaranteed to play LCQ unless Crazy Raccoon wins the entire competition, which means they will get an extra slot. Similarly, on the side of Vivo, if they win today, they knock Sharks out. So Sharks would have to go to LCQ, similar, exactly similar story, where unless um, Havan or Vivo wins it, Sharks, they have to play LCQ. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of things riding <laughs> yes. on this match, Kakuka. What do mm -hmm. you think is the more likely scenario for you? I feel like right now Vivo are feeling extremely comfortable after getting a 13-3. And um, they're feeling comfortable because they know that even if they lose this map and we get into the third one, it's going to be um, um, Ascent. And it's like their most played map, played map and they know exactly what they want to do against Vivo, against Zeta, sorry. In terms of the champions route, I think it's very interesting that so many teams are actually watching right now and hoping for a specific result, mm -hmm. obviously on the Japanese side, and mm -hmm. also uh, Shark specifically rides on this match, and already there's a little bit of something going in that direction. Hopes may have uh, been lost for some of those Sharks players. Yeah, I'm sure they're prep already prepping, you know, for LCQ because nothing is really uh, being guaranteed. But coming back into this game, we spoke about Laz and Heat uh, in the pre-match. You know, we did a bit of a head-to-head. -head. We have an updated head-to-head -head here, and I'm sure you both, you know where this is going. He he has padded his stats a little bit in oh, that yeah, last with match. Oh, yeah, because 3 Yeah. Okay, what is it now? Do you uh, I'm waiting for production to tell us, but we do. We will know in a second. Uh, any guesses, Bala? You wanna you wanna throw something in the there? The differences between him and Laz? Uh, I guess, or, or how how much ACS he's on now? Oh, yeah. okay. Average ACS over the rest of it with the Envy game. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, probably still up above 300, 320, something like that. 300. 18, I'm going to say. I'm going to guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 10s is the one to beat, right? I feel yeah. like everybody's looking at 10s, wanting to kind of get a, a, elevate their stats a little bit higher than him. Uh, of course, he's going to be back in action tomorrow. Now, here 20. we go. 322. Who was closer? Ooh. He was. Bala was. Yeah, Bala knows. Bala knows. Bala knows all about the ACS. Uh, but yeah, this guy. Made up a number. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 30.3% first blood percentage as well, but this guy, super, super consistent, but we, I mean, like you guys said, against Envy, he also turned it on, but we just got to see what he can do if they are able to make it past this and also make it all the way to playoffs too. I think this map will be a little bit more difficult for him to have an ACS yep. like mm. this, right? Breeze is something that specifically enabled him, right? Specifically those distances, the way they were playing, the game plan that they had coming in the flanks enabled him to get a lot of uh, kills easily, right? Split is a different story. When they're not coming to your site, it's a little harder to have that impact because then you have to work through all the different angles that they've kind of taken, whereas Breeze is uh, slightly different. So I don't expect the same performance, but I still expect them to take over the game. Well, we are heading into the Prime Gaming Age and both teams, they have their comfort picks. They know what they want to play here. Every single player 100% so far throughout stage three. But of course, this was Zeta's map pick, Kakuka. Mm -hmm. uh, they should probably feel a slightly more comfortable here than uh, Vivo. Yeah, and last going back on the sky is something that I really like to see. I don't expect any surprises from uh, any of these teams. Uh, the first pick is almost guaranteed at this point. Um, uh, I'm concerned if I if I were Zeta right now, I'd be very concerned to how am I going 
to stop Heat and Morris from coming into the side? How am I going to stop the amount of information that they're going to gather when they are on the defense? Uh, many questions, but still no surprises on the picks. One of the things that you can do is actually play Astra. Uh, mm -hmm. to, to stop because the gravity was a little bit yep. harder to get yep. through. But the mollies that Brim and Viper bring don't do much, right? They I can mean, just up trap and yeah. fly over it. Like. Oh, double satchel, you know, <laughs> a little bit of bunny over here. Well, that's the agents that have been locked in. No changes as you both predicted. Uh, Balas, you still waiting for a quick 2-0 here or you got more faith in Zeta? I have more faith in Zeta to get more rounds, like two more. <laughs> Come on, Kakuka, you're the nice one here. Yeah, uh, no, I think that they're going to get this map. Oh, I wow. love that. Wow. Well, they have to get this Obviously. map if they want to stay in the tournament and also be in contention for champions directly. Pansy and Hypog, there are no second chances here. No, there really aren't, but also... Welcome back, guys, and here we are. It is game series, excuse me. Number two, game number two, and Bill clearly still browsing there. We, we want to take a good look, yeah, you know? We're looking at the stats, obviously doing the, research, guys. The, yeah, 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 exactly. I just checked out the stats of the players. Natin. And uh, I just saw now that it's just Zeta, man. They won this map against the uh, Kalaban nila nung isang araw. And uh, yeah, let's see if ever magiging... I mean, blessing but for us. Now it's gonna be the same thing all over again. It's gonna, if ever we decide to come in, it's gonna be a fast game. But it's really up to these players if ever they can keep up or talagang Zeta has this um, talagang blessing as well. Dito si Mapa. Yeah, oh, that's... Long grenade out. Really quick here and that's gonna be already the side taken. Look at how quick. And they even die to the um... Yeah, to the... Turret. <laughs> yeah. Spike down A. But you know, my big and going back here in this game right now is actually that's important. He didn't mind me, but I'm gonna heat and take down. I'm gonna heat. I'm so brung loan in a dito. Laz, however, so full in HP. The only man remaining for the side of Zeta Division, the pride of Japan, is here. So 3v1, 30 seconds, 7 o'clock. And to be honest, it's going to be impossible for him to retake this or what. But if ever lang talaga na, 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 na nag-audition ang uh, VK dito na isa-isa sila pumapasok, eh, talagang for sure, Laz will get this. Pero yun nga lang, they have no idea at all kung nasan ba talaga yung spike. And syempre, kung nasan ba talaga yung mga ibang players dito ng... Uh, ng VK din. Pero ang problema dito, Killjoy just setting up that drone already here in A. Yun nga lang, masaspata na rin siya. And it's just Joe spawning him out already. 1-0 in favor of VK. Yeah, easy kill. Easy kill this round yet again here. VK, maganda na naman yung start nila dito. And Zeta, once more. By the way, quick announcement. For your reference, kung ang Zeta ay natalo dito, it means one thing, na ang Crazy Raccoon, they are going to be qualified automatically for champions. Wow. So, kailangan... Ay, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, that was what the panel were actually talking about mm -hmm. here. So, if Zeta lose in this one, Crazy Raccoon automatically qualify for champions. Mm -hmm. So, Z if Crazy Raccoon, they're hoping that Zeta lose, actually, even though they're from the same country. Go win back again here in this game. Let's see if they can uh, keep up, or probably Zeta will gonna get the and it's gonna be impossible because of the firepower and building in the VK Heat getting that first blood again. Taking down the hedge, putting out, trying to get for the second one and the third. The fourth one is actually waving right up, putting out, and Crow will get his head. Nice flank coming in from him, but you're not Crow, not one of the spectators with him, but you're not just MTK with that. FF spray and that finger. Yikes! One thousand credits. It's in the bag. Yeah, and they're gonna recover that stinger. Easy now. You know, it's again, it's not the cleanest of anti equos, but point in they're gonna be happy with it. A win is a win, and you know, if we're gonna see any repeat of last game. It has to be on this round. There's a chance that VK, dahil kasi split to eh, may chance pa rin talaga eh, na manalo ang defensive side. First of all, 
tight bonus round to defensive side is still really favored here and mm -hmm. when you can play close angles like here in split uh, you know the potential for an upset on these anti-eco round on these force by rounds sorry bo bonus rounds very possible There's a time that we're going to be able to because of the firepower in the middle of the we're going to start to off with them. With Heat again, and plus that Heat is coming in from Laz, but it's just PANDEMONIUM! Coming in from VK, taking down each members of Zeta. At the sabi ng VK ngayon, bawas naman, kahit armor lang! Enemy remaining. Oh my god! Down. Heat! Wow. Guns blazing, man. Again, it's just heat. It's a heat show, dude. All day, every day. Kakasabi ko lang, may potential manalo sa mga rounds na to. And then, they do exactly that. BK, dude, they just look unstoppable. He, when heat is looking like this, you just can't stop him, man. I have a question. Can you, like, re repeat the thing kanina? Uh, ano? <laughs> <laughs> kung Sorry. matalo, ito, kung matalo ang Zeta, qualified ang Crazy Raccoon sa Champions. Oof! Kahit anong mangyari. Kahit anong mangyari, basta matalo ang Zeta dito. Oh my god. Delicado ngayon. Kasi, I mean, matik na yun, di ba? Kasi, based on points, no? Wala, isa yep. lang talaga from Japan na pupunta eh. Eh, wala eh. Nangyari na ang dapat nangyari. Just them. Oh, VK wala. starting with the early pick now. You know, when you have your Sage na sobrang confident na he's just gonna dry peak mid like this, walang flash, walang anuman, mm -hmm. and he still gets a kill, this is a very scary thing here for Zeta. Yeah, really. Sobrang scary, confident ni. Yeah. I mean, actually sila nakikita nila ngayon. They actually kind of happy. So, so kahit matalo sila sa ano, kahit matalo sila sa laban nila sa susunod, yung yung team uh, ng ng Havan versus yung Crazy Raccoons. Kahit matalo sila doon, they actually don't care. Pasok naman sila sa champions anyway. Eh. Yeah, they'll be they'll be fine, but that's what they want. Yeah. They don't really want to win here because they want to qualify for the champions themselves. Hindi yeah. lang sapat na nakapunta sila dito sa Berlin. They that's want true. to win. They want to go to champions, man. Yeah, I mean, yun talaga yung dream ng lahat ng players. Yeah, point. Yeah, dude. Biggest stage in the world. They want to stay in Berlin until December. Yeah. Actually, yung tanong ko, no? Paalis sila sila. Uwi sila. Uwi sila. Okay. Oh, feeling ko. I wait November pala yan. Dapat ka mo-easy na. Pero 2 months lang eh. Eh, well, depende rin siguro sa visa, no? Pero, nakita natin dito. Actually, dun sa ano natin. Dun sa... Tawag dito. Dun sa stats. Based on yung stats sa ano. Stats sa... Tawag dito. Brackets. Lahat ng NA. Pasok sa players. Oh, yeah. I mean, NA, honestly, a really strong region here. Um, I do think that the best team in the world, Sentinels, comes from NA. Pero sa tingin ko, the best region in the world hindi pa rin NA. I think it might still be EU. Pero after what 100 Thieves showed us, they make a really good argument of the number one region. Nice Depende pa rin naman sa kanila yan if ever kano pa mangyayari sa kanila. If ever kaya pa ba nila makapasok or what. Gusto ko ng chicken in a cell, order lang ako ng Sarap! Kaya nang ganito mo Check mo sa... Check mo sa Panda Pro. Tap mo na yan. Tap mo na yan. Tap mo na yan. Be a Panda Pro. Hate! Hindi ba? Ano ba yan? Alam mo yung... Libre yun, Panda Pro. Talagang... Talagang... Tumatak na lang talaga sa amin yung mga sinasabi ni Dax. Chat mo na yan. Siya lang naman yung sasabi nun eh, di ba? Sa panel, siya lang ang nagsasabi ng chat mo na yan. Kasalanan to ni Dax. Lahat kasalanan ni Dax, actually. Yeah, dude. Kasi pa yung pangalan niya, di ba? Dax. Tulad nga sinabi niya sa ano. Kung yung sinabi niya sa interview. It's like a big... You know. Stuff. It's a big deal. The real deal. The real deal. 4v3 and still Zeta. Dalawa mo sa akin na sal ngayon. Grilled pare sa nung tapos garlic garlic rice. Yung JT manukan si na sal masalap. Sarap don actually yah. Ang ano nang ang main branch at pinahul ng branch sa Gilmore. Ah sa Gilmore yung malaki yung may outdoor seating pa. Tapos yung ano tapos yung griller nila sa kabilang street. 
Oo. Dito sa kabilang. Sa kabilang. Hindi ko alam dati na si Joel Torre pala yung may-ari noon. Oo. Kaya pag ano, kaya pag yung yung restaurant, punong-puno na movies niya. Oh, hindi ka siya, bro. Bro. Hindi ka siya. Para sure lang. Pero, sure wins. There is no way that VK lose this. I mean, they could go for a res play. But, oh no. Timing. Also, bakit siya nag- Out in the open ng ganun. Medyo, hmm. Yeah, this is pretty much... Ah, uh, man. You know, Zeta, I think they need like at least five rounds. Pero sa tingin ko, hindi, hindi sila papag-gulong ng VK dito. Hindi talaga. Tignan mo naman yun, oh. Ang ganda ng hold. Sarap mag-hold ng angle sa LAN. Oo. Hindi mo kaya yan sa ano, eh. Sa online, eh. Kung makakahold na ganyan. For sure. Sad ni Taylor, no? Kasi... Pa-diamond, uh, pa-diamond 1 na siya. Pero yung RR niya sa Platinum 399 to 99100. <laughs> oh no. Just, just, just natalo ka, no? Oh no! <laughs> Tapos pag yeah, nanalo ka, 98. <laughs> Alam mo ba, nag-99 RR ako sa, ano, Diamond 3. Pa-immortal na ako. Uh, oh, Tapos puro talo na. Bumagsak na ulit ng D1. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> na bumalik. Hindi na bumalik uh, ng D3. Hindi na, na bumalik ng D3. Hindi na ako naka-immortal. Sama-sama tayo dun, men. Oh, pare 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 Ops Muri is gonna kill onto Barce They don't flush them out eh Puro dry pick yung nakikita ko dito galing sa Zeta oh Oh yan, dalawa pa! BAM! Sarap! Kinain ang dalawa! Oh my god! VK is actually smurfing here on the Masters Tournament right now dude Laz, come here, they have no idea at all Oh yeah! You need to kill four more people for at least to win this round. Last going in already. NTK just lurking and waiting in that place. But at least pushing this to a 2v2. Oh, hey. Spike planted. Uh -oh. At least na, ano, at least na. Na pantay nila yung score. Pero yung alang Viper Split, man. That will give them a hard time, last. What? Blind spray? Ito, mag-isa na lang. Crow needs to win this man. Pag siya natalo dito, wala. Down, uh, down na ang Zayn. Okay, okay. This is gonna be 13-3 for sure. 13 3. Uh, you know, that's a good prediction actually. Um, but since it's split, siguro bibigyan ko pa ng dalawa. Kasi mag, pag mag-defensive side sila, sure makakakuha ng dalawa. So baka ano, baka 13 5 or 13 4. Yun ang guess ko. Tignan natin. Manalo may ice cream. Inantay ng Zeta uh, itong Viper Spit na to ng pagkatagal-tagal. Medyo weird, no? Oo. Nag-hold lang siya ng angle. Mm. I don't know. Kasi sa loob ng Viper Spit, hindi ka talaga pwede mag-stay still eh. Unless may oh. escape route ka. Tama. I don't know. I mean, it happens, dude. Ito tayo magagawa. Inabangan niya yung lalabas ng screens. Pero, yeah. inaigutan na siya eh. Matag ang tagal niya nag-intay dun eh. Walang nag-screens. Dalawa silang yeah. nag-recta sa ito. It's like we can say na talagang uh, VK is a better team right here. I mean, they shout out nga pala kay Taylor Nandito na naman doon yung maingi na shoutcast So yeah, that's mm -hmm. me <laughs> Kung si Taylor at Ray Ray yung malas tayo yung swerte And I think oh. ito na nga Pangatlong mm -hmm. araw na to na tayo yung magkakasama Na tuloy-tuloy oh. pa rin oh. Bukas magkakas din tayo man Oo, oh, meron tayo po Taylor, sino pa magkakasama? Tignan natin yung schedule natin na. Maganda nga eh, TRX vs SMB Oh, Siguro ito na yung deal breaker bro Oo oh, yun na feeling ko yun na yun oh, oh. Ah hindi Paper Rex mananalo 13-1 Boom <laughs> <laughs> Uy lakas yung SMB ah Pero sige oh, Malakas yung SMB oh. sure. That's actually scary um, Paper Rex is gonna go into that With like a very big disadvantage Pero malay mo Hindi pa natin nakakalaro yung ano eh Yung EU teams eh Kaya mm -mm. hirap din sabihin Pero Will Sa so, tingin ko hindi ganun kalakas yung SMB. Lalo na yung nakita natin sa kanilang day one. Nung, uh, nung tinalo sila ng Ascend. Well, mm. actually yung nangyari kasi, um, SMB, tinalo na rin yung Ascend dati. Pero ngayon, oh. nag 
pero ngayon nakabawi ang no, ascend at tinu zero nilang SMB. Eh etambak yung ascend sa Vision Striker. So malay mo. 'Di ba? Hmm, sa bagay. Chance. Sa tingin ko malaki yung chance ng Paper X. Hindi eh, naman hindi eh, naman sila yung maglalaban. Eh. <laughs> mm. Oh, so ata hindi ko alam, hindi ko alam sino manalo dito. Um ito yung dito, match sub game na, na to. Oh, hindi, alam, no, alam. No, no, no. Ah, yung sa next ano, game. Ano, SMB PR X bukas. Okay. Yun ang talaga, hindi ko talaga alam kung sino mananalo. Kasi, mahirap talaga. Wala, eh. wala tayong evidence, wala tayong data. Oo. If ever ibibase, if ever ibibase natin sa ano, sa stats, SMB. Mm. Pero if ever brand ang kalaban nila, Matic brand. Ma- 13-0. <laughs> Matic. Oh, And oh. Alam, walang brand, secret. Ah, oh, secret pala, secret. secret Hindi, pala nung, nung brand pa nung sila. Brand sila. sila. <laughs> Oh, oh, Rita going in. Oh! Ay, naku! Anong win na yan? No! Sobrang Rita. crucial na. Sobrang kailangan niya yung entry na yun. Sure, na-trade nila, pero wala silang control. Oh. Eh, it's fine. I mean, it's a good thing na rin napatay ng Zeta ngayon si, ano, si Vix. Nemeris. Oh my god, Nemeris. Wala. Wala. Hindi nila tinuloy yung... Nasa lang oras. 10 seconds. May killjoy pa. May killjoy pa sa site. Oh, oh, oh. Na, 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 nice pick, Joy. Nice pick, nice pick, nice pick. 4v4. Kaya to, kaya. May Walang winnable. Lockdown. Oh, winnable, winnable, winnable. Barse, pwede siyang malayo kasi meron siyang orbital strike. Pero Tama. yung nga lang, nasa, nasa side lang siya, hindi siya umaalis. Oh, kailangan niya gumalaw, hindi siya gumagalaw. Hindi siya gumagalaw, si Barse, kailangan mo na gumalaw ngayon, bro. Ah, nakayabang lang siya. Ah, Wait. okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Eh, mas spam siya. Hindi kasi open, kasi yung open yung, ano, open yung... Oh, oh my god. Oh! It's all up to land. 3v1. Double. Dude, I don't know if you saw that. Plan. Did you see the ano, pain shell? Dalawa yung napatay ng pain shell. Wow. Hindi, ay, isa lang yung nakita ko pa. Siguro yung pangalawang putok. Dalawa yung napatay ng pain shell, grabe. What? Wala, mukhang will, walang ramen buff. Kulang ng, yeah. kulang ng ano, nudo. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Ang ramen. Dalawa, oh. Nangyari na, ang dapat nangyari. Mm-mm. What's the win condition here for Zeta? Because I'm trying to think and... Honestly, they're just missing their shots. Raida's not hitting. Yeah, dude. Okay, that's a start. Nice boost. Nice roll. Mm -hmm. uh, he gets over the wall, and that's gonna be pretty easy for him. But mababawi ni NTK, and all right, Raida's able to find a pretty good pickup. Mm -hmm. 4v4. 4v4, mga ibiga. Let's see if ever kayang have a baton ng VK or the I mean, Zeta. Pero yun nga lang, blocked off na rin itong B site. Nilabas lang friends in the heat. Ano you know, mga, friends nga lang talaga gabay niya. Yung talaga gamitin yung, ano niya, yung operator niya. Kasi well, well, syempre nakapasok pa na gabay ni Zeta. Pero yun nga lang, ang problema dito, that snake by won't gonna connect onto the players of VK. Pero yun nga lang, lockdown is now set again. Pero let's see if ever kayang marang i-deny ng molly na yan. Yung lockdown. Pero yun nga lang, hindi. Heat. He going in! Take it down too with that frenzy, man! Ooh. That is a 450k cred! Um, gun! Take it down the two players of Zeta na naka full buy! That should never happen. Frenzy up close like that. Sobrang dangerous pa rin kahit anong gawin mo. Frenzy is still lethal and in the hands of the right players, just like you saw right there. In the, oh my god, let's take a closer look at it. Just. Great round here. How does he do this every single time? Catches them off guard pa habang nagre retreat. It's nice. 7 1. And once again, Zeta, they're gonna be broke. They don't really have that much money. And VK, look at them. They're sw we're not swimming in it, but they have the operator, apat yung rifles nila. At kung na kuwa nila tong anti eco na malinis gonna be an 8, potentially 9-2. 9-1, half time, so far. 
going back here in this game. So 7 1 though. Laz. Tulog nga sabi si Ilu. Nung, nung namatay si Viper doon no, sa Viper's Pit, it's gonna be impossible for this team na talaga makabawi man. Oh my god. Wala pa rin bawas ang VK right now. Taking down two players already. And, and, and Heat, hindi siya namuhi. Yeah, dude. Taka lang, mukhang nag-freeze yung call ko. Okay na. Okay na. Okay na, okay na, okay na. Tapos na pala. Tapos na pala. Hindi natin nakita. Hindi naman natin nakita. Wala man lang bawas ngayon na VK. Ganong kabilis. Tira mo naman. Oh, yan yan. May replay tayo. Easiest shots of his life right there. He follows it up. He rotates towards A. And that's one thing that you... Look for in a jet. Yun yung maganda dito sa jet eh. Kahit saan pwede siyang lumabas. Kahit saan pwede siyang pumitas. And that's what's happening right now. VK, kahit saan, everywhere Heat goes, he finds an entry kill. Let's just see how... If he can get this one kill right here towards Amy. He's gonna get smoked off. Pero wala siyang pakailam. May push na yung smoke. Yeah. That's a choice. Talagang gawin talaga yun. Pero nga lang, Heat... <gasps> Oh, crow. Timing. Wala siyang nakita. Hahanapin pa niya. Oh, awkward. Nakalabas ang... Oh my God. Nagkakaiwasan lang sila. Yeah. Pero rinig ni Hito eh. Ayan o. Rinig niyang tumatakbo. Oh. Gravity well in, in top of the spray, on top of the paint shells. Nothing you can do about it right now. Heat, alam niya. Pero dash out, buhay pa! There's one more flash, but he's turning around as the blade storm doesn't need it. It's heat yet again. Time after time, heat finds the kills. Heat. Oh, Marcy. Oh, oh my God. Grabe yung the accuracy. Shake and bake. He's on another level right now. 18-4. Yeah. Look at his flicks, dude. Just not this one. The next one. Bilis mag flick, oh. Tas ng sense kaya nyan. Mo kaya sense, bro. Tignan ko kaya. Heat, Valorant, sensitivity. I can't find it. Oh, nice shot. But it, it misses a little bit. Still, it's gonna be. Actually, mababa lang pala yung sense niya. 800 DPI. 4.4. Point 4 lang dyan. So, medyo mababa. But on this eco round, it's looking like it's gonna be a 10 1. Most likely gonna be 11 1 half time. We've seen crazier combats before. Like what we saw from 100 Thieves and Gambit. But this is. Oh my god, when Murris is just hitting shots like that from sobrang close range. There's just nothing you can do. Heat yet again, Bladestorm. And Vixen up on the ropes, right click, gets the final kill. Heat will end things 10 to 1. Zeta crush, confused. Hindi na alam kung anong gagawin na dito up against VK. Ano ang kailangan mong gawin dito? Paano kayo mga kabawi? It's gonna be really hard for you to know talaga kung paano. Pero... Wala eh, nangyari na ang dapat nangyari. If ever talaga na hindi, tra hindi na talaga kaya. <laughs> Mahirap. Ah, oh, last chance here. Zeta need at least one more. Like, one more round. Come on, like, like... Oh no, okay, the confidence peak. The gravity well. Throwing out the nade just to force them back even more. Nakuha nila ang B main ngayon. But will they fight tooth and nail for it? There goes the dog. Trailblazer. Not gonna connect onto anybody. And they're just gonna be looking for more here as Zeta desperately looks for a pick. And nakuha na rin si Muriz. And that's a one man advantage. Can Zeta capitalize on the very last round here on the half? 10 1 indeed. Zeta just. Man, hindi na sila makakuha ng kills dito. Just, to be honest, yung VK, they're all over the place. This is the map talaga na, this is the only map 
na sa tingin ng Zeta is makakabawi sila because this is the only map na pinalalo nila nung naglaban sila against crew. Uh, Pero yung nga lang, <laughs> the bullets is just not enough for yeah. you na ma- matrack na lang talaga si Zeta. Okay. Pero but still, uy, mukhang nakakabawi. 2-10! 2-10! Um... A little bit of an uncharacteristic miss right there from Heat, but at the end of the day, eight rounds for an aguat ng dalawang team na to. If they want to make it competitive, you know, you gotta win that pistol. So, like I said, kung manalo dito ang side ng Zeta Division, they want to have at least one more round, one pistol here. But you know, just the way that VK playing, sobrang linis talaga. Whether it comes to the executes or whether it comes to the holds, I mean, we're just putting on, they're just putting on a clinic. Sobrang textbook performance here. Yeah. Really, not easy. Pero yun nga lang. It's just VK is just really dominating this game, and as you can see, they're not even communicating anymore. Well, I mean, siguro. Well, half to, diba? Half to. They need to communicate. Yeah. They need to talk, talaga, on what they should do next. I mean, it's just a communication, man. I mean, communication is key. We all know that. I'm gonna. Yeah, this is a little bit concerning here. Data division, like you look at their stats here, and they're honestly is na sila sa pinakama ayos na team in um in the region actually. They're third yeah. in Asia Pacific actually. Mm-hmm. Not ex- actually. Alam mo kung sino yung number one sa Asia Pacific? Sino? Secret. Yeah. Oh yeah, Asia Pacific. Di- sa Pero kasama ng Japan dito. Ah. Oh, tama tama sa uh, Asia Pacific. Sa, it's sa actually Zeta. secret. Pero pag Japan, Zeta. pag Japan, Zeta. Zeta. Tapos yeah, Zeta next is Crazy Raccoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, kung kuto talaga magiging nangyari dito, it's gonna be really a one-sided match. Um, talaga ang solid talaga pinapakita dito ng mga players ng VK and yeah, GG Bye. guys. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's still potential the defensive side of the half. I mean, I wouldn't say it's out of the realm of possibility. I mean, maybe potential pa for a comeback. How it's unlikely in the way na pigs will fly, unlikely, but we've seen like flying pigs in other games. I just I just don't yeah. think we'll see that magic in this one. I think it's a yeah. formality at this point, and really what's important here is that Zeta Division they show up. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, and sort of make the region proud. They want to come home. They don't want to go home with a really bad scoreline like thirteen three. I mean, gusto nila kahit papano pag-uwi nila, sabi nila, oh yeah, even though we lost, lumaban kami, you know. Yeah, for sure. Pero in nga lang, it's just the very team man talaga mahapas champions. Well, knowing na based on ano, based on scores. Points in terms of going to champions. He looks like Marty Sobrang... McFly. <laughs> dahil din sa, dahil din sa Shane Shadow sa braces. <laughs> yeah, dude, Marty McFly. Yeah. Diba? At saka, at saka ano, parang the way he smiles. Yeah. Oh, RGB. Yeah, Teka, tama ba? Marty McFly ba yung iniisip ko? He's a back to the future. May kamukha siya eh. Sino yung... Tama ba, Marty McFly ba? Wait, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Google this real quick. Actually, hindi. Hindi si Marty hindi, McFly. Hindi si ano, si ano, yung hindi, sa Kanye Shrunk with Kids. Hindi siya, hindi, hindi, hindi si Marty, hindi si Marty. Ang, ang layo eh, wala, hindi, wala namang braces si Marty. Hindi si Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, si ano, um... Ano ba yung pangalan ng actor? Rick Moranis! Yan, Rick Moranis. Yung sa Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Saka sa Ghostbusters. Let's see. Let's see. If ever mga kabawa dito, ang sinong mga pwede yung nga lang crow. Nakabawa yung nga sa pwede yung nga. Ooh, that is a really nice shot. Again, for the two players of Zeta right now. Taking down the two players. I mean, the two players of UK. Oh no, the gravity well. Two v one situation right now. It's a catch full of HP. Try to plant a spike already. Spike planted. It's just a catch. Ang magisa dito slows ni Mi. Na activated. Alam nila ako nasan ngayon. Here in hell. Pero yung alam double page just right is there, and there's no way for you to win. That's a catch. Ah, that actually could have been around for Zeta, but you know what they did? They all bumabas sila sa gravity well. 
Look at Barca, dude. One thirteen KDA. Oh no, and Heat's on the other end. He's like twenty and six. So not all lang. Tama lang naman talaga si Las talaga. Si si as to be honest, si Las nang talaga sobra lang as dito swear. Yup. Ang lakas maglaro ni Las. It's, uh, you know, it's just not the game that we were hoping for, but Here. at dati. the end of that day. Sa finals, si Laz yung player na naglaro sa finals na buong five games, iba-ibang agent ang gamit niya. Yeah. Konti yung nakakagawa rin sa TH. Oh, and the entry from... Oh, take along the judge. Oh! oh. Judge gameplay, it works. Yeah, dude. Three, tatlo ang judge sila dito. Yun nga alam mo rin. So, behind, pero Stinger will shut you down. It's all up to Vixen. One Vixen three. only has a frenzy. Yung gamit niya. Yeah. Oh, alam nila. Nakuha ng Spectre. Pero it's just a judge supremacy, man. Close oh. quarter combat. That's a force buy, by the way. Yeah, dude. Laz is the only one with the kills on the Zeta Division. 19 and 11. Everybody else has sub double digits. And seven kills on Sunit Zanya. Well, you know, 11 and 3. What, what are. It, it's still a long road to climb. Maybe there's a chance, pa naman, sabihin ko. May chance. Especially after winning that force by. Iko ngayo ng VK, and that's gonna be. Um, Sheriffs all about a couple of sheriffs here upgraded pistols, but lads with a vandal Naka upgrade na siya binigay sa teammate ang kanyang judge uh, Which he had in this previous round goes to his teammate now playing up close here towards mid Makukuha nila ang mid control just for a little while here, but the viper wall making it hard for them We still have a radar Let's see if ever makabawi ba to I don't know if judge. I mean, at least I don't know if they judge. Well, they don't know if they're going to judge. The so, yeah. upkeep nila is they need to conserve and save lahat. And they silang not want to buy so much, so much. But that's In terms of buying, if ever you don't want buy so much, so much, you save. If you don't want to you still have one last chance. For you to do a comeback, but still, Barce trying to clutch this game again. Bina Bawi in the Hatamiya Sakan, the Hatamiya Sakan, the Hedge! Spike Medical on show. One if ever remaining. lang, if ever na nag um, trigger discipline siya don, nag control siya ng trigger na don, kaya siya dito makapag 2k, pero yung alang kaitin dina, because it's just a rate, I just behind him and so it's fine. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Satchel charge. Satchel in your face! Uh, you know, this is the point where Zeta should start considering Maga upgrade na ba tayo? Kasi hindi na, they can't give up any more rounds eh. And VK is gonna have a full buy here. If Zeta has the money, it's worth considering upgrading everything that they can. But they're not gonna do that. Instead, they're gonna be sitting at two judges again. Crow is gonna be sitting at a Spectre. I'm not 100% in agreement with that. I actually think they should upgrade the guns on Rada and Crow. Get rid of the judges, get rid of the SMGs. Because, I mean, if you lose this round, it's match point. And you can't give that up to VK. It's going to give them so many rounds to, you know, to make Yeah, exactly. Mirror is with the kill, with the first blood. Take it down, Laz. Okay! Wala na si Laz. Wala na yung, wala na yung main man na nagbibigay sa kanila ng problema. That's, yeah, a, a big hurdle, exactly, like you said, man. Yeah. A big hurdle that they've already overcome. But I think that's not, it's a B. They've all, they're spreading out just to bait a reaction. They're sila ng push from Zeta because once you get a kill, this is where they need to the defensive side. And they're going to find the picks, the uh, 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 aggression. But Zeta's not giving them anything right now. So instead, VK, they have to get up close. And around this corner, Rada with the judge. With that. Oh! Down B. At least what? Is, um, worth it. Din yung pagiging agro nila pero yung alat sa lap to crow. 
Si Barset, tinaas na yung kanyang sleeve. Naiinita na sa Germany, mga kaibigan. Pag tinaas mo na yung sleeve mo na ganyan, it's game time, boy. It's like, when Ash turns his cap backwards, you know. Oh, yeah, exactly! <laughs> Seryoso na. Oh, it's game time. Papakita ko na sa'yo yung Charizard ko. <laughs> Aking mainit na Charizard. Paano pag, paano pag Caterpie lang? <laughs> Kala mo, Charizard? Yeah. Katarpi lang yun eh. Oo, oh, man. <laughs> Papakita ko sa'yo yung Onyx ko, bro. <laughs> Onyx used Harden. <laughs> super effective! Super effective! Super effective! <laughs> Meron pang Harden siya. Stop Ay, destroying close. my childhood, Phil! Stop destroying my childhood! <laughs> Ano na crossbreed? <laughs> like how? Ano ang ginagawa ni Professor Oak? Oh. Operator onto radar. This is their chance. They want to get at least one. But they're going into vents. Which is not entirely a bad plan. And there's a standoff here towards A main. Ooh, as bro. you can see. Oh, oh no. Heat. Okay. A couple of farewell shots as he retreats towards A. Now they're gonna work towards that A side. Kukunin nila ngayon ng control towards A. But they still have to deal with Barse, who's playing in the smoke. He's able to find one, and that's some information given here. They find him eventually. Nice trade all the way long range. But still, two players left standing. Last chance for Zeta. Match point Last again. Will it be their goodbye as the Kedge? Judge Get lang ang kanyang dala. And he's gonna go home with the Judge. Attackers GG, win. well played. VK, go ahead, and that is it. Goodbye to Zeta and Crazy Raccoon. They qualified for champions at the very end of the exactly. tour. I mean, congratulations to Crazy Raccoon for qualifying for Viren champions. And again, congratulations to VK. Yeah. Uh, and this is actually, I mean, ang ginagawa ngayon ng ano, ng Zeta Division, they're just actually taking time. Because they're the first team na mawala dito sa tournament. No, no, second, second. Ano, second, second, sorry. Pangalawa pala yung kanina. Yeah. I mean, Panguna. congratulations guys for qualifying here in Berlin. Actually, huge achievement there, man. May yeah. qualifying here. Oh, and yeah. Oh, ah, yeah, you put volume. Hey, you played in this tournament. I mean, you went. Well, I don't know. They wanted to go home with a little bit more to show for, you know? Like, on your map pick, you lose 13, like, what, 4? And, uh, they're gonna come back better, at least, for the next one. Yeah, for sure. Good then, I'm clear. Valorant Secret Lab Chair. I want that. I want that chair. Yeah, we've seen these people and uh, Ilu, and still a blessing for us, bro. Yeah, we're pretty um, we're pretty lucky here. We're ending before two a.m. And yeah. again, I guess the, I guess we are still the the blessed the blessed duo. Lagging <laughs> one-sided, and yeah, congratulations to VK for winning again. And the sino bang kalaban ng VK kayo? Uh, sino kalaban sino ng... ba ang kalaban ng VK nila ngayon sa next match nila? You know what? I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to take a look. <laughs> yeah, same. Kailangan ko rin makita ko sino ba yung next na kalaban nila. So, um, VK, it's gonna be, ano, it's gonna be crew. Oh. Yeah. So, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Brazil versus Latin America. Okay. Yeah, dude, ito na, ito na yung inaantay natin, di ba? So, ang um, first match, G2 Esports vs Sentinels. Yeah. Na ikakas natin? Ay, wala. Nasira na yung ano natin. Ay, hindi na pala. Ay, hindi pala. Joke! Hindi, joke! Hindi. Joke! 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 Kahapon niya tayo yun. Ah, so, sorry, sorry. Iba, iba nga pala ang ano na to. Uh Oo. -oh. Um, to... Ay, hindi natin ikakas to. Yep. It's Elo Taylor for G2 Sentinels. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're casting Paper Rex SMB. Oh, tapos we're casting Ascend. Tapos TBD. Hindi kakas natin. Oh, ano? Quarterfinal? 
Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. Congratulations. The run deepens here for the Brazilian side, and they're going to knock out the Japanese squad. Goodbye to the Japanese for now. Sayonara, we say, as they go back home all the way to yeah. Japan. But thank you for joining us, and that has been it for us. We're going to leave you in the capable hands of Ray and Dax. They're now going to shoutcasters for the rest of the night, but for now, we got to sign off. Illustrado in Ville, we're out. Sabay na to. I care that my family wins. First one ka sa meeting, that's a win. Morning, everyone. Panalo rin kung sabi ni Doc. All clear. And congratulations, naunahan mo ang spoilers. I make sure all their needs are taken care of, kaya walang napag-iiwanan. This year's class valedictorian is Victor Banano. Winning starts at home with Globe at Home Only Fiber Up Plan. Power your home with health essentials. And entertainment for the family. Manalo talaga. Guys, pictures! Bye!
Vivo Key, they live to see another day, but sadly, we had to say goodbye to Zeta, Division, Kakuka, Bala. I don't think I was ready. No, I no. wasn't. For the team to go home, <laughs> I was not ready no. for that to walk off. I, that was sad. But Vivo Kid move on, and that's that's not sad because I think yeah. we just saw a superstar in the making. Yeah, completely. And uh, especially, I mean, I feel like t the two maps were extremely one-sided. I feel like Vivo Kid were smart enough to not let them start on the defense. They they couldn't even prove their defense. Basically, they only got four rounds, and uh, I'm just sad to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, but you know, uh, Bala, you said that you know, Heat wasn't going to be able to be as free on this map in comparison to Breeze. But I think he proved you wrong there. Yeah, no, un like undeniably, he proved me wrong. 371 ACS and uh, this was even more dominant than Breeze. Even though the score says 13-4, I felt like since the beginning to the very, very end, mm. they were in control. I mean, what were they, 7-1 or something like yeah. that before uh, Zeta started getting a couple rounds? And on Breeze, it was a little bit different at the beginning, very beginning, but not much longer. I also like the fact that we saw a lot of microplays from Vixen and Morris. Uh, we had some gravity do well or some nades. It looks kind of basic, but with everything working and every single piece falling into place, it was a pretty easy map for them. And please, someone stop heat. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, you said it was cold in here. Maybe we need to turn the aircon up a little bit more uh, for the next time he is on stage. But also, as Kukuka <laughs> said, uh, Bala, we saw some cool set pieces and yeah. li little cheesy, cheeky plays, especially with the Astra. Yeah, uh, that was really, really nice from uh, Vivo Key. There was a couple of rounds where I was like, oh, they should have this in the bag. But then a uh, combination with Muri's and, and the Astra uh, Gravity Well ends up just completely flipping, flipping the script. There was that one round on the A site where Boris was in the back and he just gets a double uh, paint shell kill, which was super, super nice. I, I saw like a lack of fundamentals coming from Zeta Division. I feel like too many dry picks unnecessary. There yeah. were no refracts or slow ones. And Vivo Kid, you know, they were living their best life. Yeah, they were. And uh, Bala, I'll let you finish this off. There was a moment, I think the one that Sean broke down where Muriz was in position on the off angle, right? Yes. And that's when I realized that uh, Zeta was not shoulder peeking the angles, right? They weren't shoulder peeking mm -hmm. to be able to say, hold on, there's a guy here. Let's go ahead and double peek together. I'm going to swing wide, something like that. That was really the difficulty that I've seen over and over with Zeta. Or use the sky. You know, you do have that ability. You need to work with your composition and what you have, all the tools. And like a slow peeking on, on those angles, knowing that Vivo is, as I said, living their best life, hitting every single shot, every single time that they went for a duel, most of the times they, they, they want it. Of course, we're not going to be seeing Zeta again here. Uh, what we made of that tournament here at Kakuka? You know, we waited a long, long time to see this roster. Yeah, and I, I feel kind of devastated, you know, because of what I said at, at the beginning. And I feel like with the next match coming up and Crazy Raccoons with the performance that they have with Gambit, we could probably say goodbye to an entire region today. And I don't think I'm ready for that. <laughs> uh, in summary, I think I Zeta Division, up. honestly, like uh, we expected them to come through to Reykjavik. They didn't make it. And unfortunately, uh, that means we didn't see them. But now seeing them here, it kind of feels like the Vision Strikers moment from Korea mm -hmm. where it's like, oh, well, this is the team that should have been back in Reykjavik and they showed that they could take a map. I, I'm pretty excited honestly to see Zeta in the future and uh, Japanese Valor in general. Obviously we're going to see Crazy Raccoon here mm -hmm. in a moment but Zeta Division I think should should leave Berlin feeling pretty proud for what they accomplished. It wasn't necessarily the same type of stomp we saw in Reykjavik. Of course they're going to have a lot of experience to take to LCQ as well which is going to be really exciting but uh, Brazil's Vivo Kid they will be marching on. You guys are going to have time to see plenty more heat but for now, it's time for the Verizon's high-speed moment of the match. I don't even need to introduce this one. Uh, just let you guys oh. watch why the marshal needs to be nerfed, maybe. Or maybe heat. Yeah. I, I don't think the marshal is the problem. I think that he he in every single shot. He's just so... He makes it look so easy. Yeah, I feel it's like I'm, I'm watching yeah. tens at moments in this game. Right? The same stuff that Tens was doing with the Marshall Heat's doing too, and that makes me excited for the future watching these two. I mean, it's just uh, every single shot here, over wow. and over and over. Uh, the, the, the best part is when he was entering those duels, I believed in him. In the back of my mind, I'm like, he's, he's got this. Like, he, he's not going to miss this. It's not going to happen. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of disgusting today. Him and Tens are up there, Bala fighting in terms of uh, the players with the highest stats in this tournament. Yeah, that's uh, really an exciting prospect. Tens obviously just went through to the playoff, or I think, yeah, went through the playoffs with F4Q's loss today. And... Uh, Earlier on, Heat just now just dominating an Envy's game as well. There's plenty to look forward to in this. Still a lot of the Star Jet players are 
waiting to play, I think, in this as well. Yeah, and also uh, really quickly, Kakuka, before we move on, Crew is the next opponent. Uh, do you feel like they have to be looking out for this Vivo Keat roster heat, or do you feel like they have what it takes to deal with it? I mean, they do have what it takes, uh, but I feel like they're, they're both teams in the same position. Maybe uh, a little bit more pressure onto Crew because we ha we do have two teams coming from Brazil, so uh, anything can happen. But I, I bet that we're going to have 100% of the teams. Uh, well, thank you very much there for Kakuka. We've been speaking a lot about Heat here on the desk, and I cannot wait to hear from him because he is joined by Dash on the Verizon Post game interview. Thank you so much, Yinsu. I could watch that same play probably a hundred times and never get bored. Heat, thank you for joining me. Mariana, thank you so much for helping with some translations. Uh, I want to start with that Marshall ace on Breeze since we just got to watch it. First off, walk me through it. That might be the entire play of the tournament. What was going through your head? Vamos começar a falar dessa jogada do do ace no mapa do Breeze. O que é que estava a passar pela tua cabeça nesse momento? Eu só estava no feeling ali mesmo, estava uh, no, no meio do, da, da pancadaria, da confusão, e <laughs> saiu a jogada. <laughs> Basicamente isso. Was just in the middle of the mess, in the confusion, fighting for it. Wasn't really thinking about anything specific. <laughs> just enough. following the feeling, going Fair with enough. the flow. Just hitting the shots, hitting the shots. You know, this brings up a conversation. And I actually just heard Bala on the desk say, players like Tens and yourself are some of the most exciting to watch. With all of these incredible Jet players in the tournament, I wonder how you think you stack up against those other top talents. Sendo que há vários outros jogadores que estão também muito reconhecidos por jogarem sempre com Jet, jogar tão bem, achas que estás ao mesmo nível deles? Atualmente, eu acho que eu tô, tô chegando nesse nível, sim. É, Tem que dar uma treinada ainda, vamos caminhar, se manter nesse nível e, e é isso. Still need to practice, but he believes he does stack up against them, and he's been showing that. Well, I look forward then for the opportunity <laughs> that maybe you'll go up against a player like him and watch you two duel it out. From there, though, I want to talk about the transition from the last series you played to this one. Against Envy, it was one of the closest series we had, the only overtime we've had in the tournament. But this one was incredibly dominant. So what kind of learnings did you have from the previous series that you brought into today's to make sure you could make it so easy? A série contra a Envy foi muito renhida, mas hoje esta série foi, vocês, a Vivo, foi muito dominante. O que é que aprenderam com essa última série que trouxeram, que correções foram feitas que trouxeram para esta série? Uh, acredito que a gente reassistiu os jogos e deu para perceber que a gente estava um pouco afobado em determinadas situações do mapa. Uh, e a gente estava muito confiante também, porque a gente sempre consegue chegar na Lau e, e amassar todo mundo, então... <risos> A gente é o time da Lauer também, então não tem muito o que fazer. A gente chegou confiante por isso e reviu, reviu os erros que, que a gente cometeu no, no, na série passada e, e foi isso. Just rewatched the game with the series with Envy, learned a lot from it, made corrections and came confident out of the gate. It seemed like every single, every single decision and correction you made worked out in your favor. Final question is your next opponent's crew. You got to beat them in order to make it to the knockout stage. I know you have some familiarity with the team from playing against them in the past. How do you feel about that matchup? Isso assim quer dizer que a próxima equipe com que vão jogar vai ser a crew? Como é que, um, what's the question again? Uh, how does he feel about the matchup? I know that they have some experience playing against each other. Já que tem experiência a jogar uns contra os outros, como é o feeling agora com, com esse próximo jogo? Como será? Acho que a gente tem que manter o pé no chão. É, a gente conhece a equipe da Cru, a gente treinou bastante contra eles no, no Brasil. E é basicamente isso, manter o pé no chão, é, saber que eles jogam muito bem também, porque eles fizeram uma série muito boa, começaram bem no campeonato. E, e é isso. Just need to stay level-headed. They have practiced against them. They played against each other in Brazil. They respect that team. And now it's just keeping your cool and going for it. Keep that composure and the wins will follow. Well, again, Heat, I want to congratulate you on a dominant victory today and wish you the best of luck in the tournament. Mariana, as well, thank you for the translations. Muitos parabéns pela vitória e boa sorte com o resto. Thank you. From here, we're going to a quick commercial break. When we come back, it's Havon Liberty versus Crazy Raccoon. We'll catch you there.
sa bahay na to. I care that my family wins. First one ka sa meeting, that's a win. Morning, everyone. Panalo rin kung sabi ni Doc. All clear. And congratulations, naunahan mo ang spoilers. I make sure all their needs are taken care of, kaya walang napag-iiwanan. This year's class valedictorian is Victor Manalo. Winning starts at home with Globe at Home Only Fiber Up Plan. Power your home with health essentials. And entertainment for the family. Manalo talaga. Guys, picture! Yeah. 
Welcome back to Masters Berlin, where I am happy to be hopping on the desk alongside Gio and Kakuka to bring you our final elimination match of the day. It's Havan Liberty versus Crazy Raccoons. High stakes for both of these squads as they want to keep their tournament lives alive, for lack of a better sentence, that I definitely should have worked on before this segment. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and pull the bracket, see how both these teams found themselves in this situation to begin with. Uh, because I think for many uh, Kakuka, crazy yeah. raccoons, uh, man, they must uh -oh. be reeling from that loss. Man, uh, that was an intense loss against Gambit. It was 2-13 to 1. Gambit coming on extremely strong, and they even lost to, I mean, Gambit lost to 100 Thieves, so what what does that tell us about 100 Thieves? What does it tell us how about Crazy Raccoons? And also having Liberty will taking the loss uh, also against the Hunter Thieves. Yeah, yeah, clearly 100 Thieves are just uh, owning yeah. these two teams at the moment. I think at least in the game that Havan Liberty played against 100 Thieves, you could see vestiges of hope, which is something that I don't think you could say about Crazy Raccoons in their game against Gambit. Absolutely. That was intense. I mean, you had a yeah, 313, 613 map losses against 100 Thieves as compared to the 113 a double map loss uh, for Crazy Raccoon against Gambit. I think it's also very scary just the idea that Gambit is now the final boss in the lower bracket. That's who you. Yeah. If you win this matchup, that's who you have to look forward to facing in the next round. I mean, yeah, Gambit were always going to be the final boss for something. Yeah, apparently. Um, <laughs> um, the thing is, step by step. Okay, first mm -hmm. they need to focus on on today. I feel like if we take a hundred thieves as a measuring point, we could say that Havan is more ready or prepared for this encounter, and the crazy raccoons, based on the results that we got from Masters Two and how they're doing right now, is kind of underwhelming. Let's start with the Havan Liberty side okay. by pulling up the roster, reminding ourselves of the five players that will be taking to the stage today, today rather against crazy raccoons. Uh, you've got me, Sin, Liazi, Shion, Crane and Pletz. Uh, who are you looking at here, Gio, as a difference maker in this matchup? Well, I mean, there were a couple of players who I was really looking at on the game against 100 Thieves who I maybe didn't see as much as I'd have liked to from. Xion was definitely one of those players. I think that uh, when he's on point with his uh, breach play, for example, playing that initiation role, he could do great things for the team. And we've seen that within the region of Brazil, maybe not quite as much against 100 Thieves as I would have liked to have seen. To me, is missing with the uh, the Sky and the Viper, you know that I love a good Sky. I think he is that for his team when it's necessary. And also Crane with the Sova, I think that his performance was probably one of the best um, the other day against 100 Thieves. So really looking forward to whatever they have to bring into the table and actually wondering, are we going to say goodbye to the entire region of Japan today? Oh, that's a big question to be answered. Here's the player you were talking about yeah. in Xi'an, Geo. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that I really enjoy about the way that Havan Liberty play, maybe we didn't see it quite so much the other day, but is the way that Xion will work together with Liazi and he does a really great job of opening up opportunities for him. Now, actually against 100 Thieves, he came over the course of the entire series. He was the uh, the kind of the bottom rated player. He had the lowest ACS of the team. Um, he did uh, the poorest as far as KD goes. He went 18 and 32, which is really, really brutal. So I think the, the only way is up from, from here. And I believe that this is a player who could show something good today. Yeah, and they need to find a place where they are comfortable. I also feel like they have a very unique way of presenting the maps because we often see them play in triple initiator. It's something that we're not used to see a lot. I mean, especially in you, we saw it from Liquid for like a couple of games, but that was it. Uh, How but did it's that very go? like <laughs> not, not very well actually. <laughs> but um, it's something we're not used to see. But they make it work. Now, are they going to make it work against Crazy and Coombs? Well, see? we put a focus on Xi'an. Now it's time to hear from the player that you mentioned in Misen on bounce bouncing back and making that lower bracket run. É sempre difícil perder, mas faz parte, alguém tem que ganhar. Eles jogaram melhor, mas eu tô muito feliz de ter participado, de ter jogado contra eles. São jogadores que eu sou muito fã, mas agora é melhorar o próximo jogo. A gente nunca tinha jogado contra o NIA, então foi uma surpresa pra gente, mesmo estudando eles é difícil, cada um tem seu estilo de jogo, então tô bem ansioso para jogar contra as regiões também, tanto contra o Japão quanto o EMEA. Bom, a Gambit, eu assisti muito eles, muito mesmo, porque eu gosto muito do estilo de jogo deles, uh, admiro muito o estilo de, dos jogadores deles, são bem agressivos também. Vocês ainda não conheceram a verdadeira Van Liberty, I want to thank the fans of everyone. I know it was not the result that everyone expected, and that we're going to be much stronger and we're going to win a lot of things for you, Brazilians. Thank you. 
A quick word from Havon Liberty before they take on a Crazy Raccoon today. And as we turn our attention to them, it's important for us to acknowledge and congratulate Crazy Raccoon for having already qualified to Valorant Champions later this year. Uh, a feat, to say the least. I just I can't help but point out the fact that it's the team that have, have won the, the fewest uh, rounds in the entire competition already in Champions. Yeah, it's, it's something to say. And it's also one of the three teams that we had on Masters 2 that is coming back from Masters 3. But as you say, Gio, the results are... Um... They just had... Look, listen, they've managed to do it while, while showing the least stuff. And, and you know... They're saving it. It's an achievement. <laughs> well, and very much looking to see if they can add uh, to those map wins today and start to make other teams think and respect them as opponents. One of the things, or the storylines, rather, for this team coming in was the flexibility of the roster. Having yes. a couple players to play with and so we're taking a look at the roster as it stands today before we dive right in. Someone that we need to look at, of course, is Munchkin, you know, just guiding the team. I feel like Fisker, he um, he really is a good duelist. I think this team has a little bit of everything. Uh, the combination, the way internationally, is still not doing well. Now, all that said, we did have some criticisms for Munchkin in the previous series, uh, primarily because of the agent swap up. Yeah, I mean, Munchkin was basically just playing Jet, whereas if you look in the past a little bit, you'd see him on something like a Sky, for example. But the thing with that is that Munchkin on the Initiator is a very questionable decision because he was still playing the main Oppa. So what you would sometimes have is him get caught up in these altercations very early in those games, and then suddenly the guy who's still providing majority of your firepower, still yes. being relied upon to, to be playing with the Operator, isn't there anymore. So even though, yes, it was a bit of a swap up, I feel like you've got to have those roles separated out if you, if you need hope. I mean, it makes you wonder if the team has decided coming into today to maybe swap him back to something a little bit more utility and support focus uh, than keeping him on the jet and putting so much responsibility on his shoulders. Yeah, completely. Um, uh, we see it also on teams, um, you know, like F4Q, where they decide, you know, let's let's play from a from a, from a duelist, let's IGL from there. I don't think is the right decision. I feel like there's so many people in Crazy Raccoons that could take uh, that responsibility if necessary, or that he has the ability to swap to something else where he could actually support the team better. End of the day, it's going to have to take a step up from, I think, all five players across the board. It's not about any one individual stepping up and being the difference maker between the previous series and taking full 13 rounds two times in a row or two times over the course of three maps here in this series against Havon Liberty. Yeah, I, I don't even think that there's any argument to be made here. They have to do better than they did. I mean... I mean, obviously. I mean, you like, know, wait, 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 what we else can, can you that. say about that? <laughs> All right, goes without saying then. Uh, let's talk about what maybe the map pool is going to look like then, mm -hmm. because I have some curiosities. When you take beatings like that, whether or not you're willing, you know, to kind of step onto something that maybe left a sour taste in your mouth, do you just change the environment because you don't want to be in the same space? I mean, to be fair, uh, Crazy Raccoons had some uh, changes coming into their composition. We always appreciate those, but I feel like for uh, the time that we have in this competition, every single team that has changed something major in their composition, like a main controller or something like that, they didn't get the result that they expected. So it's a scary, of course. Now they've tested it. They'll probably go back to bases. It's the moment to do it. It's the moment to be in your comfort zone. I would really like for these teams to not be playing too many mind games when it comes to uh, map vetoes and whatnot. They need to play to themselves. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Havan Liberty, for example, go back for that split ban, which is what they mm -hmm. did against 100 Thieves because they really don't like that map. The other one that they could, of course, go for is Breeze. They've only played it, what, once and didn't win it. So... Um, um, for me, I think they need to not worry too much about what the other team wants mm -hmm. and worry more about what they want. All right, maps will come in just a bit. For now, we're going to get a word from Munchkin on nerves here on the Masters Berlin stage. We have a lot of big fans who have been hit by this. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. We have 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 a lot of fun. 제 제대로 된 겜빗의 실력을 보지 못했던 것 같아요. 좀 아쉽습니다. 오늘 다소 좀큰 패배를 했지만 저희는 충분히 많은 연습을 하고 있고 충분한 많이 충분히 많은 준비를 하고 있기 때문에 다음 경기는 기대하셔도 좋을 것 같습니다. 그리고 항상 응원해 주셔서 감사합니다. 
looking to get it done here today. I'm curious for the both of you who you think will actually make it happen. Uh, of course, I'm looking over at UGO first. Crazy Raccoon, will they wake up from their slumber and take it away from Havon Liberty, or do you have more faith in that Liberty squad? Uh, <laughs> um, I think I'm probably going to have to go for Havan Liberty because we just saw a little bit more optimism yeah. come out from them. And I think when I've watched them in the past and even within just Brazil, when they've played pretty well, you can see where those kind of nuggets of goodness are. Whereas just the way that Crazy Raccoon played a couple of days ago, it's very hard to um, to salvage optimism from that. <laughs> I have to agree in the part that obviously I think it's more because of how Vaughn has been doing and how they've been doing in the region and they were like always here and then with uh, with Vivo Kid. I think that they're coming in in a better shape yeah. and uh, I feel like Crazy Raccoon probably um, the other day was too much for them. I really expect more from them because I know that they can give more uh, but I still think this is going to be a win for Brazil and a goodbye to Japan. Uh, I mean the Japanese region of course what incredible fandom and growth that region has seen. I know that uh, even on Twitter right now, in fact, there's a lot of support going the way of F4Q after being, uh, you know, uh, beaten down a little bit. I think the question will be if they can rally around Crazy Raccoon, if Crazy Raccoon can step up to that challenge here today against Havon Liberty. When you think about what you want to see from Crazy Raccoon, even in a loss, now let's remove the idea of the result. What would make you happy with the performance that they put up today, that they, they showed up and, and gave us something to think about? I think I'm I'm going to go kind of a bit like on a limb here. I would love to see them get at least three rounds. Three rounds. Okay. On all maps, on one map. In the whole series. In the whole series. If we look at their strengths. All right, let me, let me have a look at this. So their strengths. On the series they played against Gambit. Uh, on Bind, they took a round number three. So I'm going to be looking at round number threes. And on Icebox, they took a round number ten. So I'm going to throw that in there as well. Round three, round ten. That's their strengths. Play to that. You got me happy. All right. I'm going to go a little bit more easy on them. I feel like they felt overwhelmed. Just imagine the thought in your head that you misperformed on the previous Masters and you have a tough start. Uh, I feel like it was too much for them. I, I know that they're better than that. So uh, what I want from them is to to pump it up when it's necessary, to just not feel like they've lost already and to they, that they fight till the end. And it starts, I think, again, it starts one map at a time, right? Yeah. So we're going to have to wait sure. to see what this first map look mm -hmm. like looks like. rather. We've already talked a little bit about perhaps Munchkin, uh, Munchkin rather moving into a different agent position. Uh, do you think that alone giving him a different set of eyes to you know to work from as a leader might be able to to do just that in game number one Probably, because we need to see pure strats coming from them. That was something that we were lacking uh, against Gambit. And um, when start when things st stopped working, which probably was, as Gio was saying, um, since the beginning, they didn't know exactly what was necessary to change. They need to, you know, just get better at reading the opponent. That is something that they need to, like, introspect. Uh, but probably they've done it. Gio, I also wonder about whether or not uh, they have something in the tank between map one and two. Maybe a, a substitution that they have in mind to throw a curveball. Again, that's always something they can play with. Well, I was going to say, they have about three million players on this roster. So they've got plenty of options. I mean, in the in the grand finals, we saw players like Medusa come in, um, Minty, for example. So it, it wasn't it wasn't just these these five players that we saw play against Gambit. So you never know. They could be bringing in more reinforcements, but I almost think that that's one of the weaknesses of Crazy Raccoon is the fact that within sort of just a, a five-man roster, they don't have all of those things that they need. That's why we talk about Munchkin having some weaknesses because he, it's almost like he has to do too much. I feel like we saw it also on the previous match. I feel like when you are swapping those players... From my perspective, it's still too early mm -hmm. to need like an extra player, even the two extra players, to fill in specific roles because I feel like you need to work a lot on the synergy and the and team as a whole to to pull this maps, especially in officials. I feel like it's it breaks a little bit of the tempo even between maps. Uh, it's an interesting conversation because it's mm -hmm. one that has been kickstarted. The value of those multi-man rosters going mm -hmm. above and beyond the five, you know, is, is it worth the synergy that you might lack when certain pieces get swapped out? And right now on the international stage, it, it seems to be leaning towards 
the five-man rosters over the ones with more. And I think uh, for Crazy Raccoon, to some degree, they, they, they it is their job to prove that the decision in the you know in the offseason to to build out to a roster of seven was the right move. I mean, it's very interesting to me because you know these teams that have the the more than five players on their roster um, are, are frequently teams that, that contain Korean players. So even though Crazy Raccoon are a Japanese team, they've got two Korean players in Bazzi and Munchkin, both of whom came from Overwatch. And Overwatch is one of those games which is very career dominated and you would have a lot of players on um, the bench. Or, or, yeah, yeah, you would have tons of them. But I think a really big difference here in Valorant is that... Uh, because because of the the way that the game is structured and the the adapt the adaptability that you need you need everybody to be able to pretty much do everything whereas you know in Overwatch it was like oh well this is the meta we're playing today we're not going to play a different meta so mm. we can just be like oh we want these five players we've got some other specialists for something else and that's not necessarily a direct translation in Valorant I don't think and I think a lot of these teams are going to have to learn to come back into the way that in Valorant it runs where you really need all five players to be able to do whatever is required. When it comes to uh, one of those matchups that we were highlighting, it was Munchkin on one side, uh, Meeson on the other. I do want to pull up a bit of a comparison between them just to, to put some context to the words uh, that we had before. And yeah, we're going to see more first bloods coming from Munchkin because, of course, he also plays the, the Jed. Uh, but I feel like in, even though with that, um, it's still not brilliant as what we have seen from all the Jets in the competition. Meeson's I, finding a lot of headshots. He He's doing well on the headshots, oh, but is. I mean, if he's if he's only getting 0.5 kills per round and doing 110 damage per round, you know you know right. what I mean? Like, And I get it, Meeson's, he's not playing the, uh, you know, he's not necessarily doing the, the duelist roles um, in the same way that we saw Munchkin do the other day, but to me, I look at a lot of these statistics on the screen and you think of what we've seen from some of the other teams here at Masters Bel in and these are lackluster. Yeah, I mean, obviously stats aren't going to look great in uh, in losing scenarios, but I think things like that, when you find kind of a, a, a jump out stat, like a headshot percentage that's really mm. big, it makes you think, okay, if they find their rhythm and he's hitting those in a similar way, maybe things will begin to open up for the team and that is your avenue to victory. Rely on the guy to find the shots that he was finding before and then maybe with a man advantage, you roll it through to victory. Yeah, the individual performance is also brilliant. I actually wanted to ask you because because you guys were not here on the desk before. Okay. So what did you think about that Vivo Heat, uh, Vivo Heat sorry, Vivo uh, Keat and Heat? Well, Heat is probably yeah. the, 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 the operative word there. Although I say operative, Do you I feel like we're going to get unseat to what we <laughs> saw? You get it, here. you get it. I got it, I was right there with you. Uh, I mean, that, what an incredible team. I was already excited about this squad when they fell down 2-0 to Envy because of the way in which they did it. They played them close. It's the only overtime we've had so far. The second map was only a 9-13 to loss mm -hmm. and so still felt tight and then to see them come in and just display the dominance that they did in this way uh proving to people that hey envy band breeze against us maybe for a reason because you saw what we can do especially when he's hitting his shots and i love the conversation that's beginning around the different duelists in this league or in this tournament rather you've got heat you've got tens and a whole bunch of others who start to put up big numbers in and for me that just makes me salivate at the thought of these matchups further down the line Gio, your turn. I'm just, thinking, I'm just distracted by him saying heat's making him salivate. <laughs> it, it, re oh, it just was such hey, an. Uh... I'm a fan of Valorant, good Valorant gameplay. All right. Okay, you do what you do in Look your at time. And I, it, it oh, is. Guys, and you don't even was... hear the green room. That is something else. Oh man, it was. That's gross. Absolutely it wild. Is. It was into, and also we got to see Breeze again. <laughs> <laughs> two two, two jet players on Breeze across two days just absolutely popping off. Tell me you don't want yeah, a tens versus heat 1v1 for like... Yes, we could do that as a, as a show match. I think we should we should definitely have let's it, you know? Let's put all of the jets into one lobby. Ooh, that okay. Could be interesting. Ten I mean, you can't... Yeah, you can't get all the jets into a one You can, you can. match jet? You just, can. Yeah. <laughs> you can. That could be a ton of fun. Oh, well, that's true. I was thinking into like a competitive lobby uh, that you can only have. We can make it happen. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll find a way. No worries. <laughs> All right. Well, who would be your pick if you had to go in the 10-man? In the I'll go for heat. 100%. You're going to go for heat? 100%, yes. You would? Of all the Jets? Yes, of all the Jets. You're going to go for 10s? Yeah. Defo, when he's I'm, on fire, he was he was looking hot. He had, that, he had a poor split game. But aside from that, Defo's also looked incredible. It's true. I'm still going for 10s. <laughs> yay? What about Yay! Uh, Asana? No, I'm no. Listen, okay, we have brilliant Jets. I don't know what the future has um, prepared for Vivo Kid, but I feel like there's something big coming from Heat. 
wherever it is. Yeah, I mean, I I, I fear for yeah, I an fear international for crew. roster pickup. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I bet he's moving to NA. <laughs> People are already. He probably could. Talking I mean, don't you think it. he has a level? I mean, if I no, were no, I'm just, I'm just. It just makes me wonder for the rest of Vivo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they've got big things coming. Yeah, losing that you missed. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's a possibility. It happens. In those are the co- those are the conversations that start when you perform so well on an exactly. international stage, right? Stars are made in situations like this. I'll remind everybody that there were questions about whether or not tens would even step Stay. up. You know, well, yes. step up to the yes. challenge in Reykjavik. Then he did, right? And that kickstarted the whole conversation around. Well, will Sentinels actually put up to acquire him? But that is a conversation for neither here nor there because the teams are ready to step on stage. So for one final time, let's hop on to watch Havon Liberty and Crazy Raccoon. Liberty and Crazy Raccoon. I am not jealous of the nerves that I'm sure each of these teams are feeling knowing that it has to be done here and now. Uh, but really, it becomes then a battle about who can deal with those nerves the best in this situation. Also appreciate the uh, indoor shades in an already dark venue there on the side of the Brazilian squad. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. You want to look cool. Mm-hmm. You want to look sick and dank. No, I, I, I mean, I was going to say, the way they walked out, it looked so serious. And you're like, yeah, this is a game of mental fortitude. It's who can hang in there. And they're all like screaming and waving their flags. So I guess they're fine. I mean, I think you need to have that levity, right? In the yes. face of, of the nerves and the stakes, you need to be able to, you know, kind of push that to the side. And clear, breathe. clear your mind and breathe ultimately, right? And so that you can focus as a squad on the prep work that you've done coming in. And speaking of prep work, Let's return to maps. For either of these teams, where are their best answers going to be found? I mean, I don't think that Crazy Raccoons are going to be willing, especially to play a Bind or Icebox again since what mm -hmm. happened um, against uh, Gambit. Icebox is another map that was not good from Havana against 100 Thieves, even though they picked the map. So I really don't know what to expect. Anything can be. Maybe these two teams put those two matches aside and just focus on this single one. Yeah, it's funny that you say you don't think that Crazy Raccoon are going to want to go back to Icebox when that was their pick when they played against yeah, Gambit. But... It's like the idea that they are going to abandon it. Yeah, but oh no, I Havana understand. Also it. Havana I was a bit. It. Yeah, no. it's 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 not good. I mean, I stand by uh, my feeling that. Okay, yeah, I was going to say my feeling that that Havan will either go for a split or a breeze ban. So this time, instead of going for split, which is what they did against 100 Thieves, they've actually opted for the breeze instead. I'm actually kind of scared because you mentioned it. Is it a split or is it, it's either breeze or split? Split is now open, and uh, I feel like. Um, Crazy Raccoons might go for that map if, if they get to choose. I first. mean, between the two maps, Breeze and Split, when they've been left open in the tournament itself, much more often has Split come into the pool. And so, yeah, going to be some questions about whether or not that was the right choice, ultimately. But Haven will be the first map here, which personally I'm very excited about uh, for both of these teams, neither having made it onto the map yet in this tournament. Yeah. I mean, sorry, did you? Oh, uh, I was just going to say, uh, it's been a good map for Havan Liberty, but and Crazy Raccoon also actually lost on Haven in the Grand Finals in Japan as well to Zeta Division. So, yeah, kind of you, killing two birds with one stone mm -hmm. there. You've got a map you like and also going to hit them where it hurts. Yeah, exactly. Probably that's what they were going for because Havan has, has only played this map on a couple of occasions. But, um... 
I wouldn't say that a Haven is like a super strong map uh, for Brazil, but they do have good results. All right, well, if you don't ban the split and instead yeah. go for the Breeze, it seems natural that Crazy Raccoon's gonna pick it up, and that will be our second map of the series. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how that one's gonna come out, given the fact that that was something that Havan Liberty specifically tried to take off the board last time. I really, I'm really eager to see how Crazy Raccoon perform, especially on this split, if they keep uh, that composition with that double initiator and actually watching that they're second, starting on the attack, I really want to know how they manage to pull, to make that work, you know, the, the breach in the, in the sky, I want to see it. Yeah, funnily enough, those are the two maps that didn't get played in each of their previous yeah. series, so perhaps just wanting again, as we said, to try something different, and of course, we're going to look at Icebox as that third and final map. Look, I feel like th this is where you have to look at this and you have to say, have Crazy Raccoon kind of lost the map veto just because those last two remaining maps were two maps that they've shown they don't like. You know, they banned Ascent previously when they uh, played against Gambit, and now they've the other option was go to a map that they did terribly on against Gambit. One of them was going to have to be picked. I love the fact that Crazy Raccoon decided to go for the defense at first because since they change that race for Sky. They went into a double information composition with the Soba, and uh, um, I really like how that improved their defense. So I think that's going to be a good one if we get to map three. Yeah, we kick <laughs> things off with Haven. It's going to be Crazy Raccoon on the defensive side there. Let's start talking about agents. I'm going to bring up again, and I know that we already did the criticism towards Munchkin on the swap over to the Jet, and therefore putting Fisker on the Sky in the previous series. Do we want to see them swap back? I do, personally. I I think I would also like that. I mean, I just... Uh, yeah, I mean, there's the risks in Munchkin being on the sky because of what I said about him being the main opera, but he seems to just understand the role a bit better. The, we also need to think about um, the fact that Havan is probably going to uh, play also Breach and Sky. Yep. Um, that is a, a lot of utility to use against an operator. You don't need to, you barely need to dry pick. You're going to have something for it, most of the angles. So you're going to feel pretty safe with that. Is that going to be enough? Is that going to make uh, Crazy Raccoons change their minds? Flashes on flashes on flashes. And we've seen. <laughs> Thank what... God that we don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that would be a, a bit of a headache. But uh, we've seen what that can do, uh, particularly on the A site in a couple of our previous Haven. Yeah. Matchups uh, when uh, you know you get the flash through from sewers or a short into a long cubby and allowing one of those offers to maybe make a pick. Uh, but here we go, straight into Prime Gaming Agent Select. So again, we'll have our answers soon enough about which tools these teams want to work with. I mean, this would be kind of wild if they if they do end up selecting that uh, Brimstone, just because that's not really something they play on this map. I mean, I was wondering if maybe they would uh, return back to the composition that that they, um, they played prior to their game against Zeta Division, which was actually um, a double duelist composition that involved a Rainer as well. And instead of the Astro, they brought the Omen along. But um, I'm not entirely sure that that's what's going to be happening here. Well, there's the first piece yeah, of the flash probably because puzzle. Ade uh, was not on the original of, yes, of that composition. Yes. So that is that is where the change is going to happen. Sorry. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. wow. I mean, Your point was much more worthwhile than mine. <laughs> I was just commenting that the breach has come in. We're maybe still waiting for the sky. And there it is, yes. Rishi on, on the side of Havan Liberty. I mean, this is very different as well because Neth playing Raze is also new. Mm. Oh my god, they're actually going to go for the Brimstone. Oh no, any production this is spoiled us again. <laughs> this is very new. This is very new for And them. risky, I have to say, yes. because you know that this is literally do or die. I mean, an incredibly different looking uh, lineup on, on this side of Crazy Raccoon. I'm but I think, it. again, that goes to what we were talking about. When you take the 113 beating, you've got to make a lot of changes. Really just mm -hmm. throw people for a loop, and they've looked to do just that. Both of the teams have locked their comps in for map number one. It's Haven. Redemption is the story for both of these squads as they look to keep their tournament lives going. And now we're handing it over to Doug and Riv for the call. Thank you so much, Dash. Yeah. Sa dito matatanggal mga kaibigan at nandito tayo sa huling labanan na naman ng araw nito. Maaga na naman tayo riri, mukhang mahimbing na naman ang tulog natin dito. Pero ito na, labanan ng department store versus the ones that are crazy here riri. Havan Liberty, kalaban ang crazy raccoon. At bago tayo pumasok dito sa matchup na to, at bago natin seryosohin yung mga picks muna. May pitanong ko sa'yo riri, ano, ano, ano dapat i-spelling yung crazy? Okay, sa trend ngayon ay 
K R A Z Y. So sabi nga natin dati, kung yung Crazy Raccoons, ginawa na lang letter K yan, siguro nakapasok na sila papuntang uh, finals. Pero nga lang, so sobrang crazy nila. Sila na pala actually ang ano, champs dati papuntang representatives ng uh, Japan, di ba? Oh, Going to champions. Yeah, so malaki, malaki lang talaga yung pressure sa kanila to actually perform in the first place. Isipin mo, nandun ka sa Valorant Champions, tapos kung makikita natin yung performance na nakita natin nung nabanan nila ng gambit, mapapatanong ka na lang bakit nandun sila sa slot na yun. Two rounds lang nakuha nila ng series nila against gambit. Tingnan natin kung makaka-improve sila. Medusa daw, unang makakuha ng Elia. Si John, Maison daw, makakatch out niya yung Cypher in response. At yung Crazy Raccoon, Ray Ray. Wala kayo team roster nila. So, pwede makikita natin paglipat-lipat yung mga players na makikita natin. At syempre, yung cover nila, sobrang bago. So, Crane, huli niya ang isa dyan si Ade. In the meantime, catching out the breach in response. 3v2 na ngayon. Jump pick muna. Pero hindi na nakita si Maya Sen dyan. Yung headshot machine. Pero baka mag-pick na yung Cypher. Di pa rin tatama, Ray Ray. Ano ito na Crazy Raccoon? Doing it yet again with the Brimstone Feeds. So, the only one left. At kaya pa pa yung Feeds to. Kinaya pa nga. Magiging 1v1 na ngayon. Na natin ha, Havan Liberty vs Crazy Raccoon Smanchkin gets the last kill. So here we have, uh, they're leading by one na din. Great start for them coming up here in Haven. And alam mo, Dax, sinisip ko lang ha, if and if uh, Crazy Raccoon might be getting this uh, map, pwede nating sabihin na possible 2-0 in favor of Crazy Raccoon. I mean... Tama nga naman, Riri, nakita mo yung split map. Pinayaga ng Van Liberty na uh, makita natin dito sa map mula to. Sige, ang ayaw nila mag-brace kasi yung history nila mismo not too good in the first place. Na naglaro sila isang beses at natalo pa nga sila sa kanilang local scene. So gets naman. Pero at the same time, kung yung split base map ng Crazy Raccoon in terms of the raw stats na tipong okay, pwede-pwede nga ilabas ng Crazy Raccoon. Alam ko nga, minsan binaban pa nga sa Japanese scene yung map na yun, kalaban na sa kanila eh. And it goes to show right now for Crazy Raccoon, kung makuha nito map na to, and overall, honestly, itong map pick ng Havan Liberty, pwedeng-pwede pa rin makuha ng Crazy Raccoon in terms of the stats as well. At si Kadusa, si Munchkin, ayun, si Filcar, si Ade as well. At ang linis-linis ng Crazy Raccoon, mukhang pinalitan nga nila yung C para sa K ngayon, Ray Ray. Kasi crazy-crazy talaga at yung Havan Liberty. Problema kasi, Ray Ray, nasa Haven tayo at may spelling ng Havan ng Haven. Ay, ganun ba yun? Oo, di ba? Mahala ko ano eh! Oo! Isipin mo, di ba? Palitan mo lang isang letter para sa isang each team. Gumagana. Big brain. Kaya pa naman. Ang galing. Kaya pala sinaswerto ang haban na na eh. Kaya pala sinaswerte daw itong haban kung sakasakali pero hindi pa sila sinaswerte. Kasi instead of Haven, ano yan? Havana una na yan. Yan yung kata ni Camilla Cabello. Oo, di ba? Ano yan? Nasa phone mo rin ba yun? Katext mo rin? Havana. Oo, katext ko si Camilla. Sabi niya, ako na bahala kapag nanali haban ni Bertie. Magko-concert ako sa Valorant. Pero ba't ka tayo ngayon? 2-0. Bumili na rin yung mga Van Liberty. Siyempre, after na ma-obvious naman yan. Pag round 3, bibili na yung mga yan. Pero, oof! Saktong-sakto, wala. Si Medusa, may ikot na yung mundo. Mundo by 4 of spades. Oh, biruin mo na ganun ka lang ni Crane. Ano nang ginangyayari dito ngayon? At she got a good old D-Tech Sound of Fisher. Bumabawi yung cute. Nagkumagat ang doggy-doggy. Pero instead of that, Pitz was able to pin down Aid or Ade at Munchkin na lang at si Ness ang natitira. Ade. Ano to? Japanese team? So isipin mo, yung mga binabasa mo, mga manga, manua, ganun yung pronunciation. Ayos, Riri. Ayos. Sorry, sorry. Kasi Abe, Abe kasi may iba Abe. Ayan, ngayon Ade. Ang Ade, di ba? Parang yung... Di ba parang Prime Minister nila yun or something? Actually know that for once. Oy, wow! Ako yung Abe sa ibang pangalan yan eh. Huwag kaya natin sabihin anong title ng pangalan yan. Ayoko malaman na yun eh. Pero si Munchkin, huli mo si Sion Crane. In the meantime, mukhang masasagot ka si Munchkin. At ang Crazy Raccoon, mukhang may time tayo. Oh, si Net! Nahuli siya ni Maisin. At ito na Havan Liberty. Kinilangan talaga nila makakuha na isang point. At dito sa third round, nagawa na nila. Pero yung sasabihin ko sana itong si Crazy Raccoon. Sobrang iba ng cope nila ngayon eh. Nag-roll swaps na naman sila, nag-change things up. Siyempre, yung sasabi natin yung roster, may rotation talaga per map. Pero yung pinaka-noticeable, yung ginawa nila against Gambit, si Munchkin pa rin yung mag-jet, tapos si Fisker na ngayon yung mag-sky, mukhang pipilitin pa rin nila eh. Kasi pag pinanood mo yung mga games nila against yung mga Zeta, against yung team ni Soldam, 
kitang-kita natin na si Fisker yung nag jet dapat at si Munchkin yung nag-sky. Pero ang problema nga, sabi ng panel, si Munchkin pa rin yung operator player. So medyo may pagka-awkward nun. At ngayon, sabi nila, sige na Munchkin, baka na on the jet duty and we'll see what he can do with that. Pero ito na, blades na mga hawak-hawak ni Munchkin. Pwede niya ilabas. Neto na may time, mukhang hawak niya yung judge. Pero si Myson, saktong tama lang at saktong tago. Ito talaga, fast of Van Liberty. Alam mo, Ray Ray, itong cypher mm -hmm. na to, parang... 40% usually ang headshot percentage niya kahit durog sila kahit panalo sila ang consistent ng headshot machine na si Maisen ibig sabihin ano no kahit anong hawakan ni Maisen umay headshot sa ulo yan di ba well, sakto sakto yan pero nga lang uh, ngayon kanina pa nagko-control tong uh, habang di pero tong pinaka cancer start strat dinet pag ikaw tinama ay just pray daw nang sila ni Ate ano ginagawa niyo nagumingi na naman kayo ng ayuda pero this time around pinadali lang because of that uh, ultimate by brimstone pero still checking na kayo si Maisen in all corners ginagamit ang kanyang CCTV na pwedeng hawakan may mode yan different mode may night mode din yan pero nga lang pagpunta na sila kagad sa A-side makakapunotate uh, na din kagad ang uh, crazy raccoon getting that right now we have this ultimate pero nga lang may papapadali lang yung Astra so this is a good way actually of uh, Van Liberty just to deny them from pushing sa may A-Link pero nga lang pag yan nawala okay hello sa inyo yan oh! lang nangyari dun. Naglabas ng sombrero and fleets uh, sees the eyes of Ade and still Havan Liberty will be tying this with a 2-2-2. Two -two. Nakita mo yun, Ray Ray? Nag-blast pack paharap yung ating race mm. na si Net. Pero natamaan pa rin eh. Na-headshot sa ulo na naman. And gusto shot ko si Mason. Ilang beses na lang. Sobrang Ang mas sabi ko lang, yun yung, yun yung mas high percentage ang tatama yung bala niya. Parang if you look at him and sabi mo, sige nga, just, just hit the guy kahit, kahit saan. Yung, yung hit pa rin yung gusto niya tamaan eh. And it just goes to show kung yun yung pretty much yung precision mo. Doon ka sa, talaga sa nai tumamaan ang bala. Di, yun kahit, kahit mahirap, kahit nasa harapan mo na matatamaan mo pa rin. But here we go right now, Munchkin trying to play the sea long angle. Havan Liberty now. Yeah, that confidence, Ray Ray. May, may breach nga sila dito. May Sky rin. Double initiator. Not gonna be the triple initiator that we usually see from them kasi ito yung variant na nilalaro nila sa map on to. But at the same time, ang grabe na lang range para mag-initiate. Yung breach pa lang, yung fault line, yung Sky sa guiding light. Tapos syempre, kung ayaw mag-sova, Cypher kind of the next best thing kasi pwede pa rin magka-intel to sa CCTV na medyo mm -hmm. GoPro na rin. At saka ngayon, no? usually when you go to Haven, makita ka ng Sova. Di ba? kahit for post plans plus of course maganda si yung uh, AOE ng mga skill set ni Sova dito pero with, when you have double initiator i think this is much more workable lalo sa side ng Van Liberty and they're attacking pero uy si Net binabatuhan lang siya ngayon ng mga flashes pero hindi pa rin siya gumagalaw marunong siyang um, magkaroon ng paninindigan pero because of that Konting supot lang ng, uh, ang konting ano lang ng dito ng uh, Havan Liberty. Mabibit sila papuntang A. And speaking of, kita mo naman. At ngayon, papunta na sila kagad sa seaside. Na-open na kagad. Will this be a possible reading? Let's see around. Oh. Si Maisen already in window. He spots out the head of Machki together with Vest Fisker. And uh, they're trimming it down to the last two guys left of Crazy Raccoons. Mukhang inaantok pa ata itong ano eh, Crazy Raccoons. Kaya. <laughs> Ganyan ba? Parang Kasi... ako. Oh, parang ka, parang ay eh, pagkita ko sa mukha mo pa lang sa Queen Ray Ray. Aga natin mag-start. Aga ka makakatulog kaya gising ka na muna. Pero yun eh, galing sila ng Japan, di ba? Oh, time zone, pa pareho lang sa atin. So baka yun yung iniisip na Japan time, pero it's time to shine para sa Havan Liberty kasi 3 to 2 na ngayon. Di ba sinasabi natin ko sa Japan, Land of the Rising Sun. So, gising-gising gising talaga dito para sa Crazy Raccoon. Kasi oh. In terms of the comp pa lang eh, nagising na sila. Sinasabi nga kanina na kakaiba tong comp na ito na Crazy Raccoon kasi pinasok na sila si Ade sa Haven. Kasi usually, si Net dapat yung nagko-controller dito, nag-aastro sila dapat eh. Pero hindi, ano ba nila? At kung magiging ganun yung plano ng Crazy Raccoon, para nalang mag-improve, para nalang pakita na yung rotation nila, yung roster nila, may, may reason in the first place, titingnan natin nga kung mapapalag sila versus Havan Liberty. Pero masasabi ka ng Ray Ray rin, tong Crazy Raccoon, may nagawa na sila eh. Alam mo hmm. ano nagawa na nila? Ano yung nagawa nila? Na-tie up na na yung score na nakuha nila sa Gambit last time. So, from this point on, improvement na lang compared to that series. Ano lang, kailangan talaga nila mag-step up. At sinabi mga ducks, no, na Land of the Rising Sun. Alam nyo ba, fun fact, no, nasa Japan ako, 4am pa lang may araw na dun. 
Oh. Uh, sobrang ba- maaga dun eh, maaga. Pero maaga. balik na tayo ngayon dahil ang habang liberty na okay, Ano yun? Kanina na lang! Nakapag ba ito mga taga-crazy na ako? At, at pinalayaan nila. Pero sige, sige, nagising na. Narinig na nila yung sinasabi ko kasi nakapunta na kagad ng uh, P-set at itong mga tropatid from Havan. Pero nga lang, lumalainap ng konti. Ngayon, si Mizen, siya na lang mag-isa. Feel ko, may possibility pa na ma-clutch siya ito. Pero nga lang, may kasama pa kayong Here Comes the Party. Nag... Um, Karoon na nga na show Stopper and Munchkin denied right now um, uh, the possibility of Haban Liberty winning that with Mice and as the last guy. And now, tatlo sa tatlo na nga. Ano ba naman to? Ang dikit ng laban. Bakit ganito pag ako nagkakas tapos inaantok na ako? Biglang dikit pa na yung laban. Sige, ano eh. ka kasi really. Di ba sinasabi nga natin yung stats kahapon mga casting pairing. At na- na-prove na naman eh. Nagsama si Iro at si Bill. 2-0 speedrun lang eh. Yung mas matagal pa nga yung take post kaysa doon sa laro mismo eh. So, pag ikaw, pagkasama kita, ako, ako yung nadadamay lang sa, sa curse mo eh. Makikita natin, dikit yung laban, nanapat na game tray, at yung rising na saan na pinag-uusapan natin kanina, baka mag-rise pa nga sa series na to. Pero, among ngayon, Bang Liberty, kinaham lang nila makuha yung setup na naman. You have crane on that which is for good reason. Ito talaga yung pinakalinabas nila doon sa Brazil scene para lang umundad at para umabot dito sa Berlin. At sinabi natin to last time eh, yun yung pocket play ng Havan Liberty. Yun yung style nila at nakita nila gumana sa local, sumada sa region nila mismo at tingnan natin kung gagana di- ngayon against Crazy Raccoon. Pero at the same time, kung iibahin ng Crazy Raccoon ang strat nila, eh, yun talaga eh, parang surprise na lang. Tingnan natin ang performance ng CR kasi step up lang eh. Step up gameplay ang magagawa ng only Japanese squadron na natitira in contention. At habang ngayon, habang Liberty, rotate muna sila from C to A we go, Ray Ray. Ito na nga. Kailangan talaga nila i-leave up yung mga expectations sa kanila coming in from Crazy Raccoon. Pero saktong-sakto ang mukha ni Blitz right now as he's been taken on by Medusa and Medusa takes out that Neurotef para lang makita kung nasaan yung mga miyembro ng Aban Liberty pero nga lang tumatiming na naman ngayon si Myzen takes the head of Munchkin and just some trades coming in from Neth at uh, ngayon tatlo na lang kagad sa Aban Liberty sa early rounds talaga parati silang mapapanish sa early seconds pero nga lang Fisper gets the head of oh, Shion and as standing. now Medusa sees out Kren at si na- Yazi na lang ang natitira pero Nakuha pa nga niya yung ulo ngayon ni Ade. He can still get the spike and he can just plant it. Pero open open kasi ang seaside. So he will be moving towards there. Pero mukhang konting take lang. Niya. Nagparinig lang. Marunong pala magparinig to. Parang ibang mga tao sa Twitter. And speaking of, <laughs> yeah, he will be planting 3v1. Will this be a possibility? Dahil, uy! Inauntog. Inauntog. Oh, what a shot! Oh, and now he will be taking out the base turn. Will this be a possibility? He can actually clutch this. Nagpabawas lang. 28-18, nilalaro-laro lang siya, pero pinalutan sa mukha ni Meth. And still, Crazy Raccoons will now lead by one against Havan Liberty. Sumama po! Sumama po sa picture! Mm. Ito yung squad na nadurog kapon, tas masama pa sa picture kapon ba? No? Basta last time sila naglaro. So sabi niya, gusto ko muna magka- magka-photo off. You know, happy times, happy times. Pero mas happy na ngayon kayo si Rakun kasi makita natin sila. May lead na sila dito sa Berlin. And ito talaga yun eh. Maraming may expectations nga sa Crazy Raccoon dahil lang sila na ang official Japanese yeah. representative sa Valorant Champions. Eh, iba dapat, dapat yung style na, na maglalaro sila in the first place. And well, kung itong change of pace at yung change of composition ang pwede nila gawin, parang pumunta sila na ng, ng closet eh. Yung kesa, kesa damit metri Ray. Ray. Sabi niya, oh, ito na lang kumplalorin natin. And interesting nga, kasi ang laki ng, ro- ng roster nila, ang rami nilang yeah. players, so pwede nila actually gawin to compared to the other teams eh. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, in a way na, gusto kong ipakita sa atin ng uh, Crazy Raccoons. And uh, sa so tingin ko rin, ha, dami ng experience nila here, they have... Uh, those formation in where hindi sila ma-distinguish at all na Havan Liberty. And kita ng kita naman natin yun eh. Kahit na open yung site, kahit marunong magbigay ang Crazy Raccoons, every time na mag retake sila, they're doing it so good. So flawless. Concealment. They're taking no. them, their time, yet um, very worth it. Pero um, right now, may so mga flawless. Ster- st- oh, so, flawless. So flawless. Parang pa, ano. Pa, pang belo. Pang belo. Mm-hmm. Ganun ba? Pwede na, pwede mm. na. Uh, pero pang... pag sumilip, ito, Ay. may mamamind. Mama, may uh, mamamind ba ngayon? Ah, wala. Wala, wala. Ito yun wala. kasi. Pag nag-zoom in ka, doon makikita yung mga peklat eh. So, itong ah. zoom in ni Munchkin, baka nalang 
mapa mapapahamak dito si Fleets na tumatago lang ngayon pero Havan Liberty playing it safe and sound mukhang nagana pa rin sila ang option yung makasetup pero oh, bakit ka mag-i-pick ng ganun Fleets? Fleets? Ano yung inisip mo doon? Pero Liazzi who didn't see much in response for Dusan na magpapakita kay Sion pero ang delikado talaga nun may bridge ka na nga hindi mo pa i-pick yun ang mga ayos hindi mo pa gagamitin yung fault line setup and that is because well you know hindi nila ginawa yun and Crazy Raccoon now ito na yung chance nila para manalo pa ng isang round. Spike planted. There we go with the flash. The Yazid na po lang niya igarahin dyan. At mukhang yung mechanic ng Minonica at si Fisker ay mamamatay dyan. Si the Yazid at si Crane magkakasama lang dito. Pero isang angle ang binabatayan nila. At ito pa yung wrong angle. Hindi oh, yeah, yeah, mangyari. Medusa niya mahuli si Crane. At nag-isa na si the Yazid. Kita niya yung lineup. Pero hindi na mahuli yung tatlo. At ang crazy raccoon. <laughs> nagsama-sama. Yung molly lang dyan na. At si the Yazid. Hindi siya makatawit. Ray Ray. Mukhang red light pa rin ang nasa harang sa kanya. At ang crazy raccoon na naman. Ano ang nangyari dun sa Van Liberty? Kasi mukhang nawawala lang sila dun sa site na yun. Pero yun mo. Ilang oras na. Ilang segundo na ang nasasayang sa side ng Van Liberty. Tapos kapag sobrang di pinapadelay lang sila actually ng mga tropa natin from Crazy Raccoons, they can uh, they can't move at all. At kitang-kita mo naman eh, they want to commit sa seaside pero nga lang hindi uh, nila ginagamit masyado yung utilities nila in a perfect way to their advantage. And uh, because of that, Crazy Raccoons are just capitalizing on it. And tatandaan niyo ha, nandoon na si Crazy Raccoons sa uh, point na dapat nawawalan na sila ng momentum kasi they've been losing pero right now they're really bit quite different pero oh because of that, at Medusa, pinat pinatigas na ngayon ang uh, ulo ni Liazi dahil nga sa pag Medusa, diba? Pag tinig na mo sa mata, oh. mind ka kagad. Stone, oh. stone ka agad. Stone case. Di ba ult yun? Di ba ult yun? Ah, ult yun eh. Ba ult yun? Oh. Ang galing na na. Oo, oh, oh, ult yun. Si yung, yung, yung stone case. Ewan ko. Ewan ko. Anong klaseng laro yun? Pero ano ba yan? Pang pang ba yan? Parang hindi naman. Parang hindi. 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 Yung pabansang e-sport natin, bago dumating ang ating tunay na bakang sa phone. Pero na, Pain at Fleet, nagpapakita sila ng paraan. At crazy na kung pumapalik, Percy Fleet, nakahalap pa na isa. Si Neto, nakakuha na ng dalawa dito. At net worth, at net will do it there with Ade. 6 to 3 na ngayon para sa Crazy Raccoon. Kunti-kunti yung Ray Ray, napapalitan na lang nga yung scene, magiging K. At kung manalo talaga sila dito, magiging A-OK ang standing nila sa Berlin. Sabi naman, Crazy Raccoons. Kaya naman bumababi yung letter C with a K. Kure... Hindi yan crazy. Kurezi. 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 May raccoon ba tayo dito sa Pinas? Ah, hindi ko hindi ko alam. Meron ba? Meron ba? Ako, ako, ako. Isa-search ko, Raccoon in Japanese. Raccoon. Aray Guma. Kurezi. Aray Guma. Okay yun ah. Ah, Aray Guma. O Mojina. Mojina. Ah, may iba pa kasi lahi. Kapag daw North American na kung Aray Guma. Okay. Okay. Tapos, paano kung ano? Ba't may North American na kung ba't dama yung North America dyan? Ewa ko. Baka yun yung mga... Ano eh? Mga... Sinasabi nila eh. How to say raccoon. Meron dito. Um... Raccoon. Raccoon. Pero pag iba na. Aray Guma. Ah, ito, ito, ito. So, so, so yun nga, sabihin mo na nga yung... Ano? Lakun! So, turuan mo ko, paano yung crazy raccoon in Japanese? Kurezi laku! Kurezi! Kasi di sila maano sa R, so... Kurezi laku! Galing! Tara, wait, nakita mo yun? Nakita mo yun? Yung sa coach ng Havan Liberty? May Pikachu siya, bro! May Pikachu siya! Sa, sa, may tattoo siya ng Pikachu! So... Ah, bigyan kita fun fact, Ray Ray. Ito, oh, may, may fun fact ako kahit patapos na yung, yung, yung post. So, ito yun eh. Sa Crazy Raccoon, di ba sinabi natin na seven-man roster sila? Maraming uh -huh. laki roster na. Si uh -huh. Fisker, alam mo, mm -hmm. may, ano, may, may, may dugo siya. May lahi siya. Ano ng, lahi niya? Ng Brazilian. Oy! <laughs> tapos, <laughs> tapos yung coach ng Havan Liberty, may coach na, uh, may tattoo ng Pikachu na galing Japan, yung Pokemon. Kitang-kita talaga. May, may, ano, may mga, may mga sus eh. May mga taga-mongas yun eh. Ay, mga, mga ano pala yung mga traidor pala nang iiwan yung mga yan. Ay, nako. Pero at least may Pikachu siya na cute yan. Pero nalabas na rin natin kanya sa showstopper. Sabi niya, ako ngayon ang um, gatecrasher. Pinatigil ka agad ang Havan Liberty sa pagkumit sa A-side. At uh, sa biru mo, sobra, sobrang early ngayon ng round na yun. Tatlo ka agad nabura sa side ng Havan Liberty. Nagtapod pa kayo ng onting lunchbox kanina si... 
Net, pero walang, may tumama pala kay Shion. Ay, ang Shion niya, sikat na mga pangalan niya sa anime. Mamaya, mamaya, bibigyan ko kayo ng pangalan na Shion. Right uh, oh, parang yung, Matino, yung aso Matino. na lang eh. Yung aso na lang uh, yun eh. Ay, oh. Anime na anime eh. Pero, oy, so, besides yung ating, syempre, yung pina, pinakamaganda mga usapan na Rere, na nag-translate ka ng Crazy Raccoon to, ano yun? Crazy Raccoon. K- crazy Raccoon. Okay, so. Crazy la- Ang pinaka-problema nitong matchup na to, yung Sava Liberty, in-expect natin talaga na gagamitin nila yung setup tools nila eh. Bakit ka pa mag-breach kung hindi mo naman makakapitalize yung setup mo? And it seems like dahil lang doon, dahil sa spacing ngayon ng Crazy Raccoon, na hindi nabibigyan ng opportunity Havan Liberty, tas bigla na lang nasusurprise pa yung Havan Liberty na nandun na yung Crazy Raccoon. Kung left. kailan, pwede pala nila gawan ng combo, yung one-two punch, yung flash at yung dash o yung stun at yung peak pwede na sana eh kasi yun yung pinaka straight ng Havan Liberty yung mga plays alongside the bridge and the Astra pero hindi natin nakikita ngayon crazy raccoon ilang bases na kasi lang parang yung mga raccoon mismo eh nakakapasok lang kung saan saan and that being said itong composition na to mukhang okay talaga eh ginabi na crazy raccoon kailangan nila ng change you know change is coming hindi change is coming and you know what we're seeing here is what we get ito talaga yung mga promises ng crazy raccoon na sila ang pwede maging top dog galing sa Japan and for what we see here they're actually able to crush Havan Liberty dito sa half na to pero hindi pa naman tapos Ray Ray may pag-asa pa ang Havan Liberty pero kesa kumata sila ng Havan uwa na na kailangan nila maintindihan yung haven na map na to kasi kung makatakbo na naman crazy raccoon mag- maging 9 to 3 to mahihirap pa na sila on the defending side. At oh, what a shot from Crane! Kailangan nila yun! Shot down si Munchkin dyan. Ayan yung magandang kailangan ng eksena dahil kapag hindi pa nangyari yun at, uh, den- at uh, sila pa ang madedenay actually ng Crazy Raccoon. This is going to be so draining sa side ng Havan Liberty. Pero so far, alam ko na-observe ko rin sa cra- Crazy Raccoon. So mm-hmm. para, para silang wakamoli bigla bigla na lang magpapakita sa akin kung wala bigla. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, say that again? Did you say guacamole as a guacamole? Oh, guacamole. Bakit? Bakit? Alam ko guacamole. Alam ko guacamole. Oh. Bakit? Hindi ba ba tawag? Hindi kasi yung guacamole, guacamole, hindi naman yung Brazilian <laughs> o Japanese. Di ba Mexico, sa Mexico yun? Ba't bigla na dama yung Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> yung guacamole kasi. Oh, yung ba, 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 yung ba, guacamole lang na tawag ko. At sorry akin. Hindi <laughs> 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 nyo sa video game, arcade yun. Oh, nga, so, eh, sorry sa'yo. Sorry sa'yo. Sorry sa'yo. Pero itong Waka Raccoon hindi nangyayari. Kasi Havan Liberty is sinin. Napapat natin. Kasi sinin na uhuli dito. Ito na Crazy Raccoon na kuha na sa tatong parsilya. Si Hero Mode with a Flame Star. Pero mukhang dito lang ito matama. Mga kuchiri yan. Pero si Pito ang makakahuli dyan. Pero ito na ang tingin ni Medusa. At palapit na palapit na ang ating Cypher para sa 1v1. Pero mumsat muna dyan. Kita na niya. Gamit yung Neural Theft. And here we have it. The Mystic Snake. Kaya pero hindi. Si Liazi bago siya maging bato. Binato na lang ngayon shot sa operator. At kinaya pa rin ang Havan Liberty yun. Bakalat na rad. Bakalat sa seaside. Pero when there is a will, there is a way. At mukhang nahan- nakahanap ng paraan doon ang ating attacking side. Kinaya nga nila eh. Kahit makalat. Diba? Da- makalat. <laughs> Atong Havan Liberty. Alam mo, At but- sila. Ano yun? Ano yun? Buti na lang yung pagsabi mo ng Crazy Raccoon. Andun pa nga alam mo, di ba? Ray. Crazy. 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 Okay. Ayun yung Shion sa number 6 yan. Huwag nyo lang, tano- lang tignan ko anong dyan na. Pero yun, sa number 6 yan. Pero speaking of, tinig na natin ni... Yes. Ay! Hindi siya ano ah! Baka magulat kasi kayo. Pero speaking of, um... Papunta kagad ang Havan Liberty sa may garage. They want to still contest this but unfortunately, binigay na sa kanila kagad ito ng Crazy Raccoons kasi kaya naman nalang makapag uh, back up naman ako sa kasa kaya mm. pick off. Pero it's better to give that than to contest it. Ang dami kasing utilities right now ng Havan Liberty kung tutuusin. Tapos meron ka pang breach so that itself will be denying a lot. Pero to pag ikaw Fisker sumilip ka dyan, ikaw ay magigigi. Pero, ano ba? Ano ba gusto mong desisyon sa buhay, Fisker? Pero mukhang wala na nga kagad. But looking at that, starting slow na naman ang Havan Liberty. But Liazi is taking this time to make a perfect opportunity if he'll be able to pick up one open-open na kagad ang uh, garage so that they can commit papuntang seaside. Nakakuha pa niya Intel dun. Yung gamit ng Ibon na tilang lumipad. 
sumabay sa hangin at ako yung napatingin pero napapatingin tayo dito sa B-Site Ray Ray at si Shion na naman naghahanap ng paraan kunting pitas dyan pero wala eh Sky Smokes guy sa first of our dash on in lihasi daw huli ka agad yung ating Cypher at dahil dito mga kalbis nagsip siya ng trap kalbis na over Cypher walang matatamaan si Medusa na lang at si Hang na keep this biglang pick lang guy sa Cypher dalawa na daw first lihasi gamit lang yung frenzy dyan at mahuli pa rin si Medusa dyan first si Adi ngayon nasa likod at mahuli ngayon ni Crane in response Mysen daw fighting one as well Munchkin right now with the taste of in hand at si Liasi run and gun gamit lang ng frenzy at si Fisker lang ag nag-iisa he has to play for time though Ray Ray watalino bata to si Fisker at tumama pa pero si oh my god Ray Ray 0.5 seconds dun sa time bank na yun nahuli pa rin ni Sen at nakanalo pa ng haba ang Liberty isang makalat na naman around isang makalat na half sa pinakadulo or at least nakuha pa rin yun ng haba ang Liberty Ay, yeah, Van Liberty just really took their time. Pero nga lang, ang nagtataka lang ako, bakit na inasim yun? Sana na lang pala, hindi siya, ayan. Sana na lang pala, <laughs> hindi nila masya, hindi nila inaasim masyado. Kasi kulang naman na din sa time. But uh -huh. you know what, uh, I think uh, it was, uh, those are the moments where it's very crucial. You don't have enough information plus the pressure, syempre. That's the usual mistake. So you can't get out of that. But at least, uh, right now, um, Crazy Raccoons is leading by two. This is quite different. Different. As what we've seen sa, ba sa iba nilang matches, kasi kapag naita mo yun sa iba nilang matches, sobrang one-sided, 13-1. Imagine, magkasunod the games, di na pinagalaw yung baso para sa kanila, parati sa nang napipick off. And right now, nakikita mo yung malaking improvement coming in from the first day and now we're going here. So maybe this can be a great opportunity for them to just actually show to us that the, the guys, the actual Japan representatives will be showing a lot to us in uh, here in Masters Berlin. Mali mo, makakuha sila ng ticket pa papunta sa playoffs. Pero tignan natin kung mag improve talaga sila ng sobra-sobra right now. Yeah, at nakikita natin dito yung weaknesses ng Havan Liberty na i-expose ng Crazy Raccoon eh. Kasi more often than not, yung mga setup talaga na tinatawot ng Havan Liberty, hindi nangyayari. And kung bigla silang mahirapan, bigla silang maipit sa mga paraan dito, I wouldn't be surprised kung bumalik sila sa standard Brazilian meta na may double duelist instead. Para may kulang sa confidence na nakita natin ngayon sa Havan. Pero ang rami nilang support eh. Ang rami, nilang, ang rami nilang tenacity. Yung pag nagsama-sama nga sila first day sa mga Tagalan na. At alam nila ay nang gumagana. Pero hindi natin nakikita talaga yung pinaka oomph ng Havan Liberty. Yung pinaka- <laughs> firepower na pinaka force and ewan ko na lang dahil ba sa talo nila last time na parang na outclass sila sa triple initiator nung kalaban nila 100 teams pero kailangan nila isipin ngayon na iba na yung kalaban nila and yung crazy raccoon they have nothing to lose yun yung pinaka mababang point nila as in started from the bottom now we here talaga sila ngayon kung isipin mo sa world stage ka ma 13-1 dalawang beses marami na mag right off sa'yo so at least wala na masyadong expectation sa crazy raccoon at ngayon nakikita na lang natin na Arami pala nilang pwede pala ilabas, ang arami pa nilang players na pwede i-rotate and now they're looking pretty on par do sa mga expectations ng mga tao at syempre dahil sila na nasa champion seed ng Japan, kailangan talaga nilang mag-step up. Kaya game of step up lang talaga to Rayo Ray and Crazy Raccoon right now is doing it. Kaya nga sinabi mo, wala pang malaki. <laughs> <laughs> yung uh -oh. yung Liberty like, but malaking snap na kailangan nila sa ating um, ipakita kung baga kung nanonood kayo ng mga cartoons yung malaking light bulb na biglang lilitaw uh -oh. sa, diba? sa, uta Hindi... sa, uh, sa utak mo wala pang ganun yung yung Havan Liberty pero Eh, hindi lang Havan Liberty, pati sa Crazy Raccoon actually. Wala pa sila yung talagang solidified na gameplay na sobrang kaasto astonish Hindi pa ganun ka, ano rin, ka-solidified. Kaya nakikita nyo, nakakakuha pa rin yung Havan Liberty ng rounds against them. Pero uh -huh. right now, uy, uh, big shoutouts nga pala sa mga nanonood ngayon. Bakit ganun pag 100 teams sa ka-Sentinels? 1K, malihigit ang viewers. Bisa na pumapalo ng 2 Pero pag ano talaga mga ibang teams, medyo na nakatulugan na nila yun. Yun lang kasi yun, Dax. Nakatulugan na nila. Hindi na nila uh, kaya magpuyat. Et, et, eto kasi yun eh. Bakit, bakit wala yung ano? Yung, yung Bren Esports. Ay, kung yun uh, lang yun eh. Uh, diba? Kung, kung nandito lang sila, hindi lang 1K. 10K. Diba? Hmm. Buong bayan. Pandila ng Pilipinas. Sana, sana, sana. At kung isipin mo, diba? Na tipong out na F4Q. Paano sana? Sana lang sana talaga na nakipaglaban yung Brendon sa F4Q at numabot sila. Pero wala eh. Ganun talaga ang buhay. At nakikita ba natin na life goes on? 
may pa rin naman chance ang ating Pinoy rep under a new organization na Team Secret and at the same time, syempre enjoy na natin yung mga games. At okay naman eh, nakita natin yung exposure ng Brazil, ng Japan dito ngayon sa mga match na to. At syempre, para sa ating mga viewers na interested talaga, makakita na mga glimpses of the other scenes. mapapansin nila yung mga konting ginagawa nila, yung mga personality nila. At syempre, pwede tayo makipag-joke time habang nangyayari yan. So, happy lang tayo dito sa Filipino Broadcast. At Ray Ray, anong tanong ko sa'yo ngayon? Sino ang, sino ang pinakpogi dito sa match ngayon? Sino, sino dito, ang sa iyong bias? Dito, ang teams. Ang hirap, parang wala, wala kang type. At po kanina yung ano eh, si... Si Laz, dun sa... Si Laz? Ano, mm, type cute, ng cute. lahat yun eh. Ah, Parang ano yung nag... anime eh? Mukhang sa... <laughs> sa manwa. <laughs> oh, ito na naman pero, eh. Pe, pero, pero itong mga crazy rakons, mga sila ka na yun, no? yung mga, mga kastang kapag ka revengers. <laughs> <laughs> mga gangster! <laughs> Oy, ito oh. na naman, yung gangster cast eh. Actually, yun na, ginagangster na talaga. From up top, si Munchkin. Mukhang siya yung pang na yung Joko Black Nacha for si Shina Nancy Pleats mga katanawa nandito sa Van Liver Tiki na kaya nila yung defense si Pisco daw si Ari mga kahuli na ng iba at bigla na lang nag-turn yung tide dito Ray Ray si Shio na lang ang naiisa ngayon may guiding light pa siya daw nag-backside plant pero Ade Ade kita mo ba hindi pala mukhang ate tatawagan mo pa kasi si Shio pa rin ang buhay dito 1v1 in the long sky kifer si Fisker ang nanalo at sinabi niya Ray Ray Brazil Deep Brazil Deep Oh. Asia, Asia Pride. Asia Pride. Hindi, diba sabi, siya nga yung sinasabi, siya nga yung may ano eh, yung may lahing Brazil. Ay, At Japanese. Oh, so, yun ano talaga. Yan? Para si Terry yan, dati nang mamipat oh. ang English broadcast. Oh, parang, uh. parang ako, nung lumipat ako ng Pilipino <laughs> broadcast, ka na ba? <laughs> oh, pero, pero kung yung may This is Brazil, yung ano, Fast and the Furious, eh, isasabi ngayon ng Crazy Recon, This is Japan, This is Tokyo Drift. Okay ba? I ain't, ano? I eat this oil. I am the hunter. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stretch, but I will take it. Wala bang wala nga so ba sa matchup na tayo? <laughs> which is honestly interesting I, I want to actually say something about that na, nakita talaga natin na yung Sova na palagi inisip na tao na sobrang mastic oh my god crazy raccoon naihipit pa kayo dun dahil sa flash pero napatay niya pa rin si Blitz eh somehow someway ginawa ng paraan ng crazy raccoon at ayan na yung ating doggy sana lang pwede i-risky na sa raccoon yan kasi pong crazy na naging galawan ng trend laser at bigla na lang gumana pa rin sa crazy raccoon and then a game of chaos dito pagalingan na lang ng bang bang talaga Ray Ray at panalo ang crazy raccoon na Ini-expect ko pag-i-peak sana habang Liberty na ipit sila doon, nagpapanggaan. Parang nagkasabi sila, sorry, excuse me, pero walang gumagalaw. Pero wala eh, walang nag-chance, walang, nag- walang nag-tep ng fate ng habang Liberty. And dito natin nakikita na parang yung confidence talaga nila, it's not as, I'd say, strong compared to their runs sa local scene. Tapos compare mo doon sa Vivo Kid, na sobrang Vivo, si Heat pa lang, diba? At the rest of the, the, rest of the team getting that win. I feel like for, for sa Van Liberty, they're kinda in their heads right now dahil lang doon sa unang talo nila. And if they just si keep playing at this level, really, na kulang talaga yung confidence nila, ang crazy raccoon, pwede sila mag-tumbling lang para sa finish line kasi kaya nila manalo sa mga duels dito. Yun na nga yung, ano, yun na nga yung hindi mo ma-explain kung bakit ibang-iba si Crazy Raccoon. They set a different standard for themselves right now. At kung ngayon tinitignan ko yung mga pictures ng Crazy Raccoon, mamaya ma-identify natin sino talaga yung pwede nang pang ano, pwede nang maging next cosplayer here in Valorant. Pero speaking of, kailangan pag i-risk this out na. Na mga trap pa natin from Crazy Raccoon this time around. But she yun, get the hell of other. Pero nga lang, Ned, nakakill pa ng pain shells. What is happening to Abad Liberty right now? Definitely, this is the round that dapat ko makuha nila kasi nga ngayon, naka-fold by sila with the Phantom plus the Vandals at bigla lang sila na pin down the crazy raccoons with some of their utilities and that's it. How will they actually get this? Kompletos Ricados pa para sa ibang side ng um, crazy raccoons. Pero nga lang with that retake, Munchkin sees the head of Plitz and Mice and he will be forced to save that Vandal. Vandal? At siya na lang nag-iisahaban, Liberty. Wala eh. Mukhang itong department store na to. May, may out of business sale rin ngayon, Ray Ray, kasi hindi dati nakikita talaga yung real Havan Liberty experience eh. As na yun, nakikipag-man fight. As na yun, nakikipag-laban na team. Ngayon, nahuhulog lang sila sa kamay ng Crazy Raccoon. At I guess talaga, yung sinabi ko kanina, for Crazy Raccoon, started from the bottom, now we're here. All that confidence, nothing to lose. 
in yung willingness palitan talaga yung buong composition sa pinaka matindi at pinakamataas na stage ng Valorant. Isipin mo, dito ka mag-experiment, dito ka maglalabas ng bagong strat. Kakaiba talaga yung galawan ng Crazy Raccoon and not only that, them winning the duels right now, getting extra value dun sa mga utility, yung mga guiding light, yung pages nga na minention mo, at itong brimstone pick na to, Nakita na nakita ko na kanina eh. Itong mga to gusto nila's mag-set up ng mga traps eh. Mga kill zone gamit ng orbital strike. Hindi nangyari, hindi nag-work out rather noong first half, pero nakita natin yung basis noon. If they can set it up yet again, kumakulit talaga nila ang Havan Liberty in a trap. Makita mo lang, mukhang mapanis at maluluto na lang ang buong defending side dito habang naka-eco sila. But remember, this map was actually for the side of Hava Havan Liberty, right? Ito yung uh, pinili nilang map. And looking at this, they're really struggling a lot. And biro yung nakapag-open space na naman itong uh, Crazy Raccoon sa my B-side. And ate, just waiting. Oh, sino? Si Kale, kailan ba? Kailan ba mapapatay yan? Masinat na nga, nagpumatay na narinig na kagad yung complaint ko. At Crane na lang at Maisen ang natikira. And it looks like uh, hindi ako malas this time around. Hindi dikit medyo yung laban, no? Bati ka nang dumikit. Pero ayoko batiin. But Ay, nabati ko ni. And I think solid na talaga yung form na Crazy Raccoon, to be honest. So, super solid na Ayan. just can seem to pick a stop at them. And Machkin na actually is on fire. Pero ngayon, Dax, sinabi mo saan sino yung Poggy, di ba? Sa... Sino type po sa lahat? Ito na, nahanap ko na, nahanap ko na. Sino? Ah, uh, si Ness, Poggy si Ness, guys. Ayan. Mukha okay, siyang artista. Kamukha niya si... Um... Sige. Um... Wala, hindi ko alam. Hindi ko si ano, si John Lloyd? Si Lloyd. Si John Lloyd. Pwede, pwede. Ano, 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 Si Kentaro Sakaguchi. Ayan. Ay, ay, just go. May pangalan pa. May pangalan siya niya. Ayan. Nakahawig niya lang, kahawig niya lang. Yung sa Oremon na Gatagi na live action. Okay. Ayan na. Sorry guys, Weeb. Sorry akin. Mamaya na. Itigila natin. Pag... Pag may Japanese team talaga, napapaisip na lang si Riri nung time niya sa Japan eh. Lala ko lang nung nag-Japan ako, puro kain eh. Parang tipong, okay, don't worry today, don't ay, worry ay, tomorrow, na, 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 okay, katsun doon. Japan? Oo, oh, okay naman, chill Buting lang. Buti hindi blurred yung ibang mga bagay doon. Ay, hindi, hindi. Alam ko ba Riri, nasa Japan talaga ako, usually pag nag-VCT PH tayo, di ba? Palaging ano, pixelize yung camera ko. Hindi <laughs> 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 ko alam bakit eh, ayos lahat, pero pag dita din VCT. Okay, smile na lang tayo kasi tayo ay magiging, you know, hello Nippon, nandate ang ating camera quality per 11 to 5. And honestly, yung pinaka-point lang ng game na to talaga is yung confidence level. Van Liberty, they're not showing it right now. Crazy Raccoon, it feels like na parang bumalik sila ng Japan VCT eh. Kasi ganito yung galawan sa scene nila eh. Yung when there's a will, when there's a will, yung pinipili talaga nila yung ginagawa nila. At yung tipong, okay, sige, tapon yung utility. Tapos tingnan natin anong papad na doon kasi mag-push pa rin tayo. Pinipili pa rin natin at tayo yung gagawin na natin papad tayo yung kalaban. At ayun na, net mo huli na si Dion John. Kasi ate, tinunang si net kasi low HP na siya doon. Much good to all the board. Ginamit na nang sobrang coverage yung orbital strike. Pero ito na naman eh. Itong crazy raccoon. Feeling at home. Dito sa Haven at dito sa matchup na ito yung sa galawan nila. Havan Liberty in the meantime, surprisingly enough, hindi na nila nilalabas yung playstyle ng Brazilian region and it just goes to show right now kung masyado mo pinipinit, masyado mo in-overthink, doon talagang kakaproblema. Pero si Medusa talaga, it's something it, patay ka na, beat mo, hulog dyan. At magiging 4v2 na yun. Crazy Raccoon, santong form na ito nung last time. Ba't kayo dinurog ng gamit ng sobra-sobra? Hindi lang yung tipong durog, medyo sobrang durog talaga nun. Pero ngayon sila ang nang nadurog sa Havan Liberty. 11 to 5, magiging 12 to 5. At ini-expect mo to, Ray Ray, yung team na kakuha alam na talawang rounds last time, one round away from getting the win, gets the kill auto play as well, at ito na, map point para sa Crazy Raccoon sa pick ng Havan Liberty. And speaking of that, isa na lang, and Crazy Raccoon will be denying lahat ng mga nagsasabing it's not formidable for them. The all of uh, other people are thinking that maybe Havan Liberty can actually get this. Pero biruin mo, they're really confident this time around. And maybe, ang ganda talaga ng tune-up ng uh, Crazy Raccoons this time around. Nakainom sila ng marami-maraming Red Bull. Hindi sila nag, uh, papa, uh, nagpapakain dun sa time zone diff. Kundi, sila dapat yung mag-dominate all over the guys here in Havana Liberty. And because of that, 
Ay, seven rounds ang kailangan habulin ng Havan Liberty. They need this time out just to discuss everything. Ano ba, paano natin i-execute to? Kaya pa ba natin mag-overtime or bawi na lang tayo sa next map? Which is actually their weakest ano, link. Well, yeah. pagdating sa mga maps, eh, when you see it, when you see the stats, you're not wrong. Like, gipit sila sa bans, eh. Ano ba ba natin? Breeze or split? Ano talaga? Mas mas feel ko na chance ng sana sila sa breeze, eh. At kung split, ang ganda. Ang gameplay, ang crazy raccoon dito. At kung nakita natin so far, na matutuloy lang ng crazy raccoon yung momentum na to, na tipong willing talaga sila makipaglaban overall, ma- mahuli talaga ang Havan Liberty. Kasi Havan Liberty is a team na known sa Brazilian scene na hindi naman kasing, I'd say, mechanically inclined compared to the rest. Ang galing sila rin sila, makipagbang-bang, kaya sila tumatapat sa mga big names in the first place, former big names rather, nung bago pa mag stage 3. Pero ito talaga eh, yung, yung mga tactics nila eh, ang nakatulong sa kanila para umundad at para umabat dito sa world stage. Pero kung hindi mo nagagawa yung tactics at hindi ka binibigyan ng oras sen, especially itong crazy raccoon na pwede nga nila maisip na, na bumalik pa tayo ng Brazil, bumalik pa tayo doon sa Mayorio, papapansin ba natin yung mga galawan ng crazy raccoon na medyo may pagkahawig doon sa mga ating mga kapwa sa Brazil. And that, those are the problems right now para sa Havan Liberty. At naugulat nila sila eh. Hindi nila expect to play na to. Hindi nila expect to speed na to and they have to find the answer in fast ray ray kasi ito na map point at papunta na ng seaside at dyan na ngayon spike ready to go for si fleet huwag na lang bulik ipis ka dyan oof pero nirisk agad din na sa what so, risk okay. it for the biscuit tuloy tuloy lang high yun risk yun. high reward please oh. coming from crazy ray they've been doing that earlier diba Net all over the place together with Munchkin. Tapos si Fisker also is really confident about it. Pero right now, Medusa, he needs to get that information. Na kung meron pang nasa garage, kung meron pang nasa green. And speaking of, because of that camera, nakita na kanya na merong isa that's going to be Shion himself. But right now, sino ba yan na kagalang oh, no. loading thunder? They need to push in. Pero nga lang, will this be worth it? What? Yes, actually. They get the heads of them, pero may nagde-defuse by sa hindi niya binibitawan at all. Pero nga lang, wala na. I think it's too late. And a bad liberty still wins this round against Crazy Lacoon. At huwag niya sabihin. Ba't hindi siya pinututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututut
Nako, Riri. Mukhang yung first mo talaga tatama ngayon. First, tumama yung guiding light pero walang pick. Si Fleets na lang magpapakita at si Magicket pa rin ang huli dyan. Gumawa ng Crazy Raccoon ng play pero ang haba ng Liberty ang nakahanap ng paraan instead. At bigla na lang naiiba na naman yung momentum, naiiba na naman yung setup. At ito pa rin, haba ng Liberty. Mukhang sinabi na nila, tama na yan guys. Tama na yung overthinking. All about shooting the heads and winning the game. And this confidence right now for Haban Liberty gonna be helping them out against Crazy Raccoon. Ito na ang pangbawi ni Ray Ray. Ito na nga eh. Minamalas na ating Crazy Raccoon dahil sa akin. So kung sino man fans ng Crazy Raccoon, sorry akin. Magharap! Oh, what? O, di ba? O, di ba? Okay, feel ko talaga. Dapat di na ako nagsalita eh. Nagsalita ka kasi. Ginahati mo. Uy, Crazy Raccoon. Gising naman tayo dyan, guys. Uy, um, net. Ano ka ba? Ray Ray, ano ka ba? 4am na sa Japan. Sabi mo kanina sa kwento mo, 4am. May araw na. So, dapat gising na sila. At si Mo kasi Medusa. Kinaya pa niya si Shion dyan. So, at least may isa pa na tipong one eye wide open. A side also, wide open. Pwedeng pwede may tanim tong spike na to dito. Problem lang ni Ari, wala siyang orb na strike. Pero kumakuha siya isang kill. Laking tulong yan ni Ray Ray. At kung low HP si Crane, na galing sa... Crane, sobrang delikado to ni Crane. Kasi kung hindi siya tumula doon sa box doon sa kaliwa, mamamatay siya as soon as mag-crush landing with you siya in that position. Pero Medusa, tago muna ng malapitan. Spike planted, Ray Ray, at ang nahaban Liberty looking to group one up. Pero uy, pag ikaw na spaman ka, Medusa, you can do it! Okay, Adik gets actually the head of Blitz. Pero ngayon si Lias is actually defusing it. Oh no, narinig pa niya! Narinig pa niya! No, 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 have enough time left. But oh, still he wins. Lias still wins that. At apat na lang until Laban Liberty can actually type this one. Uy, at dami nyo nang pinibigay. Sabi nga, seven rounds na lahat. Ngayon, naging four rounds na lang. Pinibigyan mo na napakalaking off ngayon ang Haban Liberty. Kita mo, no? O yun, nasaktuhan ka sa ulo. And that was, that clutch was really big. Game changer yan. Oh, ayun, nice try though. Nice try kay Ade. I'm addicted to his place. NT. NT talaga sa Brimstone. At dahil doon, meron na siyang Orville Strike. At tingnan mo, marami ng ultimates dito ang hawak ng Crazy Raccoon. Pero ito na, Havan Liberty! At ito na ba yung in-expect natin? Ito na may gameplay na gusto natin makita sa kanila. Breach and clear in full time na doon. Pero si Munch kayo natatamaan ng guiding light. At kung kayo naharangan ng Havan Liberty, ang early aggression ng Crazy Raccoon. Pero at the same time, si Munch kayo handa na dito. Ray Ray, net kayo natapon niya yung grenade. Mama Jan, si Diazzy daw yung meetan. Waiting for the operator. Has to go for the shot on the boom bot instead. At kahit may order strike dyan, si Crane pa rin matapang at ready makapaglaban. Eto na, Havan Liberty. Mano in mano, parang nagboxing na lang yan. Pacquiao vs Mayweather, pero nagsasabakan sila ngayon. At si Crane makakatatlo dito. Medusa lang ang natitira. At mukhang eto na, boxing match na Ray Ray. Eto na ang talagang hinahanap natin si Tsa pakpakan na ito kasi kailangan talaga ng Havan Liberty tumapat ng direkta sa Crazy Raccoon at mukhang nalaman nila at nagawa na nila dito sa mga round na ito. Pero gusto ko nang tulangin si Medusa, inaantok ka ba? <laughs> Ang layo mo na naman sa teammates mo. Naka-entry na sila na isa at ikaw, <laughs> nagsashotting ka pa. Ayun ay, na, ang laki-laki ng Havan Department Store, ano ko ba? Uh, Sabi nga natin guys, eh, kung, kung may local conversion ang Havan Liberty, tipong SM Nitro. Kung gumawa ng team ang SM. Yun pure, yun. Ano, pure Gold Junior. <laughs> <laughs> ano, ano yun na? Robinson's Easy Mart. Ay, mga ganun. Alam ko na yun. Meron, meron, meron sa Japan. Sabi, ano, ano? Um, uh, Havana versus ano, Don Quixote. Left. Oh, tama. <laughs> diba? Don Quixote. Exactly. Yun yun eh. <laughs> Don Quixote. Nakikita mo yung mga Akihabara 48 na doon sa may <laughs> itaas ng Don Quixote. <laughs> <laughs> Ang nerd ko, ayoko na nga. Okay, <laughs> balik na <ka> tayo. <laughs> Ay, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Ari. So, 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 sa'yo talaga. Sa'yo uh... talaga. Pero, uh, so, kung analysis na talaga, wala eh. Parang, yung, yung sinasabi natin kanina, na ang Crazy Raccoon, tipong, pwede nila itapon lahat ng utility. So, more often than not, yung ginagawa lang nila, sige, adjust tayo kung ano mangyayari pagkatapos ng pag-setup natin ng utility, bahala na si Batman at bahala na yung pag-kill natin on-site. And that has let Crazy Raccoon run away nung first, nung second half, diba? Naka five round streak mm -hmm. sila. Kasi sila yung confident, Ray Ray. Pero ngayon, mukhang nasabi ng Havan Liberty, guys, step up naman dyan. Baril na lang sila kasi ang, ang A1 meets on yung utility usage nila. At dahil dito, nasa sidestep na ng Havan Liberty, yung mga ginagawa ng Crazy Raccoon, hindi na kasing valuable yung utility set 
setup ng CR. And now for HL, this is their chance because nakita rin natin si Kray nag-set up gamit ng mga flash, gamit ng mga stun, and the rest of the team willing to fight and willing to die in the front line. 9-12, kaya pa ito ng Havan Liberty. Havan Liberty, they got the momentum. Bigla, bigla, uh, no, just one round is enough for them to actually make that. And it's perfectly doing well for them. Pero nga lang, Crazy Raccoon, isa na lang eh. Ayaw, gusto, kailangan nyo pa bang ibigay pa ito para sa side ng Havan Liberty? Pero nga lang, bigla, tali-tali sila na puto sa inyo. Na fake na naman nila yung Havan Liberty. <laughs> Iba talaga tong mga Crazy Raccoon, ano nang sa-psycho. Psycho oh, pa Red Velvet yung kanta. Pero nga lang, Munchkin, nakapag-excel na kami sa ilig. Pero, oh, si Ned! No. He played that out kasi head of Shion. Wala But... na nga nag-flash na isa sa side ng... Um, um, Havana Liberty, pero nga lang, identified na sila. Pero will this be a game changer? Itong Rolling Thunder, nakaabang-abang. May may iniwasan nga pa sila. May mga trades lang na lineups. Pero nga lang, it's going to be a 2v3. A possibility for Havana Liberty to actually get this. Pero please, hindi niya binibitawan na. Oh no, the straight up! Nail! To the spot! To our design! Sa gulo! Sa gulo ng mundong ito! Crazy Karakul pa rin ang mananalo! At yun talaga yun matchup na to! Pilitin mo hanggang gumana! Pag pinilit mo lang talaga, mangyayari ang ginugusto mo! At ito talaga, never give up! Hustle, loyalty, and respect! Kasi para sa Crazy Raccoon, kinay lang nila talunin yung Havan Liberty sa pinaka, nasabi ka lang, magulong at makalat na paraan dun sa dulong yon What a round to end it. Pero, makikita mo yun, may mga crucial mistakes for both sides. Para sa Havan Liberty, nag-psych out pa sila, mag-box up pa sila. Pero may bowling thunder naman eh. Kung nag-set up lang sana sila gamit ng brace ng mas maaga, mas makakatulon sa kanila. At yung pinakahuling round na yun, yung tipo naging bang-bang na lang talaga, gulo sa mga pa. It was a victory for Crazy Raccoon kasi sila yung willing mag-push. Nakita mo si Net? Pumasok talaga yung wala siyang pake. Nothing to lose para sa Crazy Raccoon. At dahil dun, Ray Ray, sila ang nanalo. Uh, alam mo yung last, <laughs> yung last, <laughs> yung last round na yun, Crazy Raccoon talaga yung main. Crazy with the cake. Ang gulo. Ang yeah. oh, gulo. I swear, oh, kaya kaya si, ano yung nasa... Bubulong sa atin eh, nasid ka rin. Ang gulo na kong kami din, naguluhan ko rin sa pa, palipat-lipat kasi we all thought that it's going to be for the side of the world and the city once again. But to the smoke, I think this is something about Crazy Rockings, eh, diba? Bigla-bigla na lang silang make, magpa-pop off. They still need to end that really bad. And speaking of, they were able to get that. At sa tingin ko kasi, yun na nga din, the fact na ang half na one left na lang sila, syempre, maybe they're just taking their time to actually close this first map, diba? So, that's it. Crazy Rockings, get it. And it's really quite different from what we usually expect. It But is. GG's. And alam mo, hindi ko in-expect ganito yung laro dito sa Berlin. Kung sabi pa sa akin, tara, nood tayo, aran tayo really, nood tayo Japanese VODs, nood tayo Brazilian VODs. Una, Japanese VODs, mahirap kasi pixelated, tas hindi pa natin maintindihan. Yung Brazilian VODs, same thing, matututo tayo ng Portuguese. Pero at the same time, ito yung playstyle nila sa local scenes nila. Pero yung Crazy Raccoon, sinabi na, kami muna sa sakap na ng Berlin eh. Kami muna yung papasok dito. And from the get-go, para sa Crazy Raccoon, sobrang comfy na sila. Yung Havan Liberty, nagulo pa, lost in translation. Tipong nagsasabi sila ng Domo Arigato, pero wala. Sinasabi na kagad ng Crazy Raccoon, sayonara sa inyo, sayang kayo. Pero eto na guys, game one is done. Ang gulo. Kaya kailangan natin mag-make sense sa lahat yun. At tayo ay mag-break. Nandito tayo sa Masters Berlin. Ako si Dax at si Riri. At public tayo pagkataos ng break na ito. Sa bahay na to, I care that my family wins. First one ka sa meeting, that's a win. Morning, everyone. Panalo rin kung sabi ni Doc, all clear. And congratulations, taunahan mo ang spoilers. I make sure all their needs are taken care of, kaya walang napag-iiwanan. This year's class valedictorian is Victor Manalo. Winning starts at home with Globe at Home Only Fiber Up Plan. Power your home with health essentials. And entertainment for the family. Manalo talaga. Guys, pictures! <laughs> Bye!
Welcome back to Masters Berlin, where it looked scary there for Crazy Raccoon for a moment when those rounds started to come together on the back half for Havon Liberty, but they are able to lock it up in 13 to 9 fashion on Haven and, and Kukuko. What a no, confidence. No, no, don't look at me. Look at her. You're right. You know what? We Just asked for more her. than two rounds. You got 13. How about that, Gio? Out of Crazy I Raccoon here. What a I rebound. Was, I said I would be happy if they got at least three, and they got at least three. Therefore, I'm happy. Okay. What is your problem? Well, they got 10 more than that, a 13-round victory, Kukuka. I think that's going to be a huge confidence boost yes. for them compared to their first outing here on the stage. This is nothing like the, the Crazy Raccoons that we saw the other day. I was actually very happy. I'm very happy that they got this result. Um, I was a little bit concerned about their defense because of the amount of utility that they had to defend it. Uh, but once they got that 7-5 to five going on to the attack, I knew that they will be fine. They had some, you know, stunts on their way. Um, uh, we're not going to mention the, the, those kind of rounds. Maybe they got overconfident, you know, when they were right. getting so many rounds and they were getting every single one on the on the attack. But, you know, at the end, the map is theirs. Yeah, it's, okay. I, I definitely had some concerns with their defense, as you say. The fact that they didn't have an Astra and were relying solely on the Cypher for defensive utility was a huge concern. And I almost think it's more a problem with Havan Liberty that they didn't exploit that enough. Uh, they will be they will be left with some questions, given the fact that that was their map choice and they took the loss. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it's also the fact that I feel like, for example, they were gathering that information with the Sky Flash. You, you, you mentioned it, okay? They, they have not a lot to play with because you're playing the double duelist and you want to go for the Sky. Um, but even when they flash um, across the garage, for example, I guess um, double doors, they wouldn't fulfill that information because the information is never going to be perfect. It's never going to be complete. Uh, but they decided to go for a super defensive approach and to play almost every single round to a retake and it ended up working so props to that Neth, the top performer on the team. But the other yes. person I'll call out is, well, is Munchkin. Again, we had questions about, hey, if he remains on the jet, mm. will he start picking it up? Better performance today, but still doesn't seem to be entirely dialed in. So want to see that play, that echelon of play, just keep ticking up. Well, luckily, we have a whole other map, at least, to see if that's going to happen. I do agree with you, though. It was nicer to see some more coherence between the team. And I think Munchkin seemed to be feeling himself a lot more. Maybe it's because it's, it's another day playing on that same role. He's had some time with it now, uh, and I, I hope it does improve going forward. I really like Medusa on this map because I thought that we were going to see Minty. I mean, we didn't uh, get the heads up that that, that, that was going to be um, the, uh, the one who, who will be playing. I'm uh, actually... Uh, wondering if they're actually going to change something for a split, the, this upcoming map, uh, because I feel like he was so good on Cypher. He I was can so confirm good. that there will be no substitutions for the second map, and we will So talk Medusa's staying? Yes, exactly. Okay, so that's the next question is, is he going to go for Killjoy or Cypher? I'm going to say Cypher. I could see that. I mean, yeah, the thing with Minty is that Minty is not only good at those kind of roles, but he's a great fragger as well. Yeah. So I was kind of surprised with that too. I want to dive deep into map two in just a moment, but we actually have to reflect on our Verizon high speed moment because while I got touch and go there near the end for Crazy Raccoon, it was Neth who threw his body on the line here just to make sure that we could get the round win. 
Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time that, uh, you know, the Havalini team was just sticking onto that spy. So he was like, listen, it's stop fooling around. This is not happening. This is our oh, man. Right at the end as he goes oh. down. Just, hey, I'll buy as much time yeah, as I it's can. It's called martyrism. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. Hey, sometimes that's what you need to do, right? Using your body as a resource in this game is just, <laughs> it's important. I mean, Sage sometimes does it with you when she rests you. Why wouldn't you do it for the rest of your team? Exactly, exactly, exactly. So good on Neth to realize what was the play that was necessary in the moment to lock it up for a squad but as we mentioned now we move on to map number two knowing already that there will be no substitutions we move to split this is crazy raccoon uh map choice and so more so what i'm interested in is is where havan liberty's heads are at as they step onto this map yeah completely um uh, i'm actually wanted to see uh geo you were mentioning we did not see an astro coming from crazy raccoons i feel like it is one of the teams that it sometimes you know they can give you that so i actually would like to sometimes dive into that brainstorm, but I don't think we have the time. Um, uh, I would like to see that on this map as well, because I feel like Neth was performing super good uh, on this Haven. He would go particularly on the Omen on this split, and I think he could do so much better on the Astra, for example. I don't know if you agree with me, too. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say. If you were to look at all of the compositions that they've played since September last year, um, it is all Omen. There's oh, no Lord. Astra in there oh, whatsoever. Lordy. But I do agree with you. I personally would prefer to see an Astra, especially as they're going to be likely bringing a double initiator with the Breach in the Sky. You don't really need to rely on something like the yeah. Paranoia. Exactly. So that is my next big question. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have a Breach and Sky? I, 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 feel, I mean, the Breach, they, they, they're the team that's most willing to play it. I feel like we will again. If it is the Sky, who does it come from? Again, I'll keep putting up there, put Fisker on it all tournament long. But will it continue to be him? I think it's uh, from Crazy Raccoons, it's surprisingly how they take care of the defense. Even though they're playing with that double initiator, they're going to look and, the, and they're going to play it into their advantage. Uh, even when they were playing without a Sentinel, uh, their defense was still their, their, you know, their best side. So I really want to see what they have for us today because they cannot have two omens. Am I right? So, production, <laughs> what did cannot. you spoil here? <laughs> well, I, I think mean, it's going to be Ave because. Um, well, I, I was going to say, historically, Munchkin's played this guy on this map. And so, unless you suddenly have that switch over where he's going to be... <laughs> you're going you're gonna to put him on the jet and Fisk is going to be kicked off, but then Medusa somehow has to find something else to play because he's also on Sky. Okay. There you go. Okay, we, so we there's going to be the changes, there. 100%. Oh, I'd love to see this. I'm, 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 I'm really thrilled. I mean... Oh, we I love it. You Thank you very much. I love this, Crazy Raccoon. This is so good for you, really. And Neff... Is he gonna go for the race? Oh my god! Oh, you got your ass oh as well. Oh my god, this is perfect. I'm not complaining with that. I'm one. cheering. I'm cheering. Yeah, I'm cheering. I am I'm not sorry, I'm biased right now. But they've still got to lock it. Yeah, okay, so we've got Fisk is gonna be going on the sky. I wanna see if Fisk is gonna, go is gonna be a breach. Controller? That's well that's the question, right? It's cause I was thinking Oh, oh my uh, god! What is this beauty? Oh. <laughs> Well, Kakuka is sold on the crazy raccoon agent select. There was one switch up as well that I'll call for Havon Liberty. Yeah, it was Xion who's now picking up the Rays as opposed to Liazi who will be hopping on the Killjoy. Yeah, I mean, if I am if I am not mistaken, and I, I can have a quick look now, I'm pretty sure Havon Liberty... He's away with the Cypher. Yeah, he, he, he didn't usually go on, uh, on the Rays whatsoever. Yeah. We've seen him play on a Breach, in fact. Yeah, and... Uh, not Cypher. Yeah, and this is a map that they're not extremely comfortable playing so let's see how they do both teams bringing us new looks on split at hello no. guys what's up Uy, and now we are back here in valent masses berlin we are casting the last series for today because it's going to be haven liberty and crazy raccoon on the second map here in split syempre ako si Ray at kasama ko nga si dax at ngayon nakita nyo na kayo yung agent selection and all i can say is dax what Hello. can you say about the, the play style of crazy raccoon and this kind of uh, agent, agent lineup madali lang yan Ray Ray. Crazy. 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 Honestly. Ito crazy na ko na to. Lahat na lang pwede nila ilabas. Kinawa na nila, Ray Ray. Kasi iba na naman yung setup. Double controller pa sa kanila. Net now gonna be going back on that Asha. Usually siya yung nagko-control pag naglalaro sa mga mapa mismo. Pero at the same time, hindi pa nila ginagawa ito kung alam ko eh. Nag-omen sila dati. Yung tipo mag-jet nga. Pero si Munchkin na naman yung jet. Tapos yung sa Sky, nagtakay physical na naman. Lahat na lang pwede gawin na iba ng Crazy Raccoon. Ginawa nga nila. Pero on the flip side, 
Ito na, Haban Liberty sa amin na tama na yung bridge At bukong si Leon mag-raise na dito kesa si Liazzi If I remember correctly, Cypher ba? Ay, Killjoy para sa kanya, pwede si Liazzi Nakikipaglaban kay Medusa to sa Cypher dyan sa kalaban niya Added on him time with the kill on to Liazzi At least like enough, Ray Ray, Crazy Raccoon Ilan pa na naman yung agent composition Pero hindi sila nag-substitute kayo yun Walang rotation, rotation, happy sila Sa limang players na nilinabas nila sa team nila At ito na, Spike's already planted para sa Crazy Raccoon Remember, meron pa bang oh, may, may, meron pa namang flash right now si Crane that he can no, actually no, use and he gets the head of Ade. Pero dalawa na lang sa dalawa. This can be a possible retake coming in from the side of Havan Liberty. Pero nga lang, hinihintay na lang sila with that post plan. At ngayon, nadik na kaya si Myzen. There's just some right clicks all over, just a left to right. Pero nga lang, easy is dead of Fisker. This is actually crucial for Ned as Crane will just be defusing. It pops out one, binitawan kagat, nag-reload, at sakto, oh, sakto, Ned. as Ned will be jumping and speaking of Crane. 1-0 na nga ngayon sa side ng Crazy Raccoon at si Ned na naka-Astra. Yan ang kasi nasabi ko sa inyo, pagkakalawin ni Ned ang baso. Right and talaga yun, nothing but Ned. And kitang kita talaga, swish, click, lahat na lang nagawa ni Ned dyan. Jumping pa nga, jumping for joy and going for the takedowns. At Crazy Raccoon! Mukhang ito na talaga ang final formula, Ray Ray. Ito na talaga ang pwede nila ilabas. Deep roster, may different compositions. Every single day, nakalaman mong Crazy Raccoon. Every single map, baka iba ang makikita mo. Pero si Manching Sinira, nakagad dyan ang quick intel ng Havan Liberty. Havan Liberty don't play that double controller. First time ko rin nakita sa, sa kanilang agent picks to. So kakaiba rin, iniba rin ng Havan Liberty ang kanilang playstyle. Pero sa sabi nga nung panel, diba? Not a comfy map whatsoever para sa Havan Liberty. Pero sa Crazy Raccoon, Happy na happy sila nandito sila sa split. Kasi syempre, may ramen, tapos may parang Japanese sushi store, di ba? Feeling at si Buya yan! Crazy Raccoon, si Buya Station, baka Akihabara nga kung tingkal ng ibang pwesto. Pero ito na Medusa, hulis ni Yazi dyan. Added daw in the meantime behind the toxic screen. Ito ta, home turf para sa Crazy Raccoon. Happy happy sila makakuha ng ibang pagkitas. At si Machi dyan, makikita si Sita si Sion. 5v3 na to, Ray Ray. At ang Havan Liberty, hindi makalapit gamit the pistol. Ganyan lang hit the call. Shorty doesn't get anything. Rain! Mukhang walang tatama dyan sa'yo, good sir. At mukhang good day talaga para sa umagang kay ganda ng Japan. Kasi Crazy Raccoon na 2-0 na nila sa starting point na to. And wag na wag mo ibibigay yung malaking advantage coming in from Crazy Raccoon. Pero alam nyo guys, every time that we're seeing um, the representatives of the Japan playing here in a split, so ano eh, iba talaga eh, they're built different here in uh, Split. Hindi mo ba gets kung bakit? Hindi naman sa dial base siya sa Japan. But then, <laughs> it's just that they're really working well here. At kung nasa Tokyo server ka, ang gagaling talaga ng mga Japanese dito na with this crew dati na nagto-Tokyo server pa kasi yung pinko minsan, ano eh, uh. nag-iinarte. Kaya ayun, um, uh, ang gagaling talaga nila dito, walang, ano, walang problema para sa kanila. And gato ata yung buff eh. Kailangan sa inyo ha, dapat binan nyo na to ha, Van Liberty. Plus, Ang Havan Liberty, it's one of the maps that they don't actually play. Mm -hmm. They only have a 50% win rate here compared to yeah. the 83% win rate here by Crazy Raccoon. So definitely a weak, a big weak link ito ng Havan Liberty. If only they switch on a different ano, different map, maybe they can get this really. But then giving a lot of momentum to side ng Crazy mm -hmm. Raccoon and knowing how this team plays the Japanese style na already, iba na eh. Para may breathing form yan. Bisa kami at Ano yaba? Yaba. Ay, just go. Yaba. Yaba. Ako. Well, may gusto ko sabihin, pero feel ko bago ko sabihin ng broadcast eh. Palitan mo yung yaba ng ibang letter eh. Alam mo. Ay, wag na, wag na. Wag na tayo dyan. Pero nanos farm muna. Harang muna yan. Medusa. Gusto nyo lumapit. Pero eto na ngayon eh. Yung mga talk revenges yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina. Eto na ba? Eto na ba talaga ang tunay revenge nila sa Berlin? Eto na ba ang kanilang papakita sa buong mundo na pwede sa manalo? But Medusa na ako kunting setup muna dyan. Cyber Cage. Baba muna dito. Pero pagbaba niya doon nakagas sa Twitch Munch Kinnan. Unang tungso pa din. Tapos wala na. Face full of lead. Galing kay Lia. Sinaubusan dito ang crazy rukun ng oras. At si Twitch tamang tambay lang sa may backside. Para huli yung hit out of those spikes. Please, we're gonna get taken down. Ah, the internet on the board, bro, guys. Spike, guys. Pulling the name, spike. Because we don't have any orders. Going to get that kill. Caught to add it. Nag iisa lang na dito si net. At ang crazy rakun. Ma huli na rin ng Havan Liberty. Pero honestly, not too bad para sa crazy rakun. Tapo na patay nila don sa defending side. At kita mo naman yung advantage, just kasi nang Havan Liberty sa baril pa lang mapapaforce nga naman talaga ito mga taga-crazy rakun to just really go with the close range attacks. 
Plus, uh, connectado na din dahil under Madalena sila on the early parts of the game. So that's it. Havan Liberty, slowly but surely. But then, na- ngayon si Crazy Kundi will be coming up na naman with another type of setup as what we're gonna be expecting. Dahil nga itong uh, duo na controller na yan. Viper pa, tsaka Neth, this is, this is really explosive coming in from the side of uh, Crazy Raccoon. And right now, they kind of sasa- have a liberty. They kind of wasted some of the utilities that may aim in, knowing na actually nagsisplit lang ngayon yung Crazy Raccoon because they're pretty confident. And kita mo, Munchkin, nakapasok na agad. Ngayon sa may ramps, they actually gave that to him, but then he tries to pre-fire just in case he'll be able to pop off at least someone. Pero to, Ade, will he see the end of Crane once na nakarinig na kagad si Crane sa kanila? Or Oof, lumayo siya, okay. Ayaw okay. mong asimin yan. Medyo na, masakit. Timing. Timing. timing na naman eh. Timing. Ch- yeah. ch- timing is everything. At ito, oh, chancing. Ayan na. One last shot. Ta- Uy, baby lang. Na, timing. Walang, walang timing dun. Walang, walang sumakay sa oras. Sorry, Ray. Uh-huh. <laughs> na, Nag-ano? Uh-huh. Na, ano, one last chance. Hindi nagkakita. Yung tipong umalis na yung aeroplano bago ko pa dumating sa airport. Pero at least... Yung Crazy Raccoon, nakahuli sa ibang tao. Sa may A-Site taxi. Si Pacey na matay dyan, Crazy Raccoon night now. They do have to execute kasi paubos na ang oras. At si Mason, nag-iisa na lang dito sa likod ng billboard. At tingnan natin kung itong subway surfer na to ang pwede maunlad. Pero guiding light na natatama. At Pika Bumedu sa si Swanskin on the board as well. At malinis na take lang ngayon para sa Crazy Raccoon. Crazy talaga mga setup at mga take lang nila. Pero si Crane, siya yung may tunay na kisa pangalan niya dito, Ray Ray. At look at this camera galing kay Medusa. Tambay talaga na dito kitang kita yung screens pa rin and such a great angle para sa crazy rapun ngayon pero meron pa naman seekers pero gagamitin pa ba ni Crane to? I think it's really too late going up against 4 tapos sobrang hindi naman sila nabawasan at all but they would like to really risk it pero speaking of Crane already goes down to the hands of Medusa si Liazi get some you gotta kill the discharge but then the crossfire already na kick na nga yun para sa side of Crazy Raccoon and they're leave, leading by 2 already versus Havan Liberty pero si Shion so far um uh, sige okay lang yan Shion tanggap okay ka namin yan. sa kung sino ka no oh, diba ano yan minsan minsan bad day bad day bad aim bad aim mm. yeah, bawi rin bawi rin paano tayo paano tayo babalik sa form natin Ray Ray kung di tayo bumabawi diba mm mm-hmm. Mm. Tama Omsim. Ah, tama Omsim. Oh, Omskirt. Sabi nga ni... <laughs> sabi nga ni... Viminal. Viminal. Omsim. Yeah. Omsim. Uh, yeah, yun yung, oh, kapag yun yung si Vim... Sinabi mo na... Dag si Vim nagsabi ng ganun. Parang hindi ka paniwa, panipaniwala, no? Pero mas hindi ka panipaniwala. Nakapunta na kagad kagad si Andi. Munchkin. Pero denied lang siya ni Blitz. How? <laughs> Tamang spray lang eh. Tamang tama lang yan eh. Para sa Havan Liberty. Hapag sila nakuha sila ng leader ng Pitas dito, Ray Ray Fair Medusa. Ito na yung gun barrel at ang ginagawa mo dyan, Misket. Sumatago ka pa wala ka naman magagawa. At kita mo yun, na Medusa naman pa si Liazi habang nag-aim siya kay Shion. Sakto lang talaga yung transfer na yun. Si Shion daw mapapasabog na si Medusa pakatapos ng kamatayan niya. At 3v2 na ngayon, Ray Ray. Crazy Raccoon! Nako, 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 eto na sila, si Fisker, mukhang fi- bigla na lang sinuntok ng si Fitz gamit ng Vandal at nag-iisa na lang si Krin. Siya pa ang tunay cur- na crazy dito, Ray Ray. O isa pa ba to na naman para sa Crazy Raccoon? Sa tingin ko sa Crazy Raccoon na itong hirap, magagaling ka sa vent and uh-huh. you have an uh, Iron Sheriff, ayon pala. Pero gawin niya sa Iron kasi, ano ba naman okay. yan? O, tama, Dapat tama. radiant eh. Dapat radiant sila eh. Pero kung, kung Iron, nako, ayun, yun yung mangyayari. Yung Iron versus Radiant. Net, flick the wrist. Grabe talaga tong Crazy Raccoon. At diba sinabi natin, diba sa Vision Strikers, so we perform BTS. Kumanalo naman Crazy Raccoon ng, ng Berlin Ray Ray. Sino ang perform? Galing ano, J-pop. You know? Um, ano yan? Pe- pwede na naman twice kasi may iba sa kanila, Japanese, pero... Siya, <laughs> Tama naman, may, may mga Koreano sa ano. May Koreano sa Crazy Raccoon. Sila Munchkin, oh, oh, si Medusa, oh, si ano rin. Oh. Pero yung, kung hindi, feel ko sila, ano sila na lang lahat. Sila, ah. pa, yung atong Crazy Raccoon, kulang na lang maging J-pop na lang din sila. Parang Arashi. <laughs> Arashi. Yung pang, tapos gagawa sila na, no? Tipong anime opening. Crazy Raccoon oh, anime oh. opening. Uh, Kakatana na ng uh, nani mo. Tapos yung sakpanin na rin ginagawa nila. Kan- kantaan kita na... na- <laughs> Wait lang. Bad yun, bad yun. Never mind. Hindi, hindi yun. Yung ano, yung ganun. Hindi, <laughs> may, may, may sasabihin sana ulit eh. Parang, 
Parang lahat ng banat ko ngayon pang hindi pang ano eh. May pang sa atin lang, hindi pa hindi pang broadcast. Napapatigil ako. Papapatigil ako real quick eh. Like, Papatigil ka kasi pag hindi ka tumigil, magigigig ka eh. Hindi pag 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 ano, pag hindi ako tumigil, ako, ako yung titigilan ng ano eh, ng broadcast natin eh. My cut. GG. Katulad ng mga as pinagsasabi ni Ilo kanina, chat. Ay to, yung, yung sinasabi ni Bill ngayon sa chat, wag maingay, may tulog na. Ito. Pwede ka pa tulog, 'di ba? Sabi nga para kay para lahat ng energy ni Bill sa umpisa. Amin ni Riri ang midnight hours. Kami taga call center dito. Oh, kami so, kami so, yung ano, graveyard shift oh, talaga. So, ano na lang. Good night, sleep tight, Bill. Pahindi nga tulog. Meron pa mga matches bukas. At oh, ito, 4 to 1. We still have a match, so Riri. Oh, 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 at saka to pa, um, bukas naman hindi naman ako dalawa pa eh. Sa, ano pa ata, sa Friday ata ako yung may dalawa pang ikakas. At syempre sa kamanas malasa ni Ilo, kami na naman yung magkakas. So, alam nyo na. Ay, hindi, pero Ray Ray, paano kung sinabi, sinabi sa atin na kung mahingi meron tayo masyado, tulog na sila. Kimik na kaya tayo. Pakailam ko. <laughs> 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 well, tawa, himit yung maduna mo dilisa dahil sa cosmic device. Pero bigyan mo, iingan na naman yung mga bala. At si Ari at si Liazi, kung ano yung sa piece. For Shion now, tipping the skills in favor for sa fan. Liberty match came on the back all the way. At crazy, Rukun, sabi nilang, sige, tama na ito, sih. Kaya na yan. Sa inyo na yung B-side. Kasi si Medusa, ito na naman. Snakey, snakey boy. Pero misa, hindi ka tumitingin na tama. Back to back ng maling indirection dito, Ray Ray. Pero ito na, Medusa versus Misen. Magkakaalaman na ba? Magkakabakbakan. Ito na ba ang konting box up lang galing kay Medusa? Kasi kanina pa niya ginagawa ito ng Haven pa lang eh. At kung magyari ito, ako nag-knife out ka pa, Misen. Kaya kamatayan, kahamakan mo yan, bro. They found my wire. Speaking of, magiging 3v3 pa nga ngayon. Medyo quiet, nagulo. Nagulo ang gustong i-execute ng crazy raccoons. Pero nga lang, Medusa? Will he see actually one that's going to be Blitz himself? Okay, wala silang ka-idea-idea na meron nag-extend. Coming from screens, pero pag sumilip ka, mamamind ka kagad nila basahan ka agad ng Blitz Storm. Yung mga dahil sa connect is isa. Shield, they're nice. Medusa ka agad. And he takes out that showstopper. And he actually clears out two. And it's going to be a 1v1. Neth versus Shion. At ngayon, sinicheck right now. Shion, mali ang tinignan mo na anime. Buff ka na naman ni Neth. And kitang-kita mo naman parang sa mga comeback stories sa anime. Ito na ata yung nangyayari sa Crazy Raccoon. Yun nga, di ba? Sobrang anime na storyline eh. Yung first episode, yung tipong pinamalakas dun sa story, duturugin ka lang. Masabi ng protagonist. Sabihin nung ano, nung ating hero na, di ba, pawi ako, okay lang yan. Has worked his way up. Tapos ito na yun eh. Yung first boss ng Crazy Raccoon. Kalaban na lahat Liberty. At mukhang na, na nakikita nga natin magkaka-season 2 ng Crazy Raccoon. Kung patuloy-tuloy lang ito. 5 to 1 scoreline. At ang ating CR squadron mukhang walang break para sa kanya. Tunutuloy pa rin. Voting prosper lang. Chad Karim mahulog siya. Pero si yun. Judge na lang hawak-hawak. Race plus judge equals I win on split. At yung equation na yun. Kahit local, kahit global, gumagana talaga. Ray Ray. Simple math. Quick maths para sa Van Liberty. Ginawa ko din ito eh. Push lang ng A-Main. Nagkatotoo nga. O, oh, dalawa kayo pipit. Will it pass it be possible? Talagang literal na cancer. Ay, ah, si yun. No. <laughs> no, na is mo nga niya. Diyos ko. Nag Out of charge. Lahat. Lahat na lang na pwede mo gawin. Judge is pa talaga si yun. Pero yun na eh. It's a classic. Sa so, split. Lahat na lang ng race gagawin yun. At kita natin. Stats don't lie. And it's effective. Easy,easy.ありがとうございます。おお、でもおおディジョンなんかよ。パニカね、ジュサウルね。まあ、なんか変わらん。強すぎ、HP パオ。おお。ハハハハハ。パレ。パレ。パレ。パレ。パレ。
Eh, grabe, wala na kaharang Ray Ray. At ito na naman ba? May judge ba ang hawak dito ng Havan Liberty? Wala eh. Pinitawan na lang yung judge. At dahil doon, nahamak si Shion. At ito na, 5v4 pa lang ng Tom Fraser kung onside. Please come in. Huli kay Medusa. First is Fisker at si Ate. Mga katalawa, Liazi na katalawa para sa kanila. Pero Fisker pa rin ang nadyan na Golgi. Nag-iisa na lang yung si Misen. At mukhang ang Ray Ray. Ray. Kasi sabi ko na lang, judge better than rifle. Confirmed. Wag na lang kayo mag-rifle, ano, Van Liberty na kaya naman sa inyo. Pero yung mga strat na ganun, hindi mo naman kasi talaga in-expect na may pro team na gagawa na ganun. Like, I mean, it's you, it's a it's a typical thing. But then, imagine an ace. Sana kung isa lang eh, you, you kinda accept that. But, you oh. know, you need to move on na lang then on what happened. But at least sa Crazy Raccoon, right now, it's going to 2v1. They all know where Myson is, but he needs to check out every angle left that he has. Pero speaking of, na box to, ay, nakuha na nga siya kagad ni Nelth. And still, Crazy Raccoon leads by four rounds ahead of him. Ah, oh, tapos yung post na talaga ng Crazy Raccoon. Hindi naman yung tipong nag-set up sila ng anything really, Ray Ray. Yung positioning lang nila, yung mga angles na nag-take nila. At dahil doon sa pagka-ambisyoso nila, nakakahuli sila ng Havan Liberty na nag-rotate pa, naghahanap pa ng paraan makakuha ng control. At pinaka-effective dito sa Havan Liberty, yung pre-plant eh. Pag natitigilan nila, sige, nagtatawa na natin konti yung ace clutch, ay ace ng judge. Pero sobrang clutch yun kasi dahil doon sa setup ng Gravity Well, na slow on down yung kalaban. At para sa Havan Liberty, kailangan talaga na pigilan ng Crazy Raccoon kasi pagdating na sa site, sobrang crazy talaga. At natuto si Shion! Sabi nga niya, sige nga, di talaga dumadaan na gumagatong rifle na to. Judge na lang ako at napadpad pa rin ang patay. Kinechan, yung aso natin, nahulog sa kagal. Ito sa kagal ng Crazy Raccoon, itong looking on side plates na sa high ground. Havan Liberty, sneaky peaky light, misin. Now with one headshot machine talaga siya Tumakto kay Medusa Ito na ang ating Viper Spit May snake for friend Pero si Crane nakisama dyan Fisker though Huli nga yung Sky At magiging 2v4 to Pero ang problema Ray Ray Hindi pa natatanong yung Spike At mukhang ito na Ang Havan Liberty Nagihintay lang ng coating reinforcements Bago pumasok dito Pero this is the This is the thing about it It's a 4v2 You have that snake fight And will he get one? Yes he will be getting one Pero nga nalabas ang charred tau Pero just because of that Viper Spit Blind and technically, ang mga miembro ng Havan Liberty to pinning out a swear artist, guys. Actually, and speaking of that, it's pa ah, and still a win for the side of Crazy Raccoons just because they took out that seeker plus that Viper Spit into identifying where are the Havan Liberty guys and advantage pa sa mga baril na hawak nila. Wala eh, nare. Seeing defeat meant defeat, de ba? Wordplay. Pero yung laro talaga dito na yun, ate, yung ilang basis na lang yung tumatago lang siya sa pinakadulo, mapalag split. Wala eh, narrow angles talaga. And dahil sa Viper Split, may extra highlight siya. Kitang-kita niya yung kalaban. And 7 to 2 na ang scoreline. Hindi to good sign at all para sa Van Liberty. Alam natin yung split talaga. It's a map that really favors the defensive side pag alam mo laruin. 30 take good stats dito rin ang Van Liberty. 49% lang yung difference win rate nila sa split. At kita natin dun talaga, nanganganib ang buhay nila sa mapang ito. On the flip side, pag binigay mo na ang defense sa Crazy Raccoon, 65% na nakita natin sa mga rounds. At dun talaga magkakaproblema-problema ang Havan Liberty kung hindi sila makabawi. Pero nakita na natin to, Ray Ray kanina, yung 7 to 2, naging 7 to 5. Ito na ba ang time ng Havan Liberty para mag-step up? Tingnan natin kasi nag-rotate sila patuntang A-site. Pero ang problema, Masyado nilang inaabangan si Medusa at tong spike na to, handa pa sa B take instead. And speaking of, pinigay na naman ito ng Havan Liberty. Pero Blitz, he took out muna yung gravity well. Pero nga lang, we have those set of flashes coming in from Fisker. Just to tell these guys na, okay, they might be, we will be coming at E. Pero instead of that, ang, ang ngayon si Myson But together with Yazi, they're trying to check here in A. I mean, kung meron pa, but unfortunately, Munchkin will be taken all na by Shion. And yun na naman yung what we're expecting coming in from him. Pero nga lang, marami pang oras para sa Crazy Raccoon. But they need to eliminate at least one here in B-side para lang hindi sila mag-worry gaano. And speaking of, nakahelp naman kasi ngayon yung toxic screen kahit pa paano. Just to eliminate those pickings coming in from Shion himself. And speaking of, si Medusa nga nga. Kagad, nakuha na yung dalawang nang, uh, na nag-iitay sa kanila sa B-side and they actually trimmed it down to two. Oh, kinaya pa. Pero ito na yan. 
Tago na naman pero si Misen, he just doesn't miss those fights. Yun talaga yun eh. It's one of his defining characteristics. Yung malapitan talaga, headshot pa rin. Natama sa ulo yung sinasabi nga pa rin palagi ni Gray Ray. Pero si Misen, hindi pa siya tapos. Dalawa na nakuha na Viper dito mag-2v2 dahil sa efforts ng ating Viper nga. Sakto para kay Misen. Pero si Ade, sabi niya ako yung magkapakita sa'yo ng Viper diff. At yung dulo talaga para sa Crazy Raccoon ang para sa panalo nila yun. Yung take talaga, sobrang nakatulong. Malagay lang ng Crazy Raccoon yung Spike Ray Ray. Wala na finish ng labanan. Plus, screen eh. Kapag nakuha mo yung perfect rhythm, they won't be expecting you na biglang-bigla ka magpapop off dahil dahil hating hate ang site basically. And that duel itself sa last parts ng round na yun. So 1v1 plus low on HP pa yung isang tagalaban Liberty. So it's all for Crazy Raccoons up again. Leading already by a big one. Anim na ang kanilang lead. And ngayon, eco round pa para sa side ng Havan Liberty. So we're really seeing how Crazy Raccoon is acting so much different as what we usually expect coming from them. But speaking of, na Munchkin, inasin na ni Munchkin yun! And he's still got that of Liazzi! Yeah, different dahil sa performance nila against Gambit. Pero kung fan ka ng Crazy Raccoon, kung nanunod ka ng Japanese scene, ito yun, nini-expect mo sa kanila. High octane frags, mabilisan. Alam naman natin eh, Japan pa lang, malulupit na yung mga players. Eh. Munchkin, syempre, mention na natin yan. Yung nakita natin kanina sa Zed Vision, may konti pa lang talaga. Pero eto, Fisker Medusa on the board na naman. At kitang-kita dito natin sa Crazy Raccoon. Walang titigil sa kanila. Isipin mo, ito Crazy Raccoon, tinalo nila sila Soldam eh. At syempre, hype na hype yung player na yun sa ating community. Pero si Net talaga, not but net yet again swish and a hit parang PPG Last lang to PBA di pala JBA Japanese basketball kasi palagi na lang on point si Nets accuracy pang 3 pointer talaga 9 kills para sa kanya pero Medusa buti na lang nakikita natin siya dito hindi lang hindi siya masyadong nakakalaro depending sa mapa pero binalik na talaga siya sa main rotation at dahil lang ngayon sobrang step up ng gameplay niya on this side for all of the adjustments ng Crazy Raccoon and everyone getting the chance to play Ray Ray sila ang pinaka on point sa squad nila ngayon because of that 9-2 and sobrang dominating talaga ang Crazy Raccoon you just can't put a stop to this guys diba hindi lang yun eh meron na nga silang strat may tutok pa alam mo yun pero hindi mo pa rin ma-identify kung how they actually play it like on an an analysis way but then they're hitting it kumokonek lahat yung para sa side ng Crazy Raccoon and if you'd see it para siyang um when you hindi siya realistic aspect para kang nasa illusion ng Crazy Raccoon kung sa kung sa may kita po para siyang abstract may art may art pero abstract pero abstract hindi mo kaya own interpretation mo Ray Ray hindi na ano ka lang eh nawala ka lang sa mata nila di ba ay ay Awit, awit. Awit, awit. Awitization. Pero ito na, Seekers muna. Ito na nakagad ang ating Nachio Adventure. Nachio Wild, tumama kagad dyan ang ating Seekers sa kalaban. Yung Repolio, pagalaw-galaw lang, natutukoy si Riri sa aking translator. Pero mukhang natuhok na rin si Shion, pakipaglaban kay Ade. At mahuhuli niya yung Viper dyan. Devil has to gumagawa ng setup dito sa may A-side. For Shion, parang nakahold. Ngayon, finally, nakita na natin ang Havan Liberty. Napigyan nila yung push ng Crazy Raccoon. Pag nakaplat ang Crazy Raccoon sa kanilang rod, pag napipigilan daw at paubos na ang oras, ito na ang chance ng Havan Liberty for Munchkin. Not done. One on the board versus Fleet. Up track muna. Quickly into the backline. At yung katamaan pa na si Sion. Nagahanap pa ng paraan ng kalaban. Sino pa yan makakakuha ng reset dito? Very locked down. At rinig na kagad ang ating five cut. Pinihit pa siya din ni Munchkin. Ipit na rin siya. At wala na. He stock step bro. Stock step sis at stock na stock doon ang ating jet pero hindi 9 to 3 pa rin para sa Crazy Raccoon big chance for a win for the Japanese team here Ray Ray kala ko makita na naman tayo ng inaabangan natin sa finish broadcast wala eh wala wala eh baka yun yung curse ko Ray Ray baka yun yung curse ko kasi ito yung tunay na curse na nakita ng mga tao 9-3 pwede pa mag comeback eh pero pero wala eh hindi ko nakukuha yung scoreline pero alam mo hindi nakukuha ngayon ng Hava Liberty yung use score sa kanila. Simply put, parang yun yung pinaka-basic ng half na yun eh. Spike plant equals crazy raccoon win. Spike not plant, have liberty win. And the math doesn't lie. More often than not, yung crazy raccoon ang nakakapwesto sa site. At dahil yun sa mga post natin lahat, yung mga pwesto nila pakatapos, at bago pa lang nga malag malagay yung spike, Ray Ray, nakakatulong makapitas ang, ang crazy raccoon sa have liberty.
And the, ito pa, the fact that it's 9-3 and you just don't expect how crazy Raccoon is, yun lang talaga yung meron for the side of uh, this team. And Havan Liberty, you just can't uh, think at all kung paano nga ba ginagawa ito ng crazy Raccoon. And that's what makes it more scarier. Dahil pag nasa defending side yung mga taga crazy Raccoon, kanina napaka-aggressive. But this time, how will they actually make those angles na naman to work for the side of crazy Raccoon na walang ka-idea-idea ang Havan Liberty at all. But at the same time, nakikita mo rin kasi dito yung yung Havan Liberty na this is actually their weakest map. So, dito talaga nagmamanifest yung usual errors nila, how unfamiliar they are, kind of. And even if may ace with that judge, still, no denying that it's still a 9-3, a big lead of Crazy Raccoon. And, Ray Ray, yun na yung highlight ngayon eh, ng Havan Liberty. Ace yun judge. Yun lang eh. In expect natin, di ba, with naglalaro sa double control, mas ma- makakanap sila ng setup place, yung mga gravity, well, yung mga ganyan, pang slow on down. Pero naggagawan pa rin ng para ng Crazy Raccoon. And usually, pag nag entry ang Crazy Raccoon, may naka-infiltrate na eh. May sneaky peaky boy sa, ano eh, sa backline eh. Hindi ko na lang lang. Parang nag-shrink ray lang eh. Parang tipong Ant-Man. Si, Me- si Medusa naging Ant-Man. Nakakapasok lang out of nowhere. It just goes to show na, yung familiarity nila, sobrang nakakatulong sa Crazy Raccoon ngayon. At napapansin nila, hindi pinapansin. Ang One Liberty, isipin mo yun, pinapansin mo siya, tapos hindi ka pinapansin, awit sa'yo. Awit sa kanila. At awit nga, para sa Havan Liberty, Ray Ray. At um, kung Havan Liberty, hindi sila makakabawi at hindi sila mananalo ng first two to three rounds, alam nyo na. Alam nyo na na magiging possible na naman ito sa side ng Crazy Raccoon. That actually, magiging 2-0 to zero na naman yung mga set of matchups natin for today's set of games. But then, um, when it comes to Havan Liberty, syempre, hindi naman basta-basta para sa kanila to. They won't just give it, but they need to assure that it's okay na makakabawi sila. Well, the side of Crazy Raccoon, kanina nag-manifest yan sa pinakaunang map, here in Haven. Hirap sila, medyo magkaroon ng finisher. But then, after just giving a lot of rounds for Havan Liberty, they actually made it the Ray. And then they actually made that with a um, 13 to 8 close also kind of just because they can put on a stop dun na sa isa, isa isang round before they can finally get it. <laughs> parang binawi mo lang yung close eh. Close, tas sabi mm. ba almost, tas kind of pa. Dinagdagan mo pa eh. Parang, eh, tapos, um, eh, eh. Nime-measure ko pa eh. Baka kasi, ah, ah. baka kasi mag-OT na naman at magkaroon hmm. ng game. Pag, eto nagkaroon pa talaga ng game. Pero, hindi ko na alam. Hindi ko na talaga alam. Pero alam ko to. Masasabi ko na lang to. Kung matalo dito ang Havan Liberty, sila ay out na. Elimination match to. mag move on ang Crazy Raccoon. At I think ang kalaban nila next, if ever that happens, ay Crew Esports. So, it's gonna be very, very interesting. Ay, hindi pala. Ka Vivo Kid pala yan. Ang kalaban ng... <laughs> kalaban ng makanalan ng match na to, Ray Ray. Ay Gambit. <laughs> At ako na, Dax. Hello! No. Hindi, minatabasa ko yung Group B, pero yung malala eh. Kalaban nila, Gambit. So, kung manalo ang Crazy Raccoon dito sa Havan Liberty, okay, rematch sila. Okay. Okay yun ah. Oh. Okay yun. Bawi raw. Bawi raw. Sino ba bawi? Sino ba bawi? Yung Crazy Raccoon, syempre, di ba sinasabi nga natin, sila yung anime, anime season 1 arc. Yung babawi siya do sa nagtalo sa kanya sa episode. Ano season episode. 2 na kasi sa season 1 oh. talo eh. Kasi oh, oh, oh. season 2 panalo mm. na yung ano, ah, panalo na. Yun. na. So ito na, na-renew, maganda yung merch sales. Pa- Marami bumili ng ano. Parang ano, para ganito lang yan. Parang nung sa kuno ng Dragon Ball, oh. 5 episodes yung worth of 2 minutes lang talaga na battle. Yung di ba 5 diba? minutes nagcha-charge pa sila, tapos nag-uusap <laughs> sila, tapos For, magiging oh. 5 episodes. <laughs> Oo, oh, 5 episodes. Ni ito yun eh tipong maganda raw yung merch sales yung mga yung mga merch yung mga yung mga pillow yung pillow case na <laughs> oh, ganda ng benta ng pillow case. Let's talk about the pillows, you know. <laughs> let's not talk about the pillows. Let's not start about the pillows, you know. And I think if you're a true anime fan, you can actually get this. Kung true dai ka na anime fan, meron ka diyan sa kwarto. <laughs> Ay, wala akong gano'n, wala akong gano'n. Ay, wala ba, wala ba. Hindi Kortina halata na, lang. na hindi, hindi rin sa Kortina, hindi lang talaga halata na we ball, guys. Ano, parang, Ay, hindi, hindi ba? Walang, parang walang, halata walang eh. Hindi, wala. sa, an, walang bahid dito sa kwarto ko na. Ah, sa kwarto. 
sa kwarto Pero wala. Pero pag nagsalita si Ray Ray, wala uh-huh. na. Exposed na kaagad. Pero sige nga, Ray Ray, pisto na tayo dito. Alang Crazy Raccoon, tambay muna sa may vent. Sneaky Tiki na naman si Medusa. Tingnan mo, shorty. Sobrang asim na magiging galawan niya dito. Pero ang tanong, paano gagalaw ang Havan? Liberty Sun sila makakahalap na paraan makapush. Kasi ito na si Sion. At, oy, look down, look down before you go. And wala talaga. Look both ways before you leave. Medusa already gonna get that kill. And Crazy Raccoon, isang pitas para sa kanila. And that is really important because you need Shion to actually get those entries. It does. Come on. Is it really si Shion who is step up for the side of Havan Liberty? But it's just no. What can happen if they take Havan Liberty and they are going to be bad? Oh, they are not going to be bad because Celia actually gets the head of Cal Medusa this time around, and they will be extending up again here in a P side. They're speaking of just because of that time, he gets a lot of heads. Like that two now already, but then add. Ate says hi to Diaz and Crane, and this is what uh, is very crucial for inside of Yavan yeah, Liberty. Nanalo ng piston round ang Crazy Raccoon at kahit ang asim ni Medusa, it's still good for them. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Not bad at all. At kita mo yun, this one not bad experience. Fisker at Ate looking very, very good there, Ray Ray. Ang teamwork, ang timing. Nang crazy raccoon na kikita na rin natin finally dito sa stage ng Berlin. Pero ang tanong, matapos pa nito, nito maigi, Ray Ray? Matapos pa nila, sakto lang daw. Kaling silang ramen, tipong syempre energized talaga. We want the favorite foods. Pero ito, ate, tambay muna sa mga events. At itong crazy raccoon. Ang tanong, mahuli pa ba nila ang mga kalaban nila? Una daw, si Shion makakapitas kay Fisker. Munchkin na yung time with the kill. Make that two para kay Munchkin. Nakatalo na kagad ang ating jet. Pero mahuli rin siya ni Crane in response. Net though, just behind the default. At what a shot! Kaya laban si Shion. Peekaboo! Kita ka nung asa dyan. At patay na patay ka na kay Aderen dito sa itaas. Crazy Raccoon. Dalawa na lang. Magkagawa na nila. Ang rematch na hinahanap nila. Ito na ba ang oras ng Japan? Oras ng ating squad na to. At pinapakita na ba din nila Ray Ray na bakit sila umabot ng Valorant Champions? Ito na. Ito na yung hinihintay natin na, ng comeback na, ng mga taga Crazy Raccoon. Plus, you know what? After that really sad point of the 13-1, I, I think yung mga shoutcaster na Japanese na ngayon, sobrang nagtatalo nice. na itong mga to. Diba? Sobrang na ito mo na medyo, um, ano talaga sila eh, uh, malungkot nung 13-1 oh. uh, versus Gambit. But right oh. now, I think all of the Japanese people right now are really proud of the crazy ideas that, that Crazy Raccoon has been showing. It's perfect Tama. for them. Lalo na sa split. Ano ba? Ray Ray, gising pa sila eh. Nakita ko parang may nag-sabi ng stats. Halos 100,000 pa ang nanunood sa Japan. Sa mga Japan streams, ganun. At kitang kita, supportado, supportado talaga nung local scene nila ang mga teams nila. May pagka-heartbreak daw na out na ang Zeta Division dun sa kaninang matchup kanina against Vivo Kid. Pero ito na ba? Revenge na Japan versus Brazil. Interesting nga, back to back, same region. Yun nakikipaglaban. Pero magkaibang team. Fleets though, looking to go for a drop down. At honestly, ito na ang pinaka last chance ng Havan Liberty. May baril na sila dito. Pero si Net, gusto niya palikan ang Havan Liberty. Ang pinaka last chance ng Fleets though on the board. Fisker right now with a catch up to the Astra versus Sion. Papapatari pa rin yan si Fisker. At magandang call to par sa Van Liberty kasi ito na si Ade baka mahuli ni Liazi step of timing pero mapapatay pa rin ni Liazi kahit nakatingin ang ating Viper Spike planted pang CQC lang to Ray Ray yung hawak ni Munchkin at ni Net kailangan nila magspook papunta sa side patungo dun sa may A side pero sige magkakross nga sila pero ready pa rin ang Havaan Liberty at tumatambay sa bahay tumatambay dito si Sion at si Crane ayun na magkakabak sa board for Havaan Liberty Munchkin would answer picks up the rifle 1v3 ngayon, Ray Ray. Uy! He actually got your something, pero my sin. Denies him. Ang hirap eh. Ang hirap pa talaga sa bonus round manalo usually. Kasi meron kang advantage yung kalaban mo sa barrel. But then, dalawa na lang ka para sa side ng Crazy Raccoon. And eto na naman sila. Ang hirap na naman minsan sa Crazy Raccoon na mag-close up. Out, but the fact that they bought it, maybe we can really see that they need to put on a stop already. They need to see, we need to see already that two zero. And guys, what they said, right? One of the kind of the the teams that are really underperforming sometimes. 
it's the Japanese uh, teams. But then going up against Havan Liberty, na uh, um, we're having those high standards of this uh, shopping mall team. Siguro ngayon, itong si Casey Raccoons, pinapakita nila na itong mga Raccoons, literal, makakasira ng buhay ng Havan Liberty. <laughs> Kasi may mo makapasok ng, raku- ng isang Raccoon sa Don Quixote. Ano yung sisirain niya? Nako! Crazy, you crazy talaga. Yung chocolate uunahin, tapos gagawa ng bahay dun sa mga ano, sa mga woodwork, yung mga ganun. So wala na, wala ka ng pa- sa bubong sana na ni tatay mo pagbalik, pagbalik mo Japan. Pero ito na, Crazy Raccoon. They have the guns in hand. Handang-handa na sila na makipaglaban. Seekers muna ang ilalabas dito ang Havan Liberty. Konting intel muna dyan. At may expose kagad position ni Medusa. At kahit paan tamang gawit ni Medusa na spray pa rin si Yon. Nalaman niya saan nanggagaling yung baril nung ating cypher. At bigla na lang makakapitas dito ang Havan Liberty. Ito na ba ang liberation of A-Site? Mukhang ito na ang chance nila. Wala pang closing store dito sa ating department store ng Havan Liberty. At magpapas na sila dito sa may corner ng A-Site. Ito na naman tayo. Same play, different round. Crazy Raccoon though, kaya ba na makarite gamit ng rifles ngayon. Ray Ray Fisker though, umpisa pa lang, nakikipaglaban na per si Mason, handa sa crossfire, per si Fisker pa rin, wala siyang pakinami. Cloud dun, Ray Ray, yung poison cloud, hindi nakaharang si Majkin na sa ibaba na, at yung backstab na lang yung kill dread, baka yung saving grace, where he have to have it. Diaz, you on the board versus Fisker, she on gets get the kill as well, 1v2 na lang, si Net nag-iisa. Pero pupos na oras, ayun na kagad si Crane ay mapapatay. Anyari dun kay Crane, saan siya nakatingin? Nabzahin rin ba siya? At biglang may smokes na lang. Pero ito na, I have to go for the spike. And I'll swarm. No time, no time Ray Ray. Pero papatayin pa rin ni Net. Ang tatlo sa dulo na yun. Sige, sa inyo na yung round. Havad Liberty, sa amin na lang mga buhay nyo. At 11 to 5, pero costly win yun. Sobra para sa Havad Liberty, Ray Ray. Ayun lang yung sabi ng Crazy Raccoon, if we cannot take that round, we'll just be giving it uh, on ourselves sa side ng economy. And speaking of, what yung tipo mabawing Havan Liberty? But nakita ba na yung potential ng uh, Crazy Raccoon to finally manage those retakes? And ngayon, unti-unti na nga nagba-manifest, but then you shouldn't give those crucial rounds sa Havan Liberty or else they'll get the momentum na naman as what we've seen from Haven map earlier. But then, dahil natalo tong si Crazy Raccoons, they still need the to have those eco round but then will it be worth it will it be a thrifty round once again knowing how nag extend the sila kagad sa mid bottom and speaking of Munchkin gets first the head of Liazi makakapagbigay pa siya ngayon ng baril sa kanila mga teammates hello guys okay bigay mo na tayo ayuda ngayon ang bagan tayo as classmates <laughs> hindi po hihingin ka ng skin sa kakape mo pero wala ka wala kang skin sa account na to so sabi mo lang sige kunin ka lang skin ng kalaban pero bilang si Pleats at si Shion they're gonna shed their own skin there as well and move on to B side pagiging 3v3 na to at si Net tatambay muna sa may hell angle na ito pero mungkulin na kagad siya slow down down by the gravity well pero walang pwede mag follow up dyan Medusa humahanda ng crossfire ngayon Ray Ray at ang Havan Liberty medyo sumita sila ngayon mag a plant pero nag peak na maaga mo siya si Net si Pleats ang makapatay sa kanya 2v2 na ngayon ate nasa high ground isa pa para kay ate at si Mizin makapatay Medusa Medusa ito na ba ang chance magkamit ang classic pero sobrang labit na nun pero Havan Liberty kinaya pa nila dikit na naman labanan 11 to 6 kumakamak na naman dito ang Havan Liberty sa defending side ng Crazy Raccoon tignan mo pa si Shion Shion ano feeling na bumubuhat ng sobrang Pero ganda na sa ane! Okay, ne! Makuha na nila! Kaso nga lang, double pick, tapos wala pa ganong paril. But that was a good eco, actually. Yeah, that was a good eco. You, you trim down four. So I think... Oh! Ay! Oh! Dali ka! Uh, he, he knew Sorry. eh. He knew. Nakaya ni. Eh. You know, empty ulit, diba? Pag nakikita na natin mga players na sarap sabihan lang ng, diba, MD. Whisper mo. <laughs> Tag yung tournament, tas nasa Francis mo, tas whisper mo lang, NT bro, no problem. Oh, bulong lang. Resorts World Manila. Naku. O nga, hindi ko napansin yung oras, 4 o'clock na pala. Umuwi ba na? From Ray Ray wait, to wait, every week. Kanina nga, minalinig ako, nagmami niya ako sa... Ano, sa likod mo. Ano, pusa ko yun eh. Gagawin ko. Ako, <laughs> ako yung magamit ako habang nagkakas. Pwede, pwede. Ako meron ako. Niaw! Itchy! <laughs> I think I'm going to be a TikTok. TikTok, Tiktok, Kerry Ste, pero TikTok on the clock. Havan Liberty, kilanan nila mag decide very, very soon. Na. Ang alip na ang buhay nila. At tingan nga natin kung mapapa. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no, no, sila oh dito. No, oh no, 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 no. Oh, yeto. Nag- 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 Nag-
Uh, ako napapauno pag nakikisama ako sa'yo eh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Ito, 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 tingnan natin. Kung ito na ba ang mga litrato siya sa muli bago magsakuna. Wow. Pero sinabayan na nalang kagad ngayon ng lockdown. So that they can have a um, mid take. Okay, that's pretty smart actually. Just to beat this guys as to where they are, di ba? It's a good idea. But, but? Wait, there's Ate. And there we have it. Ay, Ate, hindi niya kinaya patay ng mga kalaban na kalayna pa dyan. At Havan Liberty, pubos na ng oras. Pero hindi pa rin pa rin na sila na spike dito sa May 8th side. 5v2 na ngayon. Munchkin Fisker nag-try mag-play ng hero. Magkasama sila dito. Pero nukang may color green sa harapan nila. Paano sila dadaan? Ito na kagad ang guiding light para makatulong pagpatayin si Misen. Bago tayo ultimate at papatay si Munchkin ng isa. First 12 HP and a dream. Makakadalawa muna siya dito. Kaya pa ba i-clutch to ni Munchkin? Alam mo, galing to ng 6v6, bang bang, ray ray Pero kaya ba niya ibabang ang dalawa? Tingin daw, mali ang tingin! Tingin ka! Hoy, peak! Havan Liberty! Peak! Havan Liberty! Asa na yung peak nyo? Diyos ko! Ba't di ka nagpapakita? Ayun na yung fake T-fuse! At biglang magpapakita Havan Liberty pa wala. Wala nang oras. Sige, sayo nyo na. At pinaram, hindi pa tapos. Gusto pa rin niya patayin. Crane with that last headshot. But in the end, Havan Liberty! They're coming closer and closer na naman, Ray Ray. Ito na naman tayo. Papaasahin na naman ba tayo ng Havan Liberty sa comeback? Tapos pa, mananalo na ba ang Crazy Raccoon? O magkakatotod na ba ang pinapromise sa atin ng ating Brazilian squadron dito? Natin kung kaya pa kaya't magtapos tong Crazy Raccoon. Kapag hindi, mapapa... Talaga ngayon yung ano, yung Crazy Raccoon. Kasi kailangan matapusin niya. Nalaki na ng advantage drop. And if that's gonna be so hard for them to finish this, 11-11 yan. Magiging sale na naman sa Lazada ito. Pero nag-all sheriff buy sila. Ah, manay nyo, mawa nila to. Sinasa defending naman sila with those sheriffs. Ganun talaga minsan, no? Hindi pong ma-wantap ka na lang. Tapos sabihin mo, sige, ah, go next. Tapos problema lang, pag nagsabi ka na go next dito, tapos panalo na pala ang kalaban nyo, well, mag-go home na lang kayo all the way from Berlin. Wala eh. This time, masasabi natin talaga, mapapa-uwi ang talo sa matchup na ito. Ray Ray, get on that flight. Road to airport kesa road to masters, road to champions. Pero si siya yun, ang road kaya niya ang magiging malubak-lubak ba? O kakayanin niya mag-hold dito habang palapit na ang crazy raccoon ni Taki Saito. Nakaset up na kagad sa A-side for Smashkin. Uli pa niya si Crane Chan. Si Yondo on board with two so far. Liazi ka na kina kill as well. At bigla na lang ang free 4v2 to Ray Ray Ate do. Nagyan ang pang sino mapapatay niya. Pero si Shion pa rin ang sasagot. Si Net na lang ang natitira. At mahuli pa rin siya ni Pete sa dulo. 11 to 8! Havan Liberty! Nako! Ito na ba ang tunay na comeback story? Bumabawi sa mapa na hindi sila comfortable at all. Natatawa nga ako eh kasi si Shion nga tsaka si Yazi yung maraming frogs eh. Si Shion nga talaga dinedenay lang niya tong Crazy Raccoon. And Crazy Raccoon, you need to wake up already. Pero this time maybe they can actually wake up. Kasi ready na yung ultimate ni Ade. So that they can just hold off a site. Ray Ray, wait lang. Tingnan mo. CR time out. Ah, okay. Sige. Sige, sige lang. Sa lavatory. Lavatory. Ito may ano, may may porta pati sa likod ng stage. Okay na. Convenient. CR time out. Sakto. At least ngayon, honest yung time out eh. Hindi po, hindi po sabihin ano, tactical time out. Pag-usapan niya ba? Lari, dahi, mag-abahan niyo lang sila ito eh. So, sakto lang. Puti pa yung crazy rakun. Honest. Crazy honest. Ay, ay, guys. Guys. Ito ang sasabihin namin, di ba kakita nyo itong matchup na ito, malapit na matapos. Pero, malapit na rin tayo maputal sa ating live. Ito ba, pipilitin ba natin ang isang live lang? Mag-live ba tayo ng 10 minutes or magkaka-game number 3? Well, yun lang muna guys. I think magpapabalik tayo. So check out nyo na lang dito sa PPGL muli na Facebook page. Ay, ay, ano? Sorry, sorry. Ay, naka-up na yung bago. Naka-up na pala yung bago. My bad, my bad. Di ako sa 90 ito eh. MB, MB. So, real MB. Sorry, English stream. One mod lang yun eh. Pag hindi ako sanay. Akin yun, akin yun. Sorry, Amin. Oo nga, actually. Hindi mo ko inalagaan, Riri. Ikaw yung palagi nandito, hindi mo ko kinalagaan. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Pinabaya mo lang ako magmukhang... Pag... Wait! Hindi ko alam kung pwede ko na ikin sarili. Eh? Eh? Hindi ko alam kung pwede ko laitin sarili ko on stream eh. Para feel ko bawal pa rin eh. Bad. Bad, bad, bad gawin yun. Uy! Yun! Bad! Net, you are... 
filthy. Di ko na ang alam. Pero sakto lang yung free fire niya do sa orb. Ang ganda ng huli niya kay Crane. Wala na yung Seekers Party dito sa Van Liberty. At this is gonna be a good wait na mat matigil yung momentum ng Havan Liberty. 5v4. Crazy na po niya yun. Ang main numbers advantage. Uy, pero remember, Shion has that showstopper already. But Munchkin, expect to already kagad si Liazi. Tries to pre-fire already. Sasabihin ni Liazi, meron isa. Isa ang nasa site. At uh, nagkakaabangan lang sila. But... Uh, Crazy Raccoon, they need to play it this in a patient way talaga. Patience is the key. Kasi pag inaasip nila to, baka sila pa yung mahuli ng Havan Liberty. But they also need to take care of Shion's showstopper. But I think Medusa also, he needs to get at least one frog so that he can be able to, to pin. Kung saan ba yung iba pa? Left. Pero looking at them, they're stocking. And Munchkin was able to take out one. Will he be able to, to take out two? But no, the Nigel ni Maize. At nagnabas na kasi Shion right now. Checking out every corner. Pero pabat sila may kita. Pero kala din na dahil lang niya. But that's not. And he takes out two K. At si Maize na lang kagad ang natitira. Denied po siya ni Ade ngayon. Dahil ni... He took out that viper, uh, that that snake bite, but then seven seconds, wala na. Wala oh na. no, Finish crazy raccoons, finish na isa na lang, and they can take this with a clean 2-0 against the Van Liberty. Isa na lang para sa crazy raccoon. Match point. Pwede na na, na mag-go again sa, ng turog sa kanila, Ray Ray. Yung tipong talaga pinapakapakan yung crazy raccoon. Hinanting sila ng gambit last time. Pero ito, kung manalo talaga sila sa Havan Liberty, pwede sila makikambak, pwede silang sumagot muli at magkaka-season 2 talaga ng crazy raccoon saga dito sa Berlin. Pero ang Havan Liberty, it's either road to map number 3 or road to airport real quick. This is Brazil and welcome home to Brazil. Very, very super sa Van Liberty. Mukhang mapapabalik sila sa department store talaga dito kung matalo pa sila sa round na to. Pero hindi pa tapos ang labanan kasi nakakuha naman ng banko dito ang Havan Liberty. Meron silang pera makabuy on up. Dalawang specter, tatlong rifle. At tingnan natin anong galawa ng Havan Liberty kasi last time lang nakakuha ng pitas ang Crazy Raccoon. Yun yung round na nangyari lang yun. The other rounds, Havan Liberty, sakto talaga yung setup nila para sa attacking side. Sakto talaga ang pitas nila. At kung magawa lang nila ug muli yun, pwedeng-pwede talaga sila makipag next round pa dito. Pero yun, now playing the entry. Here we have the Seekers as well. Si Munchkin do Blazer muna. Yan ay Repolio na naman. Pero si Munchkin mukhang siya yung chef dito sa kusina ng A-side. At pwede si Mise naman makakuhuli sa kalaban. Pero biglang, ah, the Peekabuki! Nakalang dun sa may sulok. Nakikisama lang sa dabo. At ang crazy raccoon magiging... 4v2 na to, Ray Ray. Pero nasa high ground si Blitz. Si Misa na nagbabalik. 2v2 na ngayon. At may chance pa dito. Ang Havan Liberty. Kunin yung spike. At patitanin pa to. Nag-iisa na lang yun si Fisker. Pero right now, Fisker, he needs to risk it out already. Pero he still have a lot of time. And speaking of, aware kaya sila na nakapasok kagad ng 8-1. And it's again. Oh, my God. It's going to be a 1v1. And 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 it's going to be a 1v1. It is either Blitz, you make or break, or uwi na kayo papuntang Brazil, or it is going to the side of Havan and Liberty instead. Oh, one HP! One HP and a team! He needs to block, but then he's your brother! And they finish this with a clean 2-0. Who's stepping up their time? And this is the Japan Games now that we are all talking about. Congratulations. Clean streak for Crazy Raccoons. 2-0. Magkaka-next episode pa dito sa anime ng Crazy Raccoon. Kung masasabi ko lang sa Van Liberty, hasta na bye-bye. At mukhang... It's heartbreaking though, in all honesty. We just saw the effort of Havan Liberty. But it feels like it's a whole series. They're really pressured. They're not going to win. They're 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 going to win. And Crazy Raccoon, they know that this is the redemption arc for them. They're 26 to 2 in the series of Gambit overall. But now, they have a chance to win again. But look at this. And they don't win. They don't win. They don't win. Yun yung 1 HP na nga, sure na yan, pasahingahan mo lang, sasabihin lang ng Crazy Raccoon, lapit sa tinga ng Havan Liberty. Kami na panalo ni dito, Domo Arigato. Wala eh, kinaya talaga. And masasabi ko na lang sa pinakahuling play, diba? Minention mo eh, hindi napansin nakapasok to yung Sky and Crazy Raccoon. Ito yung squad na magre-represent sa Japan, sa Valorant Champions, sa dulo ng taon to. At mukhang marami sila pa ang pwede ilabas sa mga strategies na nakita natin sa series na ito, Ray Ray.
Siguro pwede natin sabihin na na-pressure sila sa gambit that time. Siguro pwede din natin sabihin that it's really different when you're on a last game. But right now, that maybe they can uh, they actually got used to it. Nakapag-adjust na din finally to face with the Koons. Kita mo naman eh, they're, it's all together. It's bringing them all together. They're very intact with the strats. Uh, they're actually getting those off angles. They're pretty quite sneaky about it. Ang hirap nila i-identify talaga kung tutusin. But then, uh, the experience itself, and they ja actually just followed their style and comfort pick. That's how crazy the Koon got this. Although may mga naman, medyo natikun sila. But right now, the fact that they made those rounds available for them, they survived pa nila. They got it. So, sobra saya nila na panani mo, nani mo yan. At ngayon, extended ang anime edition ng Crazy Raccoons. Oh, ano na eh, original, Valorant animation. Ito na, Crazy Raccoon OVA. Nanig mo yun eh, Warcry nila, let's go Gambit. In English pa nila yung Gambit, kahit sa galing silang Russia eh, okay lang, sige. Kuwente na nyo, kuwente, wala silang paki. At ito talaga yun eh, Crazy mm -hmm. Raccoon, making the 2-0 happen. Whatever Ganyan language you speak. No. Ganyan tayo. Nakasuntok, suntok, suntok. Suntok, suntok. Akala ko yung tipong kakagayin mo ko eh. Ay, hindi, hindi, Pag nasa studio na lang, Ray Ray. Ah, pag nasa studio. Okay. Kaya yung sabi ko na lang talaga, doon sila nagkakaintindihan dito sa Valorant. At alam ko naman, alam mo na natin, pwede sila nag-uusap-usap. Mga off day, yung tipo sa hotel, makikipag-scrim brem. Pero ito na talaga eh. Represent your region, represent your country. And... It just goes to show, ang crazy raccoon. Umabot silang Iceland at dito sa Berlin, gusto na talaga ng tunay na redemption arc, Ray Ray. And, uh, yeah, sobrang, uh, ito yung nilintay natin from coming from the Japanese style. Lalo na crazy raccoon, a lot of people are also expecting high from them. And yeah, they made it talaga, they introduced a new type of gameplay once again. They still have a chance, syempre, as we're gonna be seeing them still on the next days to come. But as for Havan Liberty, it has been a good game, well played. Um, Tingin ko on those uh, recent matches that they have, dikit din talaga eh, they have that. But then, hmm. when it comes sa pag distinguish kung anong particular strat ng team, dun sila minsan nagpe-fail. Plus, um, kapag hindi na talaga nag-work sa kanila, nakita mo na na it's all going down na. Mm -hmm. Pero gusto ko lang ulitin na, ito. Ayan na, ayan na. Ray Ray, nakakuha ng 2-0. So, ang, ang ating bring Ray Ray to sleep, napaaga ng 4am. <laughs> Pero tama lang naman sinasabi mo, Ray Ray. Hapan, Hiberty, masyado lang sila, I'd say, they got to the head. Nung, pag hindi ko magana shot nila, kulang sila nung, nung kakayanan na makipaglaban talaga ng tapatan, ng tuluyan. Kasi may mga times talaga eh. Yung mga streaks nila, especially nung sa attacking side nila, for both maps, na, natin nakita, yung willingness nila makipaglaban sa Crazy Raccoon. But after everything said and done, yung, masasabi ka lang, yung style talaga ng Crazy Raccoon plus yung buffer sa scoreline ang pinaka na, nakatulong sa kanila para close out yung mga games na yun. There's still a lot of work to be done though para sa Crazy Raccoon. Siyempre, gambit ang magiging next na ng kalaban. Pero guys, ito na ang katapusan ng ating Filipino broadcast for today. I've been Daxing. Kasama ko si Ray Ray. Ang tagatapos palagi. Taga good night sa inyo. Siyempre, may panel pa and all the like. Makikita namin kayo bukas para sa isa pang edition ng Masters Berlin. Good night. What on earth is going on?
on fire let them burn we've got a lot to say but we don't need words Welcome back to Masters Berlin, where Crazy Raccoon have earned themselves a rematch against Gambit, and they will head there looking like a completely different team this time around. And actually, talking about Gambit and uh, probably the match that we won't see, I think not tomorrow, but the day after. I mean, probably, certainly, pretty soon. Um, I would like to know where did they get that composition from? <laughs> because it worked very well. The utility is was um, extremely well-timed. So um, since we hadn't seen them play it, before, I would love to know where did they get them from because I loved it. Mm, yeah, well, I wonder. I wonder what they use against Gambit and who's gonna who's gonna come out on top in that one. I have to say, seeing you cry or nearly cry when they won was definitely one of my favorite parts of this game. You got so excited. Yeah, because um, I remember in Masters too. They did have a hard time when they lost. So actually, you know, having that rough start but being able to come back. I don't know. I was just. Uh, I'm just like that anyway. What a turnaround from from losing the most one-sided series in LAN history so far in Valorant to, to coming up big here today. Again, this was another situation where on the back half with a solid lead, there were a number of rounds strung together where by Hav on Liberty where it got a little bit scary, yeah. but ultimately Crazy Raccoon was able to wrap it up. Yeah, I mean, there have been some big things in that game that, that seem to be huge improvements for Crazy Raccoon. I mean, looking back to the grand finals, they played against Zeta Division. One of their big problems on split was that they were good at initiation but really bad at site setup so cut things like cutting off lines of sight using their smokes well they would always get run over because as soon as they made it onto the site there was nothing to stop the defenders from doing anything against them and that wasn't a problem here today something that they have fixed completely and i was actually yeah. scared because i knew that their defense was a little bit stronger i was mentioning it before we started the map that you know even with that double initiator they were pretty decent and and consistent on it but once they started and they got the pistol round and the consecutive, 
we started seeing Havan getting a lot of rounds, and I was actually worrying if they didn't know how to use exactly the utility with the of, of the double controller to defend uh, the sides properly. Now that's something I'll say uh, during the games, Joe. You noted uh, the explosiveness of the pistol rounds for Crazy Raccoon and how oh well that God. set them up, and I think that that's something they're going to need for continued success in this tournament. I mean, of course, uh, pistol rounds are always really important anyway because they set you up for the next few rounds. They set the precedent for the economy. In the first pistol round, we had was it Neth who was just absolutely yes. popping off. Oh my goodness, and especially as this is a player who, uh, you know, takes on a lot of, you know, the lurking responsibilities. Not mm. usually the person who you see actually making all the flashy plays and seeing him be responsible for a big pistol round was pretty cool. And uh, talking about making the big plays, I think we need to talk about Fisker and, and Munchkin because they were an insane duo, especially on this split. Um, maybe it was not Munchkin taking the kills, but Fisker was always by his side, you know, helping him create the space and looking for the early duels. And you know what? They stuck to their guns when it came to those swaps from agents that we were critical of on day one, and it worked out for them here on uh, this second time out onto the stage. So kudos to them on that. For now, though, we'll be back in just a moment to talk more about this series. We're going to head over to Yin for the Verizon post-game interview. Thank you very much, Dash. I'm now joined by Neth from Crazy Raccoon and Akira, who will be translating for us. Uh, now, right off the bat, Neth, last time we saw you do an interview back in Iceland, right after you got eliminated, it was very, very emotional. And, you know, you made a promise that you were going to qualify for Berlin and you were going to come here and improve your performance. Do you feel like you fulfilled that promise today? あ、前回のアイスランドの時、ま、ちょっと感情的になった、ちょっと敗北を期してしまったインタビューがあったと思うんですけれども、ま、今回そのね、戻ってきて勝ったことによって、その時あの誓った約束は果たせたと思いますか
one point that we got win. Uh, of course, the work is not done yet because you have to face Gambit again if you want to go to playoffs. And what are you going to do differently this time? And do you think you can get your revenge? まあ、ま、ま、so uh, last time, so we couldn't get any pistol round, and also uh, we were kind of feared that they're number one team from EU, and I'm also still traumatized <laughs> about that. But yeah, I think we can win next time. Uh, and one last question before I let you go. Of course, today with the results, uh, that means you've locked yourself in a spot at Champions as well. You're going to be coming back to Berlin again. Uh, how are you feeling about that? まあ、今のこの時点で、次回あの、チャンピオンズでベルリンに帰ってくるところが決まってると思うんですけれども、まあ、それに対してのまあ、メンバーも変わって まだ経験していなかったメンバーもいるのでこのマスターズ3でちゃんと準備してチャンピオンズに臨みたいと思いますいや、we yeah, uh, want to use this uh, Master 3 uh, as a practice for the champions and uh, also we are changing the members so we want to adjust those uh, team teamworks and the practice here Thank you very much, Akira, and thank you very much to you as well, Ness, thank as you. always. Uh, great to see you smile. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, that is it from us for now, you guys, but we are going to throw it back to the desk and see what Geo, Kakuka, and Dash think about, uh, you know, Ness being a little bit traumatized by Gambit. <laughs> Yes, uh, thank you very much, Yinsu. I mean, I think, uh, you know, blatant honesty there, right? He's it's, so cute. Yeah. Stop this. I need to, the way that he was okay. holding the mic, the way that, I, I wish I knew Japanese. That was but so sweet. He waved at the camera. It was, it was, <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> I can understand the trauma, but I hope that this matchup that we just saw them play is that kind of confidence boost they need to come in looking like a different team when they do get that rematch against, uh, rematch against Gambit. And while that's a tall order and they gear up for that rematch, we do have to celebrate and say goodbye to Havon Liberty as they exit the tournament. But we're going to do it in style with the HyperX Reflex moment of the day. It had to go to Xion on the ace oh, with the raise and the judge. This is nasty. We're getting he's he's looking for that early contact and and also help out the gravity well. This is just beautiful. But this last one, oh my god, the fact that this is a gun. Uh, I just I just <laughs> found it funny because we were all chatting on the desk and right as this round was starting, I was like, you know what? I don't hate Xion on the raise, and yeah. then this round happened, and we were all just looking at each other like, what did we just watch? Yeah, we, we were pointing out players from uh, Crazy Raccoons, but I think that especially on this last map, Xion was the one to point out out of Havan Liberty. You're just going to need some more out of that, or more out of him like that the next time around. But unfortunately for them, their journey here at Masters Berlin is done. It is that Crazy Raccoon squad who's eyeing up uh, Gambit uh, for their next rematch. Let's take a look at the standings. Remind everybody how things have fallen so far here in the Verity Music Hall. We have a number of teams already through to that night knockout stage, but still plenty of Valorant to play. We're looking at a crew versus a Vivo Keyed matchup. We've got Ascend still awaiting the winner of Paper X versus Supermassive Blaze. And then, as we mentioned, that Gambit versus Crazy Raccoons matchup. All before we get to Group D where they play out their final rematches in the round robin. I think I'm really eager to know who wins between Paper X and, and, and SMB because to this uh, day, um, SMB has only played European teams mm -hmm. um, on, uh, on on this stage. They're, they're playing play... a domestic tournament internationally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and if they win Paper X, they're going to go back to playing against the stand again. I mean, the good thing is that you don't have to do the homework because you have what we used last year for this one as well. You also just know that Paper X are going to come out with some of the best personalities. That's one of yeah. the most... Uh, 
<laughs> fun things about the game that we saw of theirs the other day. They were just so much fun to watch as people. Well, the good news for you, Kakuka, is it's the first matchup oh, of perfect. the day tomorrow, so you won't that. have to wait long for that one. <laughs> and then we follow it up with that G2 versus Sentinels rematch. I love being able to talk to Kellogg's earlier about that rematch. Happy they got the one map last time around, but this time definitely looking to take two, and he thinks they have what it takes to do it. For Vivo Keed uh, to advance after today's performance, again, another exciting squad. I I'm curious to see what they can get done. Yeah, exactly. And now the Havana is out of the equation, is literally Vivo Kid versus Crew, is literally Brazil versus Latam mm -hmm. for the stand in. Yeah, but, all of South America just like yes. smushed into that. It is it is literally the Gambit SMB of the South America yes. world. <laughs> well, we had some incredible uh, hype matchups today, but we got more of them coming your way tomorrow. For now, we're going to go dark here in Berlin, but that's going to do it for us. We'll catch you here tomorrow for more Valorant action at the Verity Music Call. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, and be good to each other. Good night. Good night. There's a lot of energy on this stage today, Gio. They're both gearing up and getting fired up to go. I mean, they both know how important this game is. The stakes are not quite as high for G2, but for F4Q, you know, if, if they lose this, then, I mean, that's kind of it. Nice little celebration coming out of G2. Most definitely happy with that result. Remaining. I don't even know if they realized it, but Esperanza, oh, it's oh, if he does manage to get away with the kill. Oh, they checked the wrong angle. I think they thought he was in the corner. One enemy. Oh, back is on the game. One enemy. Also on the line, whichever team loses today out of these two, they're not going to be going to champions. They're out of contention. The Hylia comes out. Pro's going to find one. And it's down to a side. That's sick. Oh, the 3K. Oh, okay. of the nerves that I'm sure each of these teams are feeling, knowing that it has to be done here and now. Let's go, Gambi! Let's go!